I for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hi, I'm Sarah from White Gecko Craft Lounge. We have a little shop in Dinis Powers, which is between Cardiff and Barry, so right by the seaside, and we were established six years ago. There's three of us that run the business. It's myself, Sarah Jane and Sean, and we have a host of uh, volunteers and community members that help out too. really inspire you to start sewing we'd like to uh, get people crafting and start that sewing process a lot of patterns and kits are perfect for beginners to use it's a real wonderful mindful way to start that journey into sewing so don't miss the white gecko shows Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina. This is Josie. And this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hello and welcome. It's marvellous to be with you here on the Craft Store. Um, and this morning I am with our lovely Catherine. Good morning, Catherine. Good morning. It was real nice this morning because our ale is there, you're there, I were popping, well, I popped in. And it was like, hey, look at all those lots. I know, it's and it's morning. nice for me because I'm on blue shift, this is red shift, so I get to see the other presenters and, of course, the production yeah. that I don't normally get to see, which is Do you lovely. know, yeah, I forgot that and bit And the floss well. crew as and well, our lovely, our And our lovely Ben. Yeah. He's uh, yeah, it messes with me head this morning when it's a different <laughs> shift because I get confused what shift I'm on anyway. I'm, I never know if what I'm doing, but so yeah, it it, it messes with me head then. Well, it I messes with remember. mine as well because I've been on late and I oh. had to get up really early this morning and then I'm back to late tomorrow, so. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. I did late too early is not. <laughs> That's not good, my friend. No, no, no. Not good, my friend. Uh, no, um, she's awake, though. She's awake and she's Viva Decor in it. Now, Viva Decor, uh, this brand, I love Viva Decor because they bring out so many cool products. You know, there's yeah. something for everybody. And you can really, I mean, whether you are using moles, um, whether you're using uh, beautiful stencils, but um, obviously things that you can do indoors and outdoors. And I know that's something you really love, isn't I it? I absolutely do. And that is one of the main reasons reasons I love Viva so much because the vast majority of the products when it comes to the different mediums yeah and it can be paints it can be stencil mediums you can use them outside occasionally you might have to use a, a varnish or a sealant um, but a lot of them you can just literally put outside and I've done a lot with pots and yeah. things around my garden and they did stay out during the winter and even through the snow and the frost Wow they did withstand that the only thing I will say is anything that goes outside, if you've got really, really hard frost or lots of snow, and some people did have that this yeah. year, yeah. then I would always bring in certain things normally yeah. because yeah, the decorated. frost can affect... It can, for instance, your yeah. terracotta pots, it can crack them, can't yeah, it? It, can. makes them, yeah. it makes them break apart. So yeah. if you've decorated them, just look yeah. after them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've had loads yeah. of terracotta pots that have been destroyed <laughs> by the weather. Yeah. Um, you've got some fabulous, fabulous products. Now, they are going to be uh, sent out on uh, the 25th of May, uh, just because obviously they're coming, whee, they're coming in from abroad. Uh, but we have got some new today. Get ahead of us on the website. It is thecraftstore.com, and that's where you'll see everything that we've got available. Now, first of all, we have got for you, um, and this is brand new, your paper mache. Paper mache is one of those. Um, getting it right.
right, getting it so it's set, it's getting it so it's perfect, it's also using the right paper, it can be uh, quite annoying. This is ready to go. It's a big old tub as well. It and is. it is ready to go. Yeah, it's ready it to is. get out the tub and use, isn't it? It certainly is. I'm not going to say you're not going to get a little bit of mess on your hands, but it's not mess like you would get if you were making your yeah. own. I mean, it doesn't stain or anything like that. It's got a lot of water content in there, but it is already mushed up for you. I mean, if you think back to how we used to do paper mache, tearing oh. strips of newspaper, <laughs> glue, or we used to use flour and water, didn't we, to yeah. make our glue mix? Yeah. This is great because you can mould that around tin, around glass, around uh, card, yeah. uh, you know, whatever products you want. It will go on porous and non-porous surfaces. Depending on the thickness that you put it on, it depends on the drying time. So if it's very thin, it may dry quite quickly. If you put it on very thickly, then, of course, you might have to wait a day or two for yeah. it to really, really dry. But then you can coat it. You can use the paints that we've got on the show today. You can varnish it as well and seal it. You can stick your decoupage papers on there, your rice papers, go with all those different mediums. So it's a great base. Yeah. I got put off making foam water because I once made um, a Halloween head um, out of foam water and I'd had it tucked away and then when I got it out, I didn't realise it had little bugs all over it. Oh! And well, I think yeah. that might have been something to do with the flower. It, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it really put me off making my own paper mache, not going to lie. I mean, it added to the Halloween-esqueness of it. <laughs> But I it bet. wasn't great. It wasn't great. Oh. It was like, oh, it was covered in bugs. Yeah. So, yeah, that put me off um, <laughs> making my own forever. Forever. I'm, I'm going so, to if you've had an experience like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joe. it's not why it's used foodstuffs, is it? No. Yeah, this is why we have these products. And as yes. you say, Leonie, the, the price of this, for what you get in there, that bucket, and that is a reusable pot as well. I always yeah, I love, love the, the fact that you can reuse the pots. I do. I do. They're really good pots. Look, they're like, like little uh, plant pots in their own right. Now, only £10.99. £9. You are getting a lot there. That will do some really nice, substantial projects. Um, 1,000 millilitres, 433 That's now, a litre then, isn't it, 1,000 Oh, yes, it yeah. is. Yes, it liter. is. I mean, I weren't going to go there because I'm rubbish with, <laughs> with any kind of measurements. Um, so, a litre. Um, yeah, well done, Catherine, it is. Uh, so, that's your paper mache. Now, we have got, you might have seen this before, you might not, uh, your paper clay. So, obviously, we know and love you from, from using all the clays, our right, Catherine. With this one, have you got one open? I don't want to open this I haven't. One. Mine ran out. Right. They didn't send me a new one, so well, you might have to open it. there you go. So, we can open this anyway because this will have to this be is, your new one. This is unlike possibly paper clay that you used before if you think really? about the hearty clay which is stretchy this yeah. isn't the only ah. way i can describe this is like mashed potato you're not wrong yeah. But it is great. Again, the drying time will depend on um, how thick you use it. You can put it into your moulds. Right. You can use this directly onto, again, glass, tin, wood, those different things. You can stamp into it. You can shape it. You can mould it freehand. It is very, very different. Don't expect to get the same results as the hearty right. because it is a completely different clay. But it's a great clay and it's a great price as well. I like that for moulding around jars and tins. and yeah. I've done, used it before for making the fairy houses and yeah. toast stools and things. Yeah. You know, you can you can mould around in shape. Uh, great for taking all your different mediums again, so your various different paints, yeah. your texture paints. I bet it's really it's porous, amazing. isn't it? Yeah. And it does feel, yeah, it's got a different feel to it. So would you let it dry out a bit and, and do stuff? Is that what you, you do? Can, you can do it either way. You can use it straight from the tub and mould it and shape it, or you could let it dry out and then use it. I mean, if you wanted to roll it very thinly, you could actually die cut that as yeah. well. Yeah. Or roll it out onto a texture mat or stamp into it. You can do all those yeah. different things. Or stamp onto it when it's dry. Because it'll make, it'll give it that um, really interesting, it'll look like a really texture piece of paper, yeah. won't it? Yeah, it will, definitely. Oh, I like that stuff. Um, okay, if you do want to get hold of that, again, another massive tub for £12.99. That's 367687. And then we have got, and I love this stuff, the concrete. Um, I've only had a little go away we um concrete but oh my word the results look amazing it's one of my favorite products from viva this one actually i got to play with it a lot last year this is why again i wish they sent me a new tub because i've used <laughs> it um hopefully i've got enough just to do a little bit of demo in this morning but again it's a product that's going to go outside you can seal it but you don't mm. have to seal it amazing 
Again, if you want to add colour, you can. There's various different ways you can add that colour. I mean, there are products in other sets that we've seen before that have got stains that you can use with this. But again, yeah. your paints, dry brushing yeah. would work great. It picks up the detail from your moulds exceptionally well. Beautiful. And that's interesting because obviously then it's a concrete. Yeah. So be a, you'll be able to make some beautiful moulded embellishments for you outside. certainly can. Yeah. Amazing. I mean, I've, I've used it a lot in the Zuri moulds, but the Stamperia, which is only for cold Pour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good for that as well. Amazing. Because one thing I will say about concrete, and you will feel it, and it's the same with resin actually, but concrete not so much as resin. When you mix it, you can feel a slight warmth coming yeah. through it yeah. because yeah. of the compound that's in there. Yeah. This is not the same as a cement mix that you'll go yeah. and buy at a local DIY yeah. place. Yeah, they're this not is a industrial mix. ones, absolutely. Yeah. But it's really, really strong. Yeah. But it's a different mix. Yeah, yeah, so you're not going to get that heat that you would. Um, it's only 9 99 as well. Honestly, if you've never had a go, have a go, because it's really satisfying. Um, 711055 is your item number. Now, we've also got some acrylic paints, Fever Decor acrylic paints. I've used these a lot. Um, you've got three different options. Your first one, the white, the black, and then um, the nature there, which is kind of a, a beige. Um, we've then got, and I love this, so you've got your turquoise, that beautiful pea green, which is beautiful, and then that wonderful, it's like a dark sort of bluey green, it's lovely as that. And then the third one, your primary, so your blue, your yellow, how did you say it before? Okay, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I, you, you did well, yellow. How did you say? <laughs> anyway, your yellow, your red, and your blue. Um, new today, ten ninety nine. I mean, good quality paints. I've used them for yeah. all sorts. I've even used them on my gel plates. Uh, the Viva I was Decor. just going to say gel plates. They're great for that. Of course, any of the products we've got today, the paper mache, the paper clay, even your concrete. If you were going to put those outside, though, you would want to seal over the paint. Yeah. Um, again, you can paint onto tin, onto wood, onto all sorts of different surfaces. Brush it on, paint it on, sponge it on. Yeah. Um, um, stencil with it as well, of course. Amazing. Create your backgrounds. It's endless, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Paint. Um, if you do want your paints, only 10 99 Now, I've not used this, and I like the look of this <laughs> slate paste. Now, you were saying, I mean, I love slate anyway. I love the look. I love the texture. But you were saying when this dries, it'll dry. But it's called slate because it'll dry with that kind of slate effect. Yes, and you and can chalk on it like a chalkboard. That's well cool yeah. again if you wanted to uh, brush it on Thick. you can if you want to sponge it on if you want to use a palette knife and stencil with it you can i've used it just around the edge of canvases as well yeah. to give that dark edge yeah so you know just a little bit that's spare on a sponge so you can use it like you would an ink in that sense as well really really like this if you've got a wedding because things are opening up yes. now, perhaps you want to use this on um Little jars as, as yeah. table settings, or you yeah. can write names on them. You know, it, it's just a great product. Do you like, like just your MDF plaques, and you're going to yeah, make yeah. something look yeah. like slate because you yeah. can get that fabulous, uneven texture. Exactly, that's the thing. You because it's a nice thick paste, mm. you can get that texture with it. Yeah. If you want it smooth, you can have it smooth, but you can certainly get the texture. I really like that stuff. Eleven ninety nine, and these are two big, heavy pots of those, um, two fifty each. That is seven three nine six four four. Now next is your ceramic effect so because this is um and they're both matter these so obviously ceramic so it's going to give you that beautiful sort of ceramic tint again i presume it is you need two layers of this one you give it a good stir first and then it for me, I would probably sponge that on rather than paint it on. Uh, yeah. The sponges we've got coming up in one of the kits, actually, I'll mention in a little while. I always wash mine out and make sure I keep them because they are brilliant. With this, you go with a thin coat to start with, mm. let it dry, and then go over the top with a second coat. It gives a great surface. You can make it look glossy if you want to go with the varnish over the top as well. I think we've got some napkin varnish on the show today as well. Uh, but other varnishes will work. Water-based, again, stencil on it do all sorts of different things yeah. it's just a lovely lovely effect yeah and i like the different effects as well absolutely have a play uh, 10 pence 99 pence new today 871317 that, I think, I haven't done it yet, but I'll see if I can get something to dry in between shows because we've got another show at 10 o'clock. I think the slate yeah. 
and then stencil on top with the ceramic Ooh, would work really nice. well as well. Yeah, yeah. that would be a nice combo, yeah. wouldn't it? Now, something that I love. I do love any kind of rusty products. Um, this is your, your Rusty and Patina Kit. And I really like products like this because there's tons you can do. So you get your, your sort of rusty effect, but then you've got your, your gorgeous patina. Look at that colour. This is lush. Mm, that is so nice. You've got that for going over the top. That's not as thick, so I'm being dead careful. Yeah, you've so got lots of mica oh. in there. <laughs> yeah, I better put the lid on. So I don't. This is lovely. It and is lovely. sponges as well yeah. in this one. Oh, the sponges. I can't say enough about the sponges. You know, people might be thinking, well, it's just a sponge, Catherine. Why are you so excited about that? These are not just sponges. The texture that you get from these is amazing. Always wash them out. Try not to let your products dry on those because they are totally reusable. And they're giving you a generous amount of sponges there as well yeah when it comes to this kit leone you can just work with the rusty which is more like a paste yeah you can mix with the patina as well if you want more of that sort of shimmery effect and the difference of color once again this will work on porous and non-porous surfaces you can Amazing. use this outside and inside that's well cool yeah. especially working on non-porous yeah. That so is tins, cool. tins, yeah. it will work on those those galvanised buckets and things like that if you want to give them a, a yeah. rusty effect. It's great for that. Oh, yeah, what a cool product. Um, if you do want to get hold of that, and I love that you've got the, the full instructions there as well. £9.99, £9.70802. You'll have to excuse me, I've left. I've been playing with my hands that have gone along, and there's little <laughs> piles of dried. It does look a bit gross. Sorry, Ben. There's little piles of dried stuff as it goes along. <laughs> Looks like I'm shedding. Um, now, we have got your clear stamp sets. Now, these are brand new. Uh, Viva Decor not only do amazing products, but they do do beautiful stamps as well. They've had many beautiful stamps out. And I love these. Um, I must admit, these, these ones are my favourites. Because those are, are just the, the foliage and the, yeah. the very, like, your, your wild plants. But, yeah, the little flowers are gorgeous as well. You're getting a lot for your money. You're getting an awful lot for your money. I, I can't ever get over the price of the Viva stamps yeah. because we seem to always get two sets for £9.98. and pence. I'm with you. My favourite is the grasses. Yeah. I think they're so useful because you can use them as silhouettes. They're going to work with all your other stamps as well, you know, to, put, to build up sprays or put in the background. Your second-generation stamping as well if you want the different depth and um, perspective perspective of something as well but actually the other set really pretty yeah they are nice really to pretty cut out as well you've got some nice easy cut out shapes yeah. there if you wanted to and you've got some colors in. in there as well yeah um it works out 75 pence a stamp um how many 35 pence a stamp oh even better uh, nine pence 98 pence you are getting two sets for that two zero six one two five now i know a super favorite of our catherine's um and these were well they've been so busy every time we've had these on i must admit i love the packaging i love that you and you said this catherine for 12 99 you're getting so many gorgeous colors in one kit yes yeah, these are one of my new favorites my when they first sent me these i really didn't want to open the jars i just wanted them on display on my shelves but of course i had to open them they are brilliant for that price as you said they're six pots and that. what you can do with this as well i mean the one that you've got there that particular yeah. set with the glitter in there it's it's beautiful glitter that's suspended in a medium so, that dries clear yeah so when you open the pot up but you'll need to give it a stir because you can yeah. see that the obviously the glitter will settle yes. so give it a stir yeah. honestly these but i mean you can see that medium is super clear it really so when it's painted is, yeah. on, you're only going to see the glitter. Yeah. And that's the point again. Use it with a brush, sponge it on. You can put this onto glass, tin, wood, all those different porous and non-porous surfaces again. Great with your stencils if you want that shimmery effect in the background. Just gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Oh, I Love really... Love it to mix together as well. These are just delicious. These will make such a good gift as well. They really would. And they? Now, because it's already mixed um, in that, um, in sort of a, a medium, it it does mean you'll be able to, yeah, you'll be able to put them through your stencils. You'll be able to, to put them on loads of different surfaces. You don't need to worry about finding an adhesive for, uh, to no, use these. straight on. So your glass bottles it would be great for, I mean, if you think of Le Blanche, flexible stencils, you oh, know, yes. the ones that will stick and re-stick loads and loads of times. So putting around cylindrical items, 
would be beautiful with that. Yeah, and the colours are stunning. Um, the packaging's beautiful. I mean, they're going to come. I mean, they do look like your posh little jams, <laughs> don't they, to be fair? Which, I'm not going to lie, I go for time and time again. Now, you've got your choices. So your first one was your beautiful glitters. These ones, um, so these are more of a, a paste, aren't they? They are. These are like the Inca Gold in a pot. So I, I absolutely love Inca Gold for so many yeah. reasons. And I'll talk about these more at demo. Uh, we do have Inca Gold on as well in the larger pots. But if you wanted to try mm. out different colours or you're wanting a selection all in one go, what you can do with this particular product, yeah. again, is endless. So I'll save that for demo and we'll have a bit of a play with these, I think. And the colour palette's beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. And yeah, it the is that you're getting well. amazing. Mm -hmm. It's you're getting all six colours for twelve ninety nine. If you don't and it's a wonderful like intro into the the Inca Gold and what you can do with it. If you'd love to get hold of them, it's working out at just over two pounds a pot. Honestly, it's good value for money. And they do look beautiful. That would make such a nice gift for yourself. Um eight five nine six zero eight is your item number. Only twelve ninety nine. And yeah, the packaging is beautiful, so you'll reuse that as well. Uh, now, please check out that website. We have got other goodies. One of the, the things um, that, oh, and this is lovely stuff, the modelling cream. Now, your modelling cream, really nice, super thick modelling cream. Loads you couldn't do with it, but the colours are divine. Um, if you'd love to get these, £15.99. pence. I mean, you can see the richness of those colours. Um, again, great price. 279380 is your item number. We've also got for are you um, your Maya gold paints and again absolutely sensational I mean the sheen that these will give you just 23 pounds and 96 pence uh, you know you've got your two options there um, so that's your your first option there and you've got a champagne you've got gold you've got silver and then you've got the the rouge in that one which looks um, the rose gold even <laughs> um, and then the second option Oh, look at these. These are your jewel tones. So you've got your rose, you've got your magenta, you've got the mauve in there, and then you've got the lilac. Only 23.96, and they are sensational. 120876 is your item number. Now, I'm going to let it to our Catherine go Well, I just nip and get the moulds that I forgot to get earlier. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Go, right. Catherine, go. Thank you very much. Yes, because hopefully I'll get to use those moulds at some point. Now, it is just a bit of playtime for me again today, which is lovely. I think we'll look at the paper mache first, simply because it's a brand new today. And, you know, there's so much you can do with this. So if I open this up, you can see the colour there. Don't worry about the colour, because as this dries, it's going to lighten up a little bit as well. There's a lot of moisture in there. There's so much you can do with it. Obviously, as I said earlier on, if you're working with this and you use it in any depth, then of course it's going to take a little bit longer to dry. The temperature, the humidity will also affect the uh, drying time as well. Now when I did say about it will put a little bit of mess on your hand, all it is, you can see that it's not going to stain, it's not going to, you know, cause any issues as such. It's just going to leave a little bit of um, residue on your hand, so it just washes off with soap and water. So what can you apply this to? Well obviously you can see you can actually make this quite thin. If you wanted to stamp directly into that you could do and let it dry just as it is. Use it as a background, put it straight onto a canvas. But if I just grab, I might have to empty one of these out actually. I've got a tin that's just got all sorts of things around the edge of it. But if you wanted to use this to apply directly to a jar or a tin, you don't need any glue you can literally just press that on. Now you can get a texture if you want, you can make it very, very smooth if you want, so it's entirely up to you on the finish. If you've got texture plates or stamps again, you can of, of course print into this as well. So if you wanted, let's say, um, let me think, something like a, a wood grain or a stone effect would look beautiful. And you can see because there's lots of moisture in the paper mache you can see there how I'm just smoothing that out just by running over with my hand if that starts to dry a little bit just add a little bit of moisture to your fingertips you can really really smooth that out now the only stamps I've got here at the moment are of course uh, the new ones which are ideal for you know putting putting detail in there but if you wanted to just use the edge of a palette knife or something I'm just going to create kind of a stone effect maybe here and then when this is dried, you can, of course, go over the top with all your paints. You know, you've got lots and lots of ways of working with this. So just very briefly, just to show how easy it is to mark that, 
you can do that with it. It's the same with the paper clay, actually. You can work with it in the same way. If you wanted to mould this, I'll just grab a little bit more. So if I wanted to uh, make little stones that are three-dimensional, of course, you can do that as well. So if you wanted to build a little stone wall. So I always go back to the fairy houses because I love building them. Uh, but you can make such lovely decorations. So all the windows, the doors, the stonework, the pathways. Really, really, really nice. So there we are. I'm just building a little, a little wall there. <laughs> now, I am going to try this in the moulds as well when Leone has brought them in. So we'll come back to that. But we've got so much to play with. I am just going to put that to one side for a moment. Just give my hands a wipe because I do want to move on to some of the gift sets. We'll start with the holographic and then we'll go on to the um, the paste. So you do get those six lovely colours. Thank you, Leonie. Oh, she's got loads of milk for me to play I'll with. give you choice, my <laughs> friend. Now, one thing... Oh, I knew, I'd, I knew I should have checked these before I came. Don't do what I do when I'm demonstrating <laughs> and not clean around the edge. Can you see where I've scraped off the palette knife it will set your lids on. If you do that, just boil some water up and dip while the lid's on, obviously. Dip that into some hot water and that will release it. So that one seems to be set on. I'll try and get that off in a little while. Now, if I just show you this one again, you can see it really does sort of settle the glitter. It does sink a little bit and you can see that um, cloudiness, that milkiness at the top there. So definitely, definitely give it a good stir, as Leonie did Ooh, say earlier. Oh, that looks good. Oh, it's really, really nice. Um, I'm just going to say, 10% of the stock has gone, Catherine. Ooh. It is a really nice the consistency. It's not, um, it's not too, like, um, fluid. It's not too fluid at all. Um, let's see if I can get another one open. Let me go with what colour. I'll we'll go with the silver and the gold, I think. So if I just stir this one, I tend to use the ends of paintbrushes for stirring a lot. I'll just give this a stir as well. Absolutely beautiful. Might just go with a third colour. So the suspension will dry clear and you're going to be left with the glitter. I do have a little swatch that I did beforehand so I can show you the effect that you're getting. But this is going to work on so many different surfaces again. How many of these have I sealed up? All of them, probably. <laughs> right, I've opened... I don't know the colour of this one. It's the blue. I don't know if it's midnight or something. You get them all anyway, so it doesn't... Sapphire blue, is it? No, is it? We get two blues in this set, don't we? Might be sapphire blue, yeah, because it's a darker blue, isn't it? So it's absolutely beautiful. I see what you mean about uh, having yeah. to oh, it might be anthracite. watch cleaning it. Yeah, yeah, it does look like it could be an anthracite. <laughs> Okay, so I've that's got three, three colours there. Because that's like a grey, isn't it? It's, it's like gorgeous, a grey absolutely blue. absolutely gorgeous. If I just grab a piece of card, and we'll just go... Well, that's a bit of a mucky piece of card. Uh, let me find a stencil as well. Do you want, I've got you these out if you want them. Oh, thank you, Leonie. Now, you may have these stencils because we've had them on previous shows. So I'm just going to grab... Oh, are these Viva Decor ones? One of them. They are Viva Decor, Beautiful. yeah. See, we've this is another thing Viva Decor do exceptionally well, stencils. They do some beautiful stencils. They absolutely do. Now, try not to contaminate your pots, but I am just going to use the one spatula. So, with a stencil, obviously straight onto wood, onto MDF, onto um, whatever surface you want, really. Again, porous and non-porous. Mm. I love doing the mixes because you always get different results. Plus, you can see more than one colour. So, a little bit of the silver there. Then I'm going to go with a little bit of the gold as well and just blend those in together. I'm only doing a little swatch here just so you can see the effect and then I'll show you one that's dried out. And then we'll go with a little bit of the the blue or the, uh, the anthracite there. So this is nice, actually. If you just wanted to pick out a little bit of detail, you yeah. know, if you've got your rice papers or your decoupage yeah. again and you want to add a little bit of detail on there, if I just peel that away, it is yeah. so lovely. And, of course, you're going to get a different effect on yeah. your black card or your coloured card as well. It's a beautiful glitter. What I really love is. about that as well, obviously because it's in the suspension, you're not going to get any shedding, but it's it's a really good consistent glitter. Like that has yeah. given you a, a full shine, hasn't it? It has. Now this is obviously dry. You can, you can hear it scratching, mm. but as you say, that's not going to shed yeah. because it's in that suspension and it's really, really tough, really yeah. tough. So if you are applying to your jars and things, it is great for that. Talking of jars, I just have got our director might recognise this jar. Uh -huh. 
Is it one of, is it one of our hollies? <laughs> it's one of hollies, yeah. She gave me a bag full of them, and I think this is the last one now. Um, How do you clean your jars? It drives me nuts cleaning jars. Depends how dirty they are and what's on them. Yeah, yeah. Some <laughs> some clean off easier than others, don't they? But some of them drive me nuts. Yeah. I, I do boil it. I do, I do it just, just tend to use, um, yeah, boiling water and so and. Um, Ooh. So, water liquid. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. And then. But just if I'm using if I'm using the outside of a jar. You don't want any grease on there. Yeah. So even if you've used washing up liquids sometimes and just handling the jars, you can get grease. So one of my tricks is uh, what I do with furniture, I use sugar soap. Right, yeah. Because that will, yeah, get, that rid will get rid of it. Yeah. See, so, now that looks lovely. Now, this is very subtle at the moment because I'm just sponging on. Yeah. And you've got the glitter in there and you've got the clear, of course. But it, will, it will dry it will onto dry. your glass. I'm going to do, I'll continue with this one after that the show and then really we'll see nice. this next time round. If you want to build up the glitter, then put another layer over the top yeah. so you can go yeah. with as many layers as you like. I really like that. So, you know, it's a multi-purpose medium. That's what we've got here. Yeah. Um, now, we are approaching 20% of the stock. If you do want to get it, sorry, it is over yonder. Um, if you do want to get it, please check your baskets out. 20% uh, of that one has now gone 12 .99. I have opened up the other one, so if you want me to show you the colours of the other one, I would be able to do that. It's 859608, your item number. I mean, you can see those colours. I will just sneak gently um, because, I mean, that blue, oh, yeah. I'm not being funny, but when you see the colours of these, these are absolutely phenomenal. So I know, aren't they nice? It were worth taking them out of the packaging, because look at that. They are just delicious. And look at the last one. Last but not least, champagne. Um, now, if you do want to get hold of that, remember you have got your choices. There's loads of ways you can use those as well. That blue's my favourite, favourite. That's just divine. Um, and it is a beautiful gift set. It just looks so, so pretty. But it's a really good way of being able to get all those colours. Um, £12.99, you have got your choice. You've got your glitters or you've got the beautiful paste. Five, nope, eight, five, nine, six, zero, eight, your item number uh, for those. Obviously, check your baskets out on everything else. Uh, Catherine has got another show at 11, 10, at 10, not 11. Uh, so make sure you tune in then as well. Are you ready for more? Yeah, more. I'm going to show you a little bit with those, actually, because, again, they're multi-purpose. Obviously, I love them with moulds. This particular mould, it is one of the Zuri ones. Actually, I covered that with the rusty patina. Oh, that looks ace. Yeah, so if I hold this to the camera, we can get in nice and close. Oh, yeah. I didn't use the, you know the patina bit that I said has got the mica in? Yeah. The runnier one. I didn't use it all over, so what I did with this was go over the top with the rusty first, and then the patina, I picked out areas, and you've really, really got that shimmer in there that, so, it catches so the is light. that shimmer from the patina the more orangey shimmer definitely is yeah. then there's a little bit of the product that i'm going to use now on the top but only a tiny tiny bit wow so we'll just add a little bit more color to this one just to show you again you know the versatility of the products we've got so the little jars the fact that we have got six different colors and i've taken the lid off them all so you can see the colors mm. there's two of them these are going to last as well oh, last you only need a little bit don't you you really really do it is honestly leonie it's the best way if you've never had any of these products before if you like the inca golds go for this if you haven't got anything and go for these colors the fact that you've got a gold in there a blue you've got the light colors you've got the the colors that you really want to make yeah. the metallic features stand out on certain items the green is absolutely beautiful as yeah. well yeah so if i just wanted to go with a little bit of the gold over the top of the patina. I mean, the, the apricot would work lovely as well. Yeah. Um, just to highlight a little bit more of the detail on the mould. I mean, that's all you need to do. And these, it's the tiniest bit tiniest you're using, Catherine. Tiniest little bit, yeah. And the fact that these are water-based as well. We often refer to them as waxes, but they're not actually. They are water-based paste. Yeah. So they're going to clean off. If you don't like what you've done, you can actually wipe it away with a damp cloth right. and start again. But once it has dried and it doesn't take long to dry, you can also buff it up and really bring the sheen out. But it's not just about rubbing onto moulds and bringing the detail out that way. You've got so much more you can do with this. Yeah, so for instance, that looks amazing, by it, the way. That know, sheen it, it is, really is amazing. Beautiful, isn't it? 
Let me just hold that because I've just added a little oh, bit of the gold. Oh, yeah, look at that. I mean, you can tell from when you showed us before. Yeah. That is absolute, And you used a tiny, tiny bit. Tiny, tiny bit. Just while I'm here, actually, let me... This is another Azuri one. This was. This is resin. And right. it was a two... I did, did it in two colours. Yeah. But again, just to bring out a bit of detail, let's go with a bit of that blue. Oh. See the blue, the gold, I'm the mix silver. This, actually. Any will work on that one. Let's it? just blend one or two different colours. We've got. Let's go with a bit of the, the silver then. <laughs> I, I love, love, love blending. And all you need to do is just it changes everything. You know, mm. you can go with one colour, yeah. two colours, three colours, all of the colours in the set. I really like that silver. Actually, that's where that silver very, looks very amazing. Nicely. And it, it's amazing. It does just make it pop, doesn't it? And yeah. again, you are using the teeniest bit on your finger. The and tiniest. If amount, you yeah. find when you're doing things like this, if you find that you get a little bit. Um, you know, you're not getting the, the detail, you're sort of just getting clumps of it. Get rid of some of it, because some people pick it straight up and go on. You don't want to be doing that. Like, no. you're getting rid of some on the, the I actual am, I'm glass tapping mat. it onto the mat. And it, we do say, use your middle finger, because you put less pressure on that way. You right. tend to overdo it with your, with your forefinger. Another thing I like to do is use a brush to put this on as yeah. well, because you can almost dry brush it on. Yes. And that way as well, you can pick out detail. Oh, I like the green now. Yeah, the so I'm changing my mind all the time. <laughs> I keep it in one colour and then go with another. Yeah, but they work. They do. Um, now, they, uh, we have had a question. So, regarding the um, the water based, yeah. Are they reactive after drying? So, once they've dried, um, will they be will they be permanent? Because it's water based, if you were to wet it and rub it hard, you may lift the colour off. So, as you, once you buff it up, it mm. kind of puts that sheen on it. It will be protected more yeah. you could remove it but you'd have to rub it really really hard yeah if yeah. you wanted to put these outside you can do but you would have to seal it yeah so seal over the top yeah and you'll be good yeah. to go it's like if you're putting them on a, a non-porous thing you know put if you want them to to last then yeah put your varnish on or something yeah. like that but otherwise i mean for stuff like this they're absolutely perfect and look at the colors and you can see the green you know what I mean? You can see the blue, you can see the silver. Because I don't know about you, but when you use some paste and waxes, sometimes you can't actually identify the different colours. No. But you can see the green yeah. on that. That looks beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I love that, I, Catherine. Um, yeah, if you do want those, again, amazing prices. We will get down to them. I'm going to do you a quick reminder of what we've got. I will be quick so we can get back to Catherine. Uh, but, yeah, we'll get back to them in a second. So, first of all, uh, the wonderful paper masher. So... I remember with this, you can create such texture. I mean, it is amazing. You can then colour it when it's dry and you can create, as the packaging suggests, some amazing 3D effects. Um, if you do want to get a hold of that, it's ready mixed for you. No faff, no mess. Um, no looking for your blender and then having to do paper mache clean up um, from your lovely house blender before you do your soup in it. Uh, £10, go on, who else has done that? £10.99 is your price. 433997 is your item number. And then got bugs in it. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, next one is your paper clay. So different from any, any paper clay I've ever felt, but really interesting product. And obviously, loads you can do with that. Again, it's pre mixed and so no mixing required. 367687 is your item number. We've then got the concrete. I love the concrete. With this, this is in a powder format, which means you will be mixing this when you get it home, but it is easy to mix. And you can see that you will be getting more than we've got. We've had to uh, dip into this because obviously they didn't send Catherine anymore. I don't know what they were thinking. Uh, but, I mean, I mean, you know, we can't re-magic the product back once we've used it. Um, £9.99 is your price for that. That's 711055, your item number, if you want to get hold of that. Now, your acrylic paints, you've got three different sets to use on. The black, the white, and the nature, which is a beautiful kind of beige. Um, you've got that beautiful pea green, the turquoise, and then that really dark fern green, which is gorgeous. And then you've got the blue, the red, or the yellow. Only £10. 
£9.99 £9 acrylic, so they will go on loads of different surfaces. 014488, your item number. You've then got the slate. I really like the look of this. Uh, the slate paste. It's going to give you that beautiful dark um, grey black, which looks amazing. I mean, super thick, as you can see there. And of course, like Catherine said, once this dries, it's going to, A, you can create some beautiful texture with that, but I love the fact that you can use your chalk on it as well. So, yeah, you can do some lovely home decor with that. 11.99, that's 739644. Um, I'm talking a lovely home decor effect, so your ceramic effects. And then it's ace products like this, because you might be trying to upcycle like an awful plastic tub. Do you know what I mean? And you want it to look different, you want it to look beautiful. These will create that wonderful ceramic effect. So for upcycling, absolutely amazing. But of course, you might be stenciling, etc. with these. Only £10.99 uh, pence your price. 871317. Now the rusty effect. Um, you've seen... Um, um, on one of those wonderful molded embellishments. It's just one of those that looks so effective. Um, I like the fact that you have got it in a, a kit, so obviously if you're buying it as a gift, but also it does mean you have got instructions. So the instructions will help you, they'll inspire you, but they will get you started. So it's not going to sit there where you're thinking, I can't remember what to do. So you get the actual paste, first of all, which is really nice and uh, thick again. It's got that lovely uh, colour. And then you do get the patina over the top that will give you mm, 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 that beautiful sheen and honestly it's such a nice kit is that um, if you'd love to get hold of that quality and of course you have got your six sponges as well for 9.99 that is 9.7080 We've then got the stamps now, brand new today, really gorgeous designs. So you've got the beautiful grasses, all those foliage, and then you've got the florals as well. Uh, you're getting a lot of stamps for your money here. Uh, 28 stamps altogether, £9.98. Uh, that is uh, 216, no it isn't, 206125. Five. And then last but by no means least, we've got the beautiful gift sets. And yeah, these are really pretty. Beautifully packaged. And of course, the, the contents are amazing. So your first one, you've got your glitters. The glitters, I mean, yeah, you've already seen how amazing these are. And it is the colours. The colours are just beautiful. Now, 30% of the stock has gone with your glitters, uh, £12.99. You've then got those wonderful pastes, and you've seen how quick and easy they are to use. The colours are just divine. And with something like this, I like the fact that you can get all six colours for just £12.99. You know, if you were buying your big pots of your, your Inca Gold, um, I, I think your big pots, how much would a big pot be? Are they about four or five quid each? So £17.99 for three. For this one, £12.99. And you are, so the £5.99 each. I mean, once you love a product and you know it, yes, you want your bigger pots. But this is your taster size. This is getting you started. This is so you know what to do with it. And it's also getting all those amazing colours straight away so you can find your favourite favourite. Uh, £12.99, just over uh, £2 a pot. So brilliant value for money. That is 859608. Um, please check the website out for all the other wonderful Viva Decor products. Uh, that is studio at thecraftstore.com. But Miss Catherine, what's next? Well, I've just been thinking about that email we had in. What was the lady's name again who asked about uh, reactivating? Marie. 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 I did wonder whether she meant once she'd put it on a product or if it dries on your glass mat. Ah, okay. Because, yes, if it dries on your glass mat, yes, you can definitely reactivate it. In fact, you could make yourself a little paint palette as well. So ah. if you want to use one of the little, you know, the little trays that's got the components in, the compartments in, put a little bit of the paste into those and you can reactivate. Now I put a little bit more paste on my mat here but the blue that I was using, the darker blue, is already dry. It dries very, very quickly. You can see there that is completely dry. So if you wanted to reactivate it and use it in a different way, you can do. So if I just add a little bit of water and you can water this down as much as you like, you'll really see the shimmer coming through. If I just grab a piece of black card first of all. You can use this to make your backgrounds. Of course, this is going to dry beautifully. And again, mix your colours, do your blends. Yeah. So on the black, I'm just going to put that to one side and let it dry. And we'll go with a bit of the white because 
we'll see the you colour get showing quite, You get quite a bit of colour coming off you, that. You do, you? and I mean, if you really, really want to water it down, of course you can get make a, a wash. If you want it darker, look at that. Oh, that's lovely. So, you know, it's entirely up to you how much of the paste you use. If I just rinse it a little bit, just to get... I am going to use the same brush, and it doesn't matter if it mixes, but I've got a little bit of the gold there as well. So, again, this is going to make almost a green, a green gold. Bringing that in again, you can really, really get those blends going. So great for your backgrounds, great for painting as well. I mean, oh, I did that, that very, very quickly with one of the little stamps that we've got on. But just to show, if you want to paint detail in with a fine uh -huh. brush, you can do that as well and really pick out the colour yeah. and that get the effect. That looks really effective. I like the green that you've created as well. That's lush. It, it is lovely, isn't it? Mm. And oh, I don't really want to stick that to paper. I'm going to get one of my stencils again just for a second. And, of course, using your sponges... If you want to pick up any of the paste, and you can go directly with the paste or use a damp sponge and again just stencil through. So think about all the different ways you're going to use this. Something else that you can do with it, and people might find this hard to believe, but it is true. I'll just remove that, you can see how that's done. Oh, yeah, through. I love so you that. get a really nice effect. Um, if you've got wax candles, you can actually apply the paste to wax. Right, okay, Go cool. with one layer, and you can mix the colours, go with one layer quite thinly, it will dry very, very quickly. Then go with a second layer, buff it up when it's dry again, it will give it a really, really nice sheen. Yeah. You can actually burn the candles, it's safe to burn them. Viva wow. Decor, do a kit with the paste in it, all ready to go with some transfers and things. In fact, speaking of transfers, we've also got the... Uh, wax transfer product on as well Ooh. the candle wax you do need a laser print out to be able to transfer but yeah it's meant for wax yeah, yeah, and yeah. i i think i didn't get a chance to do this because i only got the product on friday and i was on shift but in future i'm going to have a go at melting a candle down yeah onto me onto some silicon or something so i can yeah. peel it away quite quickly when it starts because it doesn't take long to start to set does it yeah. A candle? yeah stamp into it yeah and then go with the wax over the top. You could nice. use it as a background for something. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. don't put it anywhere where the sun's <laughs> going to get on it because it will melt. But use your wax in a different way as well. Yeah. Don't, it doesn't always have to be left as a candle. Yeah, absolutely. It can be used for yeah, many different, different reasons. Yeah, things you can use. Or seal in your envelopes. We've seen that before. Yes. You know, those waxes as well. Yes. Perfect. Yeah, beautiful. I yeah. I've never even thought of using it on the candle. Um, yeah, do check your baskets out with those gift sets because those gift sets are super, super busy. Um, and the candle transfer wax. Um, oh, now this is interesting stuff. See, this is what Viva Decor do. They do some really cool, interesting products. So your um, your beautiful transfer wax, fourteen ninety nine. Again, you're getting two big pots there, two 50ml pots, 341401, your item number, fourteen ninety nine. Right, Miss Catherine, next okay. please. Right, another favourite product of mine Ooh. is the modelling cream. I absolutely love this stuff. Now, I am going to check to see if we can get this in other colours for next time. Um, I hope, I hope they do do it in other colours. I think they might do, you know. But this set is absolutely beautiful. And price-wise, again, look at the price we've got. At £15.99, you're getting five pots. And they're big pots, these, then, yeah, Catherine. These are absolutely beautiful. Again, the consistency is amazing. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to take all the lids off again. I love this for so many reasons. Again, you can use this through your stencils onto porous and non-porous surfaces. Um, it will dry like a skin, and that's why I wanted to borrow some of your moulds as well. I'm going to put some into some moulds, so you can peel away. Stamperi moulds is great for this. But not only that, this will go onto fabric as well, which I adore. If I just show you this here, and it looks very creased up, that's simply because, look. Oh, yeah. So it has got, um, it'll basically, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's it doesn't flexible. crack, it's flexible. It, yeah, Thanks, yeah, it's flexible. <laughs> <laughs> now, I did say last time I brought this on that I would try washing this piece, and I did forget to do it. So I haven't put it through the washing machine, and you can def definitely put it into water, and yeah. it won't come away. Yeah. But at a, a certain heat, it, you may find it did. So I'm not saying it's going to work on your T-shirts that you're going to keep throwing in the wash, but if you're wanting to decorate, you know, your fabric covers, yeah. your, your that um, looks amazing. journals. Yeah, and the shine is beautiful. It is beautiful. And this here is on black. 
black. Now, this isn't black card. I've got to try and remember the name of this. This is the pro product that Rosella brought to us. You can stitch it. It's a little bit like the stone ah, card that like you have. I like the stone paper that, the stone yeah, paper, stone yeah. Paper, yeah. So you can stitch through it. You can sew it. You can flex it. But look again. That looks how beautiful. How flexible that is. And look at the sheen. It that almost you looks like you've put um, gold foil on it. It does, yeah. It doesn't yeah. look like it's a paste. It does. Let's have a go with some fabric then, just to show how... I mean, this is red, which is gorgeous. I am going to use one of your stencils here. Let's have a go with this one. Beautiful. Now, these are... Let's see if I can get the back off. Right, okay. I'll put. make sure I put that back, Leona, don't no, worry. No problem. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and again, I love, love, love to blend the colours. So that's what I'm going to do again here. So because we've got five different colors why not just go with all of them so um let me start with we'll start with the silver i would give a stir to these as well give them a, a nice stir i am going to put some of this into one of these stamperia molds or onto one of the yeah. the more shallow ones so for 10 o'clock hopefully it will have dried and we can peel this away so again great for your textured yeah. backgrounds yeah so we'll just go with a little bit of the silver first. Really popular these. In fact, almost 20% of the stock has gone. Yeah. And again, sponge, paint, use a palette knife. Those sponges are just brilliant. If you're going for the rusty set, yeah. keep the sponges. Don't just use it for the rusty. Use it for whatever you wish. I'm just going to clean off that a little bit just so I'm not contaminating. Let's go. I'm going to go with the black they one next. They look super smooth. They're beautiful I mean, consistency. Yeah, they, it just goes on so easy. So again, I'm just kind of blending across and uh, oh, to catch that a little bit. Try not to do what I've just done and catch the, the mould because you don't want that to seep underneath. But really, really that nice. That is the nice I'm thing about the adhesive moulds, isn't it? Hopefully you should... Yeah. Be protected. Hopefully. So we've got a little bit of crossover with the silver there. Do you, know, do you know what I found I'm doing recently with Viva? I'm trying to be really sparing with it because <laughs> I just love everything so much. I don't want to waste it. And every time we have a show, I tend not to get everything <laughs> sent. So I'm trying to make sure it lasts. <laughs> right, let's go with... Next we'll go with... Oh, shall we go with the copper? Yeah, oh, that copper is beautiful. This is absolutely good. I'm going to try and get a bit of everything in here. And I do like when they blend. Yeah. I just think they look absolutely divine. They really, really do. So again, I'm trying not to put too much on because I can't put this back in the pot with blending too much without contaminating. I want a little bit of that black just coming through there. Oh, I do like that copper. Yeah, I like the copper. Even with the black, even merged with the black, it looks yeah. amazing. And I mean, this is the thing we, we use in a product like this, you know, the, you merge them so you get so many other colours, you create so many different looks. You definitely do. We'll go with the gold next. Um, so we'll just, yeah, we'll just have a little bit of the gold here. And again, I, I think I did say it, non-porous and porous surfaces. Yeah. So use your sponges, use your brushes, go onto your glass. Because these stencils are flexible, again, you can obviously put them around uh, shaped ornaments or vases. Yeah. Um, so do have a play with these. What colour have I use? I haven't used this one. We've got the bronze now as well. So you've got all those wonderful metallic colours. Yeah, and it is a good solid metallic. I mean, these are your proper metallics. Yeah. I like as well. I mean, all that stencil. No, you're you're making sure you've hardly got any. You know, you're you're cleaning up after yourself. But they they do. Um, sometimes when you're using product, you find that with your stencil, you know, your stencil still got a lot of product on it. Yes. Yeah. That that has you really. Yeah. The stencil beautiful. I really should do what you do and clean up with that. Uh -huh. Spritz it with water as well. These are water-based, yes. so you can, yeah. again, use those in so many different ways. Let's just peel this uh, away. 30% of the stock has gone of these. Oh, now, Catherine, that's divine. This obviously isn't dry yet, but as it dries, we'll see it at 10 o'clock. But the shimmer you mm. get of that. But look, when you blend, you get a different result every yeah, single do. time. And you never get a hard line, do you? You yeah. just get that automatic blend so you can go through from completely different colours or blend them gradually, you know. So you, if you just wanted to use the anthracite and the silver there, yeah. you'd start maybe with the silver or the, bla or the blacker one and then shade it, you know, mix it so that as you go right through yeah. you're going from dark to light that or light to dark so good. with that natural progression absolutely beautiful i love 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 this product I, it's one of my all-time favorites mm. i'm going to do what uh, you do leona because 
That's your because stencil, you not mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, also because I love seeing what prints you can get. Yeah, I haven't got any water, but um, we'll see. We'll see if it lifts off, but I will. Oh, nice. Love yeah, that. that's absolutely cool. beautiful. Absolutely yeah, that's beautiful. lovely. Love it. Oh, yeah. The shimmer in that is just Yeah, gorgeous. they are gorgeous. Now, if you do want them, you get in big pots of colour. You get in five pots there. Um, and, yeah, they just they look so creamy. Um, for £15.99, obviously flexible products as well. Stunning colours. Um, so many uses. I love the fact you can go on non-porous elements as well. 279 40% of the stock has gone. Remember, our Catherine has got another show at 10 o'clock. It is only 10 to 8. I mean, it's only <laughs> 10 to 8 um, and it is busy. So please check your baskets out because 10 o'clock will no doubt be busy. Uh, so get it now while we've got it in stock. Okay, shall we come back to you, Catherine? Because okay. I'm old. Well, because we haven't got long left and I've, I love this product so much and you did make the effort, Leonie, to go and get me those uh -huh. Stamperia moulds. I am actually now applying this onto one of the moulds. Now, I wouldn't put this into the really deep moulds. It, it would dry eventually, but it'd take days and days uh -huh. and days. But I wouldn't want to put so much in and, and yes. I don't want it to last. I don't yeah. want these to run out. You've got big pots here, but, you know, you want it to last, don't you? You want to use it on all those different projects. So what I am trying to do here is, again, another blend. And I must make sure that, you know, I'm not just into the crevices of the mould there. I need to make sure as I peel this back as a, a skin later on, it is going to stay you know, more or less in one piece. But again, I just love the fact that you can use all of the different colours together and get those lovely, lovely effects. Yeah. I'm loving this bronze, actually. That's that, really and it works colour. so beautiful. And the thing is with something like this, I mean, you're using it as a skin in a mould, but it'll create a beautiful skin in its own right, won't it? It will. Well, that's what I'm hoping for, for 10 o'clock. Hopefully it will have dried. We'll try it out. We'll, we'll test it out at 10. Yeah. Uh, but you've seen on the fabric how flexible it actually yes. is, how it doesn't crack. So if you wanted to just to use this to spread onto one of these texture plates or one, to, one of these Stamperia moulds, texture plates would work beautifully. We have sold lots of them, again, from Zuri in the past. So if you've yeah. got those use your paste onto those yeah peel it back that would make a lovely front to the a front cover to a yes, notebook or something absolutely. again you can cut it with scissors yeah you know so you can shape it so you've got um all those different things you can do as well. Do you know what else you could do with this as well? I, I keep thinking I must do this, but you know when you do a show and you think about it and you say yeah. it, and then you forget well, until you come back and you think, well, why didn't I do that? <laughs> yeah. If you just spread some of this onto a piece of silicon or um, a mixed media mat, something that's non-stick, not paper because you're mm. not gonna peel it back, and then make little cut out shapes. You could actually die cut this yeah. if you made it thin yeah. enough. You could yeah. die cut it, use your flowers, mold it into flowers, make it more yes. dimensional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can give it a bit of a stretch yeah. actually. Yeah, because you... it has got that movement in of it. Of course, it yeah, splitting. because it's got that flexibility. So you could create beautiful flowers with it as well. What colour haven't I used? The gold. My gold. I love that gold. I love I products like, like this because it. it's when a product will allow you to do so many different things. Yeah. Oh, we've only yeah. got two and a half minutes Just left. It's gone so quick. A little quick. bit more of the darker one there. So I don't want to use this like a stencil. I'm, I'm so used now to trying to be uh -huh. uh, <laughs> thrifty with it that I'm, I'm scraping it away. And really, I don't want to scrape it all away with this one. But we've got that blend going on again there. We'll leave that and we'll see that at 10 o'clock. Hopefully, it will be dry enough Amazing. to peel it away. I hope so. I Not hope in this so. studio. I really at hope one. so. You need to put it somewhere <laughs> a bit warmer than yeah. in here. Yeah. Um, now, you do need to be checking your baskets out. Um, we've only got literally about two minutes left or something. Um, <clears throat> so if you do want your um, the moulds, the paste, that uh, our Catherine will be showing us. Yeah, these have been uh, so busy. In fact, two thirds of the stock has gone so busy. The beautiful two seven nine. 380 your item number so much you can do with these 1599 so it's a great price for big pots as well um now we have only a minute and a half um shall i just touch on as many products as i can yeah uh, so first of all you've got your paper mache big tub a liter tub there and again pre-mix and no faff no mess at home 10 pounds and 99 pence loads of things you can do with a paper mache um, and great for doing home decor 433997 We've also got the paper clay, again, pre-mixed, ready to go. That is a white um, clay as well, which does, as it dries, you can see, 
it starts to look even more white as it dries there. Um, that is twelve ninety nine. <clears throat> Sorry, three six seven six eight seven. It'll last till the end. Then we've got the concrete. If you do want the concrete ready to mix, and this stuff is well cool. Use it in all your moulds. Honestly, it looks so good. Seven one one zero five five. Um, Anything uh, people need, Catherine? What 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 do you <laughs> what do you say? Do not miss out on this. <laughs> you need it all. Now, don't miss out. I would definitely say go for the concrete. Yeah. I think the paper mache is going to be great, and the children can get involved in that as well because there's so many mediums you can throw at it afterwards. Oh, definitely the gift sets. Don't yeah. miss out on those. Definitely the gift sets. We didn't touch on the slate and the ceramic. I'll try and bring that in at 10. I really love those products as well. The paints are amazing if you need to stock up on your colours. I think I have covered almost everything there, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so basically, yeah, yeah you'll love it all. Um, Catherine, thank you. So we'll see you again at 10, my love. Yes. Thank you. Um, make sure you tune in then. Coming up next, um, it is Studio Lights, um, Jenny's Mindful Art, and it looks gorgeous over there with our hairline. We've then got Simply Vintage, which is also looking amazing, and then back to Viva Decor. Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. We design everything in-house and we manufacture in the UK. We produce tutorials to inspire you to get the most from our products. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons, and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. We aim to inspire you, to be educational, and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show, so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. o'clock in the morning so it's a brand new fresh look at our one day special that was launched last night at six o'clock to resounding success it's not surprising really because it's studio light and of course when we talk about studio light we've got fabulous lou with us with me good morning lou how are you doing morning i'm good i'm good, good. i've been up since five messing about because i've really been enjoying the stuff so i get back to me like I don't know, you get creative, don't you, with some things, and you just, oh, I could do this, this, and this, so, That's yeah, true. I'm really good, excited. Uh, especially with a one-day special like this, I mean, yeah. this is amazing. Now, we've seen the artwork of, is it Janine or Jenny? I'm not too sure of pronunciation. The, well, when I listen to how they say it, it's pronounced more like Jenny, 
Janine. Yeah. Janine. Oh, that's yeah, very exciting. Love it. There we go. Well, uh, we've probably got... all wrong. As well, probably all wrong, I'm going to copy, say it, I'm gonna copy that, you um... and then I can blame you. <laughs> Janina's <laughs> Janine Janine one day special is an amazing deal. Details are on your screen. It's been a resounding success already. Um, very, very busy for this one. During the launch, at 8 o'clock last night, and through our nighttime repeats, because, of course, lots of you have been watching through the night. So much so that the first live hour of the day, I'm telling you that we are rapidly approaching half of the stock having gone. Now, this is stock that is designed to last right the way through until 6 o'clock tonight. Whether it will or not, I don't know. But... I would say get in nice and early to take advantage. Now, you've got a bumper bundle here. You've got 43 stamps, as you can see. You've also got your four stencils, but they all work so beautifully together. Kind of got that, um, that floral element with this one. Almost like a vintage style of floral, mm. I think, with this one. D don't you agree, Lou? Yeah, and, and Janini, with her mindfulness, really sort of concentrates on yes. trying to give that vintage feel. But everything that's on the stamps is echoed on the stencils. So oh, I like right. that combination so yeah. that you can extend ideas and things. So I think that really works well. And there's little tiny bits of it that you think, oh, look at that text. I could put that there. Or, yes, yeah. yeah. And I love the stencils. I mean, the stencils, as you look in there, you've got different elements, mandalas. You've almost got like a damask element there. You've got a corner that's almost got little hearts hidden away in it. Very, very clever design. Now, let me show you what you're getting because the details obviously have been on the screen there showing you savings. But the savings on your screen, you're actually saving more than you think because what we've got is little sets for you. So these are little pairings. So we've got four pairings. So we're going to go through those individually. Now, you can see £11.98 will get you one of the amazing stencils with all that fine detail detail in there and a stamp set now they've all got different item numbers so this particular one is the sunflower and the script and if you want in those as a pairing then you can do 11 pounds and 98 pence so you're saving three pounds there you'll need to bear in mind those three pounds because we're going to be collecting those as we go so as you look at the next set again a beautiful design this one's almost got those kind of mandalas or half mandalas in here little bits of butterfly featuring in there and this one is called the dahlia and grunge so 11 pounds and 98 pence again a pairing of a beautiful Beautiful stencil alongside a beautiful stamp set so you kind of get a little feel for that another three pounds we're up to six pounds already with a saving remember keep hold of those then as we work our way forward you can see the other two sets that are appearing in the one day special so this particular one as you can see here the beautiful peony i do love peonies peonies are what i call value for money flowers you're getting a lot of flower for your money aren't you with a peony with those big blooms there um, and of course it's a decorative um i love this particular stencil. decorative in lots of different capacities as you can see there again with this particular one you're looking at 13 pounds and 98 pounds um, and with this one, you've got another three pounds saving. So I think that takes us up to about nine pounds. Stamp set on that one is slightly larger than some of the others, which is why you've got that difference in the price with those. Next one again, you've got a large stamp set, and again alongside a beautiful stamp. Um, sorry, beautiful um, stencil. It's like a little ditzy one that one, isn't it? Love that one. Again, another three pounds saving. Thirteen pounds and ninety-eight pence, bringing our savings to twelve pounds. So we're going to take those £12 with us and have a little look at the one day special because this is where that £12 is added to with regards to a discount. So on your screen there you can see in addition to the £12 you are saving a further £3. See how it works? So that means that you are saving £15 overall with your one day special. Not the £3 which on, on your screen, which to be honest looks a bit stingy when you first look at it, doesn't it? So it's actually £15 in total you're going to be saving and that brings it right the way down to £48.92. But I know many of you are now Freedom members. We had our event a couple of weeks ago. Lots of you became brand new Freedom members and this is a perfect opportunity for you to take advantage of the discounts because in addition to the £12 that we were talking about, you are saving a further £7.89p, which actually equates to £19 and 18p? 89p. Sorry, I couldn't hear properly. I'm not going to lie. I didn't even attempt to do it in my head. But mm -hmm. think about it. We were looking at some of these sets. They're 13 98 So it's almost as if you're getting one of those sets as a bonus and you're still getting a further discount if you're a Freedom member. £44.03 is your price on this one if you are a Freedom member delivered to your door. And you have to say, Lou, that is a phenomenal deal. It is. And I was looking at all the elements in it at the price. It's just just under a pound an element and i know you might think oh well a little stamp but when you've got a big stencil at the same price yeah. it's 
and that that peony as you said change, depending on color you can change yeah. what it looks like I, I mean, love them. it looks like a them. kind of in um, English tea rose as well with those large exactly. heads, doesn't it? Yeah. I was thinking of that. Yeah. yeah, you could like the, the real fluff. I call them fluffy. That's not the yeah. right word, but <laughs> I know what but, you I mean. mean. You like the edging looks like stitching, and then yeah. you can see that some of the girls have got stitching as well, which beautiful. I love seeing what people come that's up it. with. I just think it's great because you can just, like I always say, steal the ideas. Well, that's it. Everybody shares, don't they? And the sunflower, I mean, yeah. sunflowers, um, obviously synonymous with certain charities. Then are nice Absolutely. happy flowers well, because, I mean, the word yeah. sun is enough to brighten your day, isn't it? So, yeah, straight away. Yeah, they yeah. The colours, they, they make you cheerful. And I, I just think that's nobody can be offended by flowers. Because we've got a lot of male gardeners and things. And, oh, yeah. You know, people... Don't have to think that. They just think, oh, flowers are for... for it's not. It's non-gender specific. See, this is another Lovely. one that I love. Little pansies. Pansies are kind of cute, happy little flowers as well. We seem to sort of... Them and snowdrops, they seem to push themselves up in front of all sorts of problems. Exactly. This is as well, isn't it? All the, this, well, the colours. They're little but mighty, aren't they? And I think that's something yeah, that we can yeah. all take um, solace from. So, there you go. Gives you an idea of what you can be creating with these. And we are incredibly busy. Don't forget, if you're wanting to spread the cost, you can do. As a Freedom member, that means for your investment of £22.02p and today, you will get everything sent, delivered to your door. Second payment in a month's time. But what an amazing collection. There's only one other thing that I need to mention, and that's your extended delivery. Because we're looking at an international company. So, we're looking at the 24th of May. So, if you're wanting to get hold of these, the details are there on your screen. 747615. We're going to see more from these um, in a few moments. We'll get um, Lou get herself organised and we'll come back to Lou in just a few moments. I'm going to tell you some other goodies that you may want to add into your basket. And the reason I know because lots of you already are. So these are beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Big stamps. Huge stamps. Now, don't be afraid of big stamps because they give you lots of opportunity, lots of um, areas for you to add your colour to. So if you're into your water colouring, absolutely perfect working with your paints with your pencils talking of paints we've got some amazing palettes coming up during the show as well but what an affordable way for you to get hold of your 11 stamps and you can see here i mean we've got an a5 size well actually it might be a little larger than that um a5 card yeah i think it is a5 we don't know actually it might be a4 i think it's a4 isn't it actually big stamps look at that beautiful and i love the pink tone with these irises quite often you see those kind of purples and yellows don't you but nice little um, twist on it then you've also got things like your jasmine um, or your arabian jasmine should i say you've got your tulips and you've got your cosmos as well absolutely beautiful throughout these i mean tulips again another really happy flower now it has been a popular bundle this particular one so i will warn you that 40 percent of the stock has gone beautiful design and I love this one. You know how I love my fabric, but have a look at that. Painted onto fabric as well. Absolutely brilliant. £26.46p. You could add these in alongside the one-day special. Spread the cost of these as well. Works out to somewhere about £13.25p, there or thereabouts. Um, so 86, um, sorry, 890-695 if you fancy getting hold of those. They just work so well together. And you've also got illustrations on the packaging, which I'll show you later on, to help you with your adding your colour if you're wanting to. Now, something that I kind of honed in when we came into the studio is this pick and mix of paper pads. These are brilliant. I love these. Now, you're going to choose any two of these. I think you'll be hard-pressed to stop at two because I think you'll be coming in for two and at £10.49, coming straight back in and getting the other two and getting all of them. They are beautiful papers. Now, they're 170 GSM, so really good weight to work with. Um, I love the sizes of these as well. You're looking at some A5, so 14.8 um, by 21 centimetres if you want your metric. So when you hold them that way, it's kind of the top half of an A4 sheet, or the bottom half, depending on where you cut it. Now, you're getting loads in here. This one is your bright, and you're going to get nine um, of those double-sided uh, repeats with these. So you can see there's loads of different colours in there. So abs um, absolutely, sorry, four repeats repeats of the nine colours. I got it the wrong way around, didn't I? Yeah. Four repeats of the nine, but they are double-sided, as you can see. They're slightly tonally different as well, I think you'll, you'll notice with those as we flip through them. It's only a very subtle difference. So it's actually giving you 18 different colours in there, which I think is brilliant. Bearing in mind, you're getting two of these, so it works out at, what, £5.25p per pad. Wow. That is good value. And they're useful because you've got that whole range of different colours. So that one is your bright. Um, approaching 30% of the stock has gone of that one. You've got your pastels, your Christmas and then your naturals. Do we want to have a look through any more of those or should we look at them later? 
OK, we'll give you some updates. Um, we'll have a little flick through later on. So your pastels, you're liking your pastels. 30% of the stock has gone. Kind of pastel season, really, isn't it? Your naturals, which are beautiful, you're liking this one. 40% of the stock. I think these are brilliant for you to stamp on because you've got that neutral tone, haven't you, as a backdrop with those. So I can see where you're going with that particular one. And your Christmas one. I know we call it Christmas and we think, oh, I'm not ready for Christmas. But take Christmas off that title there. And you have got some beautifully muted tones which lend themselves so well to those kind of vintage elements that we've been looking at so if i wasn't to actually put christmas on the title of this pad i think you could look at this one and think it's almost like cool it could be called vintage quite easily quite easily so uh, please don't be discouraged by that title of this particular one but we are rapidly approaching 40 percent of the stock and that is a really nice one i wouldn't even call that christmas to be honest no, definitely more vintage anyway that's not my job. <laughs> my job is just to stand here and tell you about them. So if you want in any of those, and I think, as I said there, you will be going for multiples of them. Is that going to stay? Just about. Um, £10.48, uh, should I say, for two of those, which is brilliant. If you're going for all four of them, and you're adding them in alongside your one-day special, you're still only paying £10.48 today because you can spread the cost over two months. But you'll get all of them. So I would be certainly adding those into my basket. 225 or 180 if you fancy adding those in. Now, we were talking about adding colour to those stamps and watercolouring pencils. I like working with a palette more so than pencils. I find that I've got a little bit more control with it. Um, and these are beautiful. Now, we will see these in action. Obviously, we're going back to Lou in just a few moments. But just to show you quickly and speedily what we've got here, it's a beautiful palette that you can take on your travels with you quite easy. You can get two waterbrush pens that sit in there neatly you've got your little swatch card which is always a brilliant way for you to kind of show those different colors off and then you've got your little pans now these pans they're kind of domed you can see there there is as much paint in there as they possibly could fit in there so they're round full and the beauty of these is these little palettes will come out as well so if you want to take just a certain selection of them then you can and you can actually pop them out there so you can really make them into your own little selection as you go and just take those colors that you're wanting to plenty of room for you to mix your elements as you can see here as well and just a really lovely set at a phenomenal price we've got two different styles of these this particular one half the stock has gone and you're looking at 16 pounds and 99 pence that is a brilliant gift for somebody as well you know somebody that likes their painting definitely add that one into your basket 713597 if you're liking that one so that particular one obviously has got that color range in there um which is beautiful but then we've got another color range with this one um and this one i don't know whether we're giving the match on names these color sets or just Oh, I see. The other one was just essentials, wasn't it? Oh, I see. So this is where, um, Janine's um, uh, own personal choice with these ones. Again, beautiful colours. Again, um, a beautiful collection. And a similar sort of idea where it's a folding palette that you can take on your travels and change those pans around. You can see how much control you've got over the colours of these ones. So this one, again, $16.99. Sorry, what was the update on that one again? What was the update, sorry, on that one? Uh, did you say 60% on the over 60 that's why i wanted to just make sure because it seemed a lot <laughs> it certainly is a lot um so five six seven three seven three if you're wanting to get hold of those they're always popular so i shouldn't be surprised really now lou these paints are incredible aren't they? i mean i can see your palettes yeah. there. they look beautiful i know and, and sometimes it's a bit like anger appeal really when you look at the paint like that i know mine's a bit messy but they're well loved um it's really wise to, to sort of do your own colour swatches because they might look similar, but they're really not. And and these, I was really, really surprised that you've got these colours like the pinks and the purples because I'd have to go out and buy them separately because they're not in your normal pan. It's a bit like the emerald and the night blue. We can see similarities, but this colour, Harmony, you don't get that unless you buy it and it's more like a, a sap green. So keep that in mind. Just the other thing as well, there's an extra palette underneath this. So if you wanted to, I'm not going to pull it out now because I'll never get it back in. Just a little finger hole there and all you do is just pull that and it pops out. So I just wanted to show you what I do. And what I've done is I've gone to my journal. I adore those paper packs. I absolutely adore them. I, to me, the genius. So instead of just doing the book, 
uh, the pan as it is in the colours. I've sort of mixed and matched them, so I've brought the, all the yellows together, just so that you can see all the differences. They are different, so each palette fits together. They're not, you won't get a repeat in anywhere. There might be subtle differences, but they're there. So that helps me, but then also this, because you were saying about Christmas, and this is off the front of the packaging, and all I've done is I just put it next to it and think, wow, look at that. It fits all that, but then that fits that, and it fit. And I was just blown away, and I've been loving these papers. And I, I had a bit spare from the things last night, so I made these collage backgrounds with nice. them. Nice. And this is just three bits of, not half, this is only like little bits, I cut them all together, and I made some great backgrounds. So Never. I don't even want to use or lose the bits. So that's another good little exercise, because if you're stuck for colours, and you think maybe your pastels, you, those. That is clever. I'm not going to lie, Lou, I'm going to steal that. <laughs> yeah, it's a really good way, isn't it? And and I think once you've got that in your head, you can work with it. And what we did last night was we used the panels and we used the stamps. So um, I've here, I've used on the One Day Special, the little pieces. Now, if you look carefully, you'll see there's like cracked ice uh, stamp. There's a little mandala stamp. There's writing and all these elements build up together. So this is the paper ripped. I've got two different colours and I've edged them and what I've done is I've put them between two pieces of paper from the journal oh, and clever. then just made a frame and it's like the beginning of my journal it's like it like you said these flowers make you smile so I then I stamped the actual sunflowers I did the watercolour technique and then just went over it with pencil because sometimes if you can't get it with watercolour a pencil is easier to use for some people, so that works. And then fabric, I put some fabric on here, so it gives it that terracotta sort of feel. I and then it. these are little tiny elements that are, you know, from all the pack, so they all fit together. I so, and then I did is, another one that, that I'm going to work on now. Is that from the journal with the hard cover that you, you've taken those pages yes, from? Because they're good one. sizes, yeah. those. Um, this has been a this popular one. Popular, this. Yeah, yeah, always is. Um, rapidly approaching 60% of the stock has gone. And you've got in here 300 GSM pages. So these are going to be brilliant. So if you are wanting to play, play with your techniques, use your texture yeah. paste. And you've also kind of got like a smooth side and a tooth side to these as well. Yeah, they're, they're not. They're not. They can't be called a watercolor paper because they're not made for that. But ah. I, I'm quite happy to use it. But it's an all-round paper, if that makes sense. Very you can, nice. It takes a lot of abuse, I say. But yeah, so you can see pencil, watercolor. It's worth getting. Yeah. And this is one that I'm going to work on if I get time because I want to lift color. But what I thought I'd do now is, after showing you all that, I have got a selection of things I want to use. These colors I adore. But, like you say, there's a tonal difference, so that if you're a bit unsure about like, matting and layering, don't be worried, because you've got these. I've got some paper out of my pad, I've got some watercolour paper, and I've got this wonderful stamp. Now, use the packaging, because it's an amazing sort of um, inspiration piece, because if you get a bit lost with colours, you don't have to worry, it's all done here. So, I've got a couple of ideas. One of the ideas I did last night was using a ruler to frame my work up. And I don't bother counting, I just use the width of my ruler and then draw lines. And I know I've got that place to play with. I know it might sound a bit, well, why would I need to know that? But sometimes you start trying to measure everything and it all goes skew with. So just using your ruler, it's easier. So I've chosen those two colours. I've got a little stencil now. I've made one out of paper and I've made one. I've got a plastic one. You don't need it. It's just for you. So then I've got the stamp. Now, I chose the stamp because I thought it just goes with the paper. So I put the big iris one here. I'm just going to mask these off and I've got all my stencils. So I'm going to start. If you've got a little bit of gesso, it's even better because you can mix all the paints you've got in your palette with a little bit of gesso and get other colours. Uh, I'm just going to be quite cheeky and just use like these. I can't reach them. Why did I put them over there? Um, some vintage ones, simply because it's easier for me. So I'm going to get a little bit of gesso out, the stencils, and I'm working on these papers. You don't need a lot. All you're going to do is tint your watercolours or tint your, your distressed inks. So just put that on your palette. 
I'll try and put this on something so you can see maybe the back of this here. It's not great because it's plastic. But I'll just put it on there and then I'm just going to add a tiny bit of colour. So I'm going to use the purple so, out oh, okay. of this one so that's now. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting to know. So you can actually use the watercolour palette to change the colour of your gesso. Which of the palettes are you using? Do you know? Right. Let me get this right. This one is the Essentials. Okay. Lovely. Thank you very much. Okay. So I've got the, the amethyst there. Now it doesn't look like amethyst there. You can see the colour there. So there's a big difference. So yeah. that's what I say about making your own swatches. It's so important. And I'm just going to get some water on that. And my advice is when you're going to watercolour, wake them up and by spraying them, get some water in them. And then they're easier to sort of get a consistency with. So all I'm going to do is just put a little bit of that there. You don't need a lot, but you can mix it with the pink if you want, because that colour sort of goes with the pink range. But that yes. colour goes with the purples as well, so it's win-win. Anyway, I'll just move that over. So, got my paper colour, uh, got my paper colour, darker at the front or at behind, you choose. And I'm just going to get a very light stencil on here. So, you can use any one of these. I mean, this is lovely. This corner one is lovely. Here. And they're You've very clever wonderful... in the makeup of these stencils because you're not just getting one design in, so inside no. those sheets. You get, I mean, I can't, couldn't even count them. There's that many different elements in there. Well, this is it. Um, you, you can use any any part of these at any point. You know, you're not fixed into one area, and that's I love that. I just love that. I just think it's brilliant. So I've got this uh, blender, and I'm just going to mix a little bit. I don't want it exact same colour as this but I don't want it too um, bright what I want is a sort of subtle mix between the two so I'm just going to do the first top I'm going to use this handwriting because I think this is always um, nice within the background because you can't sort of make it out but you know it's there yes. and I'm just going to see what colour this is don't take your um, mask off just try and pivot it and see what it looks like and you'll see it's tonal well it would help if I went on it <coughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'm just doing course. the edges, that's it. Yeah, just doing nice. the edges because I want a little bit... I don't want too much on it because I'm going to build it up. And, and because then, of the gesso mix, will that give it kind of like a chalky finish? Yes, yes it is. It yes. also... It's drying very fast. It's got the heat in it. Um, it's also uh, like a resist as well because the ah. gesso makes it like that. So you get some great elements. It doesn't look much at the moment, but this is where we go back to using our stamps and our stencils just little areas of them so i've got that on there it what we call dry down now it looks like i've got random splotches on but it will become apparent you can see it's starting to darken already yeah because the gesso is dying down yeah. so now i'm going to get the one on one which is this one i want to just create a little bit of vintage lace there so a little bit more of my gesso a bit more of my color and then if you want to, it, it's an idea just to try it on paper if you want to at first. And then I'm just going to put this on. There we go. And just move it over, put it on the other edge. I'm using a full sheet, but I'd normally I was thinking about making it a bit smaller than this, but it's better for you to see. So I'm just pulling it in because um, this is going to be in the background. So, so far we've used the stencils and we've used the... I must get confused that way. Is it that way or that way? That way. But the either, really, really, can't it? anyway. Um, but yeah, look, you know, I'm only using one element of this, and it's already. Um, I can see I want this one here now. Pretty. So it really does work. I need a little bit more on. I think this is better. Don't don't be tempted to sort of bang straight on without a load of colour because it you can't change it. Yeah. Whereas you can add colour. So I'm just adding this. It might be better in white right at the end, but at the moment I'm really liking this. So all I'm going to do is just keep putting that there and then it'll become apparent what I'm doing. So I've done that. So next thing, I'm going to leave that to dry because it's it's dried quite well, but okay. you still need it. So I've got the next colour now and I'm going to just take that down a little bit. So you can take it, make it as big as you want. I'm going to just take it down. So layer it, and I will put some more around the edge. 
So just to know where I'm working, don't waste any of these bits because believe you me, these, I'm just going to rip this because I quite like it. I was just about to ask, has it got a white core to it? Yes, it has. Okay. Um, and I really like that because it makes it um, beautiful to inch. Yes. You could, you could, and it changes the colour. Yeah. When I did it with paint last night, I'd be tempted to rip all the sides. Yeah. It changed the colour, um, gradiated just yeah. here. You can see it was brown, but where it was really thin, it went really dark, so it gradiated. So, yeah, it's got a really nice... And it depends um, how you tear it on how much of that core shows as well, doesn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. You can have the white or the white river, isn't it? So just keep these, because that's how I made all my bits. So that's how I've got that now. Then I've got another piece of paper, and I've got my stamp ready. And all I want to do is just think, right, OK, I've got this paper. It's a little bit too big for what I want, but that's good, because that's what I want. I don't want it to be um, too small. I put my stencil on, and it's easy to do this. You you don't have to use a stencil. Just look round the house, and you might have something that you want, like a um, a jar or a, anything, and just put a little mark where okay. you want it to be. And I'm using my tortillon so that I've got a little bit of a shadow rather than a pencil line, and then okay. it'll just come off. There we go. I can just see it. Oh, yes. So. Yeah. That, no, I know now that that's going to be the middle, so I'll take them away. You see, the colour now, can you see how it's faded yes. to match? Yeah. It looks a bit messy now, but it won't do when I get the stamping on. So I've got this lovely piece here, and I'm looking at my stamp, and I need to cover these up, because I only want that. I only want that one oh, in the middle. Oh, sticky notelets. Yeah. Have idea. So, because... These were bigger than this, but I was I cut them all down because I've been using them as little things in my book. Uh, what do you call them? Um, index things. Oh. And then I thought, why am I doing that? I've got the stamps for them. <laughs> so it doesn't it doesn't matter if you miss a little bit because the watercolours I'm going to show you is so forgiving. But I just need to know where to stamp it. Now, once don't do what I do. Oh. I remember doing this once and then leaving them on. I was like, why is it all stamped like that? I'd left the notes on the post-it notes. Oh, OK. So, don't worry. I'm just going to pull this down a tiny bit so I can no see. No problem. And then uh, move that. Like I say, it doesn't really matter. But it shows you can... that you don't have to use it in that full capacity, which is good, because no. sometimes big stamps can be scary for people. Absolutely. And it's nice because... Um, you can do a really nice decoupage with this, really nice, in the fact that you can make it look um, so really dimensional or quite, you know, just flat and, and try and make it 3D with mm -hmm. your paint. So I'm really happy with that. Keep, I'm going to keep my stencil because that's going to play an integral part in a bit. But you can see there a stamp slightly too high. It's not a problem. I'll just move that up because okay. I've got that extra yes. width. And, and, and space. Here's the other stencil I made. So keep these. They're really handy. Really handy. So I'm not using the gesso at the moment, but I'm going to use my stamp. But I'm going to use the same colour. Um, so it all blends together. This is. I'm using a little piece of watercolour now, just so it makes it nice and easy to sort of blend. Like I said, the paints um, really, really good. They have got a matte base, but. Don't, I don't want people to think that the boat, it's watercolour in everything. It's not. It's all round paper, all round. So it's not that one I used. It's this one. So I'm just going to put them there because I love them both. Now, so the, um, Janine's, Janine's um, paint um, palette, we've just put the details up. It's been very, very popular, this particular one. So just put the details up very quickly. So if you do want to get hold of these, this one is rapidly approaching 70% of the stock. Now, of course, we're seeing Lou work with both of them. So the Essentials is a popular one as well. But if you want in that particular one, just be aware that 70% of the stock has gone. Now, the Essentials, that's the one where um, I think Lou took that amethyst colour from to start with, with the gesso. With that one, again, you're looking at 16.99, And again, it's another lovely set. So if you're wanting to go for the essentials and swap those details around, it's definitely worth considering going for both of them because as Lou showed, you kind of got cross-pollination of these colours. There aren't any repeats in there. And of course, because you can rearrange those little pans, you could actually have them. So all of your yellows are together if you wanted to. So you don't have to go between the two different pans. All of your gradients of green. So of course, you can rearrange it to whatever you want it to be. But of course, if you want to go for that second set, 16 the essentials.
essentials are on your screen there. And of course, you're getting that lovely palette with the case and of course, your two water brushes in each one of those as well. Um, and it's, I mean, I love the idea that you showed us how to have your gradients of colours as well, um, Lou, with those, because that can help between, rather than kind of switching between the two. Yeah, it does. Uh, if you, because you, it's hard to explain it. If you have your pencils um, all separate in separate boxes, you, you forget what colours you've got. Whereas if you put all your pencils together, you can see how it all grades. Yes, and I think yeah. as long as you know where they go, I don't think there's a problem anyway. It's it's just knowing that you've got two yellows and one is different to the other. Two yeah. oranges, two, you, you know, and we call them hot and cold colours as yeah. well. And so I suppose just you could get something like a, um, a permanent marker pen and on the underside of the pan, right, which set oh, it yeah. came from, E for Essentials, J for Janini's. Absolutely. It's a really simple little trick that. It's a good one. But you were saying about making your own palette. Now, that's incredibly important because if you've only got a little... Um, a little bag to take out by making it your own personal palette you you don't need to take more you could just take what you need so i've just put a little bit round the edge and i'm just pulling it in and i'm leaving it quite light in the middle and i just want to show you a little trick and it's like using your thin brush and you just concentrate the paint and just let it seep and it'll do its own thing and that's like nature. Nature does its own thing with colours. And you'll do that on all of them. So you'll see it works better if I just put it on the wet that I've already put. It bleeds in. So this needs a little bit more water. This is so satisfying. And it's it shows you how good the, and, you know, and precise you can get with these paints. Just a little bit word of um, advice is where there's a line on it, if you put a line on it, that will give you, make it look like you've done the shading, not the stamp. So, tiny bit more there. It's really simple if you think, right, well, that leaf is, say the light's coming this way, so it's going to be lighter or darker wherever the light's coming from. So, if you don't, not sure, just put a, I put a little arrow, you won't see it. And then I'm just going to drop the colour in again. I know lots of people do it differently, but I think sometimes if you see the easy way, it, you can do it that way and then make it your own when you you find a better That's way for yourself. Point, yeah, yeah. And also the illustrations because that come with the stamps are so helpful when adding the colour. I've got it here, yeah. yeah. I've got it here because when you're stamping or anything, it's hard to sort of, where's this, where's that? But where you've got the drawing or, you know, the colouring, actually, these are great. I think these are done by Angela myself, that one of the, the designers, and Beautiful. she loves the colour. So... All I'm going to do is very, very quickly just drop that colour in. I don't want to play around too much because what I want to do is just show you about the layers. So best putting little bits of watercolour on in layers, letting it dry, and then while it's drying, I can move on to the background and, and other things. Like there, I've just put a line on. Just use your water on the brush. And those water brushes are amazing for this because they... They've got a, a bigger end and a smaller end, and that allows you to be precise or put a wash on, which is quite, it's quite difficult to do with a big mm, brush, yes. putting a massive big wash on. So I'm just going to leave that there, and then... Well, tell you what, what while to... that's drying, shall I very quickly show those stamps and yeah. those brushes to everybody, and oh, then we yeah, can come back do. to you for the That'd background? Brilliant. Perfect. Brilliant. Right, let's do that then. So the stamps, obviously, that Lou's working with, they are incredibly popular. Um, you have been loving these. We started off telling you that 40% um, of the stock has gone. We're now looking at half the stock having gone. So as we're seeing Lou work with them, they're becoming more and more popular. And they are a beautiful set, as you can see. They're large stamps there. With that iris being quite a dominant design, as you can see there. It's a big stamp, but there's nothing stopping you just isolating certain areas, just like Lou was showing us. Then you've got your additional elements within this one. You've got things like your Arabian jasmine, which is that smaller flower but I looked at it and I thought oh it could be a geranium again it's down to the colouring of these really they don't have to be botanically correct when you work with them but the beauty is with each one of these just as you saw with the iris you have got your colours on the back there to show you how you can work with them if you're wanting to um, and of course take inspiration from that you don't have to do it in those exact colours it doesn't have to be a flat piece that you're working on either it could be something quite dimensional I love this this is fabric that's actually been painted and then stitched and a little bit of pad 
adding put in there to turn it into a fabulous little potty plant, which I think is brilliant. That may even survive in my house. Not many plants do. Um, but uh, yeah, if you wanted to get hold of this set, it's a very popular bundle. Bear in mind that 50% of the stock has gone and the details are there on your screen, 890695. So very popular with regards to those. So if you're wanting those, please get them in your baskets. Another popular item within the show as well, um, the paper pads. I mean, Lou just showed you how amazing is it the fact that you've got a flip side on these. I'm certainly going to be placing my order for these because it's quite a compact little range. So when I'm bringing my little bag to do my, my, my craft shows, then it's a case of that I've got all the colours that I need, but in quite a concise way. So brilliant value for money. £10.48 will get you two of these. So it works out £5.24 there or thereabouts with regards to the pads. But you're getting 36 sheets in there. You're getting nine different tones. They're colour um, kind of flooded on both the sides of those as well so you're getting loads of different colour opportunities and you're getting four repeats of those which is really a, a nice way to work with it means you're not going to exhaust them quickly um, again if you can stretch you're going for all four of them I would certainly advise that and I love that technique that Lou shared with us where you take just a slither of that paint pad and get those colours the watercolours to work alongside them so it all comes together so beautifully details there 225180 if you're wanting to get hold of those as well um, the natural one is the one that's proven to be the most popular i think that's because it's kind of got that neutral tones lovely as a backdrop wonderful for stamping on but approaching half the stock has gone of that particular one um christmas has got that vintage look i don't like to say the c word because suddenly people are like i'm not ready for christmas don't even say that word but it's not when i actually flick through and i love it that you are embracing this paper pad because it works with those naturals so well more muted vintagey style i would like to call this in fact i might go through every single one paint pad every single one of these and cross it out and put vintage on there um but uh, yeah absolutely beautiful as you can see there so please don't shy away from the fact that it's called Christmas. They're just beautiful colours. That's what you've got to think about. Pastels, they're a popular one as well. Um, equally so, the bright. So as I say, if you can stretch to all of them, do nip back in and get all of those. Um, very affordable. And if you're adding them in with your one-day special, spreading the cost, it's still working out at £10.48p, isn't it, for your first payment? So like those a lot. Um, so yeah, quickly get those into your basket as well. And very, very quickly, we are going to go back to Lou. So um, apologies for kind of pulling away. But I just wanted to make sure that you're getting hold of these because we are incredibly busy for everything. The paints. These are beautiful. The quality and the intensity of colour, Lou's just shown us there. The tiniest amount can stretch over a whole area when you're painting with them. And the fact that you can put them in with your gesso as well. That is the sign of a concentrated paint pan, isn't it, that you can do that with it. So £16.99, you're going to get all of these beautiful colours. They are in little interchangeable kind of mini palettes if you're wanting to change those pans around. And of course, you have got your ability to mix your own colours with those. Now, rapidly approaching, was that six? 60%. Wow. Has been a popular one. This one's your essentials. This is the one where that gorgeous amethyst colour that you can see there has been used to create the colour on the iris that um, Lou is working with. But you will use all of that. I love the fact that you've got the white in there as well to bring those tones up to pastels and also that darker tone there for your shadows as well. So nice set. It's the essentials. They're bound to be on there, aren't they, really? 713597. And then, of course, we're looking at Janine's um, fabulous palette with those gorgeous colour combinations. Now, this one, you are loving this. Now, it could be that you're adding this in because you've already got for the um, the essentials and you've seen the quality but with this one what was the update sorry oh my goodness over 80 percent of the stock wow now don't forget this could interchange alongside the other palette because they're exactly the same size but they are different colors there's no repeats in there but equally so i mean you might have a repeat of the white um, because of course that's one that you're going to use a lot but what you could do is swap them around so you've got your gradients of your color for your yellows going through to your oranges and your pinks all those gorgeous colors coming together so five six seven three seven three sixteen pounds and ninety nine pence but any of those goodies you're adding in with your one day special you can spread the cost over two pounds and don't forget your freedom members discount on your one day special as well lou sorry that took me a little bit longer than planned but um, you're working That's on the fine. background now oh yeah fine now it looks it's better because i've got more done um it's drying now which is nice i dropped a little bit of yellow in but i've not finished that yet what i wanted to do is just tell you um i've now put the colors on so i've got this mass of colors and this just sort of but they're all the same it's monochromatic it's one color that we're just manipulating with different ways so i've got that on there so i like the fact that we've got this 
this sort of madness behind this car. <laughs> and then I've got this, which I think is gorgeous. So Ooh. it's like a voil, and it's a purpley voil. Yes. Um, you don't need this. I'm just showing you that if we've got our little bits of... Oh, if we've got little bits at home, this can be absolutely brilliant to just add to your... Um, you know, to it. So I'm just going to cut a piece and just show you what I mean. Now, this cuts on your guillotine. I have brought this to to the craft store before. So um, if you've got a little bit of linen, anything like that, it just adds something. I'll just show you what I mean. Now, you could put it on there and you get a softness that really accentuates that. Or you could put it on the background and it softens all that up for that. So it nice, doesn't look... Yeah. It's only a little, little sort of bit, something. It's adding it more makes, texture, is it more interest? It does. And especially if you're using it behind this, a little bit smaller, and if we put it there like that, you may not see it, but what you can see is if, if we fray it, yes. you'll get lots of little tendrils on it. So yeah. I've added more white to this. I'm just going to go a little bit darker now because this is way too light for what I want. And it's still too busy so I want to take it down and how I'm going to do that is the same colour paint a little bit thicker and I'm going to go back over it and it's important that we keep um, if you're going to go monochromatic keep to the same sort of colour palette and then you won't have any issues with it it's when you start changing it too much it sort of goes oh no no it's a bit of a it's a bit too much a bit too busy so I'm just going to put this colour which is more purple so it's the purple from the essentials i think yeah and um, any stencil you want really and just see how it works over the top and hopefully i'm not going to use the whole but it'll knock it back perfect just knocked it back a little bit and that's what i want so that i've got that and if you're looking at it now wet and if you look at stuff wet it's not the same when it dries you'll get a different effect when it dries and you'll see it's starting to dry it now just here you start to get a deeper color and that's that's what i like to do with stuff i like to sort of add shades of one color and tones because we we, we forget about using watercolor with gesso and all that we seem to think we could just use it with watercolor paper but that's no you can use it with gesso you can use it with idea. acrylics um, and very get... quickly, I just need to tell oh, everybody, yeah, yeah. just going to change the details on the screen for you, um, because, um, and I, I'm terrible, it's early in the morning, Janini, is that right, Janini, Janini, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Janini, I keep changing, if you're watching Janini, I, I do apologise for all these variations on your name, um, but it's very early and I've got somebody pronouncing it slightly different in here, so it's very distracting, but we'll get there, we'll get there, um, so Janini's paint palette, the top and bottom of it is, if you're wanting this, you need to be getting it now, we are now talking about but, um, rapidly approaching limited stock with these and we've also no. had an update because we thought we'd better try and find out if we can get any more of them and we can't so when they've gone they have gone which even I mean it adds even more to the urgency so if you're thinking to yourself right I'm gonna hang on I'm gonna wait until Lou's done the demonstration I'm gonna place my order in the break you might be too late. I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. But what I can say is if you're placing your order for them now, you will definitely get them. And then obviously you can go back and watch the demonstration. But if, do not miss out on these. The intensity of colour, the variety of different colours that you've got in there, absolutely beautiful. And they are flying out. Um, so if you're wanting yours, at 16 um, 567373. The essentials are popular as well, but that's the one that's the priority. If you're wanting that one, the urgency is there for that particular palette. Um, I'll tell you about the others as the hour progresses, but uh, yeah, yeah, if you want it, be quick. Nearly limited stock. All I can hear is, oh, 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 in my ear. Yeah, officially limited stock now with those, so yeah, thank you for that. Um, the thing yeah. is with the paint, they're so popular. Every yes. time they come to where people ask me, are they on, are they on, are they on? And I have to say, well, get them quick, get them quick. <laughs> um, what I've done is took the second one now using the same um, distress pad and, and, and the paint that I've got on. I put a little bit of fabric on. You can see just that dark colour now is just blending it in. You can do it as many times as you want. Um, but now this has just softened it now. I'm not going to stick it all down. But then I've got the white one, which is the main element and you can see it doesn't fight as much now that background doesn't fight yes, as much yeah. with this it gives it sort of a, a regency feel so what i'm going to do now is just pop 
this back on. Now, I can change it because it doesn't really matter where those lines are because they're only smudges. If you've got an eraser, just rub them out. If you haven't, it doesn't matter. But um, it's a really good way of putting doing stuff on your work without using pencil lines because sometimes it can be a bit of a devil to get off. Now, just be careful with this. I'm just trying very gently. Let me see if I can get a tiny bit more. I don't want to put too much on. I don't want to put... So I'm still trying to use the same colours. So what I'll do is, that's better, just going to do round there, and everybody knows this, take as much off as you can on paper so that you've got less is more. And then just, I'm, I'm not the neatest and tidiest of people so this for me is quite hard to do now if you put too much on as a little trick you can just blend it in but i'm trying to create what i call a halo so it's okay. just creating yet another frame it's really simple to do if you do put a bit more on does it doesn't matter that like there there's a little bit more on just add it somewhere else as well yeah and you'll get a beautiful oh, frame and you can add a little bit more so say you've got that there um and add it, make it so people think, oh, look, that's that's been done on purpose. So there's no 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 ex, um, no mistakes. So I filled up the space here a bit more. Now that's better. Oh, that's nice. A tiny bit there. That, it's annoying me that. I'll have to do it. <laughs> and it's just so that you can see it, but not that much that it stands out. I want the, that's it, the focal point to be the flower. That's now, lovely. what you can do is if you've got a pen or anything else, um, and you just want to, round the edge, just put a little stitch line. Ah, clever. And you can do it either way, if you wish. You can do it, put this back on. Ah, uh, yes. Because after time, I go round there, I'll get right to the end, and then it looks like a dog's leg. So if you put this, the, this on, and you can do all sorts of doodles round it, but you can cut it out, you can do... Anything you want. Your shapes and just while you're doing that, Lou, um, I'm just going to let yeah. our viewers know we're down to less than a handful. In fact, just a little more than half a handful. <laughs> That's all I can say. This. In fact, the next kind of three people to take advantage of these will be very happy people. The fourth person, not so happy. So if you're wanting to get hold of them, and maybe if they're in your basket now, check your baskets out. Literally down to the last few of these, and, and I know they're going to go. I must admit, I was looking at them thinking after the show, I think I might treat myself to some, but um, yeah. Yeah, maybe I'm not going to get the opportunities, but you have got the opportunity with the details on your yeah. screen there. Five, six, seven, three, seven, three. You will not be disappointed. They are incredible mm -hmm. colours and they last such a long time. I think this is the thing. Those pans, so deep um, and rich of colour that they are going to last for ages and ages. And I love the idea that you can add them to other things as well. That's the thing that I never really thought about with your watercolours. No, we can with acrylics. We do that all the time. But with watercolour, adding the intensity of colour that you've got to think like your gessos and your gel mediums and all those different things that we've got i think they're going to be absolutely incredible so details are there on your screen if you've got them in your basket you need to be checking your baskets out because we are technically sold out of those so thank you to you um, for popping them in your baskets but you need to check your baskets out because i will let people know if there are any available um, at, towards the end of the show if there's one i may keep quiet because i want that myself um, i'm not gonna yeah, just being honest just being honest um so yeah details are there check your baskets out then sorry lou we've got about eight minutes it's also left now. Oh, that's brilliant. It'll all be finished then, and I can show you some little pencil techniques. I'm just adding some yellow now, and the thing is, remember, if it's too much, take it off. So if you don't like something, put the water back on and take it off. Okay. It's almost like water is your eraser. So yes. I put that line round. I'd be a little bit neater. Um, I'd put little dots between. Or even get your, um, what's it called, your, your, your stickles off you know, drop oh, pearls yes, and things. Yeah. And I'm just putting some bright yellow. It has to be bright because the focal point is going to bring you in. And just a little bit, it has to be dry because you're putting it on the opposite colour. Now, what that does is it knocks it back. So if the purple was wet, it would knock it back. I don't want it, I want it bright. So you have to let it dry. And that's really important. Then bring it a little bit down in where I've left. And then... Just soften it up. And it's that this is not dragging it, I'm sort of stroking it so that it looks more of a 
sort of blend. Now that brings you in, and what what it's done is sort of taking your fo your focus off around this. But on here, you could put yellow around here, but I really don't think it needs it. I think it'd be a bit too much. I'm just going to add some final touches. Now the final touches on this um, are going to be the greens. Now the greens in this are stunning because you've got sap greens. You've got greens that you would have to pay separately for and you've also got pairs now a pair of these these are the colors that you would have to buy separately um and storm gray is another one instead of black i'll just bring them down so you can see storm gray here and these these neutral grays absolutely work as a wonderful shadow and i'll just quickly show you so i'm just going to put a little bit I think he doesn't need a lot I'm not going to do much coloring I'm going to mix a little bit of green across all of them and I've got the green already on my palette so I'm just picking it up I'm just putting it on one side and then what I want to do is I don't want that stalk to look like it's stuck down so I'm just going to blend it out oh, so that's clever so this is called a vignette where you, you feather it out and you're concentrating more on the top. So if I bring in a little bit of the lighter colour there, it'll just bring it more mm -hmm. to life. And the stormy and grey could... is in the essentials, if anybody's watching and wondering. So those essentials yeah. are on the screen. I'll show you the stormy grey. It's I'll put it's it on some white. Beautiful colour, so you... isn't it? That, that grey. It's beautiful. So if, it's like a graphite. So if I do that, it's, and this is copy paper, yes. that's like pencil shading. Yes. So if you're thinking, oh, I can't pencil shade, then this is a good alternative. So we're saying that the light is coming from behind, but I'm just going to put a bit of a shade. Now, the art of this is to get quite a lot on your paintbrush. So if I move these out of the way, you'll be able to see. So quite, I've loaded it quite a lot, but then all I'm going to do is just put a thin line next to try and make sure that it's not on next to wet paint and then a thin line just where it would be dark so you have to make sure you you know you know it, it doesn't matter that much just there and it looks awful like that so you get your wet paintbrush and you just get a little or you can get a cotton bud but i'm not a lover of them um and just take that edge so what we did here we're in essence doing it here and these are all little tricks that uh, they make something go from hand homemade to handmade and they look professional so wash it out again let it go down there and then take it off and you've got that lovely little just that tiny bit there and it's taking and it you makes, seconds it makes it come forward does it makes it look three-dimensional very effective and just it is i'm just going to draw some of the lines back now i'm not using black i'm using blue because it's not i i don't want to redraw the stamp the stamp is perfect all i want to do is just put some of those little lines in and if you've got a, you could use a white on the light areas but if you've got a, a, a blue it's sometimes better so like here there's these little lines here but you have to make sure it's dry otherwise you kill your pen um, and then i'm going to put I think because it's so special, this, I'm going to put a little bit of gold in here because I think you've got to. And the gold will bring even more light because it'll be um, catching the light. Gorgeous. And then on the very tips, if you just want, scribble on some white. And if you don't like it, just pull it down and you've got a perfect white okay. edge then. So um, Lou, what... we've only got about two and a half minutes left. Um, so right. um, I know you've obviously got your, your elements. So you're not going to have the opportunity to glue them together, but did you want to kind of put them together just so, so we yep. can get an idea Certainly. of how it's going to look? Right, so I've got the background. I've got this. I will finish them. I've got that on there and that on there. I, won't, I could put some stitching. I could put some drawing down there. But I think that beautiful. is really elegant on a scrapbook or anything. Love it.
Lou, thank you so much. Do you want yeah. to get your, ca um, your camera set up so we yeah. can say goodbye to you? Um, and of course, I mean, that was a fabulous demonstration of how you can work with stamps. And the beauty is that technique that we saw there with the stamps, you could replicate that with the one day special stamps because you've got really good sizes. So you could be working with the gorgeous peony that you've got within that stamp set. And of course, those little crackles and all those supportive stamps feature in there as well. You've also got the beautiful, um, oh, I forgot what this one is called now, this particular one, the little pansy. It's a pansy. I don't recognize it without the colour, but it's a pansy there. So you could be doing it with your pansies. You could be doing it with your fabulous little sunflower. Or maybe you're going to be taking even more inspiration from uh, the fabulous little dahlia that you've got in there as well. So all of these, absolutely beautiful. And you've still got those wonderful stencils, which we saw within the background as well. So all of those featuring within your one day special as well. Um, brilliant value for money. And you're going to be using these over and over again. Details on your screen for your one day special. Um, Lou, this is an amazing deal. And over half the stock has gone. I mean, any advice mm. to anybody thinking of going for these, Lou? You won't, be, you, you won't regret it because you've got so many hidden elements that work for all the other stuff. And that's, I think that's a beauty studio. Like, you get more than what you think. That's a good um, point, yeah. And they all go together, so they'll work with everything else that you've got. But it's, no one could be offended by flowers are beautiful. That's true. Lou, thank you so much. More from you at thank 12 o'clock. Look forward yeah. to seeing more. Um, and I'm just going to reiterate those details for our fabulous viewers. The savings on your screen, don't forget, it equates to an additional £12 saving because you're saving £3 on each of the four bundles, which are components of your one day special and as freedom members you are saving that higher amount extended delivery with this one just bear that in mind because obviously it's an international company it's only the 24th of may which is not too long to wait and of course you can spread the cost as well which means that you can add all of those fabulous goodies in don't forget the paper pads don't forget those essential watercolors and if you can stretch to those um, stamps as well go for those as well um so yeah come back join us at 12 o'clock for lou um assuming um what lou's going to be up to um, during that hour as well i will see you a little bit later on as well but check out your baskets um, take advantage of those deals while we've got them available because I might not be here at six o'clock I will see you a little bit later on we've got lovely Melissa coming up so I'm gonna grab myself a cup and settle down and watch that hour see you in a bit Simply vintage, and it absolutely the set looks amazing. So make sure you stay tuned. Viva Decor with the lovely Catherine coming back with that one, and then we've got a little bit of sewing with Sasha Co. Looking forward to that one too. Stamperia are an Italian company. Uh, they launched in 1995 with stamps, stencils, paints, and an incredible product. The world famous rice paper. They were actually the first company to print on rice paper, and they're now absolutely renowned for it. The product range that Stampier offer is really diverse. They bring us incredible stamps, obviously uh, the world famous rice paper, but they're always trying to bring new techniques as well. So they'll bring different mediums, um, beautiful moulds, so there's always something for every type of crafter. They will definitely have something for you to craft with, and everything you craft with will be top quality and beautiful. So make sure you don't miss the Stamperia shows. I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Mark and I work hard designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping.
If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Hello and welcome. How lovely to have your company. Um, do you know, it's a lovely, lovely day today. I've already had a lovely start with our Catherine. And now we've got the gorgeous Melissa in the building. Oh, hello, our lovely hello, Melissa. Lovely I lady. love your shows. Oh, I thank remember you. I remember your first shows here. Oh, yeah. at, well, when obviously it was a Chandler, but now the craft store. Yeah. I remember your first shows. And I right back then, I just adored your stuff. You've because been... you, you have, I mean, I, I'm a little bit jealous as well. Because, because, going through all that wonderful, you know, the fines, mm. it's the fines. That is the fun bit. It, yeah. Oh, it just, oh, yeah. I bet it's ace, oh. isn't it? That, that it is, y yes, yes, I do love finding things. No, I wouldn't give anything away. No. I'd be horrendous. <laughs> is there some there. stuff you find and think, yeah, I'm having that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and then I'll got... put it away and then I'll find it again and go, mm, yeah, yeah, no, maybe I'm not I'll ready. let that go. And then I'll, mm, no, I'll keep it again. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, that's why I've got far too many storage. <laughs> units, units around the world, around um, the country. Yeah, around, yeah, exactly. Yeah, do you know, it's five years. This is my, like, this time wow. five years ago was our first show. No way. Five Good grief. Really? Yeah, and, you, and you helped me so much, so thank you. Oh, really. it's my pleasure. Yeah, it's been, yeah. Oh, that makes me happy because, yeah, straight away it was like, oh, my gosh, I love your stuff. Yeah. And I think you've just grown and grown. You brought beautiful kits. I mean, we've got so many beautiful kits. And if if you're brand new to our lovely Melissa and the, the Simpler Vintage, what I've got in front of me are wonderful vintage goodies this is your stash box now the beautiful thing about this is if you were to go out and find vintage lace okay yes you might be able to find vintage lace but it's going to cost you do you know what i mean to find beautiful vintage books you would have to get the whole of those vintage books now, what melissa does is bring us a beautiful selection and um, obviously make sure it's all washed that it's all beautiful that it's all perfect for us but so we've got a selection and it's not going to cost us a fortune no, no. so we've got beautiful fabrics i mean look at the fabric and even i mean even that that even the felt feels it's, that's actually um wool is um, that wool it's that's wool blanket. lovely um and again it's for me the ethos is all about let's not have it thrown away let's not have it yes. stuck in cupboards we've got to use it and, yeah. and so many people they do just discard these things. Yes, yes, yes. And, and you know, they're, they're thrown away. Yeah, so. and it's just heartbreaking. Yeah. Because this is the thing, all these beautiful little things. I mean, everything, it is like treasure. And I think the way you collate them together, I mean, look at all of these, all that kind of little... Look at this. Obviously, I love little, bo little boxes and little yeah. bottles. And things, oh, I so, do. Yeah. This absolutely it yeah. sings to me. Does this? So basically, your contents may vary, but it's going to be that that beautiful sort of spring-like colour tone, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So I've gone for this. that kind of spring into summer kind of um, vibe on this. So it's all like your ice creamy colours and your lovely botanicals and your fresh, yeah, lovely pretty colours. Um, about ninety-nine percent of it is is vintage. There's a couple of bits that I've snuck in there that I just loved. So there's some <laughs> um, bird fabric, there's some doilies and things. They are new, yeah. but and I think there's a, a napkin in there that is just the most beautiful pattern. Oh, so I've snuck some of those in. But yeah, you get <laughs> at least 50 items, probably more, because I, I do go a bit crazy when I've packed them. Um, so yeah, and it's all oh. just gorgeous colours that I love playing with. It's just so nice going through. And you just look, 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 you just keep <laughs> finding goodness. You know, you yeah. keep finding little little bits of treasure. Honestly, absolutely beautiful, beautiful. So um, already over 10% of stock has gone. To actually do things like this yourself, you would have to buy that many goodies, that many bits. Now, I must admit, when I saw this in the, the kit, that is lovely. It's gorgeous, isn't that it? is so lovely. It feels amazing. So would that have been like someone's uh, vintage quilt topper yeah. or something? Yeah, it's an oh, a Durham quilt. Um, and a lot of them again get discarded or hidden yeah. away or you know thrown because they've got a little hole in them. They've yes. got a bit of wear and tear. But that wear is so beautiful to stitch into. Yeah. Um, so yes, it's all it's all that's um, so pretty. Foraged and just. Loved. Um, made, loved, and that's the wonder of it, is you do wonder what 
Yeah. Who, who stitched that? Yes. Where did they, what were they doing? Yeah. That one, I think, is 1940s. Oh, how so fabulous. So you can imagine yeah. not as much no, the TV as we have in computers. And the thing is, as well, when things like this were made, you know, the, the, obviously everything costs more. It was harder to find, obviously, mm. you know. Um, yet yeah, making things like these, you, you didn't have the same machinery, you know. No. Everything, everything took longer. Everything was a bit mm. trickier, you know. So everything was a little bit more special, quite yeah. frankly. And I uh, say it was, it was oh. a labour of love. I love things I, like this. I found that little box and just had to cover it with yeah. the paper. So you do get kind of nature themed papers in there as well. Beautiful. Um, I love it. And this is the thing, isn't it? Upcycling boxes, doing little um, fabric treasures. If you are into your art journaling, if you are into mixed media, stuff like this goes hand in yeah. hand because there's so many people journaling now mm. that also use fabrics. Mm. I mean, it's becoming massive. Doing and the stitching, you know, if you're doing your, your art journaling and adding this into, you do not need to do neat, tidy stitches. Oh, you do no. not even, as long as you can thread a needle, you can stitch in your art journal yeah. and you can make gorgeous little embellishments like that for it. I mean, I've used glue before I've done workshops where we haven't stitched anything but it looks like we've stitched since yeah. we've done snippet rolls and things but if so if you're not into your stitching or you, yeah. you haven't got the dexterity to stitch yes. we get the glue gun out or we yeah. get the, the fabric glue out and it looks fantastic still Oh, look at that. How pretty is that? Okay, now it is really, really busy. Please check your baskets out. A quarter of the stock has gone. Melissa's upcycle goodies are fabulous. And as I said about um, your wonderful little art journaling, I mean, this is the beautiful thing about journaling. Your books can be anything. You know, your books could be literally made from anything and all those wonderful little treasures just add layers of interest to your books. Doesn't that just look exquisite and absolutely achievable? I love that on the front. Well. <laughs> yeah, an old suspender. Oh, that is yeah. absolutely gorgeous. Twenty-four ninety-nine. The old suspenders are so much sexier. They're oh, fabulous. I know. Weren't they though? Apparently fiddly oh. to put on, but yeah. 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 And, yeah. And not very comfortable with the rubber and the metal, <laughs> but <laughs> they look comfy. great. No, they look great. Put on, but they look fabulous. <laughs> um, standard. Uh, now, if you do want this, absolute flying out the door. Twenty four ninety nine two four four eight seven five. Uh, we would also love your photos. If you've already bought from our lovely Melissa, we would love to see what you have created. Um, have you already upcycled? Have you, in fact, something that I know our Melissa and won't be a second. I'll get it. Bear with. <laughs> Bear with. Look, look, look. Oh, what for I dropped? Sorry, right. I've pulled off a screw off the wall. Um, but I mean, <laughs> upcycling kiddies' yes. clothes and stuff, that is absolutely adorable. It's, it is a passion of mine. And, and when, you know, I do get a chance to stitch, I tend not to stitch flat pieces. I'll find something to stitch into, yeah. to stitch onto, something that is old and you can't use again. And dolls and children's clothing from kind of the early 1900s plus, but, you yeah. know, all whenever yeah just beautiful the 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 workmanship that's gone into it and most likely it's hand stitched and yeah. so to add on to that to sit and do put my piece onto that it, yeah you know i love it oh it's so pretty oh, yeah. um oh love it okay please check your baskets out on anything bear with there we go i'll, I'll pop that back in a bit um <laughs> now already busy for the teacups and i'm not surprised look how adorable <laughs> this is these are actually one of the first things that i brought to then ho chan and yeah the craft yeah and um, so i thought it was fitting five years on to bring them back with a little yeah. bit of a twist yeah five years on oh don't that has <laughs> flown my <laughs> friend know. um oh these are so pretty you've got three options so the color palette is the one that's going to change so you've got your pink your blue your green now the pink first of all what is that wool again because that fabric yes. is amazing it's it's pure wool um washed wool like a blanket yeah um is is where I get it from and because it's it I mean these date back to 30s 40s 50s Wow um, the wool is beautifully felted yeah um, so it worked it but it's got that it's got so much more um, 
tactile. It yes. is more tactile. Yeah, it is really. It is, it more, is more tactile. tactile than felt. And it does look like <gasps> it's felt, but that is yeah. because, yes, of time, yeah. isn't it? Um, it's, it's, absolutely gorgeous. So you've got your lovely fabrics, you've got your, your laces, even, um, is that vintage, um, the, the thread as well? Vintage wow. crochet thread. Yeah. How fabulous. Lace and crochet thread I've added in. Um, because it's it's beautifully strong. And yeah. Again, that's 40, 50 years ago, and wow. it's still strong to this day. Wow, and still got that incredible yeah. sheen. You've got the beautiful buttons. You've got your laces. You have got um, more of your your beautiful skeins of your your crochet. Um, your uh, thread there. You've got a uh, lavender. Yeah. You need a bit You've of got lavender. A bit, a bit of lavender in there, haven't you? Really cheeky bit of lavender. Yeah. I even love Melissa the little the little fabric, the wool that you've put the needles in. That's well cute. It's well you, again, use it afterwards. Yeah, yeah you know, absolutely. It tones in. You can use it either on the piece, use it afterwards for a little brooch, anything. I love it. And then of course you have got the cups. So of course uh, the cups going to vary because mm -hmm. of vintage little cups. I love the fact that you're using these to make it look so pretty because it, it just it breaks my heart when these because a lot of times the single cups that are left it breaks my heart if they just yeah. get thrown out and we call them orphan cups oh. and so i do i'll go around collecting orphan cups but oh. also don't when these cups will come to you perfect um and they are well boxed for delivery and and, and everything so fingers crossed um, and yeah. i've not had a problem yet touch wood but um when you've obviously made one you've then got the pattern you can keep making yes but use up those cups that have got chips in because yeah. where the little bow is who knows what's underneath that little bow Absolutely. it could be a chip or a crack and it just doesn't matter no. i mean you know accentuate it you yeah. know use a little bit of gilding wax on it uh, what is is it the japanese art form that's made um it you... is uh, i should know yeah. this, i'm a potter as well that's the one can can yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to say that because yeah. that will come out wrong yeah. with me. <laughs> at, at, Kintsuki. 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 Something like that. So I'm sure someone can email it. And it's put in the, the pottery to put the pottery back bits, together isn't it? With, um, with gold. Yeah, gold yeah. So there. it's a thing, is that? Yes, it's a it thing. Is. Pop a little bit of gold into the cracks. Um, so you've got the pink. 20% of the stock has gone on the pink. The blue option, which a quarter of the stock has gone. So with these, um, is it more or less the same... Um, the same product but obviously the the color variation yeah color variations on the the felt uh, the wool felt yeah. and then um the threads slightly different just to tone in yes um, with with each one and obviously yeah. your little cups will be different every time you... yeah and i will as as the kits were put together i've put um obviously toning in the colors beautiful so they and will go obviously you do get instructions do so get instructions, if you don't yeah. really know what you're doing you have got your stitch guide there uh, the last one is the green i mean each one is equally beautiful quite frankly and um, the green's approaching 20 the the actual um the wool felt it looks gorgeous i think because of that that vintage um, again because the the vintage nature of it has taken the the harsh and a harsh coloring out of it but it doesn't look like, um, you know, it doesn't look like we're, we're buying something that's a baby colour or yeah. a pastel colour. It, it looks vintage it's, and I yeah. think that makes it look even better. I think that that's those kind of colours that you've got uh, are, are kind of my favourite colours that I love to work with. Yeah. Because they do kind of scream 1940s, yes. 50s. Yeah. Those beautiful muted pastels, but yeah. not kind of sickly or... Yeah, like yes. you say, not too babyish. No. But they've just then, and they tone together. Oh, they're lovely. Gorgeous. Absolute stunning. Really like these. 49 stand, what beautiful gift ideas as well. 394 429 is your item number. And the thing is with these, they make gorgeous gift ideas either as a kit form or once you've made them up. So again, you, it's a gift that keeps on giving. Now, these are just, again, absolutely uh, ridiculously pretty. Um, the colour palette, again, so you've got uh, the option of the pink, the blue, or the green. So this time, have a look what you're going to be making. I mean, again, these are just adorable, aren't <laughs> They're they? They're cute. They are, I, uh, and I thoroughly enjoy making them. And the thing is, it's what you said earlier, is you don't have to be an ultra neat stitcher. Yeah. Um, you can be if, if, you know, go to town on it. Or with the instructions that come with it, you know, we can, it, it, they do guide you through really simple embroidery yeah. that you, that anyone can achieve. Um, it's simple stitches or... As I say, you can go 
crazy if you if yeah. you love embroidery and you've got experience in embroidery. See, I love, I love how at the top it's not even. No. It's not all perfect. I <laughs> love that because yeah. it looks good. It, it just looks beautiful, but it also means that you look at that and think, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Utterly achievable. Absolutely. And and I think that's that's the reason why I love it, because I do, in, in my other life, I, I do make costumes, and I do have to be neat, and I do have to be tidy with it all. Yeah. And this is where I go to town and go crazy, because yeah. you can absolutely just get a needle and thread and play. Yeah. Because the, what's the worst thing? You've, you just have to unpick it. Yeah, and every single one of them is different. Every yeah. single one of them is unique, and, and you, you get can lots do of inspiration that. on the guide as well, so Real you can see what you can do. Oh, they're so pretty. Yeah. Um, so you've got, so you do get your guide. Um, oops, daisy. So you do get your little guide in the actual kit. Um, you have got that wool felt again, um, and th this is interesting that you get in for the pages because that feels really thick. Yeah. You've got two different ones there. Again, you've got the wool blanket fabric, yeah. and then you've also got actual uh, more modern felt. Right. Just because if you That's wanted modern. a thinner version, you yes. can. If yeah. you want to put all of the layers in, again, so you've got more of a book, you absolutely can. Yeah. Uh, it's about playing. I love it. You've got the lace, you've obviously got all your threads, you've got your needles, you've got your pins, you've got your lavender, and then, look, we've got a little... A little bag as well, almost like well, it's a, like a little makeup bag. Well, it, yeah, it is a little um, a little pouch that it all comes in, keeps it nice, and then oh, stitch onto it. Play that's with it. it. It's another project after that's... you finish this one with all the bits that you've got left over. Oh, I love that. Absolutely love this. Now again, so your contents. Oh, I keep knocking everything over. Contents are going to be um, approximately the same, but of course they are going to be um, the the colour variations. Um, but yeah, you've got plenty of ideas, plenty of inspiration on that stitch guide. Just adorable, and the finished product looks absolutely beautiful. Um, they're all neck and neck currently. Um, only. 12.99 again a really good price for these and maybe you know so okay if you don't need somewhere to to hold your um your needles and your pins because you're getting that lovely little case you could easily transfer this onto the case so the felt could be on the front you know your other like that other vintage felt that could be on the back you know so it could have all that texture mm. you could even have one of these sewn on the front and make a, a pocket you know yeah. you can you can absolutely make this your own yeah completely make it your own exactly it, it's a it's a kit that will guide you to, to mm. what i have made with it but if you want to go crazy yeah the, the bits that are in the kit you know, it's a, it's a good yeah. kind of selection of things. To and for twelve ninety nine, it's a cracking yeah. little price. I love yeah. that. Um, if you do want that, that is two three seven six five two. Okay, last but by no means least, you might have seen this before, you might not, and this is a beautiful little inspiration pack with this one again, loads of prettiness, and you can see it straight away. You know that color palette, and this is the thing Melissa also does. She makes sure the color palette works. You know, imagine going through and having all these wonderful. Um, little bits of lace and going through each and every one and I mean everything looks beautiful because I mean this is something else you have to do isn't it you know you have to launder them make sure everything's <laughs> perfect yeah. I mean there's a lot of work that goes into this isn't there I, sadly it does yeah. a lot of people do think I just kind of pop out to the antique market <laughs> pick up some goodies <laughs> stick them in a pack but no sadly there is the getting up at 4am there is the finding it the cleaning it yeah um, yeah and then the collating it which does because i'm a little bit kind of ocd about oh, it i do I have to be. make sure every single pack has got yeah you know lots of toning in things yeah. oh i'd be horrendous this would take me <laughs> forever because i'd be exactly like that Oh, but it's just lovely. It's my idea of heaven, but I would also create my own hell whilst doing it. And well, I know yeah. I would do that, do you know what I mean? <laughs> She's not um, in my studio. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I know me, I know me. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. And I love this, like, I mean, the, even the little packaging. It's gorgeous, oh, isn't it? Yeah, so pretty. They're so pretty. All the beautiful little buttons. And it just reminds me of when I was a kid. Yeah, playing with all old buttons. I mean, oh, my, my fingers... My fingers feel too fat to pick up that gorgeous button. 
but just exquisite. Um, if you do want this, I mean, so many little elements in here. Again, the quality is just beautiful. It's only twelve ninety nine. Four double zero one seven three is your item number. Just, just lovely, Melissa. Thank you. Just lovely. Um, okay, you've got so much goodness available. Uh, please check out the website as well. We have got the digital downloads. And these are wonderful because these will allow you to print off whatever you want. There's tons and tons of beautiful imagery um, that you can use again and again and again. Um, you've got florals, you've got ephemera, and you've got animals to choose from. And the price, they're only five ninety nine. And considering how much um, you're getting there, honestly, crap value for money uh, so please do have a look at those and as I say I would love photographs if you've had anything of our lovely Vanessa's in the past I want to see what you've created did I call you Vanessa <laughs> wow <laughs> I've said your name so many times this hour and yet yeah. I didn't, I didn't even pick up on that. No. Where did that come from? I thought you from? said finesses, and I was thinking, what's that finesses? <laughs> finesses. Oh, well, I don't mind. Finesses. I love <laughs> finesses. Do you know, I'm, I, my skills at names, honestly. And this is why sometimes if I don't say someone's name, because my brain goes, you've got it wrong, you've got it wrong. In my brain, my brain, <laughs> oh, honestly, it's awful to me. It didn't warn me that time that I got it wrong. It just let it go. Yeah. Uh, I'm Melissa. Um, <laughs> If you have had anything from Melissa, we would love to see photographs of what you've created. Vanessa, random. Uh, what did you say, love? The beautiful summertime stash box, over a third of the stock has gone. I'm not surprised. It's gorgeous. When you receive it, going through this will be just delightful. Um, and it's only $24.99. Okay. Or Melissa. Um, <laughs> what are we creating in this well, hour? I thought we'd have a little play with the teacup oh, first because we love the teacup. So when you get your pack, obviously you've chosen which colour um, you prefer. Beautiful. Um, you get a nice big square of the wool felt. And it is... It's beautiful, so you'll spend ages kind of doing this and playing with it. But we want to, I'm going to just choose one of the first cups that I've got. And here he is. Nice, pretty little cup. Uh, and as I've packed them, I've kind of toned in the colours. So there's something in there that will um, tone in and that you'll be able to kind of match your embroidery to. So in order to get our circle, this wool felt is so forgiving. It's wonderful to work with. So, I'm just going to do a cheat circle. I like that. <laughs> that's well, good. you could get something to measure it around, or you could get, you know, you could do that, but nah, let's just go in. And you'll see when I'm cutting it how brilliant it is to work with. There's no fraying, yeah. there's no messing around. So, you've just chopped but the end off. I've just chopped the corner off, but it's a bit more of a rectangle. You rectangular yeah. one? Rectangle. Rectangle. <laughs> oh, I've caught it from you now, Leona. <laughs> and In this hour, this. we are both doomed it's when it comes to words. Fine. <laughs> you're going to just do this by eye. Um, if you're not confident um, to do it by eye, then a side plate is absolutely yeah. fine. I suppose you don't need it to be a perfect circle not anyway, do you? Because you're stuffing it, aren't and you? Because you're stuffing it and because it's really forgiving, you can mould it almost. Yeah. And yeah. um, just checking that you've got a really good border around right. your teacup. So you do need, because I know I'd be quite tight. You don't but be you tight do with it using right. the hole because you can take it in, but you, if it's... You, you, uh, of course. So you can squidge it in if it's too big. Yeah. But if you've made it a bit too small... Yeah. Yeah. So don't do what I do. No. Don't be tight. Don't be tight and think, Otherwise, oh, I only yeah, need this my now. my end would keep popping off, wouldn't it? Yeah, mm. sadly. So in your kit, you've got um, the ne a needle, and I've added in some of the beautiful um, crochet cotton. And I use this all the time for these kind of things because it's blooming strong. Right, yeah, and um, that's what you want. And that it? is exactly what you want. And to start off the circle, we're just going to go through. I've doubled it and put a knot in the end okay and you're going to anchor it in at the end so that when you're pulling it tight it's not going to fall over super and we're going to do running stitch all the way around and it's a running stitch because it only needs to so that's like just, just going to be tucking a it gathering in. yes yeah. a gathering stitch running we've had stitch. an 
We've had an email from Have the you? lovely Janie. Oh, Good morning, morning Janie. Good morning, Janie. She said, morning, lovely ladies. Morning, lovely Janie. Uh, great items, as always. I made um, a teacup pin cushion with Melissa on a cruise ship. Yay. It looks wonderful yes. on my sewing desk. See you later for our chocolate. Uh, Gloria. Now you're getting called Gloria. I know. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so in one hour you have so far in fact in 24 minutes you've so far been called three yes, different names fine. Gloria Gloria I'm not, I'm not gonna, sure yeah probably the, my husband probably called me other names before I left with the house in a complete state this morning so you know okay. it's, been a, it's been a day it's full of it already day it has so we've got our little pouch oh. and it always reminds me and I can't help this reminds me of bridesmaids pouches from the oh, 70s yes. and 80s when yeah. you used to have those little pouches. Yeah, crazy. absolutely. So, um, Charlotte's thinking shower caps. Shower cap, yeah. But yeah, Upside yeah. down shower cap. Yeah, Definitely. shower caps are good. I'm thinking little purses or little pouches yeah, for little your money. Pouches. I tell you what, wrapping, using some of the fabric, this is one of yes. the things I do do a lot nowadays. I don't buy wrapping paper. But what about putting a little gift box yes. in the middle? Yeah. Perfect. Anyway, Some we're stuffing. Nice golden coins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you get um, a huge amount of the lovely um, stuffing in there. And cool. First off, you're just going to shove it in. All right. There's nothing delicate or elegant about this. And as you've put the first load in, just pull it tight. And you're going to kind of, this is the fiddly bit. Right. So you want to try and hold it whilst you're sticking more of the stuffing in, because we do want it to be nice and firm in there. So just a great big wadge, and then I'm going to pull it round. So there's quite a bit in there. And it does look huge at the moment, don't worry. Okay, okay. So we're gonna leave about that much, and I'm actually gonna secure that tie right now. Okay. See, I could do this straight away. You know, just watching this, it's like, yeah, I could do that. That's yeah. easy. It's it's really simple. If if you can do it on a sewing machine, but it's to be honest, by the time you've got the machine out, you've got it done, fixed. Um, and I just do a few stitches through, just to keep it nice and secure. Gorgeous. So it's not quite finished because it's not quite taught do you know i did a here's one i did earlier one for this one but i actually didn't need it it took that wow it so quick yeah but what i've done when i got it to this stage i've just poked more of uh, the stuffing in okay. so that it's really nice and rigid i did wonder why you had like a little cloud coming out of it <laughs> yeah. there. what's she doing <laughs> She's lost it. i thought i thought you just overstuffed it and yeah. it all, popped it all out pops again. out it could do that <laughs> um and while you're doing that, you're just going to have a little check that it's all right. So what you want oh. it to is to be nice and firm so it's sticking out on the top. And that's kind of nice, nice bit. So it's I've... nice and squidgy. But nice actually, squidgy. when you look at that, yeah, it is nice and firm. Because you don't want it too squidgy. No. Otherwise, when you stick your pins in it, it's just going to give gonna be in. more difficult to get in and out. Yeah. Um, now, you can do, use any kind of glue for this. It doesn't have to be fabric because you're sticking the fabric to ceramic right so i've used acrylic glue this is this kind of the white glue the clear glue yeah. um, in a tube that you can get is fabulous but for speed today i'm using a bit of hot glue okay, and i'm just okay. going to run a good glob all the way around beautiful and with this one obviously you've got to be quite quick and you're going to squidge it in perfect and that is the beginning now if you're thinking about the embroidery you would think that you would embroider it as it's flat or yes in a hoop. you absolutely would and you can do that but you've not got as much control as to where the embroidery goes on your cup right so for this one it's fun to actually do it into the cup that's interesting yeah i would yeah. absolutely never have thought you did it that way no you would think you put it in a hoop or you put, lay yeah. it down and you do the embroidery first um mainly because it's really easy to hold yeah, so you've got it there and you can just stitch straight in so i'm going to do what should i start with let's start with a couple of uh oh, i don't know not in that so we've got our threads which i'll just show you they come they're all brand new dmc threads gorgeous and you get eight meters of them so you'll barely use a meter i think really so you're gonna have way more than you need way more so again that's why i put the pouch in because you've got something else to do with yes. the 
with the bits and pieces left over. Cool. So you basically you're going to pull out your strand. And the colour palette that you've chose for the thread, it goes so beautifully yeah. with each colour. I mean, the, the thread colours are the, the same in each one, but because of the, the variations, like the blue works with the pink and, mm. you know, the pink works with the blue and the green, so on and so forth. Yeah. It, it just all goes beautifully. Just those lovely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Love them. Lovely. Uh, Colours. Yeah, I love sorry. the colours. Lovely colours. <laughs> Lovely spring-like. Uh, half of the stock has gone now with the blue and the green, so they are in the lead, but half the stock has gone. Don't forget the pink one, because Aww. look, it's a wonderful dusky pink. It's a beautiful pink. It's not a sickly it's horrible not sickly pink. Baby pink. No, it's it's, it's gorgeous. A sickly horrible pink. <laughs> Sorry, people like the baby. No, both of us laid into pink then. <laughs> no, like, yeah, pink. Oh, it's not them, them pinks. <laughs> it's a that. beautiful pink. It's a lovely dusky pink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so with your thread, um, you're going to split it in half because you you can use it straight, but actually you get a bit more. Well, you get more for your money, and it does. Um, it kind of is easier to work with so it's six stranded so i again i don't know why i keep forgetting to bring my readers with me there we go we've done it so you're just going to pull that apart so you've got two two lots of threads now Lots. and then you will thread it on but i've already done that with this um lovely lilac and it's subtle I've, so i have put kind of lilacs with the blue because it is really subtle and as you add bits and pieces into it it will you know it will pop yeah it's and it's got the sheen as well yeah. hasn't it that sheen looks really pretty so i'm going to do a quick french knot okay. two three i'll do four of those um now if you've never done these before they're tricky once you start so you have to because i've not got my glasses on i didn't look where that one went back in so we'll forget that one <laughs> but in the little <laughs> stitch guide it shows you a step-by-step -step way of doing it oh, but you're basically going to wrap your thread around your needle and then you want to go back in where you've come up. Okay. And you're going to pull it to the knot. I've also got, I think, somewhere a YouTube video of how to do this. So oh, it, yeah, it is, that's good. It is pretty easy, but it's one of those things you need to get into the rhythm of doing. So that's yeah. why I like doing a lot in a cluster. And they just look so and nice. So cute. And you don't have to do them in a line. And this is. And kind that's of, such a good idea because literally you just. Wherever you come out, that's where you, you're going to be going back in. Yeah. So it, it, you're not really needing to think too much about it, are you? No. And the beauty is no one will ever see the underside of no. the stitching. So we're going to keep on doing that, um, which I won't do now, because it's what these. this is one of those great things you can sit while listening to yes. the radio, watching the telly. And you can put as many or as few on as exactly. you fancy. French just, knots are fabulous. I do love them. But so... They, they start off being a little bit tricky, and then you get into the rhythm. It's keeping that tension, isn't it? Yeah. As you put the needle back in, that's what I've picked up with French knots. It's keeping the tension, so when you put the needle back in, it doesn't it just... It doesn't kind of um, become loop nothing. like I've done on here. But <laughs> I don't mind about that, because you can just tack it back down. The thing is, anyway, when you're making them into florals, I like on that one... If any go a bit funny, it doesn't actually matter. Yeah. Because if you make them into florals, them. It, they always look good. Yeah. And these just look gorgeous as little clusters. I love things like that because it, 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 your mind already decides what it's seeing and it yeah. knows it's seeing a floral, doesn't it? It really does. And, it's and, it's, it, and you can just go crazy. And with the grass on that one, so we're just all you're doing, and this is why it's great to have it, do it while it's in the, the cup is you're actually doing this as you're going round. And the needle that I've popped in is a nice, thickish tapestry needle. Right. Because it goes through like butter through this lovely film. It looks wall. easy to thread as well. <laughs> really easy. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a nice big deal. Yeah. And this is one of those stitches that we mentioned that is just very uneven. Uh, and that's the beauty of it because grass isn't neat and straight so I that is that. just you know we're a quarter of the way round already and it's taken 
second. Yeah. But so you, you just go for it. And yeah. it is, like you said, because it's firm enough, that is easy, isn't it? It's really simple. That's actually just as, you know, like when you're working in a hoop and you've got that, you know, it stretches it, it keeps it yeah. nice and taut. That's exactly what it's doing now, isn't it? It is. It is. And it, it's just perfect. I'm going to swap colours in that needle. And to, so I'm just speeding through the different kinds of flowers and grasses and, and gubbins. You can do little bees, do all sorts of oh. them. But we'll speed through and just do... So I remember the name of this flower earlier and now I've forgotten it again. <laughs> It'll come to me. So we're just basically going to make a star shape. Um, so we're going literally in and out, in okay. a circle. See, and I can do that. Then you can go back round and do it in a different colour. Beautiful. So you get that kind of effect. And again, all of the, in the guide, you've got um, the examples, you've got techniques. Yes. Uh, on our Facebook page, the Simply Vintage Crafters page, I'm going to put all of these little ideas in so people can, you know, have a look. Perfect. And, you know, take inspiration, copy or... Yeah. Do your own thing. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And I think they, they lend themselves to that because if you've got, um, you know, if you've got little beads, you'll be adding them yeah. to beautiful buttons. I know as you're checking out your basket as well, that if you want more buttons, because you will get a few buttons in this kit, but if you want more, mm -hmm. while you're checking out your basket, it goes, hey, would you like some of these? And you can go, oh, yes, please, because that's a, a lovely, simple, simple vintage mixed um, button pack, which would be gorgeous. No postage and only £5.99. So you can get hold of extra buttons as well and put loads and loads of buttons. I'd have so many buttons, I'd have yeah. nowhere to stick my needles. Yeah, <laughs> this is it. I buttons. get so carried away putting it stuff on. It'd be like, oh yeah, I forgot that bit. <laughs> but why not? I mean, this is a little treasure box that I um, I like to keep. Oh, your goodies. When I, when I find little goodies that I like, yeah. random eyes and pearls and the little pearly buttons, you know, these make beautiful flowers. So. Yes stitch you in. Oops. Would help if I put the right size knot in the bottom. See, and this is the thing, isn't it? I mean, yeah, even the buttons sewing them on, don't worry about it, because you're physically hiding the knot under yeah, the actual under button, the button, aren't you? Um, and what, what you can do on some, some of the, you can actually pull the knot a little bit way in, and it yeah. just goes. Same with tying off on this. You don't need to kind of get under and in to tie off to neatly yeah you can almost kind of go in and, and pull the needle out the other way of course and it'll yeah off that and way. it's hidden yeah they look so pretty um well you saw in that button yeah. on would it be okay if we do a little recap of is course. that okay of course um we will be back with our lovely melissa um in just a few moments time or gloria as she's otherwise known <laughs> Vanessa, she's not known by. Um, now, if you would like any of these, uh, please check your baskets out. So you've got your choice, either the beautiful pink, the gorgeous blue, and then the green. Um, now, blue and green, over 70% of the stock has gone. The cups, obviously, are going to differ because they're all vintage cups. Um, the, the felt, it is a wool that's basically, over time, giving you that beautiful sort of felt, um, felt finish. You've got the the needles you've obviously got um loads of little extra goodies in here the laces you know fabric of course you get loads of stuffing in there you do get your thread um you've even got your wonderful uh lavender as well now loads of gorgeousness and you get your stitch guide to get you started only 14.99 such a good price um it is 394.429 now we've also got those lovely little needle kits and these are are adorable absolutely adorable however you want to, to stitch these I mean and that's the thing you will get your stitch guide I um, don't they just look gorgeous look at that 
Again, you've got so many options, so many choices. Blue is in the lead. Half of the stock of the blue has now gone. I mean, yeah, they just look so pretty. We love these. Um, please check your baskets out with these. £12.99. Um, <clears throat> sorry, my throat is croaky today. Um, you're getting your, your uh, wonderful, so the, the wool felt, if you will, all the beautiful vintage laces and uh, fabrics. And, of course, you do get the little pouch. It all comes to that. But that just gives you an extra project. And then you do get your lovely little guide as well. And your guide is going to give you loads of stitches. £12.99 is your price there. 237652, your item number. Now, we've also got the beautiful... Um, and the the inspiration pack and this one has got loads of little goodies in the the vintage elements in here are beautiful that's our lovely rosella over there isn't it do you know every time i see you rosella you look younger and younger you re honestly she really does when i walked in the building i was that it's our lovely rosella anyway rosella's up later she's coming up at 11 with me. <laughs> of course, I know what I'm doing today. Sorry, Rosella. Every day is a surprise for me. <laughs> forget to look at my schedule. Um, so, when I say I forget, um, so look at these. I mean, this is just ex extraordinary, I was going to say. I know, I don't know what I was going to say, but it's beautiful. Beautiful. Exquisite is much better. Um, and you've got all these lovely little vintage buttons. Oh, they're so pretty. The covered buttons. Um, the fabric, the beautiful vintage fabric, the lace that you get in here. Honestly, you, and the variations of fabric as well. You know, yes, it's the, all the, the same colour palette, but you've got different textures, different feels. Um, obviously, you've got the lovely laces as well. Yeah, it's so pretty and it's only 12.99 four double zero one seven three now those digital downloads the floral uh, you've got your different um your different elements within uh, your digital downloads but honestly you get so many in here 27 incredible images that you can print off time and time again and they are absolutely beautiful only 5.99 as well one four one four double zero now that massive ephemera kit you're getting so much in here of course um you know they are got oh sorry digital download leone um so you've got uh, 31 of your ephemera digital images five pounds and 99 pence is your price six six three five zero four is your item number we've also got the animals in your digital downloads um and again all your vintage images there 22 of your animals for five ninety nine four nine nine four eight six and then finally um you have got your shapely shakespeare's flowers shapely flowers <laughs> Was it your fault? Was it just my earring? Not it you. Did you actually say shit? <laughs> oh, we've got some beautiful shapely flowers. <laughs> Shakespeare's flowers even, five ninety nine. Okay, that beautiful sorry the box that I was trying to trying to chun her on with. Um yeah, all of these different. All of them um are just little treasure troves. Uh, so much in here. You've got all your beautiful vintage fabrics, you've got vintage lace, you've got some lovely little seed beads and things. Um there's all sorts in here. And again, so many different things that you can do with these, you know, please and there's papers as well as fabrics. So it's a really good uh, collation of so many gorgeous elements. Yeah, aren't they fab? And look, you get to the papers as well. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It is your summertime stash box. Um, all really, really quite special. So please make sure you check your baskets out there. We have got cues on the phones. Um, please uh, make sure you don't miss out on any of these. And I'll just show you another couple of lovely goodies that um, 
<laughs> that art Melissa's made nearly went for Vanessa again. Oh, because <laughs> my brain nearly went for Vanessa. Oh my God, great! I've had two coffees already. Um, see, and this is the thing. I mean, all of these, these are, are made. Uh, from different kits, etc. But mm. but with your, any of your kits, really, you can start fashioning these because this is the thing. These are just so so pretty, but they don't take much of the kits, do they? <laughs> they just it, there's tiny bits of each of the kits uh, in some of those. I mean, the the uh, hand stamped template for that one you've got in your hand is yes. in the in the kit, so you can embroider into it. Ah, fabulous! So you can either use it as a, a card topper, or you can do something like that and, and yeah. stitch into it oh. um, and add it to bags or all sorts. Yeah. But it's about I just love stitching. I've got tons yeah. of them here, lots of little patches and things because you can add it to a card, you can add it to a gift as a yeah. beautiful gift tag and it is something that they'll keep. You can add it to your jacket. Well. Yeah. And I think this is the thing because I like there's a certain brand and they have like all bits and bobs, you know. Yeah. And so these type of things, I mean, of oh, oh, you could actually you pop could it onto the, the front. Yeah. yeah, you could easily stick it onto the front of your fabric and it look and you could just do a few little loose stitches and then you could take it off when you want to stick it through washing machine exactly. but honestly loads you can do with stuff like that and it just makes everything so unique uh, but yeah if you do want that uh, please make sure you check your basket out 244875 Jimmy's done um, a, a thing here with Melissa's name on it in case I go for <laughs> Vanessa again oh thank you Jimmy. thanks Jimmy <laughs> Oh, uh, it's called a board for idiots like me. <laughs> so the name there, you can work it out. Mm. Um, anyway, back to you, lovely <laughs> Melissa. Me. So I've done it while you were while you were chatting and getting my name wrong. Uh, <laughs> I've just added a few more bits <laughs> to my little teacup there. Um, obviously, this is the starting, and you will add your own little bits and pieces. But for a button, you know, just add a couple of stitches to give it a little beautiful. A, it's a little flower, so you know, other little proper. buttons. Oh. This is an old earring. I mean, look at those earrings. Fabulous. Fantastic. So I'm just going to stick that on the side. Oh, I love that. Again, that bit of bling. In it a bit, I love a bit of bling. I've, I'm shoe buckles. Our vintage shoe buckles are oh. also just gorgeous. You know, add these kind of things. Yeah. And they look fantastic. Another one of those little uh, old. Uh, oh. I've got my little suspender. Our you know, suspender. just add all the little little trinkety bits that you love, and then every time you use it. Yeah. And what I forgot to do is put the lavender in. So you oh. get a lovely bag of lavender with it, and you would while, when you're doing your um, pin cushion, putting your stuff in, and you'll put the lavender in as well. Um, so all, now, in the, all in the information. Can I yeah. just say, uh, the blue has gone. Oh. Uh, we have had a seller on the beautiful blue. If you did want that, I do apologise. Uh, but, but we have still got the beautiful pink and we have still got that gorgeous green. Let me just get that as well. So we have still got the beautiful pink and the beautiful green. Oh, oh, oh. Now, so these you can get on your normal delivery. However, we have got a little bit of extended stock for you. So our Melissa is going to be packing some more kits up. Um, extended delivery. They're going to go out from the 18th. And again, that is the blue now. Sold out, but on extended delivery for your blue. 394429 is your item number. Absolutely adorable. Oh. Our Melissa, about 10 I minutes, do. love. Oh, cool. So we've got enough to do some of the needle cases. Yay! Um, and so we'll use the, the pink that we really love. We don't love the we? pink. We love the pink. Yeah. And it's just showing you, you know, it is a really nice pink to use. Um, so when you, when the kit comes to you, you get your three pieces. I mean, if if you wanted, because you get the lovely kind of yellowy colour, you could yeah. always do a yellow one. Yeah, absolutely. But we'll stick to the pink. Um, so you've got your base, and that will come in roughly the right size for your needle case beautiful and then if you want to use all three layers what we want to do is trim it and again you can measure you can get the tape measure out you can measure or not, not. <laughs> <laughs> so, as the case yeah, may be as the case may be let's not let's not worry about that we want it to be about half a centimeter from the sides now what the base piece does is actually when you get it in it will cover over all those stitches from your embroidery so we're going to prepare it first and then if you want to put your thinner bit in the middle um, again we'll cut that but that can be the same size as your Beautiful. second piece so you're basically making a book out of fabric and there's nothing stopping you embroidering into the 
these leaves as well. Yes, of course. Because so. you could, I mean, they could be like your little samplers, couldn't they, with yeah. all your, your lovely all little these, stitches? You know, there's no reason why there can't be a bit in here or, yeah. you know, little tiny pieces. Oh man, they look ridiculously in. pretty. They're so cute, aren't they? These are just, again, just things you sit yeah. with your little stash box and make them. I tell you what, I was banging on about your little art journals, but effectively that could be mm. just a little sewing the art journal, couldn't it? Yeah. It definitely doesn't knit. It's a book at the end of the day. Absolutely. You could do, you could practice your stitches inside or mm. you can put your little treasures, your little trinkets, your little bits and bobs. You could make those beautiful little patches that you've been yeah. putting in, put them in and then put little photographs or, you know, lovely Anything inspirational you like. quotes. You could do so much with these. I oh, I love these. The next one. Yeah, I mean, you probably wouldn't want to cut it down, but, you know, you've got oh, something yeah. like that you can add to it. Yeah, no, that's this. So, we'll start off Again, I won't go into all of the embroidery because it, it, it's all in the guide. Yes. And also, it you know, we get, we, we get the idea. We get the gist. But the edging. With this lovely wool, you can do all sorts to it. Once you've got it straight off, I mean, that won't even come off. You don't even need to edge it. Yeah. So you could just leave it as it is. But if you want to put the decorative edge on it, I'm going to lean down. So and I mean, you want to, because it does look ridiculously pretty. It finishes off. It gives yeah. it that kind of nice look. Um, and all I'm doing on this first little bit is just overstitch. And this is where we add, you can be very clever and do it all very neat. And what you can do, if you can see on my thumb there, you could get a pen and put two little notches. <laughs> So that as you're going, every single stitch would be equal. Oh, that's hilarious because you've notched it out on your thumb. Yeah. <laughs> However, let's not, you know, I'm, I'm not, I like the kind of crazy edges. I do. And I so really like that. You I'll, can go round with one colour and then add another yeah. colour in, add beads in it. Let's I go crazy. really like that. The fact, yeah, adding beads onto that would look lovely. Doesn't it look good? And uh, yeah, I just it's think just it's so pretty. It's more organic. French knots. It's yeah, it is kind of just, and it's fun to do. Yeah, you know, it's throwing away that rule book that yes. a lot of people learnt at school that you have to have, you know, your cross stitches and you have to have everything. And you do, you know, if you if you want to do that kind of a, a project, absolutely, you can do that on this. But if you just want to play, yeah, and let go, you know, a lot of um, people that I teach, you know, they do. They are stitchers and they, they're like, oh, I can't do that. I can't, yeah. I've got to follow a pattern. No. And after kind of an hour or so of just playing, they've kind of... They're off. They're off. No, or I think that's lovely. we can do a little blanket stitch. So you just kind of catch it in as you're going along. Again, uh, yeah. neat as you like. And the blanket stitch looks really pretty. You've done that one on the green one. Yeah. And it does look really cute it's all the way It's sweet, top. isn't it? Yeah. And so you carry on. Then you can start adding in different colours. Yeah. And yeah, somebody could have done a lot of needles already threaded, but hey. That is well pretty. Um, and just keep going in. And that's the, that is the joy of it, just play. And if you hate it, you just unpick it, pull it yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. Crisscrossing as you go. It's just not a big deal, is it? No. None of it is. And there's no there's no right or wrong. It's just what do you like? We've got five minutes, my love. Oh. Have you only just got this hour today, oh. Melissa? Yeah, I have, yes. Oh, how yeah. rude. I know. Um, I know. Our Melissa's been here five years. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. And that very first show. And the, my second ever show was with you. Oh. Uh. I was so nervous, Leone, oh, meeting you because you were such a superstar. Oh, don't be da. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was so scared. <laughs> and you were so lovely and you gave me such good feedback and advice. It's kept me going. Oh, thank oh, I you be so where I was. much. I loved it. Weren't oh. we making, I remember us making, were we making baubles we did and baubles. Christmas decorations? Yeah. Yeah. I like, yeah, the lovely vintage baubles are fabulous. Baubles, and the, the very first show I did, I decided it would be clever to come on and drill plates. <laughs> and I didn't quite think, because I was doing it 
all the time anyway. And I didn't really quite think, oh, I'm on telly and I'm drilling plates. <laughs> and I kind of came in and everybody was like, uh, goggles. We had everything. I was like, oh, yeah, why not? Just, just going to drill a plate. <laughs> yeah. It was to make cake stands. It wasn't just that I came just in and <laughs> wrecked, wrecked plates. <laughs> yeah. Our kitchen never looked the same. <laughs> <laughs> didn't back in the old studio so all I've done there is just another French knot on the end oh. so that you know you could almost do a border of flowers along yeah that's oh, pretty yeah so we'll we'll pretend that we've done all of that and it's all pretty three and a half minutes <gasps> on, Melissa. speed speed <laughs> making it's absolutely because we've done the cutting already Is that way up I'm just gonna what you will have when you've done all your embroidery in here you will have obviously all the bits on the back yes that's going to cover it up beautiful so you'll kind of measure it out is that about right as you're folding it over keeping it in the right place you'll get an idea of where you want to stitch through beautiful this won't be as neat as can be but that's all right and then we're just going to do i mean you can start in the middle and pop up all oh, right, okay, so, you're so again, the knot. hiding the knot. Yeah, and you can just do a running stitch along the middle. Super. There's all manner of decorative stitches you can do along there, but just to keep them in position, let's just have them like that. And then you'll hide your knot, but I'm just going to do it there for speed. Amazing. And if you wanted to put fabric in between, you know, thin fabric, like you say, make the book, this is the time to do it. Yeah, yeah. Because that's got... the lovely thing with that. I mean, your fabrics, you could put some of your vintage papers in there yeah. as pages. Anything. Let's have a little doggy in there. You know, let's oh, stitch, through, cute. stitch through one of him. He can, he can stick in there. You know, all sorts. These little cards are in the stash kit. Yes, you know, yes. It doesn't have to just be your bits and bobs. In the kit as well, you get some of these pre-made by me because I had far too many little <laughs> hexes. I decided at the beginning of lockdown last year that I was going to do a hexagon quilt out of Liberty fabric. And I started off doing it this size. <laughs> I soon regretted it. So I've got about 200 of these. <laughs> so, I'll so, put them in the kit. so you've got Liberty bits in there because <laughs> who? <laughs> I mean, people and do. They are Liberty, though. They are Liberty. Nice oh, bit. Uh, of, you know posh. me and my Liberty. I love my Liberty. <laughs> um, so yeah, somebody decided to do that and then quickly gave up and did the one and a half inch. I think they are the ones. <laughs> Very <laughs> sensible like, option. Why would you do that? Why would you even do that? I <laughs> yeah. mean, lockdown, no lockdown. I mean. No, the people that do and can do it are fantastic. I... We've got one minute. Oh, so just going to put this as a little bit of decoration. It's different to the um, the embroidery. And then for our catch, you're going to use another button. Beautiful. Let's use that one. Um, and you've got some of the lovely sari silk in the kit as well. So we'll stitch the button on. 30 seconds. Ah, oh, we can do this. Everyone check your baskets out. Do not miss out on these. They're absolutely exquisite. And remember, I, Melissa, hasn't got another hour this uh, today, no. this day. So please check your baskets out. Right, back to you, Melissa, in right. 15 seconds. Really quick, we're just going to do a little loop, stitch that on the back. Yeah. And then that'll come across and that will uh, be your fastening. Amazing. Thank you, Melissa. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Coming up next, uh, we have got the wonderful Viva Decor uh, with our Catherine and Haley. We've then got um, So Easy Sashiko. I hope I said that right. And then in Studio Light is Jenny's Mindful Art. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures, and creating depth and dimension. Orange Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. 
proud ourselves with high quality photopolymer acrylic stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. So do pull up a pew and join us on the shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dyes, we have coloring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping molds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. Hello there and welcome back. Welcome back to what's going to be an amazing hour. The reason I know so is because at 7 o'clock this morning, bright and early, Catherine and Leone were here with Eva Decor and it was immensely busy. Catherine, I mean, it went so well. Everybody loved what you were doing. I know. It really, and we just played. And that, I think that's probably the best way to show the products, yeah. actually, to show the versatility of them. And because they're not a one-trick pony, none yes. of them. Yeah. There's multiple things you can do with them. Um, and this is a brand that's been with us around 12 months, you, you were saying. And, yeah. and kind of it's built up a following here at the craft it store. It really, really has. I mean, Viva's been around for a long time. It's based in Germany. Um, it's been around a long time. But I think since we, we've launched or relaunched here about a year ago and mm -hmm. had monthly shows we've been having, it has honestly built and built and built. And I think that's simply because so many people now know the quality true. and the value yeah. because you've got Definitely. quality, but the prices to me are always incredible. Well, this is it. Now, of course, you can see on your screen there we've got extended delivery. As Catherine mentioned, they're a German company, so we have got an extension with regards to the shipping. Um, it's the was that the 21st? Oh, the 25th of uh, May. Do apologise. Now, value for money, Catherine, with key things that she said there, and that's why we're going to show you these first, because these are brilliant value for money, and they were phenomenally busy during the first hour. Now, we've got two options for you with regards to these. But it is a case of when they have gone, they have gone. And we've got two sets. They might look like little pots of jam or marmalade or something like that, but they're not. They're much tastier than that because you've got two different styles with regards to these. So the first set that we've got um, are your glitter paste. And they come in a fabulous box. So tell me about these, Catherine. Oh, I absolutely love these. They're a great gift as well, Haley, if you want to give them. And do keep those jars, yeah. recycle them. So what you're looking at, first of all, are the holographic glitters. You've got six different colours there. These are going to go a long way as well they are suspended in a clear liquid or a gel it's more like a gel you can see that one looks as though it's been stirred actually you might find a little bit of settlement but give them a good stir before you use them use them through your stencils use them with brushes use them with sponges these will go on multiple surfaces whether it's porous or non-porous you can mix the colors together and the gel will dry clear so you're left with that most beautiful sparkle gorgeous absolutely it's got a nice fragrance to it as well i don't know what it is but yeah, it's only the smell of it. It's not like it's a floral smell or a fruity smell or anything. But it's got a nice, um, nice fragrance. All six of those coming to you for twelve ninety nine. I mean, how amazing is that? Just works out at just over two pounds a pot. Which to get them in little glass jars, which of course, as you said, yeah. you can recycle, you can reuse over and over again. That is a really good um, price. Now, approaching 60% of the stock has gone absolutely beautiful. As I say, 
7 o'clock this morning, phenomenally busy, so we're expecting it to be busy during this hour. So if you have added these to your basket, make sure that you are checking your basket out as soon as you can to guarantee that you're going to get hold of these. But we've got two um, options for you. So same item number, you could go for the second option with no additional post and packing. Now these ones are slightly different. They're, they're not looking um, glittery. No, these are, if you've ever seen the Inca Gold, which is okay. a big seller here again, and we do have the bigger pots available, this is the same paste. So... <laughs> We often refer to them as waxes. These aren't waxes because they're water-based. That means, again, they're very, very versatile. Okay. They are absolutely you beautiful. For? You've got such a gorgeous shimmer. You'll recognize these from me <gasps> oh, using wow. them. Yeah, they're gorgeous, aren't they? You'll recognize that I use these with Zuri molds, you know, and using this spring out detail on embossed cardstock. Again, these will go on multiple surfaces. You can really buff them up to a high shine. They even go on wax candles or onto wax. Really? Yeah. There is a kit, we've had it here before, there is a kit that we've brought to you before from Viva that is a candle kit and it contains some of this product. You just simply wipe it onto the wax, do a couple of layers, it's very quick to dry, buff it up to a high sheen and you can actually burn the candles, they're safe wow. to burn. Wow, yeah. absolutely, I've got to show you this blue. You no, know, blue is one of my favourites, look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Now, it's not choice of these colours. You can get all six of these. Again, beautifully packaged, so perfect yeah. if you wanted to give them as a gift. Or a storage medium as well. That's the other thing with regard to these. If you wanted to keep them in the box, you can do. How have I managed to take the label off? Just unscrew it and put it on and it won't line up. <laughs> That's a skill, I'm telling you. Not everybody could manage that. Do you know that. what I love about these, though, Haley? as well? You've got six colours there and those are going to go such a long way. They might only be quite small looking jars, but actually what you're getting in there is an awful lot of product. So that's six colours straight away. Do you know what? I'd rather have that size pot for storage. Yeah. Because if you haven't got a huge yeah. amount of storage space, then those, very easily, they're not going to take up a lot of room. But you've got the choices, haven't you? You have a choice of colours. And they look lovely on your shelf in your craft room. They do, don't <laughs> 12 pounds and 99 pence again either of those two sets you're going for with that same item number i know that many of you will be going for both of them as well so we are very very busy with regards to them you've got your breakdown of your colors there but it's not choices the only choice that you're making is depending on whether you want to go for that gorgeous kind of glitter gel or if you're wanting to go for that um, gilding wax with the sheen there so yeah um very very busy incredibly so when they've gone they've gone there won't be any more of these so please get hold of them as quickly as you can with those details on your screen there quite conscious of the time so very quick i'm going to show you some of the other popular items and then we're going to get straight over to demonstrations so your paper clay now this is something that is very very important we're looking at papier mache to start with good size pot with this one it's all pre-mixed it is you've got a whole liter or a thousand milliliters in there uh, it, it sounds like it should be running it's not this is pre-mixed for you don't use your flour and water like we used to do don't use yes. your ripped up bits of paper uh, this is great now you'll open that up Haley, and you'll Ooh. see the color okay. there's a lot of more in there. I wasn't expecting that. Must yes, admit. it looks quite dark, but as it dries, it goes much, much lighter. Do you know the best way to describe this one? It's dry. You know the the grey board sheets we get. Oh, it dries yes. like that. Yeah. It is because it's very fibrous, isn't it? You it can is. See the fibers yeah. in there. This Ooh, is great because okay. you can mould it around something, you can build with it, you can, you know, develop shapes with it as well. It will stick to tin, to glass, to wood, to paper, to card, all those different things as well. You can emboss into it, you can stamp into it, you can dry it and you can paint it and throw all those different mediums at it as well. It will work in your moulds, Okay. but what I would say with your moulds is you won't be able to release them straight away because it, it is just too wet. So you need to be patient. You need to let it dry a little bit, yeah. Uh, lovely. So if you fancy that one, and I'm guessing when it dries, it's quite lightweight as yeah, well. Yeah, very yeah. lightweight. Love it. Um, if you're fancying yours, at 10.99, very affordable for a litre of that. And I love the fact that it's in a wonderful little container there with the label on the front, so you can pop it on your shelf and then come to it. And a fabulous little bucket afterwards as well. Yeah, definitely recycle think, yeah, that bucket as well. Definitely, definitely. So if you're wanting that one, 433.997. But we've got other buckets of stuff alongside it. Now the paper clay. Um, tell me about this. Well, this is very different to something like the hearty the hearty you you'll see when i work with that it's very very stretchy okay. you can use this in your molds as well but it's a little bit like the um, paper mache you would have to let it dry a little bit before you take it out okay. it looks like mashed potato it Does feels it like actually? mashed potato <laughs> <laughs> but again you can free form this you can make it very very thin okay you can again attach this to all sorts of different surfaces porous and non-porous uh, once again you could uh, use your distress not your distress plates your texture plates or your stamps to 
to stamp into this. You can see there you've, there's figures on the front yeah. that have been made. A little flower as well, so you can definitely form this freehand. But don't expect it to be like the hearty where it's quick drying. Again, you need it to allow a little bit more time for this to dry. Okay. But very, very strong when it's dried. Yeah. And throw all those mediums at it again. Wonderful. There you go. Again, a good size tub with that one. You've got 900 grams there. Um, and again, keep that tub afterwards because it'll be useful. And it's also nice and clear as well, so you can see what um, you've got in there. So if you wanted your paper clay, then um, $12.99 um, is the price. And three six seven six eight seven if you're wanting those. But then we've got concrete. Now, this is a kilo and a half. I've got a feeling this is going to be a weighty one. Well, it wasn't. Oh, <laughs> it was originally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. There's a what, story behind happened? this. Yeah, there is a bit of a story. Uh, we've had this one in the past. It's been incredibly busy in the past. This is one of my favourite. <laughs> oh, I didn't realise it was my favourite products. <laughs> But I wasn't sent any more, so I've ha I had to pinch from our display pot. And again, this time, I wasn't sent any, so I might have to use that final little bit. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. No, might, I don't know. We'll, well see. Well, I've spilt half of that on the floor, so you might as well finish it off. Um, I didn't realise that. I thought it was pre-mixed. Um, so, yeah, um, of course, the fact that it's not pre-mixed means that you've got so much content in there as well. Yeah. That's the key thing. And then nine ninety nine, very, very affordable. I love this. This, is, of course, can be used inside and outside oh, as well. Okay. And it is brilliant in your mold. When you think of concrete and you think of it, it does have grit in there. This is a special mix. So it's got really fine grit in there. It's not like the stuff you buy at the DIY store. But when you put it into your moulds and it's, and it's set, it's cured, and it will cure properly after about 24 hours. Once you've released it from the mould, it is such a fine finish. It will pick up every single bit of detail, including the really fine detail of the Zuri moulds. Oh, and okay. of course, Yeah, really wonderful stuff. And then, of course, you can keep this outside. So you could use things like your Zuri moulds and put them on plant pots and things like that yeah. outside? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, there yeah. you go. Definitely need that one then. 7110559999. Um, busy on those phone lines. Kind of guessed it would happen. It, we were immensely busy at 7 this morning. And I think lots of you will have watched that show. It's maybe made some purchases and then actually coming back thinking, I wish I'd got hold of that as well. Well, it certainly is time for you to do so, but be quick if you're wanting those. Now, um, gorgeous colour. That's what we've got for you. Three different options with regards to these. Looking at acrylic paints, um, some beautiful combinations with these. I love this one to start with because, of course, you've got those fabulous neutral tones in there. I love the fact that we've got primaries as well. And some kind of vintage and muted tones with these. Now, they're all on the same item number so again you can revisit these and come back in if you're wanting to and again you can see they're gorgeous colors this is a good one to go for you black white and you, you is it neutral so if you can afford to go for them all i would go for them all oh, right yeah, yeah. yeah you, nature you black your white of course you're going to use constantly and you can mix all your different gray tones there it's nice to have that natural color in there then of course we have the primary colors which everybody knows are yeah. really important and uh, yeah all three bundles there are just brilliant you can mix all the colors love acrylic paint especially when it comes to viva these are such good value again you're getting good sized pots there but we're talking using on jelly plates we're talking using through your stencils yeah. of course you can water these down and you can do various different techniques with them you can mix them into other products as well hoping to bring these into into this hour uh, with another product that we've not reached yet but yeah stock up on your paints like great quality once again it's nice as well one thing that i love and it's a, it's a daft thing to mention but it's something that's very practical if you're crafting and you need additional paint, you don't want to be stopping, wiping your hands and having to take lids off things. So with these, you've got a nice squeezy bottle, bottle, um, and you've also got your flip-top lid there as well. So that means that you can open these almost one-handed with them when you're working. So useful um, thing to have, but three options with those. Ten you you're right there as well, Hayley, because, sorry to just no, put in okay. there. Um, not only have you got the squeezy bottle on that lovely top, but you've got really good control with those bottles yes. as well. They don't just, the consistency is great because yeah. it's a quality paint. Love it. There you go. Um, so if you're wanting yours, 10 99 pop them into your basket. Keep a note of that item number as well because you might want to revisit, revisit some of these at a later stage. But if you can go for them all together, then certainly do. And of course, if your order gets to £60 or more, you can spread the cost, make it a little bit more affordable on your pocket. So now tell me about these. Um, Slate paste. Yeah, I love this as well. Now, okay. if, I don't know if you want to take a lid off there. Hopefully, we'll get time to use this this hour. There's a lot to fit in, but I'm going to try and get as much as possible in. Okay. Great consistency. It looks quite glossy there. Yeah. But when this dries, it's very matte, and it does look like real slate. You can see where it's just starting to dry on the lid yeah. there. It's kind of got that I have matte got finish. one that's been drying that I've prepped ready, which we'll, hopefully we'll get to see. But this, you can, you, you can put a texture in there. You can make it very smooth. You can sponge it on, brush it on, stencil with it. Okay. You can also use it like a chalk 
chalkboard as well because it does act like slate. Right. So, you know, it's great for making up your memory boards and things like that for your kitchens or your place names at a wedding or table nice. planners, things yeah. like that. Great stuff. Yeah. Love that. So straight onto your MDF, you've got little black oh, boards. Yeah. yeah. Like that idea. There you go. Two pots of that for 11 99 and you've got a lot within there. 250 mil, as you can see there, um, a brilliant value for money, 739644 if you fancy adding those in. Now, um, Catherine was very busy prepping earlier on when we came into the studio and she was working with a bottle and I was intrigued as to what she was up to. You were working with the ceramic effect. I was. Now, this is another product that I really like. I haven't done much with it, but I fell in love with it straight away. Okay. This, you normally put this on in, in two coats it is a matte okay, finish but it will <laughs> give you that ceramic look so if you've got upcycled jars or vases that you want to change then you can add this and it will make it look like ceramic i did okay. have a little bit of a play this morning there's something i'm going to do with this this hour as well i uh, love the effect it goes very very hard and very strong when it's set when it's cured properly Ma what i've been doing probably hasn't cured fully but it's dry enough to work with okay. um, you can sand it back as well Okay. And do you know, I think, I haven't done it yet, but I think, I don't know if I might get time to do this, with the slate, mm -hmm. if you use this through a stencil as well, you're going to get that bright white, that ceramic sort of effect, because you can stencil ah. with it as well. Well, it's a nice smooth finish. I'm it's beautiful. It's something that yeah. um, looks very intriguing to work with. So there you go, if you fancy getting hold of yours. Um, details are on your screen. I was a bit nervous about opening the lid on that one, since it was on its side, but it's a good consistency. It didn't pour out. So 10.99, rapidly approaching 40% of the stock. I'm guessing with that, could you take things like the acrylic paints and change the colour of that as well, if you wanted That's to? That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Catherine. Yeah. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I wasn't sure. That's why I tested it earlier. You have to be careful yeah. with the consistency, yeah. don't you, if you play yeah. around with it too much. Exactly. But, uh, Perfect, there you go. So if you fancy getting hold of yours, please do so. Details on your screen. Two pots of that, $9.99. Brilliant value for money. Oh, no, it's not. Actually, that's this one. We've moved on. Sorry, we were having a chat. <laughs> what can I say? Now, $10.99 if you want to use ceramic effect. Um, but if you want to take that rusty effect, and this is kind of putting a rust effect on pretty much anything, I'm guessing. Anything. Again, porous or non-porous, and this, again, will go outside without protection. This dries so beautifully. Now, you get two pots. You get the rusty, which is the larger pot, which is weighty. quite orange. Yeah. You can see it does look like rust in there. That's a nice gel, not a gel, it's a nice medium again. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Again, if you want to sponge this, paint it on. Uh, you do get sponges in the kit as well. Key, I've got to keep Ooh, saying okay. this. Look after those sponges. You will use them time and time and time again. They give a lovely effect. Now, you can go just with the rusty, but if you use the patina, there's a lot of mica in there. So yeah. you've got that gorgeous shimmer. Beautiful. So you can mix the two together or just choose different areas. So okay. go just with the rust in one area, patina on another, and you'll get different effects. Love that idea. And it comes with a fabulous little inspiration guide as well, which is brilliant because it's got tuition on there for a variety of different techniques. And I'm guessing, I mean, Viva Decor, very good with regards to videos and kind of yeah. follow-up support with these. So, yeah, yeah loads yeah. of ways you'll be able to work with that. So there you go. Love it. $9.99, very affordable. Um, so if you fancy working with that one. Um, and I'm guessing this could go on top of things. So if you've used things like your moulds or your bowls that you create, oh, definitely. And then go on top of Yeah. Those. In fact, I have got some on, on a moulding. I'll show that at the demo area in a little while. Um, it does show you on the instruction leaflet there, a, a tray, yes. a metal tray that's been covered as well. So think about galvanised buckets, again, your, your terracotta, your ceramics, card paper, just about any surface it will work on. Love it, there you go. Now, 99, very affordable as well. So um, 970-8202 if you're wanting those. And then finally, we've got some beautiful stamps because, of course, this is something else that we know Viva Decor for as well. And you're getting 28 stamps in total. And these are lovely because they're little kind of concise ones that work well together so you can yeah. build up a larger design with these if you want to so again two sets there nine pounds and 98 pence incredibly affordable again so two zero six one two five that's that's enough of me chattering on and telling you about what we've got on the show let me just show you a couple of other little bits as we head over to see um and Catherine. so modeling cream i know catherine's been working with these again we saw them at seven o'clock but we were Hopefully see them during this hour, but over seventy percent of the stock has gone. All five of those coming to you for fifteen ninety nine. Nice combination of colours there. So two seven nine three eight zero if you are wanting those as well. Something else that you might like to consider. Um, this is absolutely beautiful. If you're wanting to pop this one into your basket as well, please do so. Um, if you're popular again, it's your Maya Gold, and you're actually getting all of these again for twenty three pounds and ninety six pence. That liquid gold. Oh, oh no, it's not sold out. Oh, <laughs> I, thought, I thought, why is she telling me to read out the numbers when it's sold out? 
different way of producing, but there you go. But it's not sold out. You're okay. Uh, so the details are going to pop back up again, but do take advantage of it while you've got the chance because they are that beautiful. It might maybe if she's had a premonition. Maybe that's going to come up later. One two zero eight seven six. Get them while you can, and you can see they're beautifully kind of like liquid format with those. Now we've got different colour options with these. Ooh, okay. I like this purple and pink. This is looking like a nice one as well. So if you want in this one, this one is your rose magenta, mauve, and lilac, or the original one was the champagne gold. Gold, silver and rose gold if you wanted that one or you can go for all of them um, one two zero eight seven six any questions that you've got to ask this is the hour to do so sadly we've only had the two hours with Catherine we've already had that one uh, um, earlier on at seven o'clock so this is the last hour so email in studio at the craft .com if you've got any questions and I know we did have questions come through earlier so Catherine over to you okay I'm just gonna say something about the Maya gold paint there actually they do look absolutely gorgeous on the image but I can tell that when that photo was taken they weren't stirred if you yes. once you stir yeah. those you see the difference they are absolutely beautiful i love them i love everything viva right now i'm not going to mix the concrete up simply because we haven't got a lot of it and it's over the other side then covid and all that but i did i did mix a little bit i did manage to pinch a little bit earlier on now i will just talk through it because it's very easy to work with i will suggest putting a mask on maybe a pair of gloves not because it's going to do you any damage but a, it's a powder and it can be an irritant uh, especially anything that's got cement powder in it can be an irritant there is a little chart on the side of the pot which will tell you how much water to how much powder so if you stick to those it, you can weigh it out or you can measure it out um, stick to that and it is just a case of simply mixing pouring into your mold now this has started setting but it's not fully set if i show you with the zuri one here the best tip i can give you is when you've poured it into the mold pick the molds up or tap the molds and let them drop you'll see the water in fact you can see it coming to the surface again here now even though this one is partly set it will bring the water to the surface and it will also bring any air bubbles to the surface you will need to let that set for 24 hours at the very least depending on the thickness of the mold don't worry if you do get any of the cement on the edge of the mold it will just rub away when it's you can see where that's drying off now look, i can just sort of rub that away um, and that will come out nice and cleanly and then you can use that wherever you wish so well worth going for the concrete we will bring it back again because it is a favorite of mine i'm just going to put these out of the way next time hopefully they'll send me a new pot so i can pre-prepare everything right i do want to try and cover a few things that we didn't cover in the earlier hours so i think i'm going to start with our ceramic effect now i love this i really really like this now i did stir this a little bit earlier but i'm going to give it another stir you will need to stir yours when you get it it does settle a little bit this is brilliant stuff now it is nice and white and I did think to myself after this morning's show, can we actually colour this? Is it safe to do that or do we need to colour afterwards? I would suggest if you're going to put anything in there, the acrylic paint will work, but don't flood it with colour, just a small amount of colour. So you're likely to get more of a pastel. And if you don't flood it with colour, then the consistency won't be affected too much and you'll get the same effect. Now I've given that a good stir. If you are going for the rusty or you've got any of the sponges from previous sets from Viva or in the past, I don't know, we have got them as end of call this time. In the past, we've had these of end of call items. You get a really big bag full as well. They are worth getting oh, well, these really seriously. I absolutely love these sponges. And Sounds talking about weird, changing the colour of the ceramics there, you're saying yeah. about pastel tone. Once it's dry, I'm guessing you can paint it though. You oh, yeah, yeah, you can yeah. paint it oh, afterwards right as well. Um, incidentally, half the stock has gone as well of that if you are wanting that ceramic. So uh, if you're wanting it, um, £10.99, pence. Eight seven one three one seven. Sorry, Catherine. I mean, on. obviously, you can use other sponges as well. But yes. let me just show you. If I just dip this sponge, this is a clean one. I'm not going to put too much on the first coat onto your glass, which is what I'm going on. And it will go into tin and wood and all those other surfaces as well. Once you start to stick, look at the coverage you get in wow. here. It is really, is really good. good. Yeah. Now, I hope we can see the effect that we're getting with the sponge yeah. as well. You get that beautiful, like yeah. beautiful effect there. So to begin with, just go with a light coat. Just that one little bit of the ceramic paste is probably going to be enough to cover this almost all the way around here. I'm just doing the bottom bit at the moment because I'm going to do something else with the top. Just pick a tiny bit more up. But you don't want to think about putting this on too thickly let that dry and it does dry quickly enough to recoat that fairly fairly quickly and then go over the top again now i have done that with a bottle i did rush this one just to make sure i would got enough on there ready for this show 
that will harden. It's like paint a little bit. Touch dry, okay. you can find things touch dry really quickly. But to actually cure, you oh. really want to let things cure properly. So yes, you can work on it, but it won't have its full strength until after about 24 hours. Okay. Okay. So you can see how that's covered beautifully. I will be coming back to that in a second. Could you use it to stencil through um, things as well? So if you only wanted like a relief on the glass rather than complete coverage. Yeah, you can. In fact, I'm, Leonie very kindly let me borrow some of her stencils. And we've got some of the uh, Le Blanche ones here. Oh, okay. So now because that isn't fully cured... And there was a bit of black mixed in with this, so it's not as white as it should be. But I'm just going to put this stencil over here. Because of the shape of the bottle, you can see it's not going to fit tight there. Yeah. So I'll probably just pick out a certain area. Um, these are sticky. If you want them to re-stick, if they get a little bit less tacky, you can always give them a wash and that will revive them. But I did think, you know, let's go with a little bit of colour. So I'm going to take a small amount of the paste and I'm just going to put this on the glass mat, actually just a tiny bit and I'm going to go for one of the colours of the acrylic and I think, do you know, I'm going to go for this dark one just so you can see the colour, the dark green. Nice. Actually, I'm just going to give that a shake because this is a brand nice new It's nice because you've actually got three different kind of tones of green in there. Can I show you these? These are gorgeous. They're lovely colours. My, fav my favourite set actually is that one, so I just love green. Beautiful. I love that. Like a really de um, deep teal tone, as you can see there. If you're going for the white alongside it, of course, uh, you can lift that colour if you're wanting to as well. Because you've got three choices with regards to these. So this particular one with those gorgeous colours in there, you can see, um, obviously, if you want this option, you've got your primaries, you've also got your um, black, white and your um, nature with those as well. So lots of colour combinations, lots of ways that they will work together. And obviously, you can mix your own colours um, with those too as well. And at $10.99, a very affordable way of getting hold of them. Do you know what? I've changed my mind. I'm still going with that green, but I'm going to go with more than one colour. Why not? Ooh, okay. let's, let's go with different colours. So I'm just giving these a shake again. They, do, they are obviously water-based, but they do tend to settle again, so give them a really, really good shake before you get going. So I've got a little bit of the ceramic there. I've already got some on the sponge, and all I'm going to do is pick up a bit of the ceramic and a bit of the colour. Let's go for the dark one first, actually. This colour is going to be absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to Ooh, work yeah. that into the sponge a little bit. And I am just going to stipple that on again with the sponge because it gives me that beautiful effect and if I want a little bit darker do you know I'm going to risk it I'm only stenciling this time so I know it's going to set let's just add that little bit of color I'm only going to work on the main surface here the main front of the bottle just because of time and there's so much to fit in so that's a little bit more you've got a lovely pastel tone to that where it's quite an intense yeah. color to start with which was great but on this occasion it different colour altogether. Exactly. Now I am using the same sponge but oh, let me just get a bit more of that line because I've just dipped that straight back into the darker colour. You could use, if I'll turn that round and let's go with um, the lime green and we'll just kind of stipple that in as well Ooh. so you're getting that lovely, lovely blend. Okay. And then should we do a reveal? Oh, let's go for it. Oh, oh nice. So nice, isn't it? Look that at looks that. Lovely. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So if you've got a plain vase, or as I say, jars, you could make some really oh pretty goodness, jars yeah. and turn them into vases that look ceramic. And if you wanted a gloss to that, you can add a varnish over the top and okay. it will give it that glossy effect. As I say, you can also sand that back. So if you want to turn the ceramic into a colour for the whole of the bottle or whatever you're covering, just remember, don't put too much paint in there because if it does change the consistency, you, it won't harden in the same sort of way. But yes, you can definitely colour it. There you go. Um, Amazing, absolutely amazing. <laughs> Recycling all those different things that you've got um, in your stash. Can you imagine um, all those different jars? And it could you some as a pickle jar or a jam jar or something, but you're making it look incredibly different by that effect. So if you are wanting that ceramics, don't forget you're getting two pots of those. Um, a brilliant value from them. They've got really good um, size to them as well. Is it 2 50 with those? Um, I forgot what they were now. Um, ooh. 150 mil um, in each one of those ones, so 300 in total. £10.99, pence, 8.71317 if you are wanting those as well. Um, and uh, yeah, lots of you adding those in, but rapidly approaching 70% of the stock is gone. Um, so yeah, once they've gone, that's it. Is that the case for everything then? Oh, well, I didn't realise that. Oh, right, OK. Yeah, so if you did watch earlier on and you were like, oh, well, you didn't get it during that hour and you thought, oh, well, I can manage without that. And now you're thinking, well, hang on a minute, that 
is a game changer, then you need to be making sure that you're placing your order nice and early, especially when so much of that has gone. So, yeah, if you want to know, details on your screen there, 871317, pop it into your basket. Um, and, of course, don't forget those acrylic paints as well. Um, if you want the acrylic paints, they've been popular. Three different bundles, all on the same item number. Um, and, uh, of course, Catherine was working with those fabulous greens there as well. Lovely. So what's next? Ooh, okay. What are you up to? I'm going to bring the slate in in a second, but I just want to show you, sticking with the ceramic just for a second, this little glass pot was one that uh, Leonie spray painted. Like a little tricky and pot. I just, I just, yeah, I just want to show you how with one coat of the ceramic, look at the coverage, I'm going over oh, that wow. colour. I do have permission to do this, she said yes. Um, so you can go over your coloured pots as well, it doesn't have to wow. be clear. So if you've got plant pots or... Um, yeah, plant pots are, you know, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of this. Go to the charity shops and seek out those horrendous coloured pots, <laughs> saucers, whatever you want. You can cover them. You can upcycle. You know I love my upcycling. And it's nice because you the get the unusual shapes need. quite often with the unusual colours, exactly. don't you? So, exactly. Yeah. And I won't do this now because I did start it earlier, but also straight onto tin as oh, well. Wow. So if you've got your tin cans and you want to decorate them, this product is wonderful. Um, yeah, you listen, I love it when people listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> um, with regards to the details on your screen, I did warn you, 70% of the stock has gone. Um, well, it's gone. Um, so if you want to know your wow, in your quick. basket, you need to check your basket out. So 871317, £10.99. So yeah, this is the key thing with anything. We're not going to see any more of those, incidentally. So don't think, oh yeah, I know. I know what's going to happen. It's going to come back on extent. No, not today. Sometimes we're able to do that, but not always. And today is one of those days when we're not able to um, so that is kind of the, the the way of thinking so anything else that you're thinking of adding into your basket check your basket out early we're busy as well with regard to these beautiful little pots of glitter um, glitter gel that you've got with these and of course you've got that gorgeous kind of um, it's like a luster that you've got beautiful oh, pearlescent gosh. beautiful 12.99 whichever of those two sets you go for they come beautifully boxed now if you are going for the option um, the bottom one there which is the sheen that we we're just speaking of those ones are limited in stock so so that's where you've got um, things like your um, the gold, the old gold. Um, you've got your um, apricot, your mint, um, green, your ice blue in there, and you've got a surprise because I don't know what the last one is. Um, but twelve pounds and ninety nine pence, eight five six um, six zero eight. Very popular. What's next, then, Catherine? They are, do you know? I, because we were just talking about those, I wasn't going to use these next, but I'm very quickly going to bring it in just so something that is uh, drying a little bit for me Okay. Um, for the end of the show. I've got all sorts drying out. I did say come back from 7 o'clock as well because I was hoping something something that was very popular in the early show might be dry. I do want to show you these colours. If you are going for these, look at them all without the lids on. So the gold and the Beautiful. blue, absolutely gorgeous. So rich. They really, really are. Then you've got, I can't remember all the names, I'm sorry, but you're getting them all, so it doesn't matter. It's the old gold and the old silver, I believe, mm -hmm. that one. Lovely and then, creamy gold, oh, that one as well, isn't it? Absolutely yeah. beautiful. Look at these. And Gorgeous. look at the state of my hands as well, I've just <laughs> noticed. Cool. We're, oh, distracted. We're distracted <laughs> by the pot. <laughs> it's one of those shows where I really do just get my hands in, I look at them messy. <laughs> right, OK, now I did show this a little bit early, but I just want to show again very quickly, if I just find a bit of card. Um, Obviously, these work like a wax, so you can use them over your moulds. You can bring out the colour. If I just bring, this is one that's been done earlier, but it's just oh, got a little okay, bit yeah. of gold on there. It's one of the Zuri moulds again. So maybe if I wanted to bring in a little bit of the apple, is it apple green we said? Mint green, the mint green. I can still sort of go over the top and change the colour. So this is just one way. Let's go with a bit of that blue because that really, really is beautiful. And obviously you're working on something darker here, but can it accent lighter tone things? There's things like them that have got the ceramic paste on. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Definitely. You light, dark, whatever colours you want to go with. Um, I'm going to bring a bit, a bit of that apricot in as well. So think about blending your colours. Use a brush to apply as well if you want to do that. Just going to see, I've put blue in the apricot now, you see, I shouldn't <laughs> do that, you shouldn't going contaminate. The, the set that Catherine's working with, you need to be incredibly quick. Uh, it is going to oh. go, in fact it is technically sold out. We only had a couple of those left, so yeah, if you've <laughs> got it in your basket, check your basket out as well. Um, similar situation with regards to, oh look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Sorry, and I haven't done a proper job of that. that, I've just literally just thrown that's that amazing. in. I was, uh, <laughs> I was 
going to say, well, I will say for those that have bought it, um, but the, yeah, the glitter, <laughs> yeah. the glitter ones now, we're not left with many of those as well. And they just look so beautiful within that box set. Um, and the little jars, just so cute. Um, but it's not about that. It's about the content that you've got within the, I've opened up a couple of those. What's this one down here? It's opened up this blue. Oh, this is a nice one as well. So have a look at that. Now, when you get them, you'll notice with this one, you kind of got um, a milkiness with this one. That shows it off really, really well. So you will need to mix them because that's the, the idea. You've got kind of like your carrot there and then of course you've got your glitter content so give it a really good mix to make sure that that is distributed well but then you are going to get some of those incredible finishes with those but only if you are quick and don't forget once it's gone it's gone 12.99 we've already lost one of those options there so if you wanted to take advantage of that um, I've got less than a handful now with regards to those are we down to half handfuls yet we do it in the that's the way we kind of, kind of divide hands up um, oh there you go it doesn't really, oh, really matter because it it's gone now so, oh. yeah well, well done again. Yeah, very, very you. quickly then, when the gel is set, you will, this is what I did this morning, you'll be Ooh. left with that beautiful glitter effect. I've just blended the colours there. Nice. And I did say porous and non-porous, so if you use your sponges and go on to glass as well, and you can put layers and mix the colours again, very you nice. can really build up the glitter. There's a couple of layers gone onto there Well, now. I hope we see these back again at some stage. Do you know, nice. they are, there's so many products that I just simply adore so much from Viva that we will, we will see. We need a whole day. We will see them back. A you whole do need a day whole with day. you, Catherine. Yeah, yeah, you do. Right, okay. Um, yeah. Now, if any baskets, check your baskets out, but I will let you know if anybody doesn't check out the baskets because it will it'll fall back into our stock allocation. Okay, right, the slate paste. Love this. Again, okay. give it a bit of a stir. You get two of these, don't you? You do, yes, yeah. Um, and there's 250 ml in each of those. It's half a litre. It's absolutely wonderful. Again, it's such a lovely consistency. So you can see, as I said earlier as well, it, it looks very, very glossy in the jar, but it doesn't stay glossy. So if you want to give a proper slate effect, I'm just going onto a piece of MDF. This is primed, but you don't need to prime. You can go straight onto the MDF. It does give such a great coverage. So if you want the texture in there, using a palette knife, just spread along there. Don't worry about the mark from the palette knife. That will give you that, you know, real slate look. Now, I have got one that I did after the first show this morning that's been drying, and I did put this on a little bit thicker, but you can see the texture there. You can see, can't you? So it does look like slate. So I could actually chalk onto that and rub it away. It's slate, yeah. Yeah, really, really lovely. So very easy to apply, but there's much more you can do with it as well. I'm just going to pop those out of the way for a second. <laughs> Um, um, right. Incidentally, over 40% of that paste has gone. So if you're wanting it against, like everything else has been speaking of, once it's gone, it's gone. Um, so, uh, yeah, you need to be quick with regards to these as well. So you can see there, 250 mil, um, huge pots that you've got there. And you only uh, then need a little bit of that, as you've seen there. It builds up very, very quickly and easily. But um, 1199 that is brilliant. It's got really good weight to it as well, so you know the quality with regards to that. Oh, can't wait to see what you're doing with this, Catherine. This looks interesting. <laughs> Well, this bottle I've got here has had all sorts of things on the surface. So it's got rough areas and smooth areas. It's just one I keep repainting just to, oh, to use. Yeah. So I've put some masking tape over there. Um, this originally had gesso on it, but I did go over with the ceramic as well, which I know has gone. So I just want to show you once again, with the slate, how versatile it is. I'm going to bring that back in in a second. But first of all... This is what you see when you demonstrate, you can't wash your sponges out. You get crunchy sponges. <laughs> and it, I hate it because these are such wonderful sponges. But directly onto glass again. Look at the coverage that you're getting directly onto glass. That's a good solid I mean, you, cover, yeah. It really is. You could build that up with a second coat, but using the sponges again, you get that lovely, lovely effect. That will dry matte again, so you could chalk on there. So that's onto glass. It's a definitely a non-porous surface. Can I ask as well, Catherine, because obviously you're demonstrating it on glass to show that it works on glass. Yeah. But if you're actually doing it on a drinking glass, do we have to consider, obviously, if you're drinking from the glass, um, just if anybody's watching, because I mean that could be on glass that's going onto a picture frame or something like that. Oh yeah, definitely. Or, yeah, um, it's quite easy. But I, I suppose I don't know. You really, can put this outside as well. well do you know, if you want, glasses, yeah, if you wanted yeah. to use it on your glasses, what I would probably do is something like I'm doing on the bottle now. I would mask off an area so the area that you drink from yes. is is clear. Yeah. Keep it as glass and decorate the bottom. So a nice idea actually is to if you've got wine glasses to decorate the stem and the base yes, of the glass, yeah. and then you can write or add initials to the That's people that go to dinner party yes, yeah. or you know when people mix the drinks up yes it's, it's usually yeah. charms isn't it you put glass charms yeah. on but that's but nice you could just idea, chalk yeah. 
chalk names and things on there yeah. and um, that way you know you can rub them off afterwards wash them this be will prepared be prepared to lose your glasses yeah. though if you put initials <laughs> on them because they, they won't be giving those back yeah. <laughs> you can definitely use this outside as well so you know cover whatever surfaces you want now i don't know where the other end of this has gone but so let's just take that away using a bit of masking tape of course you get that nice the clean that, line yeah so you would do if i'd put it on straight uh so <laughs> again there do you know, use that in so many different ways yeah. but one final thing i will just mention with this as well is of course it's not just for stippling on and painting on okay it's also great for your stenciling as well so just apply like any other stencil paste so great on your rice papers, your decoupage papers. You are going to get that matte finish again, but it will give you a beautiful, beautiful effect because the consistency, again, is absolutely fantastic. So multi purpose yet again that it's just brilliant. i love it i love this stuff and it's of course fantastic. it's got that glossiness to it when you apply it but when it dries then obviously you get that slate like um, look to it um it's been a popular one uh, lots of you adding this into your basket now half the stock has gone um at a seven three um, nine a six four four i mean 11.99 to get so much of that and to have it make such an effect that is a key thing with this um and it looks like slate i can see the mdf piece that Catherine was showing us just a few moments ago and it does look like you've got pieces like but of course it's kind of um well I, I don't get into the ethics of things but often when you're on holiday you'll see pieces of slate and you think oh I'll take that home that might look fabulous as a, a house number yeah. but of course it's, it's like shell gate isn't it really yeah. you, are you yeah. allowed to take yeah. these things or not <laughs> you'll be making them yourself and it gives that illusion and i suppose it could go onto a ceramic tile and look like a slate tile definitely definitely now Oh, sorry. I don't know if you've got any oh, more I don't know. updates. Just, I think just a very quick update um, that, that I need to give to you as well. Now, um, those sets with the, the glitters in. Is it the glitter sets? So the glitter and the um, the, pay, the the kind of the sheen, you know, that kind of wax. A couple of them have bounced back. So um, £12.99, but it's fastest finger first. Go! <laughs> Get them. You will not regret it. You will not regret it. Right, OK. What have I got left to work with? Right, I'm going to go back to the modelling cream. We used this this morning. I am kind of going to repeat a little bit what I did this morning. Well, I missed it. So but, Well, you missed yeah, it, I'll yes. be paying attention. <laughs> if you have not seen this before... If you can afford it today, get this in your baskets as well. I absolutely love this. Now, you get all five pots in one box. Okay. But that amazing... I didn't even need to look so at the screen. So why do you love it so much then, Because, oh, again, it's so versatile, Hayley. Okay. There's so much you can do with it. And the colours. The colours are just wonderful. These are your metallics. So we've got the silver. We've got the gold. We've got bronze. We've got copper. And we've got a black one in there as well. But you're getting all of those. Ooh. You're getting all of them. Okay. Now, I've used these a lot, and okay. there's still loads left in the pots because they didn't, they didn't send me any more. Okay. So I'm trying to be very sparing with these. Oh, bless you. Um, <laughs> I've well, got those two together. 80% of our contrast. stock has gone, so don't guarantee to get it from us either. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if you're wanting yours, you've seen what's happening. Our couch is getting shorter and shorter. <laughs> I'll have it just on a tray before the end of the show, just so you can either have this or this. But if you're wanting your modelling paints, here you go. Three huge pots there. Not three, sorry. Five huge pots there. So, again, half a litre of that beautiful cream cream paint in there um, and some beautiful tones in there and I've seen some of the things that Catherine's done with them and it is absolutely incredible they blend together beautifully um, at £15.99 279380 I mean the different array of different products kind of like mediums and there's a fabric there's all sorts that you've used there really on. is there really is so I've got one or two bits here that were just sort of swatches from before so you can see the leaf that's through a stencil look at the oh, sheen wow. on there absolutely beautiful really really tough when it's dry as well so just stencil uh, again, stenciling again, but blending the colours. I might need to flex this a little bit for you to appreciate. Oh yeah, you can see the those blend of colours. Yeah. Okay, so just nice. onto hardboard. Now this one, Rosella's in, isn't she? I can't remember the name of the product. It's craft something. Um, it's like the stone paper. Oh, you can sew through it. Craft text. You can, craft text. Cra that's the one. I thought it was that, but I don't think You can sew it in all sorts. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Mm. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, I've blended the colours. It gets better though because fabric, and I did oh, this this wow. morning. <gasps> oh, Catherine. Literally, you can screw that up. It is Ooh. so flexible that it's not going to crack and flake. 
There we go. I did actually add some oh, to a bit of fabric earlier. Can you imagine working this through onto denim, on a denim yeah. jacket yeah. or something like that? I haven't <gasps> tested it for heat in the washing machine. Okay. You can definitely wash it by hand yeah. if the water's not too hot, which it never should be if you're hand washing. Yeah. Uh, this bit I did earlier this morning, it's now been drying. So you can see again the sheen that's come through. Doesn't that Beautiful. look lovely on the red? Very, very quickly, I'm just going to do another piece of fabric just for anybody that didn't see the show earlier. Okay. And so we can see the colours again. Lovely. And then if we've got time, I really want to bring in the paper mache. Okay. Okay, right. So this is, again, one of the Le Blanche stencils. It has got a little bit of tack on the back, so it is going to hold down nicely. Um, using a palette knife again, but you could use a brush. You could stipple it. You know, you could do whatever you want. I'm going to work with all of the colours. So no particular combination, but I'm trying to sort of break them up a little bit. So we've got the contrast, although we're going to see those blends as well. So I don't think about this. I just go straight on. This is the copper, which is absolutely beautiful. Oh, just richness to Do you know, I think if you start to mix the copper with the uh, gold a little bit more, maybe a bit of the silver in it as well, you'll start to see a rose gold coming through as oh, well. Oh, that's you a will, good point, Yeah, actually, you will yeah. get the different blends. But it's kind of decant them out um, and yeah. make your own little yeah. pot. Yeah, good try idea. Not to, <laughs> yeah, try not to do what I'm doing and uh, <laughs> contaminate all your pots. So I'm kind of working them together so you're getting areas of colour but then you're getting the blends as well. In fact, that's really pretty. The silver nice, yeah. with the, um, the copper does make a lovely sort of rose gold. We've got the actual gold itself here. Let's come down this side a little bit. I'm trying to be very sparing with this because I don't need a lot and I don't want to contaminate my pots any more than I already have. So I'm trying not to put too much on. You can also stamp with this as well. But you need to be quite quick. If you sponge it onto your stamps and then stamp directly, you can get a lovely, lovely effect by stamping with it. Just make sure that you wash your stamps out quickly before it dries on there. Good to know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of black now. Let's have a little bit of black up there as well. Um, rapidly approaching limited stock with this. It's another of those items that when it's gone, it has gone. We don't get to see Viva Decor as often as we would like to here, perhaps just once a month. And we don't know if we're going to see these again in the next show. So that's why I would say if you're wanting to get hold of them, get hold of them now because it's, it's a case of it's, it's decision time really, isn't it? Um, uh, 15 99 you're going to get all five of those. So it works out, it's what, £3.30, something like that, a pot. A brilliant value for money. So two seven nine. Um, three eight zero, as it predicted, as we expected, um, it is now limited in stock. So again, the last few of those available. If you're wanting to get them into your baskets, but more importantly than ever, check those baskets out. Don't forget, we've had loads of sellouts, not just during this hour, but of course we had seven o'clock this morning as well, where we were busy as well. Okay, so shall we do the reveal? Oh yes. Obviously, I've done this very, very quickly, but look at this on oh, fabric. Wow. Isn't that just beautiful? I'm going to hold that to the front camera oh, if I may, because we'll get there. the shimmer. The shimmer comes out more as it dries as well. How lovely is that? I mean, you could stitch through that. You could, and as the well, thing that I love is it hasn't changed the nature of the fabric. No. Sometimes when you work with mediums, it makes it kind of starchy in parts, if yeah. that makes sense. But you were yeah. showing the fluidity. Once it's dry, obviously, then you still got the fluidity and the drape and the flow of the fabric um, and like you say you can stitch through it beautifully Definitely. Yeah. and I can't go because it's Leonie's stencil I've got to do this clean up because of course don't waste that you could spritz that with water because it will work okay. with water as well but do you know what take away whatever you get from your stencil as well oh, wow. and there you've got your background ready to go that also. is brilliant beautiful love it oh, Catherine, thank there you. is one more thing that i want to just mention with this and i don't know that this is set enough we did or i did apply okay. some again mixing the colors into one of the stamperia molds because when this dries if i find one of the lids i can probably show you better. i'm just going to warn warn people um if you're thinking oh yeah i want it now just to let you know technically it has sold out so if it's in your basket you're okay check your basket out you'll get it it'll be on its way to you but i will again just like we saw with the little jars i will let you know if any of them fall out of people's baskets and back into our stock allocation because i know there will be people that are disappointed with that um, but so yeah, details are there. Two seven nine three eight zero. Um, but Catherine, I love the idea that it dries and you, you can turn it, it does. into. Yeah. Well, you've seen how flexible it is by yes. the fabric. Yeah. Now this isn't dried enough. I was hoping it would be, but it's very cool in the studio. It's yeah. dry on the surface, but underneath it's not. But if I just pull a little bit away, can I get a feel for it. Yeah. If this was totally set, cured, it would peel away in one strip. But I'm just want to show you. 
I don't know if we can breathe in. Oh I know my it's tiny. Oh, the relief. But the detail that it picks up from your moulds. Yes. You could put this onto your stamps and yeah. your texture mats as well. It's just wonderful. When that's properly dry, as long as you put it on in an even spread so you've got a little bit of depth and not just yes. all the crevices, you can peel that straight away. Love it. Thank you, Catherine. Again, another project I'd love to see back again. So many things that we want to see back again, isn't it? That's why we need a whole day. Um, so, yeah, um, it's been a busy, busy hour. Don't forget, 7 o'clock this morning, um, we were here with Catherine as well. Another of the very popular items during this hour has been that slate paste. Lots of you adding this into your basket. 11.90 now we'll get you your um, half liter of this you're getting a lot within there and of course you can use it in so many different ways put it straight onto your mdf it makes it look as if you've got something that's created from slate brilliant use it like a blackboard if you want to do nice and smooth finish use it through your um, stencils as we heard as well uh, and use it on top of other things as well on glass and ceramics and all sorts amazing seven three nine six four four and with that one we're okay to put that outside as well you certainly are yeah i know it's gone now but the modeling cream as well you imagine that directly stenciled over the the slate yes, as well that's yes. gonna it's going to end up looking like that yeah. on the black isn't it with the Beautiful. colors love it Wonderful. absolutely love um it. not got long left on the the show now so you yeah, if there's anything that you've got in your baskets, obviously you need to check your baskets out. Um, <laughs> another, um, what, what, just tell it, I was going to say, give me something else to talk about. What can I talk about? Because we're running out of everything. <laughs> paper mache. Um, paper mache, you're getting um, a litre tub of this one, um, 10 99 And with this, it's brilliant because it's all pre-mixed for you because that's the messy bit, isn't it? And with here, you've kind of got your paper fibres in there, which means that once it has dried, it's incredibly light. But it's almost like you've got your grey board and it's kind of been mushed together. And you know how strong grey board can be once it's dried so brilliant um a tub um 10.99 with that 433.997 i've never worked with papier mache in this i've always done kind of like your newspaper and your, your wallpaper paste yeah. and, and putting yeah. it together but not mixing it so exactly this like is pre-mixed but you know it's so fibrous as well you will get a really strong result from it as we said like grey board mm -hmm. now you could roll this very very thinly you could actually die cut it once it's wow. set okay. if you wanted to do that as well you would have to make sure it's thin enough for your dies of course to yes. do that but yes you can do that i'm not going to make anything as such now but you can see how easily you can roll this so you can shape it around jars and tins it will stick without any glue just very quickly to bring in that was just very very quick just to show how um, oh, right. it holds onto a tin can you can mark into it just with a palette knife or use those stencils but do you know what there's so much more you can do when it comes to mixed media and you've got canvases and gray board and your mount board and things like that what about going directly onto your board? Okay. Now, obviously, something that's very, very porous, like the board I've got here, you might see a little bit of bowing to start with because yeah. the moisture yes. in the papier-mâché. Remember, this is very porous, so something like a tin can, it's not going to um, warp because it's, it's not porous. Now, all I'm doing here is just putting clumps of that on. Now, it will just wash off your hands. It, I've got all sorts on my hands. So if you want it smooth, there's that much moisture in there. You can literally just rub the surface and you can get a really, really nice smooth surface. Could you use cookie cutters with this, do you think? You, I think you could, yeah, yeah. definitely. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Now, what I did find, I did, did find my rolling pin in my box and I thought, oh, right, let's try and roll it out. But what happens, and I will show you, if you've just put that down, look what happens. Oh, Not yes. good. Not no. good. So you're not gonna. You're not gonna. No, it's not great, is it? But there is a trick, of okay. course. Of course, there's, there's a always trick. a Catherine way there's to do a job. There's always another way. <laughs> so you've seen me wiping my very dirty hands. I'm gonna reuse my wet wipes. So all I'm doing is oh, using okay. the wet wipe and rolling over the top and that can you see how that is actually Ooh, spreading Katie's out? Katie's liking this. Yeah, I'm very excited with this. Peel one. that away. Look how smooth that is. That is brilliant. So you can literally just <laughs> move that <laughs> my goodness is that the whole me. board now <laughs> But do you, do you know what? If look, I didn't have the, the cloth there, so you can see what's happened. But if you want the texture, you can have the texture. So would it stay like that if you left it to dry? Would it have those peaks? Yes, it would. It okay. would stay like that. Now I'm just going to flatten that out simply because I'm going to do something else. So using again, stamps are great for this. But I've got one of uh, Leone's Stamperia molds again. If I go directly onto the paper mache, it is very, very wet still. Mm. So it would tend to stick a little bit. Right. You'll probably find it sticks less with um, a rubber stamp. Okay. You could also dust with corn flour 
or talcum powder oh, because okay, I think that yes. would also help. But in this case, I am going to use this. I could use it either way up, but because there's text on here, I am actually going to go this way. Oh, right, rolling okay. pin. And I'm keeping the cloth down there. And in fact, I'm just going to kind of rub that over the top rather mm. than rolling it. So I can really get some pressure there. Because I've got the cloth underneath, it gives you a softer effect, yes. as you will hopefully see. So if I take that away, you can Ooh, see yeah. through the cloth. It has <gasps> given us that oh, texture. Wow. So you, you know, you could, that would make a fantastic background for texture. Does it look like a stone effect almost? It, just it really just does. It, as, uh, it is there. In fact, I'm really hoping we've just got enough time for one last thing. Ooh. Let's see. There, this one was drying out from earlier. It's still not fully dry. You can see where it's gone much lighter around the edge, but it's still got some dampness in there. I did use one of the little stamps that we've got on the show as well, just to test that. That works beautifully. So you can see I've used the same mould to get the texture. Yeah. You said about stone, Haley. one of my favourite, favourite things is dry brushing. And I know oh, this okay. is a little bit wet, but... Let's let's give it a go. Just give this a really. So this really is good the white shape. acrylic paint that we've this got in that trio. This is the white acrylic. Yeah, yeah. So a little bit on there. Let me just find an old brush that's not brilliant because I prefer to use old scraggy brushes and never throw them away. Let's just get some paint on there. Now, normally I would wipe off a little bit on a, a clean dry towel, but you can just sort of stipple it on your mat as well. Don't want too much paint on there. Hoping this is dry enough. And well, just, just, down. just, oh, yeah, look just this. flick across the top. Do you know, we could go with a couple of different colours, actually, because we've got Ooh. more, haven't we? What other colours should we go with? Shall we stick with the neutrals? I kind of like it, yeah, and it's a nice base colour as well. I mean, you've got the natural in there and the black as well. Let's give these a share. And, of course, you can mix all these together as well. But just bringing out the detail, you don't even have to paint that. You see, that one's more shaking. You can tell when it's not mixed enough because yeah. it looks a little bit oily. Yes. It isn't right. oily, but it, it looks it. So you have to give them a really, really good shape. And I'm guessing if people manage to get hold of those, um, the, the, the kind of the luster sheens earlier on, they can go over the top of this again when it's dry because yeah. it's kind of got that solid surface yeah. to it. So obviously we haven't got them now, but if you've got them already, then wow. Let's go with the black next. It still looks a little bit oily, that natural one. I need to shake it a little bit more. I've got white on the brush as well, but... Um, you'll just get kind of a, a darker tone which will make it look more like concrete as well mixing the two together actually yeah. the black and the white and kind of blending them together and it's nice because it's not adding the weight because it's paper isn't yeah. it so yeah do you know what i know we've only got a couple of minutes left i've just thought of something i haven't used so may as well just try <laughs> squeeze <laughs> oh, the it in on it <laughs> the rusty oh, yeah okay i don't think i've got time to mix something again um you can use these separately this one, great with stencils again, you've got that lovely consistency. But if you wanted to just sort of dab that over onto your paper mache as well, that's going to work beautifully. Let's just try not to sort of squash this down too much because it is still wet. I know we've only got a couple of minutes. I'm going to bring in the patina as well, just so you can see the effect of this, because it's very different. So this different. is quite, um, quite runny, this one, isn't it? It is. I so, would recommend oh, okay. giving this a bit of a stir. I haven't got time to stir this one, so okay. I'm going to take a little bit from the top there where it's kind of mixed itself in. But this gives you that beautiful... Could you dry brush with the patina as well? You could dry oh, brush okay. with it, yeah. But I'm just trying to sort of catch the top there yeah. a little bit. This with the green, so you get that yes. um, verdigris look yeah. as well, would be beautiful. That's a good point, actually, yeah. I'm going to hold that to the front just to see if we can pick up the shimmer in the patina in there as well. Oh, yeah. Can, can you see it? The yeah. more it dries, the more it comes through. But a that great way amazing. of adding yeah. texture. You know, we normally use stencils and go through with texture paste, but we sometimes forget that you can actually make texture... Mm over the whole surface yeah. in a completely Still different got a whole way. Minute, Catherine. Have we got a whole minute? Yeah. A whole minute. What else can I fit in then? What haven't I used? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're wanting to get hold of the patina kit, we've got the details up on the screen. It's a two-part kit, but you don't have to use both of those parts. But as you heard from Catherine, do perhaps add in those green paints as well to get that patina effect with them. So $9.99 if you're wanting um, your rusty set there. It comes with those nine pieces of sponge there as well, which Catherine, she's been about it. She loves them. And then at the bottom, you can get hold of that green paint if you want that patina look as well for ten ninety nine as well. Um, oh, she's back in. What are you? What are you up to well, this time? You know, I said about the Maya Gold not being stirred. Look at oh. this. This is absolutely beautiful. We've not had the Maya Gold before. 
Grab yourself some of that as well. That is absolutely Gorgeous. beautiful. It's got Love it's it. pat with mica again. Catherine, thank you so much. Um, yeah, it's inspiration as always. If you have just joined us, don't forget we've got that 7 a.m. show you can go back and watch as well. See you later on. Right up to the world. I've been quite happy to do it all again. So easy, um, Sasha Coat. Looking forward to that hour before I am back with the lovely Lou with us um, and uh, the one day special. Then we're back with Stamp Addicts. Ooh. Hi, I'm Sarah from White Gecko Craft Lounge. We have a little shop in Dinners Powers, which is between Cardiff and Barry, so right by the seaside, and we were established six years ago. There's three of us that run the business it's myself, Sarah Jane, and Sean and we have a host of uh, volunteers and community members that help out too. One of the aims of White Gecko is to really inspire you to start sewing. We'd like to uh, get people crafting and start that sewing process. A lot of patterns and kits are perfect for beginners to use. It's a real wonderful, mindful way to start that journey into sewing. So don't miss the White Gecko shows. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter. I got into crafting years ago, ever since I've been crafting since I was a child, and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet lots of really inspirational people. And that's just um, the beauty of this, there's always something new to learn, there's always something uh, that you want to get into, it's fabulous. I hope you can join me on my Let Leone Lou shows every Wednesday, 11am and 2pm. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. I hope you enjoy watching us and crafting with La Blanche. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hello. Sorry, I'm just popping my what's it back in. Um, it is lovely to have your company. I'm really looking forward to this hour. Our lovely Rosella, for starters, is in the building. Good morning. Well, good morning. It good feels morning. like it's been ages since I've done a show with you. It has been a long time, hasn't it? Feels it feels like it. It yeah. feels like it. Um, I love it, though, our Rosella, because um, we've worked together many, many times <laughs> and under many different umbrellas, doing mm. lots of different things. I mean, I, I've not seen the... Now, uh, yeah, I have to say it fast. Sashiko. Yeah. Um, Sashiko. So, like, like you, I, I don't think I pronounce it correctly because I'm not Japanese. But I say, if you say it's Sashiko, Sashiko quickly, go Sashiko, 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 and it's sort of that I become silent. But yes. either way, it's just a beautiful form of embroidery. It is beautiful. Yeah. And as you say, Japanese, it's traditionally Japanese. Yes. Um, and I've just been reading, we've got a gorgeous book. And actually, as, our, as our, so many stitches began, um, actual utilitarian, they were used for a purpose. I mean, now it's just ridiculously decorative and pretty, isn't it? It is. And what's more, it's really, really accessible because it uses one stitch, basically, and that's a running stitch. Yeah. So if you don't want a running stitch, that's the in, out, in, out. That is all it is. But there's, there's quite a lot of meaning behind the patterns, yeah. behind yes. the stitching, which we'll talk about as we go on. So it's really fascinating. Yeah, I think that um, with the Japanese culture, that's it, isn't it? You know, there's so much meaning in so many of, well, everything really. But yeah, this now, the artwork is just 
just beautiful. And the, I think the minimalist look as well, again, something that we, we automatically think of uh, Japanese art, but when you look at this, it fits into like modern day um, interior design mm. and clothing, etc., doesn't it? I, I think you're so right. In fact, I'm looking behind you, Leonie, because we've got our beautiful new sets and they're in a pale grey. Yeah. Now, how fabulous is yeah. this going to look? Um, yes. Maybe just a, a statement yeah. piece in a frame, um, just one of those designs yes. from the starter kit. Maybe it's going to look absolutely fabulous. That cherry blossom, the little flower, is one of my absolute favourites. Yeah. I love it. Absolutely stunning. But yeah, you're right with any of the colour palettes, and I love that. I love that it'll fit right up to modern day. Now, really, really interesting. It has been on. I know the starter kit's been on before. You might have already had this. You might have already had, give it a go. If so, we would love pictures i'd love to see what you've done but maybe you're like me maybe this is the very first time you have seen this kit now the starts kit is fabulous 32.99 so first of all you've got your templates um so effectively the light like stencils um so i'll run through and then obviously i'm gonna ask our gorgeous rosella what everything does so you've got your four different templates outlining some of the the beautiful designs um within the the sashiko um, um, we've also got um, the thread, um, and again, we will talk about this in more detail. We've got the cotton. We've get, then got this fabulous little um, tool that has the, the coloured, um, I believe, like the, the chalks, but again, I'll ask our result in a second, at the top there. We've then got um, some needles as well. So, talk me through the kit, Rosella, because obviously um, the, the whole Sashiko um, uh, designs that on the the specific cotton you use the the, the specific thread so it's all very very um, specific isn't it? it it is that's right so the <coughs> cotton is is a um a, it's, it's a little if you're familiar with maybe a pearly cotton it's twisted yeah. like that it's not a stranded cotton that we that i use all the time it's a it's more of a thicker cotton but it's matte it's not yes. shiny it's it's is cotton so it's really really interesting um, yeah. cotton. And you get loads and loads and loads of it. And you can see it's, it's sort of got the Japanese branding on there as well. Um, so you've got that. You've got the templates and really well designed, Leone. You've got little yeah. holes in there so that actually you're going to be able to place your... I'll show you this in a bit, but place your fingers to keep it in place. And the great thing about these templates is they're repeatable. Yes. So you're going to continue to make this pattern on however long piece of fabric. So maybe you're yeah. thinking table runner, something like yeah. that. This is going to look great because we're all sort of hopefully... <laughs> The rain never stops eating outside yes. um, and um, so it, there's just so many possibilities of yeah. what you can create from this and I'm having a great time making things yeah. um, you know there's, there's just there's a few samples for you to have a look at yeah it is one of those yeah you look at the pattern it's like oh my word that's gonna be so easy to repeat pattern um, this little gadget <laughs> <laughs> so does that um, that allow you to, to change the colours and also does that allow you to, to mark on from your template when yeah. you're stitching? Is that what that's used for? That's exactly what it's used for. If you used to have one of those, you know when we're at school, yes. we used to have colour. Yeah, it's one of those. Yes. So it's always a pleasure whether we use it for marking yeah. fabric or not. We just absolutely love it. Yeah. But the great thing about this, you're getting blue fabric in the starter kit. So for blue fabric, you'd mark either with the white or with the yellow. However, we also sell extra fabric, of course, and you, you may use different color fabrics so if you're using white then you might want to use either the red or the green or the blue so whatever color fabric you've got you're going to use a pen accordingly amazing so you've got the pen now the fabric the fabric again now this is specific isn't it um again for the the sashiko and you can see when i pick up one of those finished samples it's a very it's a very light cotton isn't it yeah absolutely because traditionally you're putting lots of stitches on your needle you need a soft fabric to actually enable you to do that because obviously if you were doing that through denim then um, it would be really really quite difficult and but we've got a couple of tools for that as well on the show but yeah you can see straight right through Literally. that's right <laughs> That um, is stunning. It, and it's so easy. And you know what? I'm, I'm not the neatest stitcher in the world. My stitches aren't all the length of a grain of rice. Yeah. Um, is that what they're meant to yeah. be? <laughs> oh, no longer than. That was the d decree. No longer than a grain of rice. Fabulous. But it doesn't matter because it's the, the, the finished effect that you're looking at. And it doesn't matter if your stitches yeah. aren't entirely even. That is not going to show. What you're going to see is that lovely, mostly geometric pattern. Yeah, I really like the fabric as well. Um, so you get 
in the fabric. Obviously, you're getting the needles as well. It's a really good starter kit because literally you can pick this up. You can do the, the beautiful finished samples that Rosella's done, but those templates you'll be able to use again and again and again. And you'll be able to create some seriously cool patterns and prints with these. Um, if you would like to go for this, um, 629866. And actually, so with the fabric, is that big enough to create a cushion with it? Yeah. And actually, on the back of the starter oh, wow. kit, yeah. So, um, a couple of things you've got on there. You've got instructions on which direction to stitch in, which I obviously completely disregard. Uh -huh. But you soon get used to the, <laughs> the best way. But then, um, what you've also got is how to make a cushion, and you've got Amazing. the fabric to do that. You've actually got the fabric to do the front and the back. Personally, I would use it for the front and yes. different fabric for the back. So you've yes. got a couple out of there because yeah, you definitely. know, once you start, it's it's a really quick craft this it's a really quick way of stitching it's so effective so quickly that i think you'll want to continue yeah. with it i like that i like that it's quick but you get some beautiful out of it so you do get the finished in um the instructions and of course you do get enough fabric um to to cover your your cushion or make two cushion fronts if you wish um a beautiful beautiful templates again what an incredible um skill and a, a really doable skill as well really achievable 629-866 if you is your starter kit now um we have got the templates now these are the same templates that are in the starter kit but maybe you've already um you know you've already had a go maybe it's something you've already done and you just want to or you want to use the templates for something else maybe you're actually going to be inking up or maybe you've gone like your templates to someone and they haven't given it your back yet. Um, so you have got your templates. Now, it is a pick and mix. Now, you're going for any two of these for £9.99. And, £9. and again, what you can do with them looks absolutely beautiful. See, it is clean. It's crisp. It is so stylish, isn't it? It is. And what's more, it's really sturdy because its origins are from sturdiness utilitarian. Yes. It's, so those are just coasters. But I've popped a little bit of interfacing on just to give them a little bit of extra. We've got a cushion cover that, um, that. my friend Anita's made for me. And again, you can see it's all from this four inch square template, but it's so easy to repeat that pattern yeah. and create your own designs. Yeah. And that, again, is a pattern that will never date. No. You know, they're never going to date. They're never going to go out to fashion. I love this one as well that you've done on the bag. <laughs> Let me just show you that. Look at that, just on the, the clutch bag, because that looks so stylish. Yeah. Doesn't it? It's, um, I wanted to create something that combines my passion for hand embroidery, but also with yeah. this sash coat, this Japanese influ influence. Yeah. Um, and actually, um, I want to continue with that a bit because I'm really, really excited about it. I really like that. That looks so pretty. Yeah. Really pretty. Um, if you did want to get hold of that one, that's your wave. So that's one of your actual um, your options. You've also got uh, the beautiful, which I keep knocking over. I do apologise. That's your cherry blossom. And then um, the end one there is, oh, sorry, that's your wave. That's your cherry blossom. And then your end one is your... The weights, oh, Wait. the little weights. Um, so you've got your three different options, only 9 99 and that is for two of those. Uh, 727066 is your item number. Uh, now, next, we have got different templates for you. And again, loads you can do with this. I love this template. And it's really interesting, because on the packaging, look, it is going to show you the way to actually work it, which is beautiful. Um, and this, obviously great to, to build on the starter kit, but, I mean, if I should, I'm going to show you a book, because on the book, look at that right on the front of the book. See, that looks amazing. Mm. That's a beautiful template. Yeah, it's absolutely fabulous. And I want to tell you a little bit about, whilst I've got you on this template. Oh, yeah. So it's the hemp. It's called hemp. Ah. And it's radiating life. And it's for the inner light of the soul. And traditionally, they would swaddle babies in uh, garments with this as a blessing for a strong and healthy baby. Oh, wow. So again, really symbolic. Yes, absolutely. That's beautiful. And when it's done as a big piece, you can just imagine how phenomenal that's going to be. Well, can you imagine something like um, uh, on your bed? I'm, I'm heavily into yeah. bed at the moment, so maybe a runner along the bottom of the bed just covered yes. with that, and especially in the navy and cream. I've got that in my yeah. bedroom at the moment, and that would just look absolutely stunning. And yeah. again, cushion covers, um, it's just about anything, but think clothing as well, Leonie. Yes, um, absolutely. You know, pinafore dress, dungarees, yeah. just put a little panel. You don't have to do all of it, just a little panel. It's going to yeah. be great. In fact, when I start, because I'm going through 
through book. I mean, please make sure you get a hold of the book because uh, the book has loads of gorgeous ideas. But yeah, I mean, obviously different pattern, but look on bedding. Oh, oh, of course I showed home with a doggy. Looks like my Lola. Uh, but, but on bedding, I mean, this is the thing, isn't it? You can do so much with these stitches, so and, much with these patterns. And, and quickly. And I think that's a really great thing is yeah. actually think, you know, I want to make something today. I want to do a bit of stitching. I want something that's portable. Then, you know what? I'm going to do a little bit of this. Yeah. So unusually for me, I don't use a hoop for this. You don't need a hoop for sash coat. So everything you need, I pop in a little pouch. It's got everything in there. You can take it with you and you can create something so, so lovely. Yeah. Lovely, but really, really classy. Um, so that's that one. Now, uh, what does this one do then, uh, Rosella? What's that template for? So that's either your border or right. for then straight lines, because you'll notice all of these designs, they're quite geometric. Yes. So yeah. this is, again, you're going to move on from that. If When we get to the bag, if we actually look at the pattern on the bag, not my sample, you'll see that that's got some straight lines on there as right. well. Excellent. So that will give you the, the perfect straight line. And again, you have got the um, the even stitch as well if you wish to go down that route. Uh, now, £14.98 is your price there. So you do get uh, the two templates there. So Asanoha, I don't know if I've said that right, uh, template and then the border ruler as well. 943-112 is your item number there. That, yeah, that's my favourite. If you've got your starter kit, I'd add that to your basket. Or if you've already done the starter kit, definitely make sure you get hold of those. Now, next we've got for you, obviously we've been looking, a lot of the fabric, we have been looking at the, the beautiful navy blue. This one, it is an actual kit. Now, you are going to get the actual template. So let me just bring in the fabric so you can see the template. So you can see that gorgeous template, which is lovely. And again, with these, you, you see the, the geometric pattern. So that one, you see the flowers, but then you see the circles within it, don't you? you which you looks fabulous. Um, you've then got, this is an apron fab, um, template. Uh, an apron kit, so you get the fabric. The apron itself, again, looks beautiful. And useful. So and useful. Maybe yeah. for yourself, maybe for a gift. But of course, that's that's the absolute minimum. And that took me about two hours all really? told to put it together as well. But having done that once, I would now do it again. And on the waistband, I'd perhaps do a little bit of design yes. as well. I'd perhaps use a little design on the background. So you're going to, this is a skill you're going to build with yeah. all the time. You're really going to enjoy it. Yeah. It may, you make it your own, don't yeah. you? And so with this one, you've got the thread again. And I do love the thread because like you say, it, I like the fact that it's matte because yes. it gives it a completely different look. Yeah, I think it does. It gives it that natural look, yeah. I think. And it, obviously it is natural cotton, but also I think it sort of harks back to its origins where it would, yeah. you know, we, we wouldn't have had fancy schmancy um, yes. threads in the 17th century. It would have been a nice matte cotton. Yeah, I love that. Obviously you do get your instructions. The instructions are on the packaging. You get the needles. You also get your pen for marking out. You get the, um, the template and of course you get the fabric. So this time, so the, the actual fabric but and I'm just going to show you because look again how beautiful and light that is so really all you need with this kit is a pair of scissors basically yes and uh, you can either stitch it on a sewing machine you could stitch it by hand yeah. you know if you don't have a machine it's, it's one of those projects that's actually going to look great either traditionally yeah. we always used to make our aprons by hand at home so yeah it's a lovely way of getting back to it yeah really like that that is your beautiful craft apron absolutely gorgeous and only 17 pounds and 99 pence and i love that you get that template because so that's different from the the beginners templates as well it, oh is that one we get in the beginner one it is that's right yes, ah yeah 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 of course it is it's that one isn't it so there you go so that one's in the beginner one. Yeah, you don't get that in the pick and mix, so um, absolutely beautiful. If you would like to get hold of that one, it is uh, 739-048, your item number. Again, I love it because that they are very um, doable. 
You know, if you are brand brand new to this, mm. every single every single kit is doable. Yeah. Now the next one, and again, absolutely gorgeous. This is a kit for the beautiful tote bag. So again, you've got the template, enough fabric, the beautiful cotton, absolutely gorgeous with the threads, and that's a lovely wave. And these are going to tell teach you how to actually expand those uh, patterns, aren't they? They are, and, and how to pattern increase. And um, as a side note, it's blue sea waves so it's waves of good luck leone oh. um, which was a, a sixth century talisman however should you want to you could turn it the other way up and then it becomes either dragon scales or fish scales ah fantastic <laughs> see oh how fantastic and i love that because if you are giving this as a gift it would be nice to actually put a little card in so they know what it represents wouldn't it absolutely or maybe why you gave them that actually yes. you know what i want to send you waves of good luck this is yeah. for you yeah, absolutely. Isn't that beautiful? And you can see, just as Rosella said on the picture there, if you did want to do straight lines on it, get that other template because that, it gives it a completely different look. Um, 17 99 these are so cost effective. Um, again, please check your baskets out. One, two, four, eight, Z, uh, 508 is your item number. Uh, now, next we've got for you the fabric. As we said, the fabric is specific, and I'm going to open this up for you um, so you can see the size of it. So it's a lightweight um, cotton, and you do get a big piece, don't we? <laughs> you get a huge piece. I mean, if you're thinking, actually, you know what, I want to make a few cushions for the sofa. Maybe you've um, you've taken the starter kit, so you've got the cushion pattern on there. How many are you going to be able to make from this? Looking at that, you're going to be able to make probably six cushion fronts, I would have thought from I was that. trying to put it to the front, but I'm... <laughs> I'm failing. I'm failing because I'm just ruching it up at the back. But yeah, massive. I, I do love it because it almost reminds me, you know, the, the Japanese screens? Yes. It reminds me of those. Because it's it's almost translucent, yeah. isn't it? It's yeah. such a fine fabric. Yes. Oh, it'd be beautiful if you did do screens with this, wouldn't it? It, it would with the designs oh on. Oh my gosh, that would look so good. How about things like uh, lampshades? Yeah. Because again, you'd get lots of light gosh, through them. It'd be there, beautiful. Wouldn't it just? Yeah absolutely beautiful um oh yeah that is excellent so you've got your different options so your first color um we have got for you the white we've also got the beautiful ivory and then of course we have got more of that wonderful navy and it's a really nice lovely rich blue um if you do want those only nine pounds and 99 pence massive piece of fabric and as we say it has got that beautiful transparency um our translucency which looks really really effective um, 467383. Uh, now, do have a look at the website. If you're looking at the website, look at the thread. Um, the thread, now, this is brilliant for topping up, maybe if you've already um, tried Tashiko. Or, of course, if you are um, giving this for the first go, but you want some more uh, thread, please pop that in your basket. We have got more threads. We've got the needles as well. Now, they are um, the proper sashiko uh, needles there. And again, really, really, um, I think they're the ones, aren't they? Um, they're the ones that we do encourage you to pop in your basket. I think, yes, yes, Rosella's nodding at me. So they're your uh, sashiko needles as well. Uh, we have got the sashiko book. It's got 20 projects using the tra traditional Japanese stitching and that is absolutely stunning and you've got a really good price on that only 10 99 and it's got some good reviews on that one it is a beautiful book so please do have a look at that look at that just covered how pretty does that look and that's just one tiny part of that stent um, that template beautiful um okay i really like this um uh yeah it's really really effective so how easy is it to actually do our lovely oh, rosella crack it is just so very very easy i've just taken a little bit of the, the spare fabric here um and choose any in fact i'm going to choose my favorite i love this uh sakura it's just beautiful uh you've got your pencil so it's blue fabric i can use white i can use yellow on there so let's start with the yellow and you'll see then <coughs> excuse me Oh, yeah. That it's, yeah, it's down there and it pops down there. Now, it does tend to, to wash, wash about, <laughs> off about mine, so I tend to hold it like that, which I quite like actually because I feel like I'm doing it properly. <laughs> um, and so, all you need to do, you've got little holes here. These are for your fingers to go in because obviously you're working on fabric. So, pop those in there just to keep it secure, and then all you do is mark your fabric. 
and that's that's as complicated as it is. Oh, wow, I can do that. Exactly. Well, you know, I love this because this is one that I can listen to my book on my phone on. So yeah. it's just, you just get on with it and it, it sort of slows you down. It's a really, really nice thing to do. Yeah, it's quite mindful, isn't it? It is. Now, I'm actually um, tracing the lines on the inside of the template, but sort of harking back to um, my traditional hand embroidery, which I really want to combine with this, I'm thinking, you know, that would look great, perhaps with a different design within the centre. So yeah. this is something that you're going to be able to combine your other skills, your other passions with as well. So that's the yellow. I'm just going to do a little bit in the white. And just so you can see, now pull the slider to the end to change the colour on there. Okay. And then make sure it's lined up. Oh, don't want that much, do I? <laughs> Good gracious. <laughs> George. <laughs> if you sort of go off centre and you, you leave it, you know what, it's really, really easy to line back up again. So, yeah. so when you are repeating that pattern, you're going to find that it's really easy to line up. The um, stencils are, the templates, sorry, they're ridiculously easy to see through. I mean, they are properly clear templates. They, they? they are, and they're sturdy. And actually, on the last couple of shows I had with Janice, <laughs> and it was quite late now, and we had a lovely show, and so we were <laughs> making different creatures. So Janice made a fabulous elephant. So you'll what, find that. The you'll template? To, uh, and which ones? I think she used the weights. We, yeah. we sort of mixed and matched and making our own designs. <laughs> so you'll find Janice's elephant on either her Facebook page or mine. So there we go. You can see that it's really, really easy to see where you're heading with that. Beautiful. And then all you're going to do then is pretty much stitch it. The needles you're getting in the starter kit are embroidery needles. Right. So they are large eye needles. However, um, having worked with these, and I've watched loads of YouTubes on this because I'm really, really interested yeah. in this. Yeah. And I noticed that they were using bigger needles than I'd got, and it's like, hmm, okay. and why are their needles bigger well, than my yeah, needles? Yeah, why have you got a bigger one? I want a bigger <laughs> one. So we've got bigger ones. Um, so what we decided we needed was some bigger ones. So you might want to consider this. It doesn't come in the starter kit, but it's up to you. But you can see that we've got some really long eye needles. Again, mm. you've got the large eye to make it easy to thread. Yeah. And what you've also got in there is a, it's a, it's a, it's a thimble, but you pop it on your middle finger and it, it goes into the palm so that if you are going through a stiffer fabric and you've got, you're using maybe this long needle, it gives you a bit oh. of oomph. Because we need like a little bit of Oh, oomph. that's a good idea. I know. Huh? They thought of everything. They really have. Yeah. And then, oh, so actually my favourite needle now is one of the long ones. So that's the one I'm just <laughs> going to thread up for this. Not the very long one, but a longer one. That is a nice long needle. That's a nice long um, needle. You know, <laughs> needle snobbery here. Um, you're getting thread. I can't actually remember. Is it ivory thread or white thread? Uh, we've got the in? white in this is kit. Is it the white? So let me show you the difference, the white and the ivory. It's really uh, quite yes. subtle. But yeah. the difference being if you've got a cream design in your room that you want this to match or you've got a, a white, white yes. design you can choose. So you can see that I've prepared my thread and I've actually tied it up to keep it under control. And Beautiful. all you need to do then is just to pull a thread out of there. Okay, okay. And that's obviously, the... if you do want to get your thread separately, you can do that. If you want to get your needles as well, um, that are as well as using the needles are there. One seven seven four nine three. And you can see they're easy, easy thread because oh, yeah, I've actually that's... managed it without going off. Yeah, that's so... easy. So you've got a couple of ways of starting. The easiest way to start is simply tie a knot. Okay. And it's certainly if you're using the navy fabric, then I'd recommend that you tie a knot because it, it's nice and secure. It doesn't matter. This is this is not fine embroidery where I need to hide the end or anything. This is this is my utility embroidery yeah. that yeah. just happens to look amazing when it's done. And then all you're going to do is you're going to bring your needle through. So you don't use a hoop, yeah? Because this no. is this is it. Normally you would definitely. Uh, oh, be always. There. I've always got my seat stand on me, and the reason being is that you're actually going to put that fabric on your needle, right? And you can see that I'm bunching it up, right. hence the longer needles, because then you can get more fabric. And when you watch sort of professionals doing this, it's it's mesmerising. Do they have like tons oh, of fabric absolutely. on Oh, absolutely. And the then they'll push it along with that thimble on the finger. And then what you do, rather than mm. sort of whipping your needle through, you're going to sort of smooth your fabric away. So mm. And your fabric needs to be smoothed away from it all the time so that it doesn't bunch up because it's a running stitch. So smooth your fabric as you go through it. Oh, yeah. But you can see just how quick this yes. is. <laughs> and, and that's a beautiful thing about the running stitch, isn't it? You're going to get that really quick result. 
Yeah, you are, and you know what I mentioned about no, each stitch is not the same length. Well, yeah. actually, once you've got a few in there, no, it's not going to be. I'm not. I'm not good enough to make it the same length. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm perfectly yeah. happy with the the desired effect. If you've got to go around a sharp corner, um, this isn't a one, but I'm going to show you anyway in case you come up, uh, come across a design where you'd need to. So you'd go in. Let's say this is a bit sharper co corner than I think. What you'd do is you'd pull it through, but on the reverse, you'd leave just a little bit extra, not that much, right. but just a little bit. And that would help again with easing round the corners so right. that it doesn't um, pull tightly. When you've actually stitched your design, you're going to wash this. You're going to wash it anyway to get rid of the uh, the markings. Yeah. And you'll find that when you've washed it, it, t it tends to become more beautiful and it sort of fluffs up a little bit okay. and it, yeah. it's, it just makes it so much better so I do even if you don't need to wash it maybe wash it anyway yeah it's perfectly color fast amazing that's good so yeah. at least your, yeah your blue's not going to make your all Absolutely. your beautiful whites all awful and mucky oh that's cool I love that that is so easy and doable Absolutely. isn't it it really is yeah do you know it's really interesting because now when you do look at the book I mean <clears throat> As soon as you look at the book, it's striking, isn't it? It's one of those that the first picture looks amazing. But when you look at that result, it's like, yeah, actually, that's achievable. Even that big, yes. big, beautiful pattern at the bottom, I could do that. This is lovely. Um, if you do want the book, you've got 20 projects in here. You've got a little bit about the history, about the symbolism with this one, which is wonderful. The different tools that you're going to need, which, of course, um, so many of them you are able to get here today. But I just love it. When you look, see, how good is it going to look? <clears throat> Sorry, I have got a very croaky thought today. It's going to look so effective when you actually get these projects done. And let me just see love it so you can still use it i mean you can use it for clothing you can use it around the home you can use it for wall art i mean the table mats look phenomenal yeah i like this a lot look at that look at that now if you do want the book really beautiful this oh my gosh imagine for a gift giving this with the starter kit how good would that be because you definitely want to move on i mean look at that cushion Oh, this is lovely. Yeah, I could see our Paula. Has Paula done one of these shows yet with you, Rosella? Um, no, I don't think we've done it together yet. <laughs> I can see her going, oh, I want to do this. Oh, my word. This would be a Miss Peace. Okay, absolutely gorgeous. If you did want that book, that book is exceptionally busy. Um, please check your basket out with this one. The details are there for you. Uh, really inspirational. Only ten ninety nine, so it's a really good price. You are saving £4 there. Um, 976908. Now, as I said, that with the starter kit, for someone who's brand new to this, would be a beautiful gift. Or, of course, if someone's already got the starter kit, then definitely go for the book. Um, if you haven't got the starter kit yet, you are getting, <clears throat> sorry, you're getting all four templates in there. Um, again, the templates have got meaning behind them. If you've got the book, it will tell you all about the different meanings. And you can see how easy these templates will be um, or the patterns will be to do repeating patterns. So it means you can do big projects if you wish. But, of course, you can just do little samplers like Rosella's done. And they look, I mean, on the wall, can you imagine um, the beautiful samplers? just on the wall you know literally just just those basic uh, one pattern just using the template once on the wall and I do love the fabric I love that it's got that and you can see it you can see just how fine it is so the light where well, you can see behind it I really like that I think that just looks absolutely exquisite um, now you have got the fabric of course you've got a lot of fabric there in fact you could create a cushion out of this if you wanted to and all four you could do all four patterns together on a cushion um, you've got the fabric you've got the thread it is a single thread this is different it's a single thread so you're not uh, splitting you're not splitting the thread it is a white cotton and it's a matte thread so you haven't got any of the the shine that you'd normally get um when we talk embroidery threads you have of course got the needles there as well and you've got the pen and um, the marking pen that's going to allow you to mark out the actual template yeah really really love these if you would love to get this one uh, 629 
866 your item number that is your start kit for only 32.99 literally all you'd need with that is a pair of scissors to cut your fabric down that is it um now the pick and mix now the pick and mix they are the same templates that you get in your start kit so don't please get hold of these if you're getting your start kit today and think you're getting something different um you've got all three templates you've got your Ah, now the wave and the cherry blossom. It's actually cherry blossom, and that's your wave. They're the most popular currently. Um, the weight, oh, it's there. Um, so you've got the weight in there as well. And <clears throat> yeah, there's so much you can do with these. I mean, how pretty do they look? And look back and with some beautiful fabric. How pretty and you can build on these i mean you can expand the design um, and remember the beautiful wave it can be used up, um either which way uh oh i know i'm bad today either which way and it will represent different things which is beautiful and then you've got the gorgeous weight as well and that looks so nice i mean for a clutch bag how good does that look so classy and that's the weight and that has got the um the extra embroidery we have got extra embroidery threads so if you do want the embroidery threads um that of course are completely different from the thread that you're going to be using um for your sashiko um that is 727066 and that's a choice of two of those uh, for 9.99 now the next template yeah i must admit i'm really taken with this one this is gorgeous um so this is the asa asa soha asa soha which asa noha yeah why i thought that renes i do apologize i'm not quite i'm not on all the full what's it's today <laughs> Uh, um, so that is the hemp leaf, of course, and this one is going to show you, you can see on the back there, it's showing you the way of working uh, the actual stitch and the result of that is phenomenal. That's the one that you can see <coughs> on the book cover there. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh my, I absolutely adore that. That as a table runner phenomenal i mean there's so much you can do with this and that beautiful beautiful blue fabric that you're stitching on just looks so good with the white thread honestly it's just dramatic you've also got the runner one as well now that is really handy because again if you look through the book i mean you might be putting and you want your straight lines because it's that precision we're talking about geometric designs so when you look through let's have a little look through uh, some of the designs because it's a geometric design there'll be designs that you 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 need or you're aiming to get that perfection um so if you do want to get hold of that other template i'm looking for straight lines obviously i can't find them now kind of typical uh, but if you do want the the book <laughs> 976908 if you want those templates really like the templates um again very effective and the details are there for you. 943112. And you've got both of those for £14.98. Now check the website out. The website, it's going to give you the um, the extra fabric. And it's a massive piece of fabric. Um, we've got the extra threads if you do want the extra threads. Uh, we've also got the needles. Now the extra needles that Rosella was using. Remember that long needle so you can really bunch your fabric up on your uh, your needle. And that um, that thimble will help you glide the needle through the fabric only 9.99 and um, that is 177.493 is your item number so please make sure you get hold of them um anything else you want please check your baskets out if you question this is live tv um so please email our lovely rosella in studio at um thecraftstore.com um now obviously we've got loads of goodies i did mention we've got extra threads on the show Woo, we've got a lot of extra threads on the show. Well, you know, it's thread. I've just got to have a bit of a play with it, haven't I? So the, we've got a couple of sets of um, stranded thread on the show. This is anchor stranded thread. So if you are a stitcher, you'll understand anchor stranded thread. It's one of the big ones. Um, it's beautiful. It's um, so many different colours on there as well. If you're thinking maybe the little clutch bag, you're going to maybe use the pale pinks on there and the creams and the yellows. It's a really great selection. So there's 48, I believe, of this one. She says, hope. Hopefully, I'm sure it's 48 in this one. And Kirsty's going to tell me any moment now. Yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> but what you've also got, and I, I absolutely love this. I hadn't realised this. 
that you've actually got oh. and it's a sampler so you've got this beautiful cross stitch sampler on there as well so it, and it's just really good value if you haven't got your stranded embroidery thread then you really really want to go for these um, and also we've got an 18 assortment. Oh, is so, that a different one then? Yeah, this is the 48. Right. We've got the 18 as well, which is, which is right, 48. That's the details there. So if you do want the 48, yeah, 35.99, uh, that's 0.22409. And then we have got the 18 one. There you go. That's how they come. Oh, how pretty. And I do like them. They're all colour coordinated in the packaging. Um, so that's your 48. And you've got the 18 one, uh, which of course, um, again, Beautiful rainbow there, £13.99 from Anchor, um, so you know the quality and you have got that lovely sampler as well. 440339 is your item number. And obviously the colour palette will work and you can see, you can see how that works with uh, the beautiful Sashiko. Because <clears throat> you've created your own gorgeous blossoms, which absolutely work. Just, I'm, yes. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at this price. £13.99 for 18, for 18 yes. skeins of thread. Yeah, is that really, really that good? Is, that is really, really incredible value. So what value. does that work out per skein of thread? She's having a little She's, look. Right, and I so just that. whilst I'm looking at these, and whilst Kirsty's thinking about that, so if um, I'm looking, maybe I'm going to do something like long and short stitch, look at the three colours that I've got in there. It's a really great selection. About 80 18. pence -ish. That is fantastic value. Yeah, That's really, really great good, value. Isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And the, and it's anchor, so it's quality as well. As it certainly is such mm. an old old company. It's that's great. That's really great value. Okay. Make and sure again, you check your baskets out yeah. with those ones. And another pattern on there as well. Beautiful, isn't it? Um, and then just before I get on to the apron, um, we've got this essential. So if you've had the starter kit in the past, <laughs> you've had the embroidery needles, and you want to move on because <clears> I, I certainly wanted to. So yeah. you've got then. Um, you've got two packs of needles there and you've got that sort of palm thimble. I can't remember what Janice and I called it. We did have a name for it. Maybe some do remember. But it's um, a pimble or something, something like that. <laughs> so, but it, it is adjustable so that it's, it's multi-size on there as well. Fabulous. Um, yeah, really good kit, that one. Only 9 99 two packs of needles and that wonderful little thimble. Um, again, brilliant price. 177493, your item number. Okay. Next, are we doing aprons? So yeah, and I want to open the apron kit because I always like to open a kit on the sh on the show. So this is going to be the wrinkle, and it's really wrinkly plastic. You're going to love this. So I'll try and do it as far <laughs> away from my mic as I possibly can. Mm -hmm. But I just think that it, a lot of people I know gift, yes. and they'll give kits, and especially something like this. It's so postable, isn't it? And it's just going to be so lovely. So. <laughs> And it is, it is nice giving a kit, especially one that's so comprehensive. I, I think so. And if, if somebody's never done it before, never heard of it, then they're really, really going to enjoy this. So let's have a quick... Oh, look at that. I haven't got a pair of scissors. <laughs> <laughs> might, not get, might not get into it. Oh, no, no, it's okay. That's it's hilarious, isn't it? The <laughs> one time you saw in and no scissors. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got the cream posh ones. I'm not going to use those for paper. You know how it is. Um, you've got your blue thread in this. And again, I love the fact that on all of these kits, you're getting the full length. So we're getting yes. 40 metres of this, which is a huge amount of thread if you think about it. We're not just getting enough to do yes. the cushion or enough to do the apron. We're getting a full skein of thread on yeah. there. You're also getting a full pattern of embroidery needles so these are embroidery needles for any embroidery so you know if we're then going to put our own design on that we're still going to use the same needles but you've got the large eyes to make it easier to thread you've also got your own marker so maybe this you haven't got the starter kit this is the only kit that you're getting you've then got the blue marker because we're using a pair of fabric and so you know that you can mark through the template marvelous what you've also got get into it sorry <laughs> that is, oh jimmy's no jimmy they, they're embroidery scissors they've got ribbon attached oh somebody would be very oh. cross if we use those <laughs> <laughs> well, then you've got then you've got the seven treasures template which is um in the book it tells you which they were and it was gold and agate oh, and yes. i've forgotten the rest and i'll be i'll be there in one it, second they only will fill us in on that mm -hmm. <laughs> So you've got the template on there, which is really one of the easy ones to actually um, recreate. <laughs> Jim is coming out with ever increasingly large scissors. And what you've also got then is a massive amount of fabric. If we actually compared this to my pinny, 
<laughs> so you can say, oh, it's bigger than me. All right. So, that's huge. Yeah, that, that's it. That's a massive amount of fabric, isn't it? Oh, so they give you tons. <laughs> tons. Now, you want to take the fabric for your waistband and your straps off first. I right. learned this with the tote bag. <laughs> yes. Which is slimmer than it should be. Before you then go on to the um, the rest. So just, just keep an eye on the instructions. And the only thing on the instructions that's actually um, embroidered is the there's the pocket, so um, you, you're told to cut a couple of pieces of the pocket fabric, and one's for the lining, one is for the um, actual embroidery itself. Beautiful. And um, of course, the other thing I didn't bring the scissors was a ruler. Um, this is about four inches, or it is four inches, and all you're going to do, it fits three designs. So what you could do without a ruler, <laughs> Jim has now got ruler, scissors, and it's like a stationary <laughs> boy. Um, so what I'm actually going to do, so in case I haven't got a ruler, is I'm going to fold it in half. The template's got a line down the centre. Oh, so as long as I good. place that on that line, and so I'm getting the ruler and scissors whether I like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> but that's going to be the centre of my design. And then I'm going to do one pattern this side, one there, one there. That's perfect. Isn't what it? a great way of... It's and so I easy. I really like that it's got a line down the centre. That makes it ridiculously simple. Doesn't it just? Yeah. And again, you've... It's actually quite... I don't think there's such a point on this one. So it perhaps once... Oh, there we go. You're just going to trace through your design. Beautiful. Now, I'm not putting my fingers in those holes and my fabric's moving. So, you know, they've got holes there for a reason. Do ah, use them. Okay, okay. Do you want your seven treasures? Is it please? Um, so, Shippo uh, Tosange. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, also known as Seven Treasures, this design has been long used in Buddhist art. The Seven Treasures of Buddha are gold, silver, agate, pearl, coral, lapis, um, and crystal ore, amber. So that's your seven treasures. Oh. There you go. We've uh, got. We're going to come out of this show so much more knowledge. <laughs> I, I love the symbolism of it all. I, I think it's just so lovely, and because it's traditional. So traditionally, um, and we're talking sort of seventeenth century, um, farmers, fishermen in Japan were only actually entitled to wear a couple of colours. One of them being indigo, and one of them being grey. And indigo was cheap. And so, yeah. hence, it was used. Um, they, rather than using the stitching to embellish, it was out of necessity because obviously it was not, you know, it's not like today we just go down and buy another outfit. That yeah. was the outfit they had. And so what they would do is they would then patch the outfits and they would stitch layer upon layer, um, which is the borough work. We also yeah. have a book on that on the show. Um, but then you, you've then got the decorative stitching. And I believe that it was the women that did the decorative stitching and they were kind of judged on their stitching. So it's lucky oh, I was really? not alive then. Um, <laughs> And but so they would use these traditional patterns, but then they would also use their own patterns. So they would create their own patterns as well, which I think is just wonderful. Oh my gosh, I've just picked up the Burrow book. Oh yes. <laughs> oh my word, that's gorgeous. <gasps> oh no. So that's interesting. So Burrow was effectively patching clothes up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh basically, my gosh. yeah, it was you make do amend. So, so in a way, so this is like essentially um, Japanese patchwork, but bringing it in with that that beautiful simple stitching method, that looks absolutely gorgeous. And I think that's the point. It just looks amazing. Doesn't it, it looks amazing. Now, whether you're actually going to stitch this on a pocket of a jeans, maybe, or up yeah. the, you know something like that on a, on a jacket, um, it, it's it's so useful for any type. But I'm thinking, you know, how about a quilt? So maybe yes. just some of the blocks are going to be in sashiko and mixed with other styles, maybe just other fabrics. It's it's a really transferable. Um, mm. Embroidery, isn't it? Oh, I tell you what, this absolutely sings to my heart. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh, I love this. Yeah, I really want to have a go at this. That looks absolutely amazing. And it's funny, actually, because I've got a quilt cover at home that I've had for years and years and years and years. And you know when it's like, but it's still going. But now you could actually just repurpose it and make it look different. By by doing this, yeah, absolutely, and it's a great way of actually retaining, um, <sighs> if you like me, quilts that the dogs ru ruined, um, and actually retaining the fabric that you've got. Yeah, 
Yeah, uh, yeah, retaining, recycling, repurposing, yeah. but making something that's beautiful. Oh, I like that book as well. Oh, you've got some lovely books on stage, show. I do like a good book, though. Um, if you would like your book, only £15.99. Um, the Book of Burrow. Uh, that is 738566, your item number. And, yeah, I think that is another one that you really want to get your hands on. That is lovely. Uh, back to you. Sorry, <laughs> my love. No, that's quite all right. All I want to show you is how easy it is to then extend this pattern so you can see that I've I've got this design so far Beautiful. and then all you're going to do is then line it up and because we're using the blue on the white you then just continue and that's that's as that's difficult so as it is but you know if you've got the pick and mix maybe you've got the starter kit you've got more templates then you know consider how you would perhaps create something slightly different so if yeah. you, you've sort of gone for the apron but you've also got the starter kit if we just choose one of the other templates let's take this cherry blossom so there's nothing then stopping us placing this within the center and actually yes. expanding on that pattern yeah well it looks like that on the, um again in the book some of those I mean, I don't need the two separate templates, but let me, in fact, let me show you this one. Oh, good grief, I've just found one that's, like, that might be two separate templates. So you can see there, that's one template, but look, that one looks like a separate template. But yes. it, be, because you're using the same colour of thread, or just like they've used just the white and the red, it just flows, doesn't it? It does. It the, matches, it goes. you are designing, you're designing yeah. your own fabric here. So actually use whichever templates you want to yes. use and just do a little bit of one and some of the other. And I think you, you've got the starter for 10 here, haven't we? With the starter kit and the extra templates. Yeah. You've got the tools and then you're just going to be really, really creative. Just it. before we move on, one final thing on the apron, which I learned. It's a white fabric, it's a blue thread. If you right. do a knot and you don't cut it neat, and you can actually see through there, can't you? And yeah. your tail is not out the way, it's gonna show through. Yes. And I find this, so what I would recommend on the white fabric is to tie um, a waist knot or an away knot. So tie a knot just as we did before. Yeah. I'm gonna stitch this area here. So I'm gonna put my needle from the front down, and I'm gonna leave that knot on the top. Okay. And then I'm gonna start stitching here. Just bring the needle through. How can you knot that, <laughs> honestly? Don't pull it too tight, because what you're going to do is you're going to stitch and you're going to catch that thread uh, in the back. Okay. Okay, so I've missed it entirely. Okay, we'll do one and we'll go through. <laughs> so you just need to, to check that you've caught it? That you've just caught it. So can you see, without, we're going to sort of go over that and the next stitch then we'll just loop it in. It's uh, only the same as tying it off afterwards. Right. Um, you know, if it, the end of a thread, but can you see we've already caught it in? Uh, and because yeah. we, we're catching it in these stitches, you're not going to see it on the front because it's actually behind the solid stitch anyway. Right. So that's what I would recommend with the darker thread on the whiter fabric. Perfect. And then you can cut that, that knot away. That's right, yeah. Amazing. Oh, yeah, because that makes it look really neat and Exactly. Beautiful. It's nice and neat and tidy, and it's going to be nice and secure because by the time I've got there, I will have stitched over it five times. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Oh, that's a really good tip. I like that. And again, that is so easy. To make that continuous pattern, that is simple. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I'm going to show you this because using two patterns, you know the one that I keep banging on about, my favourite? Look at that as a wall hanging, or maybe a curtain, or maybe they are going to be uh, beautiful. You know, if you, if you have got um, a screen, that would look phenomenal. I adore that pattern. If you want that template, it's that one actually. If you want that template, please check your baskets out with that template because we have got that one on the show. And yeah, I'm really liking that a lot. And that shows you because we've got that template and that's the template that um, Rosel has just been using. And you can see how well they go together. And that's the thing, isn't it? Because you're using it, it's just really simplistic in that, you know, yes, you're using your beautiful geometric patterns, but the white and the uh, the blue, it just keeps it very simple, but so striking. Absolutely stunning. And um, if you do want that book, again, 10 99 50% of the stock has gone with this. Saving £4, that is exquisite. 976908 is your item number. Remember, if you did want that apron kit that Rosella has just been talking about, it will give you full instructions with the apron. Obviously, you can see just how good the actual finished looks, uh, the apron looks. 
I think that's a really, really good gift idea because obviously you've got the full kit um, and yeah, it's easy to do, but already you're seeing how to use those templates to the maximum effect. And it's only 17 99 it's so cost effective and obviously you're getting a really nice um, big wad of fabric there as well. 739-048 is your item number. Back to our lovely Rosella. Okay, so I know that we're short of time because I talk so much. The clutch bag, uh, oh, Leone, no, no. and I know you can't pass me it, so you're going to have to hold it up and I'll talk about it. Ta -da. So if you want to perhaps go a little bit further and you want to create something of your own design there, then you're now going to be able to combine this with um now in this instance i've actually used stamps so yeah. so the the method i've used is i've stamped my detail first now you don't have to stamp because it's hand it's hand embroidery what you could do is just uh, take your marker from yeah. your starter kit and then all you need to do is actually draw your own design so you know maybe we're then actually going to have our stems and we're going to have some leaves on there as well um, maybe we're going to, you know, and it could be simple, lazy daisy, not a problem at all, but create your own design. Beautiful. When you've actually then created your design, it's then time to go over and put your your sash co designs around it. Yes. So just draw your design, don't stitch it, just draw your design first and then choose which of those designs are going to go around it. Now, I love the hemp one like you do, Leonie, yeah. um, but, you know, we talked about the border. Yes. So because we've got the straight edges on here, maybe we do lines with the border on there as well and create our own design. It's a lot bit long, isn't it? <laughs> with the border as well. And, and the the pen, so that just washes out, does it? It does, that's right. Amazing. And in it's me that's what it's made to do. It's made yeah. to wash out. So you're going to do all of your drawing, all of your embroidery, and then just wash it out. Now, the embroidery threads that I've used on the clutch bag, they, they need to be colour fast as well. So much as I might love my hand uh, dyed threads, that's yeah. this is not the, the, the project for them. This right. is the project that you're actually going to use something like an anchor thread, that, which is why we put them on the show for you, yeah. because then you can wash them and you know that they are colour fast. Super. Yeah. yeah, so you can trust in them. If you do want those, remember, you've got a humongous bundle. Uh, that's the the big one that our Rosella has uh, grasped and you are getting in that one um, 48 skeins for just um, not that one. Not that, one. Uh, that one's your 18 <laughs> one. So that's um, <laughs> it's okay, my love. And we're going to say for 39.99. Oh no, it isn't. Um, so you're getting 48 there. And I think it was something like 30. Five nights out. I was going to say thirty-five as well. Uh, Thirty-five pounds and ninety-nine pence. A really good price. What does that work out per skin? That is a really good price, isn't it? Um, zero two two four zero nine is your item number. Please do not miss out on those stunning, absolutely stunning, brand new today as well. Um, just what? Just over eight pence a skin there. Mm. Super. It, it is super, super mm. value. It, it really is great value. And can I say that actually this project, I have put on YouTube for you because I oh, knew fabulous. that I was nowhere going to get through this. So if you do want to then go through your templates and you want a couple of projects where you can use them once you've got the starter yeah. kit, etc., I've put some projects on there for you. Amazing. So if you want to see that one, then check out um, YouTube. Yeah. Where are they finding you, Rosella? Just Rosella Cottrell. There you go. Easy. Easy peasy. Um, please make sure you do check that out because that is such a gorgeous project. And again, it just looks so classy. Yeah. I think that's the whole thing about the sa sashiko. It looks, um, it just looks very, yeah, it looks timeless. It looks classy. It just looks sophisticated. I love the geometric patterns mm -hmm. as well because I think that that allows it to fit into so many different um, different homes, different styles, doesn't it? It does, and the symbolism behind it. Yeah. I mean, you've got the waves on there. Um, zigzag patterns, interestingly, that, that would keep evil spirits because they couldn't find their way out. Ah. It, I, I just love that maybe you're going to send somebody something that means yeah. something so special. Yeah, yeah, I love that as well. And make sure you pop it, you know, that, make sure you, you write a little card or something so they know. Now, if you do want to get hold of the the uh, starts kit the starts kit is amazing i mean you're getting all four stencils yeah and templates you get in the fabric you get in the thread and remember these are all specific for sashiko so that's why i mean again it's it's got all its <clears throat> 
all its own bits and bobs, all its own goodies uh, to give that amazing finished result. You've got the pen, so that will easily allow you to chalk through the template. You've also got the needles as well. Now, 20, nope, £32.99 pence is your price, and that is your starter kit. Uh, 629866, your item number. Um, now, the, um, I think it is our favourite template, quite frankly. This is just got That is absolutely my favourite template. With that, a shadow of a doubt. I really, really like that. Uh, remember, that is your hemp leaf. Again, it's got all its, um, you know, all the symbolism behind there. It is going to give you an idea of how to use the template on the back of the packaging, but you've also got the straight edges. And the straight edges, you will use these again and again and again. I mean, you might be creating borders, you might be creating frames, or of course, just the straight edges just to, to fill that to that pattern yeah and to make your own geometric patterns yes. from that as well so really really enjoy yourself yeah with it. yeah yeah of course you can create so many different patterns um only 14 pounds and 98 pence 943112 please check out the website you'll be able to find all the fabrics if you need extra fabric if you need the actual cotton we have got that as well and those needles don't forget the needles and of course brand new we have got the beautiful anchor thread as well uh, Rosella thank you very have you only got the one hour today I have yes <gasps> how very rude when you're back with us uh, end of the month oh fabulous yeah. uh, oh I'll tell you what else to make sure you do check those books out those books are absolutely beautiful. And um, thank you very much, Rosella. Um, thank you. See you later. Coming up next, it is Studio Light, a Jenny's Mindful Art. We've then got the lovely stamp addicts, uh, some modern blooms, and then the Crafty Kit course. See you in a bit. Ultimate finish, cleans, polishes and protects in one. No water is required. If you own a car, caravan, motorhome or motorcycle, do not miss the world launch shows this weekend. You don't need water or any other products. All you need is ultimate finish. On the shows, you will hear from a motor trade expert who says this is the best product he's ever used. Exclusive on the craft store with big savings and a five-piece pack. For a limited time, we will also be including two additional products at no extra charge, only while stocks last. See the amazing live demonstrations and big savings this Saturday at 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. and Sunday at midday, not to be missed. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high-quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter.
hello there and welcome back. Well, it's midday. Can you believe we've at the penultimate hour with the one day special? It's gone so, so quickly. Last night launched at six o'clock in the evening, as we do every single day with a brand new one day special. And this one has been running so well, so popular that at this stage, 60% of the stock has gone. Or in fact, it's over that. Now, my fingers, toes and everything in between across that we'll be able to see this through until six o'clock. One more live hour at four o'clock. So I would advise you to get in nice and early. Now, I'll explain to you one day special in just a few moments and the pricing, but I have to introduce our guest for the hour. Lovely Lou Withers is back with us. How you doing, my dear? You all right? Yep, yep. I've been sat, still sat here. I've not moved. <laughs> it's been like, uh, stuck to the seat. You're taking I've, I've really enjoyed, I really enjoyed it. Well, I mean, we've been looking at some beautiful pieces. Um, and Janini, mm. um, Mindful Art Collection, it's kind of a whole range that she brings to us. Yeah, um, she won't mind me telling you this, but she's um, she's got very poor health and she relies quite heavily on um, a, a, a getting through it with her artwork and um, she uses it very mindfully and this is she's a great advocate of this now so you know it's mental health week as well so mm -hmm. it's a really important thing you know if you find that you can get a little bit of um, shall we say relaxation through yeah. it yeah. It's, it's collections like this not a do in a doctor's way but just relaxing it's true. collections so like true. this that's so generic Takes it's your mind somewhere else, doesn't it? it? That's the key thing. Yeah, and absolutely. we've all been in the situation where we sat down for a kind of maybe half an hour um, of crafting yeah. and suddenly realise it, it's morning and you've gone through the whole night yeah. and you've been crafting. So, uh, yeah. Absolutely. Brilliant collection with the one day special. Now, the one day special, let me explain to you. You've got the details on the screen, so if you want to get involved, you can do. You've got everything that you need there. But, of course, the idea with the one day special is that you are saving money. Now, everybody is saving with the, uh, this particular one with the details that are on your screen. Now, when you look at that saving of £3, you might, a bit like me, think, well, hang on, that's a bit stingy. This is supposed to be a one-day special. Let me explain. You've got four sectors within your one-day special. So let me show you those, introducing them individually to start with. So you've got your sunflower and your script. Now, each of these little sets that we're talking to you at the bottom of the screen, you've got a pairing of a stamp set alongside a stencil, both of which absolutely beautiful, come together fabulously. And I love these because you've got the floral content with things like the sunflower there, but then you've got the supportive stamps you've got your sentiments in there some really nice sentiments i love that i find um, happiness where the sun shines and that's the kind of what a sunflower is isn't it lots of charities have adopted the sunflower as well as their emblem so a perfect one if you are fundraising and a beautiful collection the two of those together 11 pounds and 98 pence but you've got three pounds saving there now that is important so hang on to that three pounds for a few moments because we're going to add to it next one that you've got is your fabulous dahlia and this is a beautiful flower again it's always lots of detail in there but in addition to your daily you've got things like your half mandala which of course you can multi-stamp and make into a full circle if you're wanting to love all the sentiments the little ink splats working alongside that lovely stencil that you've got there with that kind of faux stitch detail and that quilting effect there or, or it could be like a chain link fence if you wanted to use it that way but again another three pounds savings so 11 pounds and 98 pence for that one so far we're up to six pounds savings we haven't even touched on the one day special yet so when we look at the other others that are forming in here now these are larger stamps so when you're looking at these again you've got the main focal point of your stamp your hero stamp perhaps but then you've got your supportive stamps alongside these so have a little look at this one this one is your peony one of my favorite flowers because it's such a majestic flower big heads big blooms on these but it's a big stamp again with supportive stamps you've got your crackles and all your different elements there a little bit of script those little kind of faux um, coffee cup rings and things like that all featuring in there and you've got the stencil alongside it and the stencil is a really clever one because you've got multiple elements again within this one. So really good value for money at £13.98. Hazard a guess at what the saving is on this one. Yeah, right, it's three quid. Three pounds, another three pounds. So we're up to nine pounds saving now with these. And then the last set that we've got for you, again, another beautiful one with your pansies. Such happy little flowers. I just love their little cheery face. Oh, they're violets, are they? Oh, OK. When we were looking earlier on, I thought they were pansies. I think it's because pansies maybe have larger faces. I don't know. But either way, this particular stamp set, again, a large stamp with lots of supportive stamps. And again, another three pounds saving. And again, it's coming with a beautiful stencil. So we're up to 12 pounds with regards to the savings over those. So you would hope that that is going to be carried forward to you one day special. And of course it is. But then you've got the additional three pounds. 
That's why it's not quite what it looks like on your screen there. So rather than looking like a rather stingy £3 saving, you're actually saving £15 overall. But you may well have noticed I've got Freedom Members discounted price as well. So you're actually saving an additional 10% on this occasion. And I know lots of you became Freedom Members a couple of weeks ago when we had our event. So there you go. You'll probably qualify for this saving. Now you can see that the price on your screen there is with that saving. Now it's an additional saving, um, as you can see, but it actually equates to £19.98. and P, bringing it right the way down um, to £44.03. and three P. Sorry, I gave you the wrong saving though. It was um, £19.90. And 90 pence. I do apologise, although pennies make a difference. But um, that £19.90p, that is more than the cost of one of those sets. I mean, these ones we're looking at at the moment would be £13.98, um, should I say. And you'd still be saving as well. That's why so many of you have been taking advantage of these 747615. Um, I mean, with regards to these, Lou, I mean, sorry, I was chattering away there and, and left you oh. in, the, in the kind of shadows there. I mean, it's a beautiful oh, no. set. It is. It's very, I keep saying this, we always think of flowers and, and one thing, but flowers, everybody loves flowers. Everybody can, um, you know, they can relate to them, male, female, and depending on what colours you make colour them, changes the look of the flowers. You just said about the violets and the violas and the all the others, um, you can change the colours and they look completely different. And I love these little kind of subliminal stamps. Yeah. They're like hidden little gems, really, aren't they, within those sets? Exactly. You, do, you actually, when you get them, you don't realise how many there's on. And every time I've looked at these, I'm, oh, I didn't know that was there. And, you know, there's little gems, like you say, little tiny gems that you're going to have them as workers. I like worker stamps. Definitely, definitely, because they can fill a large area where you're making your own backgrounds. Yep. And, of course, you've got your stencils as well, which are going to help you. You're actually getting 43 stamps and four stencils within the one-day special. And it's amazing to think that if you're a Freedom member, you can get all of that delivered to your door for a little over £20, £22 and 2p. Now, you've got a second payment going out in a month's time, but because it's a flexi order, it means you can add some of the other bits and pieces in. And we've got some phenomenal savings during the course of the hour. One of the things that you have been adding in is this amazing journal. And we saw Lou working with this one. And it's brilliant because you can see it's got a hard cover to start with and your elastic, which, of course, is going to grow as you're adding things to those pages. But this is brilliant, Lou. I've got something that's very similar to this one. It's, a small, it's actually a smaller one than this. But that cardstock in there, you're looking at 300 GSM. And what sort of things can we use on this cardstock, um, Lou? It's called all rounder paper, so it's not specific for one thing, but it does a multitude of it. it I, I put gel pastes, um, structure paste, modelling paste, glues, gel mediums, water. I've even, you know, I've ironed it, everything, and it stood up to it. So um, it, it, it's an all round type of paper, and it, it buckles, but only under great, great sort of um, water. So my advice is. Do whatever, but don't saturate it. Okay. But even then, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, yeah. if you want to keep it flat, then that's that it. Mind. But it's beautiful, beautiful paper. And I've noticed with it, you've got a smooth side on one side and then a side that's got a bit of a tooth to it as well. So I'm yeah. guessing, I mean, could we use this for watercolouring? I've got it, yeah, I've used it for watercolouring throughout um, the, the shows. And it all depends. We've got watercolours in the show. But, yeah, um, Certain people like watercolour to have work a certain way. I like this how this works. Um, and I like pencil on it as well. So having that rough and that smooth side really helps us. It changes it for the different medias we're going to put on it on top of it. It's very, very versatile. Love it. And I love the cover as well, because you could add your papers and your rice papers oh, and yeah. things like that to that. Um, very busy with regards to this one. Um, rapidly approaching 70% of the stock. And 16.99. of course, you can spread the cost over two payments in with your flexi order. Now, if it's a little bit daunting with regards to the larger one, that we have got a smaller uh, journal to share with you as well. And again, this could go into your flexi order. One thing I've forgotten to mention, of course, we are looking at an international company with Studio Light. So we've just got a little bit of extended delivery with this one. It's only the 24th of May, which isn't too long to wait at all. Love the cover on this one, that hot pink. I mean, it looks amazing, yes. Lou. It's great. And I like the shape of this because I really love squares. But it's got the poly pocket. It's got the same 300 GSM. And again, it's an all-round paper. So that sort of thickness, it's just boarding on board, if, 
Yes, yeah, very much so. And again, um, you can take those pages in and out, can't you, with this as well? So you don't have to have them all yeah. in there. Because we do tend to find that when we start adding things, then it does start bowing, which is why having that elastic wrap around is so exactly. useful. Um, two you can decorate the elastic. Sorry, darling. Sorry, I but you didn't. I just saying you can decorate the elastics and point, everything. Yeah. So you can make it really personal yeah. and fill it up. Yeah, fill it, definitely. you know. Just your own stuff in. Love it. Um, £13.49. pence. It's been a popular one. Two thirds of the stock has gone. Um, so yeah, add that into your basket if you want to. It works out at an extra kind of £7.75p, there or thereabouts, in your flexi order. Now, Lou, I'm going to let you get ready for your demo if you want, yep. so you can kind okay. of change your camera around. And very quickly, yep. I'm going to tell everybody else about other things that we've got. Good so I'll be back with you in a few moments. So um, something that we saw Lou working with um, at 8 o'clock this morning, um, a brilliant collection of stamps. And these are big stamps, but not big stamps as in be scary um, scared of them because they've got components within them and Lou showed us she was working with the iris earlier on but she didn't work with all three of those together she masked off a certain area and just used one of those beautiful blooms in there it's been a popular one though because you've got four different styles of flowers in here you've got your iris your arabian jasmine you've got your tulip and cosmos 11 stamps in total Big size stamps, but again, supportive stamps with these. Works out at uh, just £2.40 pence per stamp. Wow, that's brilliant. And I love them because you've got big areas with these. So if you like adding your colour, whether it's with your acrylic paints, whether it's with your watercolours, your um, alcohol markers, your, um, maybe you're using the watercolour paints that we've got on the show as well. You can be stamping these into your journals and you're covering a good area to start with, but then you've still got a good area to fill with colour as well. And I love the little potted plants here because this is actually made out of fabric. How amazing is that? Stitched together and then stuff to create a fabulous little Ara um, Arabian jasmine, as you can see there. Beautiful. So 60% um, of the stock has gone. Just a few finished samples to share with you on this one, showing how it works when you're stamping it onto fabric. And again, nice sizes, so you could further embroider that if you wanted to. But simply going straight onto your fabric then, creating a lovely little kind of book cover. I didn't look inside the covers here. Oh, it's a clever. Oh, I recognise those dies. Yep, there you go. Maybe making your own little padded book cover, as you can see there. Then you've got that Arabian Jasmine. Again, you could be creating these in whatever colour bases you like. You don't have to go um, with the inspirational um, uh, kinds of colours that you've got on the packaging, because you have got those within the um, blue tulips. I don't know if there is such a thing, but it works beautifully with that background. So you can pick out those colours. And of course, because of the size, they are perfect if you're wanting to do any of your techniques with things like um, your decoupage. And the size of them makes them amazing amazing for you simply to use for home decor pieces that can be stamped onto a cushion quite easily but on this occasion it's an a4 card so a really good size card there and brilliant i think you will agree to get all of those for just 26 pounds and 46p you can add those in alongside your one day special and spread the cost as well if you want wanting to as well so yeah, do pop that into your basket there um so brilliant value now the paper pads i must tell you about these these are amazing. Now, we've got four different pads, all under the same item number, and you can choose any two of these. I would be tempted to go for all four of them. So I would go for one of each of these. The reason being, you've got such a fabulous array of colours. Now, if you're particularly drawn to one, particularly, maybe it's the brights, you can go for a couple of those. It's not limited to one per customer. So if you do decide that you're wanting to go for a pairing and then go back in and get the other pairing, then you can do. Now, let me tell you about these pages. They are 170 GSM. They've got a white core to them and they are absolutely incredible with the colours that you've got. Now, you've got nine different colour um, within these. Um, and you're, Oh, no, actually, it's 18 colours because you're double-sided. Um, so you've got kind of nine colours. That flip side, you've got another colour and then you've got four repeats of each of those as well, which gives you your 36 pieces. You've got them in A5 size, which is brilliant if you're into your car making and they are beautiful um, do go back and watch the show earlier on um, Lou was talking about actually cutting down a slither of this and putting the name brights across there using it as an indexing to get your watercolors to to match the colors very clever technique I'm going to steal that one for certain now this one is your brights so you can see there those gorgeous hot pinks beautiful mauves and purples Lou was working with this particular pad I think it was um, during the show this morning at eight o'clock second one that you've got for this one is your pastel so um, I'm going to pop that one back down there and bring the pastels in. Um, as you, you would imagine, gorgeous pastel tones. But again, flip sides with those. The next one I'm going to show you, and this is one that I, I think it's important to show you. It's been a very popular one. Lots of you have been placing your order for it. But I know a lot of us, myself included, as soon as you mention the C word, 
as in Christmas. That's it. It's like, whoa, my heckles have gone up. I'm not ready for Christmas yet. Well, with this one, when you look, it's not what I want. I want to go through every single pad of these, cross that out and write vintage, because when you look at these, they are beautiful vintage tones of colours from those rich kind of burnt oranges, as you can see. They're going through a lovely tonal range of reds and chocolate browns there. Absolutely beautiful. And this one, I think I know why many of you have been going for this one, because it lends itself brilliantly to the next set that we've got for you, again, within the paper pads. And I'll pop that one down. And the naturals has been the one that's been the most popular. I'll give you some updates in a moment. With your naturals, these are perfect for you to use as bases for you to stamp with regards to these ones. So, yeah, if you fancy getting hold of these, just make sure you are doing it sooner rather than later. And whichever four you go for, you are going to be in very good company because you've been busy with those. So there you go. All four of those, £10.48 and pence for each set of two. And again, you can add in them all in alongside your one-day special. Spread the cost of these as well. So you're only actually spending an additional £10.48 and p today, which is what you were planning on spending potentially if you're going for two. So second payment in a month's time. But we had sellouts. We had two sets of paints that I could share with you, but sadly we're down to the essentials. I say sadly, I can't say sadly, and I don't really mean sadly, to be honest, because it is a brilliant range. But I will warn you that 70% of the stock has gone. Now, when they've gone, that is it. We have no more to bring to you. None on extended delivery beyond the, obviously, delivery we've got at the moment. These are brilliant. So you've got a fabulous palette, so it folds up like so. Very, very easy for you to take and transport anywhere. Um, and then within there, you've got a couple of little things. You've got this little kind of mixing palette that will come out. So you've got your little thumb hole there. You can pull that out. You've also got your little swatch card, which is brilliant for you to actually lay out those colours to get um, used to them you've also got two water brush pens one which is a kind of a, a flatter nib there and then you've got a pointed one with a beautiful brush nib on there then you've got your little pans of color now you'll notice these are kind of curved on the top because they've got as much paint as they could possibly get into each of these little pans and the beauty is these little holders actually come out so what you can do if you're just traveling light you can take the colors that you're wanting to take with you because these will actually pop out as well and i think you can actually get hold of these and replace these as time goes on so it really is a brilliant set to go for and you're paying just 16 pounds and 99 pence but you need to be quick over 70 percent of the stock has gone um, and the intensity of color is beautiful with these i personally prefer working with these than pencils because i find that i've got more control over them and i am certainly no artist so if you're thinking to yourself oh i'm not an artist i, I don't need paints like that you do you certainly do details are on your screen there if you're wanting them um seven one three um five nine seven i thought he was going to go from home at them it was in the balance, wasn't it? Now I'm going to head over to see what Lou has got planned. Oh, you're working with those beautiful sunflowers. Well, I want you to sort of make um, something like this, but on, on twist it around because I love the idea of creating um, sort of hills and things or a frame or decoupage. So what I did, and I'm not going to go into detail, I just created it on two frames. So I stuck them together and sandwiched pieces in between. So there was a backdrop. So I'm going to switch that on its head slightly and do it the opposite way. So I've got two pieces here and I've took them out of my journal because that's the beauty of being able to work on these. You can work out of your journal and in your journal. And I've got my sunflower. I'm going to create like a hillside and you can do this as many times as you want and create as many layers as you want. So the first one is just along here, I'm going to create a very simple hillside. Now, when I say that, all I've done is I've got some of the little um, sort of masks and I've put them there and just going to do this. So I'm going to stamp quite, quite strongly because this is a bit dry, I'm afraid. And I'm just going to put it sort of higgledy piggledy. And the reason I'm doing it like this is because I want to sort of create like as if we're at head height looking across. 
So just mask um, it off. Now, ju um, we just need to have a quick word, because um, it's a bit fuzzy at our end. We just need to check to make sure that um, it's not happening at our end. We're just going to have a quick word with Lou. So very quickly, I'm just going to show you what Lou is working with, because this is the perfect base. As Lou said at the beginning, it's for all sorts of different work. So whether you're working with your acrylic markers, whether you're working with your pencils, whether you're working with your paints, um, it doesn't matter. You've got these fabulous 300 GSM in there. And of course, as Lou said there, you can unclip those quite easily. Um, and you've got some, obviously the ability to open that up, take those out and work with them flat, which is so useful to do. Because sometimes it's tricky, isn't it, working with something like this? Taking it out gives you the flat surface and you can get right into it and not worry about the binder element with that one. So $16.99, um, very, very popular. We're okay to go back to Lou, but just be aware that 70% of the stock has gone. Sorry about that, Lou. How are we doing? Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh. Well, what I did was, I've, I've done the larger version, but it doesn't actually matter how big you do this, because you could do a large version and then cut it up. So you have it about a third of the way down the page. I'll just do a couple more. And, and my advice is, because I love the sunflowers, they just make me feel really bright. Yes. I would do a, a couple of stamps. And, do you know and with these as well, Lou? I mean, I don't know if you know your, your flowers, but I'm looking at this and I'm thinking they do look a little bit like a gerber as well, or gerber. I don't know how you pronounce it. Well, I think I thought that as well, and I just thought that was it about the colour. Yeah. You know, the colour being the thing that makes the, the stamp sort That's of the, uh, the flower look yeah. like that. So I've got, I am, I'm not going to put you through this. So what I've done <laughs> is I've gone along and I've created and I've coloured it. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. Ooh. So what I've done is I've created like this wonderful sort of scene. Yes. And I just cut them up and I thought, well, do I want them? this big or that big but I've just gone right across and then here there was something that it, it sort of overtook so I've cut it off but anything you cut off you can sort of stick on here yeah. so I've done that bit so then I thought I want something at the background so if I just put that turn it over and I've cut mine down slightly so I've got that there and this is very much in the theme of Van Gogh so I was thinking very much of his uh, sunflowers. Yes, of course. And then yeah. I've decided I wanted to get some of these colours from the bright. Oh, these are brilliant. They are. They're beautiful. And what I've done is, as you said, I've chopped that bit off and I stuck that next to all the colours in my book just to see about cross-referencing. And they're just the the, the colourful. So if you wanted to stamp these out, I'm just going to show you now on a piece. Um, I just wanted to show you this because. I don't think people realise just how nice they look just on paper and cut out because yes. I've been stamping and, and watercolour in it. But I don't think, if you don't want to do that, I'll just show you what it looks like on this. So you could do the background in watercolour and then the foreground ones, just cut these out. Yeah. And yeah, then you're so I good, can put yeah. a little bit of gesso or darker orange in the middle. But the other side gives you a cooler yellow. Yes. So what you could do is do both either side and then sort of swap them around so you've got different. But that's a beautiful Isn't colour. That gorgeous? And if you look, it'll sort of go with yeah. all of these. Yeah. And that's about the watercolour fitting in with this again. So that's another idea you've got. Yeah. Um, you could actually do exactly the same on this paper because it's stamped beautifully, absolutely mm -hmm. beautifully. So what I've done here, you could actually just do in normal stamps without any colour. And then that way, all you would do is add white in the middle here yes, on your yeah. paper. Yeah. So it really is easy. It's so easy. Now, I was looking at these and I was thinking, I want a background. And I'm thinking, I love these flowers, but then these... I can't believe I'm saying this. It's not me at all. <laughs> then I saw these. Oh, pastels. Thought, okay, right. That's not so not me, is it? Yeah, but that's, yeah. It is. It is because of there's so many different variations. And I just think when you've got bright flowers like this, you want something in the background that's yeah. going to sort of complement. And just to go back to the neutrals and these, you've got wonderful skin colours. Yeah, that's a good point, yeah. So, you, you know, if you want to do faces and things. And here's all the greens at the back. So we've got blues, then greens. I've got all those to play with, with these. And Gorgeous. that is just... Yeah. I've got so much to... Anyway, 
Yeah. What I decided to do was to make this uh, montage thing. So I decided I was going to put these in the background, but I needed a layer behind that initial one but in front of the, the hills or whatever I'm going to put in there so I decided I was going to do the mm. um, irises so nice. what I did was I just placed my sheet on the front of where it was I was stamping so I stamped it all out at the front um, masked it all off and decided on my back sheet where I wanted this so I was thinking right okay just want it here so I'll show you how I did it there just sort of put it there. There was, like I say, one here, and I've cut that off, but I will keep it and stick it back on. So then what I've done is I've just stamped in the background of that. So it's so simple to do. I'll just show you some of the stamping and a little technique to show you how to get um, the most from your paints and things. It's very easy to do. So um, you stamp that, and then you colour it. So I'm just going to show you on here a really easy way of colouring with your stamps and paints and ink, uh, watercolour. So you need a stays on, you need something that's going to be water resistant, you don't want it water reactive, so don't use um, a distress, you're just going to stamp it out. And then all I'm going to do is just stamp this once and I'll show you how I've done it. Um, now the paper is quite thick and my advice is make sure that you give it enough time to sink in. Um, I'm forever whipping it off too early and before I know it, the, the ink's not gone e even in. So there we go. So I'm using a storm grey because I don't want anything too dark. So the first thing I'm going to do, which is unusual, is I'm going to use the coloured pencils on it first. So people don't often realise that the coloured pencils work with and under and over your watercolours. So I'm going to choose the colours I want. I'm going for light yellows and ochres and there may be not too much orange. And I'm just going to, if this was going to be cut out, then you don't need to worry about um, going over the edges. You just go over it. But I always start with my light. So I'm just going to go very lightly. If I'm cutting it out, I'll go over the edges so I'm not okay, worried. Yeah. So just over all of it like that. And, and not too hard, what I'm trying to do is just lay down some colour. Now, if people are worried about colouring, watercolours, pencils, I think this is so not frightening. Anybody can do this because I'm not staying in the lines. Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to be neat. And I've put the lightest colour. The only thing I've done is I've looked at that and I thought, that's one of my lightest sort of colours that I want in this one. The next one I would use from that is would be that one. Okay. And then that one so you sort of get in your head the colors you want to do so the next one is i'm going to go for this one and all i'm going to do is go halfway in there now i'm not being neat i don't have to be but you can see the color yeah it's just building, it building up. up don't press too hard because what you don't want to do is fill the grooves now what i mean by that is if i'll just explain on here your paper's made of grooves a bit like that so as the colour comes on, you sort of fill in it. So you go that way and then another colour and then another colour. So if you press really hard, you get to fill all the little teeth up in your paper. Right. So okay. what you need to do is do it in layers. So we've got to that. So we get to the next one. And just a little bit more round here. Now, I can go back now and I can sort of add as much pencil work as I want. So there we go. I can just keep going round and round. So I've got quite a nice little, it's not, not brilliant, but it's, you know, it's definitely, you can tell what it is. See the colour, yeah, definitely, see. yeah. But now what I can do is get in the essentials range. I have got the orange, the yellow, and a little bit of the white. It's got uh, the white in it. It's The white watercolour is not opaque. It's hard to get that. If you want opaque white, you go for a gouache, a gouache or whatever you want to call it. It's like tomato, tomato, and that. I'll be bringing that soon to you, but that's Ooh, a thicker. Okay. This white just sort of knocks the edge off it. So it, it doesn't, it's not opaque. It doesn't cover yeah. it. I've okay. got some yellow. And all I'm going to do is I'll have some orange next to it. And I'm going to start exactly the same way I did with my pencils. And I'm just going to clean that. I've just got a bit too much orange in it. 
Um, and it's perfect. Now, okay. you've got that yeah. wonderful bed of colour. So I'm now, I'll just do half and show you. Adding a See, tiny bit really of that. really useful for anybody that's a little bit nervous about using paint exactly. straight from a palette. And I'm going to put a bit of orange. Now, because I've already got it half filled, those teeth, I can now just do that. And it's blended. And then a little bit more orange here. And maybe even a slight bit of red. I wouldn't go too mad with the red. But I, what, what I would put in there, believe it or not, is a little bit of green. Because if you do look at sunflowers, when they're just budding, they sort of have a green colour to them. They and do, it's, yeah. it's where it's dense. And I just blend all that out. Now, bear in mind, pencils, watercolours, you know. So that is really easy to do and you don't have to be neat. And it's it's surprising really how these all work together. I'm using the Storm Grey, so I'm just going to put that on there. And this is a lovely colour because it's it's not black. It's, it's like a neutral, um, a warm neutral. You just put that on and leave it to dry and then you go in with a black pen and dot. But I just wanted to show you the same technique on the paper before I finish that. Because no I think it's really important to know what you can do on the papers as well. Um, so can I quickly just give our, our viewers a bit of an update on those paints? Because yeah, they have sure. been flying out so much so that three quarters of the stock has gone. And don't forget, these are the set that um, Lou's been working with. You've got those pans in there, as you can see, um, which are full of colour. Um, so you've got everything there, including the little swatch there. So, of course, you can show those colours, lay them down, see how they pull out. But you've got that as well underneath there. So the little mixing palette that um, Lou was working with, this can actually come out to give you a larger palette underneath if you want it. And you are also getting your water brush pens with these as well. Two of those, one flat, one pointed, but $16.99. But you need to be quick with regards to these. So 713 um, five, seven, uh, 597. Lou's also working with those paper pads as well. So those have been popular, as has the one day special. Because, of course, that sunflower that she's working with has come from this particular set. And the beauty is that each one of these gorgeous flowers if you're in any doubt about where to apply your colour, then you've got the inspiration within your packaging. Because each one of these has got a fabulous little cover sheet that shows you how you can colour those in and add your detail as well. So really, really beautiful set. 43 stamps you're getting in total with these. It's been a popular one day special. You've actually got a £15 saving on this one because it's in that kind of been split into sets of four. £3 saving on each one of those, then an additional £3, bringing that price down to £48.90 two pence but then freedom members have got an additional 10 pounds saving um sorry 10 pounds 10 percent saving so this one means that you're actually saving 19 pounds and 90p um, and it all adds up doesn't it really does add up so 44 pounds and 3p you can spread the cost over two payments if you want to but be aware that 70 percent of the stock has gone so if you are wanting those please make sure you add them to your basket um so in fact i'll tell you about the paper pad in just a few moments because of course lou introduced that wonderful iris stamp as well to show you the beautiful coloring of that one and this is another set where you've got the inspiration within the packaging as well so the packaging again is going to show you all those gorgeous flowers you've got your iris in there you've got your beautiful um, Arabian jasmine, which I never even knew about beforehand. But if you're, again, worried about your composition, about the colouring, then don't worry. It's there within the packaging, as you can see there. So, again, whether you're using your pencils or your watercolour paints, it doesn't matter. You are going to be working with those. Absolutely beautiful. Now, the others, you will see, you've got smaller illustrations, but obviously you'll have the larger illustrations when you actually get to the stamp sets themselves. So they're all included in there, and they are absolutely beautiful stamps there. So, again, popular one, 20 26 pounds and 46p if you want to add them in alongside your one day special you're looking at an additional 13 pounds and 23 pence um, with your flexi buys on those um, but over two thirds of the stock has gone been a popular one that one and the paper pads as well sorry i was just having another look flick through the, the basics but not the basics um the brights should i say set of four absolutely brilliant you will be going for these as a set of four they're in pairings so it's a case that you're choosing any two you decide on your pair it could be that you're going for your brights and your pastels might be your christmas and your naturals or you'll be a bit like me and want them all and i think this is the beauty of them because it works out at just shy of five pounds and 25 pence per pad 
And these are filled with the most incredible colours. Now, you've got nine different colours, but they've kind of got different tones of those. A cool and a warm, giving you 18 colours in total. You've got four repeats of each of those pages, giving you 36 in total. Most popular ones have been the Christmas and the Naturals, as you can see there. But the Naturals are rapidly approaching two-thirds of the stock. Um, a Christmas is at 60%, and we had huge quantities of these. So a lot of these are going to be on their way to new homes. Um, and they're, they're A5 in size, so a perfect size for you to work with. Very manageable, especially if you use them with your journals and things like that. So, uh, yeah, talking of which, the journal. This has been another popular item. Again, you can add this in alongside your one-day special. We're going to head back to Lou in a few moments because she's actually working with a page from this one but be aware two-thirds of the stock has gone so, i'm sorry three quarters of the stock my goodness we have been busy with that one um at 16 pounds and 99p again spread the cost over two payments if you want something a little bit more manageable maybe you like working on a square piece well here you've got exactly the same um card stock inside it um so it's still 300 gsm but this time you're looking at 16 centimeters square with this one but 70 percent of the stock it's got that gorgeous hot pink cover to it and of course you have got that little zip um, lock bag that goes inside there as well. £13.49. And, and then, by no means least, this wonderful palette that you've got here. These have been flying out. We had two versions of these, but sadly, the first one sold out this morning. Um, but um, rapidly approaching 80% of this one has gone. We won't have any more of these to share with you today. So make sure you get involved as soon as you can with those as well. Um, and they're absolutely creative. I wish you could literally come through to the studio and see them in the flesh because the amount of colour that you're getting within that is absolutely amazing as well. See, we almost had like a, an orchestra strike up there because it was just so fabulous. Lou, how are you getting on there? Well, I wanted to show you, um, I know it's just one stamp and I, we've concentrated on finished things, but I wanted to show you how you can work on both. So I decided I was going to put the oh, colours on clever. this. So, yeah, and, and all I've done is used the colour of the paper and I've used purples in the background, but it gives it this warmth. And then I've added a black pen, but I did white pen on this, which you can see. So you get different. So if you're not too worried, uh, if you're not, if you're a bit scared of watercolour, use pencils. And if you're not, use your watercolours. But if you're even better, use them both together mm. and you get these wonderful finishing touches. And I don't know, there's certain warmth about this because it sends the purple a lovely warm colour rather than dark. So, yeah, it's really worth thinking about this to stamp on because it's beautiful to stamp on and colour on. So it's a win-win with these these stamps and these um, beautiful papers. They're well worth it. I fell in love with them. So I'm just going to finish this off now so we can bring it all together. Um, I don't have tons to do on this because a lot of it is going to be what I've just shown you about highlighting but I just wanted to say in the last hour we concentrated on looking at the pencils with this but with the, the irises you can do the same now I'll only do one and all I'm going to do is just put a little bit of colour now this could be any pencils you've got any watercolour pencils and um, any pens you've got this dressings and it's just building it up but i prefer to put a bed down as we say of watercolor and then let it dry and these colors just tend to sort of sit on top of each other and you can't put too much on if you do it in little stages you can alter and make some warmer than others um just by adding rage just you can see how that's warmed up and there's different sorts of purples within your range. If this is a warm one I'm using, and it's on top of a cool one. So it's just to give you an idea. And that just that little bit there has changed it dramatically. Oh yeah. Without having, to, you know, sometimes if you're not too, if you if you're not if it's not easy enough for you to use a little tiny brush, using a pencil is a bit a bit. A bit more familiar with it's it. It's kind of it's so a natural just feel, this... isn't it? Because you naturally, yeah. as children, we pick up pencils and we learn to write with them. So sometimes it is something that it feels comfortable. But it does transfer then. Once you get, you know, a bit of confidence using a paint a pencil, you transfer that and use it a pen um, a paintbrush. So there's lots of transferable skills. But I just want people to think about mixing the two elements together. Now, that's the one I did before, and this is the one that's coming alive now. And then all these colours in nature, there's no right and wrong colours because they're all 
everything goes with green, colours with other colours. There's no sort of laws about, oh, you can't put that with that. It don't go with it. Everything goes. So I'm just going to finish this bit. I'll leave that bit because everybody likes... Um, Everybody likes colouring. I could spend hours doing this. But don't forget your pens as well. Um, don't forget your, your drawing pens or, you know, to add those fine little details. So, because I can't draw dots that well with a paintbrush. The paintbrush I've got here has got three hairs on it. I still can't <laughs> paint, paint dots with it. Do you know what I mean? And don't forget, you can smudge your pencils in. Use your tortillons, and you're already now getting that lovely warmth. And if you go back to the oranges that you had with the other one, and this will then come in, and it'll work with the, the front we've got here, which is this. So ah, this yes. is the opposing colour to that on the colour wheel. So you're going to get impact and drama. So to bring the two together, it works really well. So I'm just going to put a little bit of orange there, and maybe a bit of the, I call it egg yellow, but... All depends on whether they're free range or not. Um, just blend that down there. I don't want to go too dark, but I just want to give you an idea of how finishing it with the pencils has given it a little bit more life. So beautiful. Right. So I what it. I did was I chopped this off here, and I don't like wasting paper because it's terrible. Um, so any scrap papers I've got, I tend to keep and use them for other things. So I want to create some hills. Now, if you've got this paper sort of sat there. No, it's sat there somewhere. There it's sat, <laughs> yeah. You can see there was an extra one there. Oh, that, yes, and yeah. I put it on there. It just obliterated that. But anything extra you can stick on the front. So I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, I really like that. It's sort of like... You're looking, you're sat at the bottom looking at all these wonderful flowers and you're looking up at them. So I'm just going to put some shapes in the background. Now you can use whatever you want for this. The other thing I thought you could do is if you wanted to use this mandala stamp here, you oh, could create okay. your own hills in the background. Good point, yeah. It? You know, um, so they're nice those little supportive stamps because you've got all sorts in oh, there, haven't you? You've got things like the the kind of like the crackle and the stitching and, and the kind of almost like a um, a chain link fence feature in there as well. There's all sorts. Well, that's what I'm going to do. Just at the bottom, mm. if we've got time, I'll finish all that off. So here, what I'm going to do, that's a little bit too jaggedy for me, but I like this bit. Now, if you work on one side, that's a bit off like that mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter because i can just turn it over and use the other side but the other thing i did do last night was all the little bits i had left i created montage boards with uh, okay yes so any little bits are text paper or little squares anything i just colored them and then stuck them on so nothing's wasted so all Clever. i'm going to do now is i'm just going to put that there and i'm going to put a very soft colour on it. I'm going to stick with, believe it or not, purples and that's only because I want the warmth to stay and I don't want too many colours. So I've just got a little bit of, I think it's Seedless Preserve and okay. it is a warm purple but I don't want it too see that's way too much so take it off and then just we're just sort of giving it a Take the edge off the black, uh, the white background. We're just giving it an int, sort of a mere suggestion. And I don't move it until you're happy with it. Maybe a bit more. And then bring it down because you don't want a stripe. You want it sort of... And bear in mind that paper reacts differently. And if you go straight on, there's nothing worse than going straight on and getting a blob. Mm. So if you take that away, you've got... A, a nice oh, yes, look at that. hill. Now, I'm just going to go with this one now next to it, a little bit darker. Just where the seam is there, I'm just going to pull that down and just so we've got oh, another yes. one. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of orange and yellow as well, okay. just to give it. Now, here, I'm not going to go over the flowers. It's just continuity because yeah. you want it to feel like it's coming mm -hmm. down. And I'm just still using the same bit. So this shape copies this shape. Mm -hmm. These colours copy these. These co So you're keeping it. Yes. Really. And again, there, we've got that coming down. 
you can do it as many times swap it over if you want and then you can put um, maybe an orange or maybe not an orange as such but like a vintage photo because it's orange based yes if i just show you what i mean you'll it, it, you get an idea now again because it's more of an orange base you'll get the idea oh it just yes yeah that could be a sun or anything yeah. you want and it just takes that whiteness because at the moment it's quite stark the background and i don't want that but this could be a journaling page it could be a page for anything anything you want or it could be if you cut it in half if i was to say do that and cut it in half you've got two cards really yeah. two two fronts could cut this in half and that so i've got that i'm really happy with that i really like it take this off now i'm not going to finish this i don't think i'll have time but what i am going to do is just bring in the stencil from the one day special and you've got this wonderful overhanging tree mm -hmm. and i think that will make a really nice drop on this yes. so you could do it two ways you could just have it in the background hanging over this edge here or what you could do is stamp it and stencil it oh sorry stencil it over all of it but i'm just going to do it um this way on on the background i'm going to try first with my browns and then just to get a little bit of colour, I'm going to go in with the purple and you get a nice soft colour with it. So you go with that one and then you wouldn't think really that those two colours go together, but they do because they're against each other on the colour wheel. They, they just have a, a really nice effect on each other look. Um, of course, with the stencil, sometimes it's tricky to actually see um, what yes. you're going to get with a stencil because obviously you're looking at, at kind of positives and negatives. So we've actually got all the stencils that have been um, done with some fabulous medium there and it shows yeah. you the content that you've got with these. So again, crammed full. I don't think they could fit any more onto this stencil, but it's beautiful no. because you've kind of got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you've got all these little tiny embellishments and areas here which can further extend the design if you wanted to. You'll notice little elements kind of following through. You've got the little hearts there in the mandalas. You'll see them coming up with corners in a little while as well. So that is one of those um, stencils. Then you've got the text. Now the text is a clever one because if I just grab hold of another example that we've got. Sorry, my arms aren't long. <laughs> stretching there. Um, bear in mind when you're working with this stencil that you can use it in a couple of different ways because you can flip them over. So of course you've got your positive, well not your positive, your right way and your wrong way with these. Of course, what this means is you can use them on things like your gel play and presses as well if you're wanting to. So flip them over if you're wanting to get them into the right position so you can actually read that final result on your pull. This is a brilliant stencil because you're getting so much content. Now, you could be forgiven for looking at this and thinking that's a set of stamps because that's the fine detail that you've got with this stencil. But you've got the texture that you can gain that you can't get with the stamp that is the key thing so when you're actually looking at areas like this because it's a textured medium it looks like it's kind of a really perfectly placed splat and of course you've got all of these others which if you try to recreate that you wouldn't get love the chain link fence that you've got there you've got these fabulous little crosses that you can see there which tie in with this beautiful stitch detail that you've got down at the bottom as well then you've got the one that Lou's working with at the moment with that gorgeous overhang or is it something that's going to be a spring coming up with regards to this you've got all this beauty it's almost like a little ditzy print on a fabric that look absolutely amazing nothing stopping you putting it on a fabric if you wanted to then you kind of got that gorgeous fresh little uh, dotted pattern that you've got there again more of your swirls more of your foliage with these we're not even halfway through these stencils then this is the one that i wanted to show you where you've got that core oh we've seen that one no oh, hold on where am i where's the one that's got the the detail on it with the the hearts i've lost it now it's one of the corners perhaps it was that one yeah um i don't know what oh there you go there's the heart over there it's on the same i knew there was a heart to appear in twice so it's on that side there but then you've also got it featuring in there i didn't notice it there at the first time so those are your stencils you've got four of your stencils but then you've got your stamp plates as well now of course don't forget these are available in pairings but to get the biggest saving you're going with the one day special so the sunflower that we're seeing in action at the moment is it a sunflower is it a gerbera a gerbera you decide because obviously the coloring if you 
you did that in pinks or blues or purples, then it will look like a completely different flower to the sunflower that it's kind of titled. Then you've got, again, a stamp there with that um, gorgeous kind of little um, lattice or netting almost, it looks like on this occasion. Little sentiments featuring in here, and again, extender stamps that become so useful when you start building up those layers. Then the violas that you've got there, or um, I think that's, we're calling them violas, violets. But of course, violas, violets, pansies, they're all kind of from the same family, really, aren't they? So you can kind of replicate that design with each one of these as well. Butterflies, you can see here, lovely little sentiment. I love that. Find beauty in the little things. Absolutely beautiful. Again, more splats featuring with these as well. Love this stamp because it's almost like a bit of sewing that's coming undone. Very clever. Very clever effect, that one. One underneath, you've got that gorgeous peony. Beautiful, large-headed bloom there. Plenty of opportunity there for you to add your colour, to learn how to do your different colour techniques, to get the depth in the centre, coming to the outer layers. You crackle, bring your dreams to life. Lovely sentiment there. Swirls, additional um, and leaves you can see here as well. Um, again, just so much content with those additional stamps. You've actually got 43 stamps in total with this particular set. The mandala that Lou was talking about, maybe using it as a backdrop for your hillside. Then again, you've got that there. And it's beautiful because you've had actually got that kind of ragged edge that if you wanted to you could rotate it and turn it into a full circle more stitch detail more splats little tiny butterflies as well which are brilliant if you wanted to kind of do something where you maybe got a little splat or you're building up the perception um, perspective larger butterflies in the foreground smaller in the backdrop and then we're back round to the sunflower but it's what you do with these that is the key thing Absolutely beautiful examples from the design team. The peony there being the larger stamp, giving you that detail as you can see there, but have a look in the background. This is where you're building up that design. Might be the stencil that you start off, but then you go in with the crackle, then you go in with the script, then you go in with the splats, and you really build up. It's almost like a designer paper with that one, isn't it? And the border down the edge there being used as well. Beautiful. Small cards, large cards, it doesn't matter. You can build them up. And I love this one with the dahlia there, building up that frame with a centre point, having the sentiment there. And then again, the sunflower. Using those traditional colours, maybe you're going to be using these as fundraisers for your chosen charity as well absolutely beautiful and there you go finishing with the daily there and as i mentioned you can get them in individual pairings now I've got the sunflower and the stencil. That one is available at £11.98, a £3 saving. The dahlia, again, that one is available as a pairing with the stamp and with the stencil set there. Again, another £3 saving. Then we move down to the front where you've got larger stamps. So we're looking at a slightly higher price point with these, but you've still got that £3 saving. So uh, this one here is where you've got your peony. And again, you've got that gorgeous um, selection of stencils there. Well, it's one stencil with loads of segments on there. That's got a £3 saving as well. And then the final one is your violet, which again, a really pretty design with loads of additional elements and a beautiful stencil with the stencil that our lovely Lou has been working with. So again, £3 saving on each of those, giving you a £12 saving if you go for all of them. And that's the way you are getting that saving with a one day special, but with an additional saving of £3, meaning that everybody is saving at least £15 with these. If you're free to remember, you're actually saving £19.90 p because you've got an additional saving of 10% um, on top of the saving from your one day special. So if you're a Freedom member, maybe a new Freedom member from our event a couple of weeks ago, then you certainly need to take advantage of those details popping up on your screen there to get hold of the one day special. Heading back over to Lou for what sort of time have we got left, Marcus? Just under, sh um, just shy of five minutes, Lou. Oh, brilliant. We can finish it all off then. So what I've done now is I've taken the Seagless Preserve and Vintage Photo and I've just repeated the hedge or uh, the branch across. So I started with um, the lightest colours and just moved it over um, and then I did the browns and then the, 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 the purple, brown, purple. So and then really sort of focused it on the top. So I've got this nice um, sort of feel of depth and then done it in the background and I've just got the edges of these, and I've just gone over them with a vintage photo on gathered twigs, just to take that edge off it because it looks a bit too new. And I think this always just it's just that finishing touch it's that true. does. Yeah. And then if I put that on there, it starts to give it a little bit more depth. And what I have done is got the gathered twigs, and I've just gone 
twisted it round. Oh, you can use clever. any. Um, so if you've got like a sponge or something, you can use it, and then it almost gives it that three D look. So, and where it's not, you can just overfill it. So, all depending. I wouldn't use black because black yeah. would be quite a hard colour to go in, and this is quite a dark colour now. But once I get pen on that and a little bit of gold on and stuff like that, it calms it down a little bit. But yeah, it just gives it a little bit more vintage um, Van, Van Gogh feel. Yes. So again, darken that. And I think round the edge, just be careful that you don't need a lot because you don't want to, you don't want the focus to be on anything else but the like scene you're setting. So I'm just doing a tiny bit just to bring your eye into the middle. I think, this really when you think about it we've got purple and we've got yellow oranges and and a bit of green and really nothing else and it's just variations of those yeah, yeah. and these are opposite on the wheel and they're going to go to each, go with each other they're definitely because they've got to so what we'll do now is i'll just finish off some little bits on here and uh, this like i say this is um anything scrapbook so it's a real sort of mindful exercises because I think by the time you've finished, you know, you don't have to do it in one day. You could do it over a period of a couple of days. That's true. You could do anything you want and just add to it. Because sometimes I've, I have enough of something and I have to walk away or, mm. <laughs> and then go back to it. And then when I go back to it, I've got fresh eyes. I love it. So, now, Lou, we're down to the last kind of minute and a half. That looks no, amazing. I love that. Very effective and a brilliant tutorial. Now, I'll let you get your camera ready. If we can say goodbye yeah, to you sure. in the next few moments, that would be fabulous. But isn't that amazing? And more of those demonstrations, obviously, from each of the one-day special shows. So you can go back and revisit those ones. And, of course, we've got another show at 4 o'clock with Lou as well. So another look at the one-day special. So I'm sure you'll be tuning in for that one. But for the time being, we've got the details on the screen there for your one-day special. It really is a brilliant set. In fact, no, I'm reading the screen wrong. <laughs> I didn't know what, I'm looking at the wrong screen. Um, sorry, it's been a long day. Um, the watercolours. Um, these details are on your screen there because lots of you adding these in. Adding them in alongside your one day special means that you're just adding an additional £8.50 to your payment, but lots of you taking advantage of these. What was the update? Sorry, Molly, on that one? 80. Oh my goodness, 80% of the stock. Hopefully we will have enough to see those at four o'clock with Lou again. But mm, Lou, I mean, last word on those paints, they're incredible. They are really good. And uh, uh, without sounding big-headed or anything, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to put my name to anything. It, you know, people earn the money. You, yeah. You've got to spend it wisely. So Very put true. my name to them. I do appreciate that. Yeah. Beautiful. Love I it. do Lou, write them. We will see you back again at four o'clock. So thank you again for inspiring us during this hour. As always, thank you does. so much. Um, I will join you a little bit later on. I'm actually back at seven o'clock this evening with a graph tech show. We're going to be talking about stamps actually during that hour. So I hope you can join me then as well. Um, um, but for the time being, if you're wanting your paints, the details are there on your screen. If you want your one-day special, it's down at the bottom. But if anything's in your basket, you need to check it out. You certainly do, because we're going to get busy in the next hour. Stamp Addicts are here with Modern Blooms. Looking forward to that. Some beautiful stamps. Crafty Kit Co. I've just seen some of the fabrics. Oh, my goodness. You definitely want to stay tuned for that one. And then we've got a happy hour. Ooh. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows.
Did you know you can continue watching The Craft Store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select Network Settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type thecraftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite TV shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello and welcome. So, I don't, if this looks ridiculous, do you know? Such is life. Um, I, <laughs> such is life. Welcome to, come to the craft store. Um, it is lovely to have your company. I'm very much looking forward to this hour. We've got brand new goodies, lovely, lovely stamps. We've got some gorgeous demonstrations lined up, and we've got the lovely Sarah who's in the building. Good. Morning. Afternoon. <laughs> Afternoon. <laughs> Sorry, I looked for the clock and I couldn't actually see it no. <laughs> properly. It all merged in my head. Um, how are you, love? I'm very well. How are you? It's really nice to see you. I'm very well, thank yes. you very much indeed. I'm loving the stamps that we've got today. Um, beautiful designs. And you were chatting, we were chatting earlier and you said they're all Judikin designs yes. as well. Yeah, they're all designed by Judikins and they allow us to manufacture them in the UK on static clean cushion. Amazing. So it's the only place in the world you can buy them, not on wood. Amazing. Okay. Which is brilliant because obviously, uh, I know me and you are probably both old fans of wood mounted stamps <laughs> and we've probably both got quite a few left. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but but the, sadly, the wood mounted, it obviously puts the prices up. So to have them just on the cling, it mm -hmm. means you can keep those prices down, but we still get those gorgeous images. And it's a storage issue as, yes. well, as well. People were struggling where yeah. to keep them. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because lots of people were taking them off the rubber, weren't they? Off the wood. Off the wood, yes. Yeah. But obviously now we have the, the platform hingy things. Yes. It's, we can place them better yeah. than when they were on the wood. We had to use the positioners. Yes, and we, uh, absolutely. So, yeah, it's yeah, all changed. No, it, yeah, oh it's, oh, it's all become so modern. <laughs> um, now, we have got some beautiful designs. So, first of all, they're all brand, brand new. Um, now, your gorgeous mulberry tree and the wisteria. They are, as I said, Sarah said they are already mounted on your cling. They are a beautiful rubber stamp that has been manufactured, of course, uh, by the Stamp Addicts team. It does mean you can do lots of different techniques. I really, really like this one. I must admit, you're... Oh, look at this. I'm showing you that. Because look at that with... Oh, I love that. Yes, yeah, with the, with the art metal and the sticky stuff. That... You just can't go wrong, can you? No. No, it's one of those things that, yeah, every single time it looks good. But I think because they're, they are metal, the colour, that works so well with this design, doesn't yeah. it? And if you feel it, because of the sticky yes. stuff, it's raised. Yeah. Because it's an embossing powder. It's not flat. That texture's gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, there's so much you can do, obviously combining with other products, but keeping it really quite simple, that looks so effective, doesn't it? Yeah, so just colouring your backgrounds with your favourite ink pads or your oxides and things, and then just simple stamping. Yeah. Yeah, really beautiful. Of course, within the collection, Upside you've down. got the wisteria. <laughs> Do you know what I nearly said then? I nearly said you've got the wisteria, but obviously you can have it so it's growing up. Well, That's the, what I nearly said. There are lots say. of samples with it growing up, but I made this one That's with so it hanging funny. down because I used to have one in my garden. <laughs> yeah, I love wisteria. Mine was white. Really? I flowered twice a year. Oh, wow, that's nice. It was, till my uh, dog destroyed it. Oh, <laughs> oh well, eh. Um, the tree, obviously beautiful. Now, the, the base that you've got there, that's one of the stamps coming up, isn't it? The Mod Garden. The Mod yes. Garden. We like yeah. that. Yeah, we do. Um, I'll show you one more. I really like this because pattern building. So I want it a... to spin. Uh, oh. <laughs> I want to put a brad in the middle so yeah. I can turn it round. I'll just spin it. One of the design team made that. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's absolutely gorgeous. But it, it shows, doesn't it? One stamp. Again, how many variations you can achieve. I will show you the other finished samples. Every time I come at the counter, I will show you more finished samples because there's lovely designs. Now, if you do want these two, already busy. Uh, both of those for just £10.99. That's 428768. Now, next we've got for you. Um, you will have seen the little dragonfly. You will have seen the little bee. Um, but we have got our beautiful blooms and bugs on this one. I really like the, the solid stamp because it, it yeah. can make such an incredible impression, can't it? Yes, yeah. And it, it's something, I mean, because these are Judikins designs, they've been mm. around for a few years. Mm, yeah. And we used to use them with the big, wet, juicy brush pens yes. and um, all that kind of style and the overstamping. Yeah. And we, we've just bought them back because now they just seem to have a modern twist on them. Yeah. You're right. You're absolutely right. I mean, when you look at these, absolutely, these haven't dated at all. No. They they call these um, mod mums because they're chrysanthemums. Oh. Uh -huh, I like that. <laughs> I like that. But we we did mod mums. We thought that would kind of conjure up some different images. Yeah. So we went with blooms because they can be any flower that yes. you fancy. Yeah, I really like these. And again, so many ways of using them. I'm absolutely going to show you that one, though, because that is beautiful. <laughs> Sticky stuff. Yeah. With mica powders. Yeah, that is seriously cool. Yeah. And that's the beautiful thing about having a solid stamp. A solid stamp really allows, if you're using things like sticky stuff or your gilding mm. flakes, you really see the product, don't you? You do. And also, if you've got the, like, the Versa Fine Claire ink yes. pads, you get the real strong depth of colour. Yes. Especially yeah. on a glossy or a sealed cardstock. Yeah. So yeah. They, you get really vibrant as well. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And yeah, that one on the front is just exquisite. That is such a good card. That, and that, you see, that is such a beautiful print, but that is just stamping, isn't it? Yeah, it's, there's no masking. There's, mm. You just choose like three ink pads. We kind of, we recommend three. Yeah. It's a good rule of thumb. Yeah. And just go crazy. Yeah. It looks so effective. It does, yeah. And, and that is really easy, yeah. but it looks ridiculous effective. I mean, that's the kind of design you're going to be doing on fabric, you're going to be doing on um, wrapping paper. You know, just gorgeous. Now, if you do want these, uh, you're getting four stamps there for just £10.99. 288993. Now, next, we've already chatted about this one a little bit, um, and this is our fantastic modern garden. I really like like this uh, well mod garden um, I love it because yeah obviously it can go that way or it can be I really it's just really cool I mean yeah. it's borders it's backgrounds it's, it's gardens yeah. it's bead curtains I mean it's, it's just so, so many, many things. things yeah it's yeah it always reminds me of the the movie where they have the trees with all the hanging things that the the, the twinkle or sing or you know it's just kind of yeah you know when it moves yeah. in the wind it makes sound and it's just yes. alive yes I, know. But, I mean that would work for christmas yeah of course it would and uh, they are absolutely perfect like for putting your gems like for putting your any of your your little glittery any, anything 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 yes. <laughs> I, yeah i really and easy to repeat as we can it see is. there yes yeah it it's love oh i need to show you this one that's so cool. And the bees. And the bees. <laughs> that is so pretty. And, and look at the colouring in of it along the bottom. It looks really effective. Yeah, so um, she's used green at the bottom to indicate grass and then blue yeah. at the top for the sky. Doesn't it look effective? It does. It's brilliant. Really cool. Only 9 99 Really good stamp is that one. Good size as well, if I just show you. It is a good size stamp. Uh, that's 677070, your item number there. Um, now, last but by no means least, in the stamps, uh, we've got the beautiful butterfly. You've already seen the flutter, flutter, flutter. Um, and we've got the flutter as well. Um, flutters, flutter, as the butterflies do. Beautiful. And then, of course, that butterfly. And that butterfly, if I just show you, it's one of those that's very delicate, very, um, very detailed. And I mean, it's a beautiful image, is this one. Yeah, it's quite a traditional style, yeah. this one, but it still works with all the, the modern stuff. Yeah, definitely. Well, butterflies, just, they don't go out of fashion, do they? No, no. <laughs> no. And you can, you can own so many different butterflies, and yet they are all different. They're all different, yeah. and they, some of them can work together. I mean, this one, it's got a nice, simple outline, yes. so it's easy to mask, it's easy to cut out and shrink. 
Yeah, I love that. The sticky stuff uh, and yeah. the gold leaf. Yeah. Again, that looks so effective. Beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. One more and then, um, because look at that. I love that as well, because obviously background paper, then that's the one that's decoupage to make it pop, yeah, isn't it? that's it. Looks so effective. Uh, yeah, really, really beautiful. If you do want those two, only £12.50. 232639, your item number. Now, we have mentioned loads of other products. Have a look at the website. Uh, we do have the sticky stuff. We do have um, amazing glaze, which I know is going to be used. Oh, and those metal sheets, which are amazing. I mean, the colours on those are beautiful. Um, so please have a little look. Have a bit of a perusal. Um, we've also got... Um, the sheets and at first when you look at those um, the inches those actually um, they just look like uh, plain sheets of white card they're not they have been cut into um, your, you've got two inches and two uh, two inches there sorry my throat's going I am going to just pass straight over to Sarah so I can have a drink before my throat goes <laughs> okay so I'm going to start with the butterfly and I'm going on to the sanded shrink plastic which is available on its own or in the mixed pack. Now I've chosen the sanded one because I didn't want my butterflies to be completely clear and I didn't want them too opaque with the white. So this one is kind of like a semi-opaque. And being as that it's sanded is also easy to colour. So you need to stamp with a, a permanent ink pad. I'm using the Stays on Pigment in black. Beautiful. But the Koala Grey is also really good. Excellent. Do you know, I still haven't got these. <gasps> no. I know, right? I still haven't got them. That, that's terrible. How I can know. You not? They're brilliant. It's, because it's pigment, so it's going to be really nice and rich, but because it stays and it's going to be permanent. Yes. So amazing. they're a bit easier to use than the original stays on because yeah. they're a bit wetter. Right, yeah, 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 because that was one of the yeah. biggest, weren't it, the gold sticker. Yeah, that looks beautiful. Um, yeah. Check out the website. I know we've got some of the, the stays on ink pads, so please do have a look at the website for your stays on pigments. Obviously, if you do want your shrink plastic, um, just sat there at the bottom of your screen. You've got your pack of... Oh, she's bringing it up, so she is. It's going on the main <laughs> thing. Um, so... There, and I pointed the right way as well. Um, so you have got two white, two clear, and four of the sanded, which is fabulous, because, um, yeah, as Sarah says, you've got that nice little grip on there. Uh, 10 pounds and 99 pence. That's one double zero nine three two. Shrink plastic never gets boring. Um, if you do want eight of just one of the colours, then you have got that choice as well. That's sat just down there. 10 pounds and 99 pence for eight of one colour. Okay, okay. Right, I always give my shrink a couple of minutes to dry. So while that's doing that, I'm going to work on the background. So I've got the mod garden, Lovely. and I've got a couple of um, the Versafines. I've got Green Oasis and Verdant. Oh, yes. Which makes me think fondant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to start with the pale green first, because obviously you always want to start with your lightest. I mean, you say pale green, but look at that. It's the shouty green is that one, isn't it? It's like, hello. Well, it's not the dark green. <laughs> no, no, it isn't. It's, it's in your yeah. face green. I love this colour. So we're going with that one. Oh, I've got a oh, bit oh. of dust on there. That's Let me get rid so of that. Lovely. Um, over 10% the stock has gone on this stamp, so please don't miss out on that one. So then I'm going to add a little bit of the darker. Just oh, not too much. Now you can see I've got some straight lines. So I'm going to go in with my kitchen towel Beautiful. and just kind of soften the lines. Ah, gorgeous. Because we don't want straight lines. Make it a bit patchy. Well, your greenery is never the same green, is no, it? it absolutely isn't. So we don't. Like We've got that. some different colours. And obviously you could do that in a few different... If you were doing yeah. a longer border, I'd probably use three greens. Yeah, you could play. But um, today yeah. we'll just go with the two. Our, our lovely Katie, in my head. Um, says, what's the benefits of rubber stamps? So are rubber mounted or just rubber stamps? <laughs> rubber mounted. <laughs> Cling mounted. Yeah. Um, well, the thing is, if you've got, um, yeah, you can get rubber unmounted, but it's it's just how you stick them to your block. So if they're unmounted, you have to find a way to stick them to your block. So either you have to buy your cling separately, or you end up like trying to get glues and stuff. It's a bit of a um, personal. You can use a dry glue stick. Yeah, yeah. But then you have to make sure if you're using it on, in one of these um, platforms, 
you either have to have the sponge inside it or if you've got one of the other platforms where there's a clear side and a rubber side you have to use the clear side yeah yeah because and there's no cushion you need yeah. a cushion somewhere yeah absolutely yeah and if you have got glue stick if you're sticking it with glue stick it means you have to keep cleaning it and whereas a cling it's just it's ready prefer, it is it's just oh. pre personally i prefer if it's a rubber personally I do prefer it cling mounted just because it's quick, easy, saves time. See, I was just about to stamp the clear thinking of you on there, oh. and then I thought, oh, it doesn't actually work because I haven't got the sponge in my press because this ah. is a clear stamp with no ah cushion. See, so, yeah. So. Um, we have got the wavy words. I like your wavy words. Yeah. They're really nice, aren't they? Um, you've got loads of lovely sentiments. You've got the banner as well that they'll fit into if you want, but it's just nice having the wavy ones on their own because they look fab. Um, 16 stamps as well there for 14 99 865 I, I think um, people like the wave because it's really hard to stamp straight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it doesn't matter if yeah. they're a wave. It so. just gives you an excuse for having a bit of a wobble. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just using one of the greens that I used on the base. Wonderful. So that we have all that coordinated. Beautiful. Wipe that off. Pop that back. And it's just that bit of movement as well on the sentiment. I think it just makes it look a bit different, doesn't it? Yes. Well, I'm kind of because we're going for like a, um, a green grass flowers effect it's yeah. kind of like just a breeze yeah it's all kind of wafting in the breeze because so the there's floating no movement. and wafting in the Waft breeze yes that's it so what do i need now i need it's a bit plain it's a bit blank so i have from our essential set which i didn't tell katie uh -huh. but <laughs> this this is um it's it's full of clouds and ah, moons and things and it's just can she find that on the web It'll be there. <laughs> so I'm using, oh, this is one of the new oxides, speckled oh. egg. Oh, get you. Still so these, it's just a subtle Beautiful. filler, as it yeah. were. So just creating a really nice soft background with them. Yeah, just, just a little bit. We just want yeah, just some dots lovely. in the background. So then when we have our shrink butterflies, um, your mud garden, 20% of the stock has gone there. Everyone's loving that one. Um, nine pounds, 99 pounds, six, seven, seven, zero, seven, zero for a cheeky bit of mud garden. So I have got some butterflies I've already cut out. Uh, so all on the shrink. I stamped on the smooth side so I can colour on the rough side. Cool. Right, rough, yep. Smooth, rough. And I'm using brushables. Ah, fantastic. They work on the shrink. Yeah, it, yeah. It's hard to find pens. You either have to go for those kind of OHP overhead projector pens. <laughs> <laughs> I think they still exist. <laughs> Not entirely sure. Yeah. But. Somewhat permanent, don't you? Are yes. you gel pens or something? Um, we've got the pens on the show, actually. If you do want the pens on, look at that. You've got a gorgeous spectrum of colours there. Um, these are your Kurosaki, so you know immediately quality. Um, you have got your two different nibs there, part of the memory system. Um, 24 pens, you're saving 14.98. That's a massive saving. And these are quality pens. You've got a lovely array of colours. Uh, two payments, 37 pounds and 45 pence. That, it, I want to straighten the pens up in that picture, don't you? <laughs> it, yeah, it really, it, it it's messes been, with... And the nibs are the same each end. Right, OK. But they're different shades of the same colour. Ah, I didn't know that with <gasps> these. Yes. So yeah. actually, when it says you're getting 24, you've got 48 colours. Yes. Oh, how yeah, interesting. Yeah, see, this I've got here, yeah. which is the, uh, <laughs> what do they call this, pure orange. But you can see you've got a paler and a stronger. Oh, I like Which that. is why you have to store them horizontally. So the colours don't bleed together. That's a good point, well made. That's lovely. I mean, Kuretake are just such good quality anyway. Yeah, these. I mean, we um, watercolour with these. They work on so many different... Because they're a pigment-based pen, Yeah. they work on so many different surfaces. But the shrink, the shrink's a big thing for us. Yes, yeah. Yes, okay. so they have to work on the shrink. Yeah. Um, we shrink plastic. Once you shrink it, the colours intensify, don't they? They do, which is why I'm, I am using the, the soft end of yeah. the spectrum, would you believe? Yeah. <laughs> Although it does look quite bright. 
It looks bright, but at least it's not. Because it's. I've done it so many times where I'll work with a, a nice rich blue and then you shrink it and it just, everything just looks black. What I recommend is where I've cut out these butterflies, the off cuts that I had, yeah. colour them with your pens and shrink them. Ah, yeah. And then you've got like a little colour chart. Oh, that's such a good idea. That's a very good idea. So then, I mean, you can keep them and you can stick them on a sheet so you know which colour is which yeah. when you want to use them. So yeah, let's have... that is a very good idea. Um, there are queues on the phone lines, I'm afraid. We are answering your calls as quickly as possible. Uh, but if you don't want to wait in the queue, you can get on the website. That is thecraftstore.com. Or, of course, you can shop by app, don't you know, which I utterly forget about. <laughs> See, because that one, it hardly looks like there's any colour. Yeah, yet. When that's... you shrink it, it'll be like... Pop. Yeah, the, the lilac is quite subtle. Yeah. I love the, the double side of pens. Yeah, it makes them so much... Well, also, you, when you pick up one, you know you can use both ends. Yeah. Or both... Yeah, both ends of the same pen. And they coordinate. Yeah. Exactly. How clever. Less thinking involved, then. Thinking okay. And planning. So, I am ready to shrink. The best but... bit. First of all, I get my anti-static bag. Oh. Um, now these are sanded, mm -hmm. so the sanded side should be fine. Right. So I turn it over and the smooth side, I just touch it with my anti-static bag. This is, I've never done that. What a I good mean, you idea. can do both sides. Well, to be honest, personally, when I'm shrinking a lot of the time, I forget. Yeah, yeah. Um, if it gets stuck, it gets stuck. I'm and not that that's bothered, to make but... it not stick to your yes. mat, but will it help not stick to itself yes yeah that's what it helps it not stick right. to itself now because that a is <laughs> absolutely a set. that's such a good tip i have had so many shrinky things that have literally just you end up trying yeah. to cut them and everything yeah, yeah. It is, i mean sounds. it is just a little piece of plastic yeah. so it's not the end of the world yeah and yeah. because you don't need to spend too much time coloring and shading yes because you're going to lose a lot of that as it shrinks. I love how it's like, Kate is getting in my head. <laughs> She's like, oh, oh, can you see it, Kate? Hey, can you see the tail? And, oh, I, oh. and I obviously always use this, um, the Ranger heat gun. Yes. Because it has less power. Yeah. It's, so I'm not chasing it everywhere. Yeah. It's just not as fierce, is it? No. It is one of those products that it doesn't matter how many times you've seen it or done it, it's still cool. Because <laughs> everything looks good. Every stamp looks great when it's shrunk. It's just one of them things. Well, this, this is taking a while because this is the first time my heat gun's been on today. It's yeah. so, all right. We like watching it. Well, I've got two more. <laughs> uh, yeah, you have got two more. I'll show finished samples what you do. But, I mean, doesn't that look cool? Now, it sometimes like you end living. up with a little dimple in the middle, like I've got there. Yeah. So you want to flip it over, just so it smooths it out. But I don't want it completely flat. Right, okay. So you have a few seconds. I want it flat in the middle. Yeah. It is warm, but you can just hold it. Amazing. A few seconds while it cools. Yeah. And it'll hold its positioning. Yeah, I mean, when I've made jewellery and things, bracelets, I've used those little wooden um, draw knobs. Oh, and yeah. then I've put the, the square shrink on top so it curves around it to create bracelets and yeah. things. Yeah, of course, because yeah. you can really shape it. Will the, um, the answer stack... Yeah, it'll just wipe stack? off. Right, thank yeah. you. Well, yeah, we'll, well that we're even trying to say it. <laughs> um, yeah, it is cool. And this is... So you've stamped on the sanded, so it's clear. No, I stamped on the smooth side. Sorry. So that I coloured yeah. on the sanded side. But it is a sanded product. This is the sanded one, yes. Um, and it depends which inks you stamp with and what you colour with as to whether yeah. you can do it on the same side. Right, OK, of course. Because if you stamp with some inks, then when you start colouring it, it's going to move yeah. your ink and black. Yeah, see, with the, the brushables, we colour those on any ink. Yeah. But if you wanted to use um, alcohol pens... Yes. You can't use it on the same side as the sanded. Yeah. As, yeah. Sorry, as the the stays on because the yeah. stays on is solvent based. Yes, yeah. <laughs> oh, to, oh yeah. I'm glad I you're know. saying that, but not me. <laughs> <laughs> so I get uh, myself all tongue twisted. Just again, a little, a little lift. That's beautiful. 
And I mean the shrink plastic. If you haven't had shrink plastic yet, if you're watching and you have any questions, please email in. Because it's one of those products that's been around for years and years and years, but it's still super cool. And I mean, you can make, because when it's um, shrunk, it's super tough, so it's brilliant for jewellery, brilliant for, yes. for yeah. oh, key ring thing in my bob. So That's just... it, but you must punch the hole first yes. before you shrink it. Yeah, because it's It's tough. really hard to, yeah, to yeah. punch well. Um, and if you're scared about using a heat gun, you can pop it in the oven. Yeah. I think it takes about five minutes on a low setting. Instructions are in the packet. Perfect. <laughs> and this is the thing, in the oven, if you... Uh, if you are a little bit worried about um, about doing it, the oven is just ridiculously easy. Yeah, that's it. Because you, you can just... do a tray full, stick them in, and yeah. then just watch them through the door with the oven shut off. But no, honestly, it's really... Remember I used to do crisp packets, if anyone used to do that? I used to make earrings out of those. Ah, <laughs> oh, your crisp yeah. packets, yeah. fabulous. <laughs> Kate has never done it. Well, I don't Get think you can it. now, can you? Uh, can you not? Have they changed them? Yeah. Because they're probably recyclable now, are they? Yeah. Oh, so you're going to have to buy shrink plastic instead? <laughs> oh, yeah, she's sad but happy. Yeah, those, those days have gone. <laughs> those days of shrinkable plastic <laughs> in the oven. Yeah, we probably weren't meant to either, to be fair. They were probably a bit toxic. Yeah, probably. <laughs> It explains a lot in my day, yeah, in my... Uh, right, so these my these are Joy Crafts, um, I forget what they're called, but they're micro dots. Right, okay. And they're really strong. Oh, so they're fabulous. strong enough, that one's still warm, they're strong enough for the shrink plastic. Wow. To hold it. And so we can just pop. And they will hold these guys. That's amazing, they are strong. See, and look at that. And the lovely thing is the shrink plastic butterflies, they've not lost any detail. I mean, they look so effective, don't they, still? Yeah, you can, as I say, you can see all the detail and the colour. And let's pop him down there. And I like the fact that the light shines through them beautifully. So this is one where I've mounted it as well. So Perfect. You've got a, with some yeah. different colours. That's really nice. Oh, can you can you hold it up, please, Millie? <laughs> I don't know. Camera. I can't see your screen. That's so. <laughs> it. Amazing. No, that looks really effective. And when you think how big those butterflies start, and now they're these tiny little gorgeousnesses. About um, a third of their original size. Beautiful. All of them. Yeah, yeah. Shrink plastic. If you haven't tried it yet, you need it in your life. I mean, it's a needy shrink plastic. Thank you, my love. Mm -hmm. I will give us a quick refresh down the counter. Um, now, if you do want, we'll start from the beginning. Obviously, I'll get onto uh, what our Sarah's demonstrating. So, first, brand new today. We have got the mulberry tree and then the gorgeous wisteria brand new 1099 rubber mounted stamps you don't need to think about your cling mount or anything else and you see growing up of course the wisteria can go up or down whichever way uh, pattern building that one is absolutely sensational so easy to pattern build i love this again i am just a, a massive fan of the the sticky stuff with the the leafing it just looks so effective and um, if you do want to get hold of that 10 nights now now it is the only hour that we've got with our sarah today so if there's out you like you're not going to see our sarah up again later so please check your baskets out four two eight seven six eight now next we've got the beautiful little bumblebee the wonderful little uh, dragonfly and then the two flowers and the flowers are wonderful they're a solid stamp so it means yes you will maximize your color uh, but if you are using embossing powders you really see again that color with the embossing powder if you've got mica powders um, again that mica powder will absolutely pop if you have got your foils, if you're putting your foil over, then that will look amazing. I love that pattern building with the um, dragonfly. That looks so good. Um, if you do want to get hold of these, oh, see, that's another one. That's just the dragonfly. And then the background there. Amazing. Now, 20% of the stock has gone here. £10.99, your price for those. Um, 288993. Now, next, and this has been super busy, it is your Mod Garden. Um, I really like this. It is just one of those stamps you can see in your mind's eye. You can see so many different ways of using this. It's a lovely size stamp, great quality. 40% of the stock has gone. I mean, I know I've shown you that before, but it's such a good card, isn't it? 
It's crisp, it's beautiful. Um, you can easily repeat that pattern as well. Uh, so please make sure you check your baskets out on that one. 677-070, your item number there. Um, and then next we've got for you the beautiful butterfly. So you've literally just seen this um, being demonstrated. So you've got your sentiments flutter as butterflies do. And then you do have the gorgeous butterfly and it's the detail in this. I need to open this up because this looks really pretty so you've got your little book there like so and then we'll bring this open and then oh look at that so you've got the butterfly on the front and then when you open it up look we've got all the different stamps on today's show if I spin it that's well cool that's MDF as well and then on the back we have got flutter as butterflies do that's so sweet oops that is so sweet absolutely beautiful um oh i'm just going to show you that frame as well really quickly now we are approaching half of the st oh sorry not on this one um 12 pounds and 50 pence is your price um that is two three two six three nine your item number uh 12 pounds and 50 pence your price <laughs> uh now the Mod Garden, uh, we are approaching half the stock if you do want your Mod Garden. Ba, ba, ba. Um, that is 677070, your item number. Um, okay, now, um, you know our lovely words, our wibbly wobbly words, wavy words as opposed to wibbly wobbly. Um, if you do want your wibbly wobbly wavy words, uh, £14.99, 30% of the stock has gone. And I love that because you've got a lot of stamps in there, uh, loads of different sentiments, and yeah, they just float. Uh, Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Eight six five uh, five one eight. Your item number there. Fourteen ninety nine. Your price. Right then. What's next? I thought I'd show you stuff what? with the art metal. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Ever that what? Anyway, go on. What? Sticky stuff and art metal. Oh, beautiful. So it's a really quick, simple card. Um, but I would always recommend anti-static your card first. And I, I do this a lot on dark, especially black card. So I would always anti-static black card. Beautiful. Otherwise everything shows up. Yeah. Let's see if I can fit these I, on. I should, but I don't because I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I forget. Now, I just want to point out, um, your stamps come as one square. Yes. And we would always recommend trimming them yeah. as, as close as you can to the design because that will allow you to repeat stamp that will allow you to see where you're placing it easier yeah. they're easy to cut aren't they even though they've yes. got the form yeah just take the plastic protective layer off the back yeah and then they're easy to cut yeah perfect so we're going to aim for the middle pop that on there gorgeous I do like this. Well, I like them all, but I love this. <laughs> Again, it's that solid stamp. That's the thing, isn't it? We've got lots of, um, well, the, the three first bundles, they've all got those solid elements, and they're yes. the bits that really allow all your products to pop, aren't they? Yeah. They, they, it's from the Judy Kins retro modern range. Yeah. It's, but these days, I think it's more modern than retro. Yes, yes, it is. Because we have the vibrant colours yep. that we, we didn't necessarily have the first time around when we were using these okay let's just black is quite an absorbent yeah. card so I usually go with a couple of stampings I don't know if you can see that on there can you see that oh uh, yeah we can see <laughs> that about. perfect so I'm gonna bring in my sticky stuff mm, I know we've got this on and the sticky stuff you will have seen a lot on the finished cards so your sticky stuff it goes on like a regular embossing powder doesn't yes. it yes yes it does it so it looks white and it is a, an embossing powder but as i heat it it's going to change it, it's going to melt and become a glue amazing so i never put glue on my yeah. stamps right because okay. then i have to clean my stamps yes 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 that's Whereas a lot of work this, <laughs> this is so much easier though isn't it yes and the yeah. thing is, I mean, it picks up all the detail because it is super fine. And it's not like when you put glue on your stamp, sometimes it's really hit and miss. Whereas yeah. this, it's just going to give you that. Well, you can see as soon as it melts. Now, with the sticky stuff, do you have to be careful with melting it? Yes, 
as right. soon as it's turned clear, move yeah. the heat along. Right. Because if you keep heating it, if I keep the heat gun on it now, it's going to dry up the glue. Right, OK. Um, but there's not a time limit on once it's melted. Right, right. So we can continue our conversation and I can come back to it tomorrow. Amazing. And it'll yeah. still be sticky. Yeah. So I'm sure we can talk until tomorrow. Oh, yeah, we could. <laughs> Quite easy. Yeah. We absolutely could. <laughs> Me and you, we'd be chatting on. Yeah. Um, so with sticky stuff, what kind of things will actually stick to it? Because it's not just the metal flakes, is it? No. Um, as I said, the mica powder. Beautiful. Glitter. Mm. But, I mean, you do get... I would anti-static. I always anti-static my fingers first <laughs> because you have to get in there and yeah. push it on to make sure it's stuck. And I do co get covered yeah. Yeah. in glitter. Amazing. But, yeah. Definitely something that you need to have in your stash. As I, now, you have got one way of buying it, which you can get two in um, two pots there. And these are two two-ounce pots for 15 However, look at what Sarah's doing now, because the sheets that Sarah's... I mean, look at the colours. These colours are beautiful. Yes. And I'm not sure if it shows you online, but I'll show you inside. Oh, please. Oh, look at that. And they're, and they're all slightly different. Yeah. It's, it's kind of, it's not real gold. It is imitation. Yeah. And they, they create it and then they attach it to, and they run an electric current through it. Right. And okay. that's how they change the colour. Wow. So. That's amazing. So they're different. Within the yeah. pack, you're going to get different. They're yeah. so nice. Um, if you do want that kit, I mean, beautiful. So you've got five of those oxiding red uh, metal leaf sheets, and then you've got two ounce of your powder as well for 14.98 really nice kit that one 492375 is your item number it's so much easier um, than trying to faff about with, with wet glue because yeah. as well with glues you have to wait for them to dry with that at least you're you're in control that's aren't it you? and when you put it on just rub it with your finger just right. to make sure it's stuck and also then if you can feel any sticky areas yes. you can go back and you can put the gold leaf on the sticky area amazing and then i'm using a little brush, just, you know, like a, a stipple brush kind of a thing. Yes. Not so too soft, but not too hard. bit of a... Yeah, just a, a little bit. And oh. I just go round and round, and I change direction to burnish Beautiful. the design. And again, some people, when we run classes, they have to anti-static their fingers because they have hot hands yes. or they have a lot of oil in their skin, so they get yep. covered in gold leaf. And all the bits, so you have to keep. Yes. I mean, you can use all those beautiful bits. Yeah. This is why I keep it in a in a plastic tub. Yes. Because at some point, I'll use the dust at the bottom for yeah. a completely different look. Honestly, that stuff is lovely. Fourteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. Nine seven two three seven five. Your item number. That's Just don't possibly sneeze. my favourite colour. That one. <laughs> okay. So then that just needs to be stuck on here. So I've embossed the word in gold beautiful and uh, put some gold on. i always put it on copper and gold layers because there's copper inside it yeah so it just picks it up it but looks how so good on black is that yeah yeah it's just so well, you give it a wobble to a to wobble the so you yeah. can see it's camera and the, the depth and the <laughs> Oh, if you can pick it up, sorry, my love, and give it that one. That's the one. <laughs> give it a wobble. See now. Now, because of the, the variegated nature of that, the, yeah. the sheet, that's why you've got, like, the red in there and then the copper. And yeah, and what I do is I go through and I pick out the bit that's beautiful. got a plainer gold ah, or a okay. copper yeah. to, to kind of separate it, which you, you will end up with because you end up yes. with all the bits. So oh, then you can pick so that good. up. Love, love, love that one. Um, thank you. Now, if you do want those uh, beautiful metal sheets with the amazing glaze, we are approaching 30%. Honestly, definitely get hold of that one. 972375. If you just need more of your sticky stuffs, sorry, I said amazing glaze. I did mean sticky stuff. If you just want more of your sticky stuff, you've got two pots of your sticky stuff. Um, so if you're really loving that, but also you're going to be using this with glitter. You're going to be using this with mica powders, two pots for 15 pounds and 98 pence. And you can use that on all your stamps in the normal way, you know, with your, you know, any of your, your sticky ink pads. 
any of your embossing ink pads. Um, half the stock has gone, and that is really good stuff. Uh, 417-725, your item number. Now, the stamps um, that our Sarah was using, so obviously you've got the tree and you've got the beautiful wisteria for just 10 99 There's so many ways of using these. They're very effective indeed. And um, over 30% of the stock has gone. And you see that wisteria, either which way, it works, doesn't it? Absolutely works. But I love that, that background. That is so effective. And that is just random stamping, just um, filling up that background. Absolutely beautiful. I'll show you that one as well for pattern building. Uh, £10.99 is your price. 428768, your item number. Right, I'll be really quick and um, just give you a dead quick recap so we can get back to Sarah. So, first of all, we have got that beautiful, the blooms and the butterfly. Nope. The blooms and the bumblebee and the dragonfly. Now, 30% of the stock has gone. I mean, that is such a good background. I love this one as well. Oh, it's a really nice stamp, is this? It's one of those that will just never go out of fashion. Um, you have got your beautiful wavy word on that one as well. Um, if you would like that, £10.99 pension your price, 288993, your item number. Next, um, we've got that beautiful mod garden, and this is really popular. If you do want to get hold of this, half of the stock has gone. I do really love this because... There's so many ways you can use this. You can layer it up in so many ways. Clever stamping, you might just be getting the, the lines. You might just be getting the circles. Uh, clever inking, I should say. You know, there's tons you can do with it, and it's just such a good background stamp. Now, 99... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, reading, I'm reading your price instead of the item number. <laughs> 677070 is your item number. Just £9.99 £9 is your price. My brain today. I mean, you might as well replace it with mushy peas. Um, and then, last but by no means least, you've got your butterfly and then you have got your sentiments. So your sentiments flutter as butterflies do. £12.50. And, and obviously you saw, saw it shrinked. <laughs> you saw it shrinked, which does look phenomenal, but it's just a timeless, timeless image. And of course, you've seen it with so many of the other stamps that we've got, whether it's backgrounds, whether it's a focal image, whether crea you create something that, quite frankly, you might be putting on the wall, which looks absolutely sensational. Uh, please check your baskets out there, £12.50. 232639, your item number. Please check the other goodies out on the website. Remember, uh, the stuff that our Sarah has been using, we've got loads of it on the website. Don't miss out on the, um, the embossing powder. Don't miss out on the beautiful um, metallic sheets because they are just fantastic, the metal sheets. Just gorgeous. Okay, let's get back to our Sarah. <laughs> okay. More demonstration. I'm um, starting with a twinchy. Three. Which is a two-inch square. <laughs> now, these are dead handy because you've yeah. actually designed them, so they're ready, they're pre-cut, yeah. they're we, ready we to We didn't design them. I can't take credit for that. Oh, <laughs> you, you could have told us you had. We found them. Yeah, yeah. So and we're like, them. we need those. We yeah. need those, yes. And I love it because... Um, the the kind of I mean obviously the the plane ready to go but can you see so literally you can stamp on on a big piece and then just yes. pop them out and put it back together like a, yes. a lovely little and what I do is I will usually cut off a section and you can see it's got a border around it yes so if I wanted to do something that was kind of like um, four tiles across and four tiles down I will cut from the border ah. down and across. So that I keep, it stays attached to the border. Yeah. And then when I put it inside my platform, the border is still there. Yes. So my stamp can overhang the edges. Ah, that's such a good idea. Yeah. And then I keep the borders for when I'm just doing odd tiles ah, in the platform. That's such a good idea. I like these. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can, if you're just doing your inches, amazing, or well, your inches and your twinch in. Inch in your twinch. If you are just doing those, then amazing. But you'll be using these um, it, as a full piece. I do love the fact, however, um, you can create so many different things on them because they're thick, aren't yes. they? Yes. Yeah, so it's cardboard with a paper covering on each side. Yeah. So you can stamp them, you can ink them, you can paint them. 
You can mix media them. Yeah. I'm going to amazing glaze one. Ah, uh, fabulous. Um, so you are getting, and I mean, we're obviously not going to count how many squares are on there. Uh, but you have got uh, 240. She did count them all together. Uh, so you've got two sheets of your inches, two she sheets of your twinches for just £11.99, pounds 569 Four nine five is your item number. Please check your baskets out on those. If you did just want um, four of your twinches, then you'll get four sheets of those. And again, really nice to work on, and it, of course, really nice and thick. So it allows you to do loads of different, um, loads of different techniques. R I right like them. I like things like this because it makes your brain work differently, doesn't it? Um, Eleven pounds and ninety nine pounds for four sheets. There. Um, that is five seven seven two seven nine. Do you remember the? Um, it reminds me of the um jigsaw do you remember them you used to do them didn't you yes jigsaws, yes we did yeah, yeah the plain jigsaws e that you were i remember them yeah <laughs> anyway <laughs> twinches you can punch through these as well you can if you've oh, got can you? yes. ah, right okay yes yeah, so you can make it into jewelry and pendants and keychains and things yeah, yeah and if perfect. you glaze them afterwards to protect yeah. your design yeah yeah okay. absolutely excellent like these so i have a plain twinchy and I have a very old, well-loved, oh, been in wow. lots of workshops, <laughs> ink pad, clear ink, but I'm just using it to ink my tile. So it doesn't matter what it looks like. <laughs> and I'm going to pop it in my tray Beautiful. and I've got my amazing glaze. Now, the amazing glaze, of course, uh, we have got this on the show. Your amazing glaze. So uh, this is one of those products, again, that's been around forever and ever. It's a cracking product because, A, it's good quality, but it's a thicker powder, yeah. isn't it? That's it. It's a thick embossing powder yeah. so that we can build up layers in two or three. We can just do two yes. or three layers. We don't have to do 15. Yes, Because absolutely. it's thick. Yeah. Um, I mean, we, we used to have a thing we could melt them in. Yes. And then pour them on into, you know. We did. Yeah. We did. We're trying to find a new one. Yeah. <laughs> we, need, we need, yeah. We are good that that is, yeah, no longer a thing. Um, now, obviously, you need to let this uh, melt. While we're, we're waiting for it to start, oh, it's starting cooking now. Um, 891309. You're getting two pots, 30 ml pots, uh, for just 15.98. And it is crystal clear. I mean, it's lovely quality, isn't it? The amazing glaze. It is, yeah. And there are two ways for me to do the next layer. Yeah. So I did use this a couple of weeks ago when I was doing scenes. Okay. I don't know if I was doing inches or twinches, but I was doing a whole sailing scene. And I let it cool down because I had like six tiles. Right. I let it cool in between, re-inked, and then pounded it. Yeah, But yeah. today, I'm just going to pick it up carefully, pop it back in the powder. Yeah. yeah. Now, I, this is something that obviously you need to get used to doing. Yeah. If you don't like hot things, don't do it this way. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you, you know, you, if you put your finger in it, it is hot. It, I've never had any burns, oh. but I, I wouldn't recommend it. I haven't liked this. I did with the palm knobs, but with this, I've never no. doing this. And I do it your way. I don't, I don't re ink. I like just slapping powder it, on the It's side. quicker because it otherwise quicker. you've got to wait for it to cool down a little yeah. bit. So and I'm going to go for three layers because I want a good depth because I'm going to stamp into it today. Beautiful as opposed to glazing my finished yeah. image. And once it's, I mean, the first layer might take a little bit, well, a regular time to, to yeah. melt if you will, but you... But then the, the heat's like yes. already underneath it, so it's and a bit that's quicker. that's why I like not waiting for it to cool down. Yeah. Because it's it's already nice and warm, so it's already, sometimes yeah, it's already going. Yeah, but if the phone going. rings or you've got a delivery at the door. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you could leave it and then you just yes. re-ink it. Yeah, so it's not the yeah. end of the world. No. So that is going to be my third layer. So I okay. can put the amazing glaze away because we don't need that again. What we do need is our gold embossing powder. So this is your regular embossing powder now? Yeah, this is the regular because I want to put colour on it. And you can do this with any coloured embossing powder, any embossing powder at all. Beautiful. I, I, do you know what? Again, this is one of those techniques that's... It's always a good technique. Yeah. And this is why, again, rubber stamps are so good, because you never have yes. to worry. You can absolutely no. stamp into this. That's even it. When I mean, no, apparently you can do it with some clear ones, but talk yes. to the manufacturer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because you need them to be strong enough that you can push it in, but obviously we don't want it to be affected yeah. by the heat. Absolutely. So I don't do it with my clear stamps because I haven't tested it. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
um, but it's fine with rubber. But we always recommend inking your stamp first to make it easier to release it. Yeah, perfect. But I'm going to be inking it today because I want colour. Okay. So I managed to get a thicker layer on this time somehow. Nice. So we're nearly there. And you can see that. But yeah, you can see it's got a really good glaze on it. Yeah. Okay, so while it's still all warm, I'm going to pop it in my tiny tray and sprinkle on the gold. Nice one. And because it's warm, it'll just stick to that yeah. powder. And you can see the difference, how fine this powder yes. is compared to the glaze. Yeah. Get rid of all that excess. I think I might do two layers of this because it is so fine. You don't always get a good... I like um, I like your clear embossing as well because if you do layers, it allows you to do so many techniques. Because when you do layers and then you put just a sprinkle of clear embossing, it kind of breaks things up and makes yeah. it look really interesting, doesn't it? Well, doing it this way, you could have you know different colour powders and you yes. can sprinkle in a bit of gold, maybe yeah. put a bit of copper twinkle through the middle, or yeah, yeah, especially at Christmas, a bit of yeah. red twinkle and oh, things. Oh yeah, absolutely. But uh, using a twinkle does take away from the image if you're wanting to focus on the stamp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to sort of yeah plan what you're going to be yeah. doing. But Experiment. Yeah. If you don't like it, just put your, your ink on the top and go with a different colour. Yeah. You just keep yeah. going. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's just one of those things you just love to experiment because you get yeah. so many different looks. I mean, that looks just gorgeous. Are you going for two layers of your gold? I think I will, yeah, because I've got some clear bits at the edges. And also, when you stamp into it, sometimes you'll be able to see the clear, because yeah. I've only got one gold. So we'll just do... that. It just looks like liquid gold, doesn't it? It does. It does. Uh, while you're doing another layer, our lovely Sarah, I'm just going to give a couple, of, um, a couple of updates, because, right, you know the sticky stuff embossing powder? So the details are there. Now, these are the pots of two. Um, two ounce pots there, £15.98. pence. We are approaching limited, so if you do want them, you do need to check your baskets out. Remember, Sarah's only got one hour today, and um, the lovely stamp pad, it's only one hour today, so if you do want that, please check your baskets out. 417725, good quality stuff, that. Also, the sticky stuff with the um, the metal leaf sheets, oh, and the colour, half the stock has gone, £14.98. pence. I've showed you so many finished samples with that on which are just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i mean have a look at that it does look so effective oh you're looking i'm rummaging it looks doesn't it look beautiful every single time and it's because of the sticky stuff can you see the texture of that the sticky stuff gives it such incredible texture obviously you can use your sticky stuff with your metal lid but remember you can also use it with your mica and with the mica, and this is why solid, I bang on about this all the time, this is why solid stamps are so nice, because that you can really see the mica, and look, it allows you to mix colours. If that was an outline stamp, you would not get that impact. Because it's a solid stamp, that gives you the impact. However, saying that, when you look at that butterfly, which is an outline stamp, with those metal leaf and the sticky stuff still looks absolutely beautiful. Um, if you do want that one, half the stock has gone. 972235, uh, no, 972375 <laughs> is your item number, I'm sorry. Okay, so I've Please. just finished heating this tile and I've got my, I've got the small mod bloom ready. Beautiful. And I have, what have I got, pink cosmos Ooh. in the stays on pigment. So I'm Amazing. inking my stamp ready because um, I want the vibrant pink, but also because it's a permanent ink, it's not going to wipe off afterwards. Beautiful. So that's warm. We don't want to miss Pop this. That we down. need to see this. We have another sell out on the sticky stuff, but watch this. So I'm going in gently, but pushing firmly. You, you don't want to just yeah. go. Yeah, splat. which I do, and I've got <laughs> air bubbles and everything in it. Okay, so that is going to cool. For a second beautiful and then we're gonna peel it out so I'll put my gold away amazing um, that sticky stuff I'll tell you proper now while we're waiting for cooling uh, the sticky stuff we have had a technical sell out that's the two tubs together so if you do want the single tub with the metal leaf we still have stock of that but the other one has sold out so please make sure um, yeah you get the other one <laughs> okay 
back, Sarah. We don't want to miss the, 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 reveal? the reveal. Let's see. Layer one. Layer there two. We go. Whoa. Show that so to, to us. Oh, my God. <laughs> Never gets boring. No. Never gets boring. So you boring. can see the gold. You the can really gold. You see, can see the, the pink. pink. Yeah. Now, if you get any oh. over, any lumps overhanging the edge, just snip them off with a pair of scissors. Yes. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Never, and then ever, ever. clean. I would recommend cleaning your stamps right. with a, a good cleaner. Um, so. Remember, that is the um, the beautiful, amazing glaze. So just a couple of layers, well, three layers of that, put three layers on, and then whatever other embossing powder you want to add that colour. You know, please play with that. If you've never had a go of that technique before, it is a cracking technique. If you know what we're on about, then you'll be going, yes, it is, it's great. I'm going to go now and dig it all out. Um, that is 891309, your item number. So I'm stamping dragonflies in warm breeze. Oh, beautiful. Of the Versafine. So it's a nice vibrant. I should put some. It's a nice under. little dragonfly, isn't it? Yeah. It's a friendly little guy. He is. <laughs> friendly. And then if I clean that off and then use the same pink. Beautiful. So they're because they're all the same kind of solid yeah. style. That will go. Got so, Got a couple minutes. Have we got a couple minutes left? We've got. I've had a yes in my head. Okay. Yes. For the so, couple of minutes. <laughs> that is going to go across middleish. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay, then okay. I think we need a sentiment. Yeah. Now, what this is for? one of our clear stamp sets. Beautiful. It could be birthday greetings or birthday sentiments. One of those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, this happy birthday. You can see it's the most used one because it's the <laughs> dirtiest. Your mucky happy birthday. All my stamps. I'm going to do this upside down. Living on the edge. Yeah. <laughs> so we want that up. There, I think that's straight. Ish. Beautiful. So I remember to use the one with the foam in it this time. Yes, yeah. Because you're on a clear stamp. We'll use the same blue, the warm Beautiful. breeze. So everything matches. Yeah, I'm a very coordinating kind of a person. <laughs> <laughs> Although I no longer have orange hair to match my shirt. <laughs> Just it's ruined the look of the, the orange top. We have orange hair. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yep, that one looks good. Beautiful. So then, yeah, that's perfect. Pop that aside, and I can. My oh, top, my look. tile's cooled down nicely now. Amazing. And because it's lightweight, it doesn't need a super strong glue. Perfect. Yeah, because even though it looks like it's chunky, yeah, it's actually pretty lightweight, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's just made of paper, really. But thick. And we can pop that on there. And then we have a finished... Where are we going? Oh, Upright. two walls at the front. Lovely. Yeah. The depth is just amazing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's, that's it. So that's all the layers of the amazing glaze yeah. that give you the depth. Yeah, I love that. Absolutely love it. Okay, um, do not miss out on those stamps. Don't miss out on the, the inches and the twinches. You've got so many that you can do that technique with. That's just one of these. You're getting two sheets of those. And then all your little inches as well for 11 99 They're so handy. Um, obviously, get your amazing glaze for all the different techniques make sure you check out your basket for the beautiful stamps as well and um, that our sarah's been using thank you ever so much when you're back you. with us my love saturday the 22nd oof you know yep. it's a date <laughs> um so make sure you tune in saturday the 22nd but for now check your baskets out thank you very much i will see you tomorrow good afternoon Coming up next, it's a Craft Kit Co. Um, we've then got Be Crafty. It's a Doodle Arts Happy Hour. And then Studio Lights, it's Jenny's Mindful Arts. See you tomorrow, gang. Have a lovely afternoon.
ultimate finish cleans, polishes and protects in one. No water is required. If you own a car, caravan, motorhome or motorcycle, do not miss the world launch shows this weekend. You don't need water or any other products. All you need is ultimate finish. On the shows, you will hear from a motor trade expert who says this is the best product he's ever used. Exclusive on the craft store with big savings and a five-piece pack. For a limited time, we will also be including two additional products at no extra charge, only while stocks last. See the amazing live demonstrations and big savings this Saturday at 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. and Sunday at midday, not to be missed. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. This has developed my drawings into a series of photopolymer stamps, clear stamps for the crafting community and the crafting industry. The stamps are all hand drawn by me, they're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring you. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full-time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Hello everyone and a warm welcome. This is going to be an amazing hour. I've seen some of the kits. The characters will blow your socks off. I really do mean that. And someone else who uh, knows all the color, uh, characters thoroughly is an incredibly talented crafter. It's our Stephanie. Hello. Hello. Stephanie, I've seen some of your videos yes. on YouTube and I've thoroughly advised please follow Stephanie on YouTube. And how do we do that? Um, it's the Tootiek channel. Okay. Yeah. The Tootiek. Yeah. Oh, okay. Tootiek. Oh, Tootiek. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, but do, <laughs> do make sure to follow the channel because uh, you, you can see you have such a passion for the felt characters Thank you. and I have to say the characters here are incredible so from um, it's the Crafty Kit Co based in Scotland very proud mm. we've even got the uh, Scottish flag on there so all made in Scotland anyone mm. not familiar with the company Stephanie tell us a little bit about it right so Joe is the owner yeah. and chief creator designer CEO everything but uh -huh. she lives in um, and the shop is in East Lothian um, beautiful. East Linton, East Lothian, Scotland. Beautiful yeah. part of the world. Yeah. And she started the company about eight, nine years ago, a few kits. Yeah. And then actually needle felting really took off because yeah. um, it's quite a young craft. Um, and so, yeah, started creating more and more. And it's just really, really taken off. And she is a great um, person because she's on her own um, Facebook groups, yeah. she's there, and you know, Brilliant. if you ring up, she's more than likely to pick up the phone as well. So, the, the, the um, Crafty Kit Co on Facebook will be able to find uh, on social media, I should say. We'll be able yeah, to find absolutely. Them. So, you can find them normally at the Crafty Kit Company, yeah. but she has a great group called, um, in fact, I think it's her byline, which is Crafting Your Way to Happiness. Oh, it's that's called, a yeah. nice group. I love that. <laughs> Joe, if you want to get an idea when we talk about needle felting, if you, I know we've had so many new viewers join us and we continue to have new viewers joining us every day, start taking a look at the characters here 
and you really get a sense of why needle fel felting is so engaging. The blue tit, uh, we were talking, Stephanie, mm. that is incredible. We've got the squirrel there, uh, the Highland Coo. Yes, Highland Coo. Uh, you've got the rock. Now, some of these are just inspirations. We don't have all of these on the show, but I just wanted to give you that indication, that insight into why needle felting is so compelling. How incredible is that blue tit and then we've got the badger in there as well the the bees and the honey hive so all of that okay that's just to give you an idea we're going to start talking about the kits we have on the show we have a mega bundle this is incredible i genuinely hand on heart it is such a good uh, bundle we're going to start here something you told us when we were preparing for the show stephanie a really good point you're progressing with your skill levels on these, so mm. if you're just starting out, this is a good one to start with. Perfect. So we've got our owls. Yes. Sort of like an introductory kit. Yes, so it's great. Gets you going, makes you feel confident, and yeah. you can make at least five, probably more than that, so you get a chance to really practice your skills. Yeah. Very sweet though, and we're getting everything that we need in the in the kit. Yes, absolutely. Be oh, you have to say that feels beautiful. Really good quality. You've got your needles, your felting needles in there. Obviously, you have your felt that you're going to be working with. Uh, you've even got your um, basis, so your your foam that you're going to be stabbing into. Yeah, that so you more just brutal than in, I meant well, to. no, it's just to protect the mat. You yeah. Hopefully, you don't stab into it. Okay. It's just in case you go too far. All right, that's good. <laughs> okay, and uh, we've got the little lies uh, that you have there as well. So that's the first kit. Now, you can buy them individually, and I will be flashing the details at the bottom of your screen if you do want to purchase them individually. But, look, you pretty much in the savings, you've covered very close, what a pound, uh, just under a pound off, covering the price of your owls. Then we have, wait for this, an absolute best seller. Have you ever seen anything like that? before. Stephanie, mm. how on earth does it look so realistic? It's so cute, isn't it? But actually, it's still a beginner kit that wow. is just made for some basic shapes, which hopefully I can prove later. Okay. And then that's that lovely mohair, um, which you use on teddy bears, but it's specifically for hedgehog. It's got little silicon on the end just to make it spiky. It's so weird. And you do sew that fabric on rather than felt it on, I'll just say that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if you left that by the front door, any guests would think that was <laughs> a, you've got a little pet hedgehog there. Absolutely love that. And look at everything that you're getting within the kit. So that is that specialist hedgehog fabric yeah. to give it that realistic finish there. Got all this beautiful felt. You're getting your needles, you're getting your thread, uh, you're getting your mat. All of that, for, uh, it's individually 16.95, but you can obviously get it as part of the big bundle. And with the big bundle, you have got the two flexi payments as well. 37.90, we're getting the owls, we're getting the hedgehog. You're also going to... These are cute. <laughs> Stephanie, look, they're sleepy mice. So we got, oh, they're very sweet. I love them. Just cute. nestled up, curled yeah. up. And you get to make two once again, so yep. good bit of practice. Brilliant. Yeah. So when, do you know what I'm going to do at the end of this? I'm going to stick, I'll, I'll stick the characters together and we'll see you know, everything <laughs> that you're going to be making. But I mean, that is just beautiful. Very, very, very sweet. So you've got a sleepy our sleepy little mice, we well, can just curl over and have a little little sleep there. Okay, we shall move on, but if you want to get the mice individually, it's 16.95. We need a mole. And this is no ordinary mole, this is yeah. Mr. Mole we're about to introduce yep. you to. His glasses. Stephanie. Yep, and you get the wire and the instructions how to make those glasses too, so. Very good. <laughs> and he's even got, oh, right, come on. He's got a newspaper in there as well. That well, is genius. So the newspaper is, is something for um, whoever gets them to put in. The newspaper isn't actually in the kit. That yeah. was just a little added. The You but could add that. Yes, so easy to do. Yeah. We could do that. Yeah. I just That is a lovely little touch. But he could be holding anything. Mm. Just put anything under his arm. Mm. So you're getting the full kit, just to remind you. Everything you're seeing here, full kits and needles. You're getting actually three of the felting needles as well. Are they all yes. the same? Or, yes, they're uh, all okay. exactly the same. Yeah. Brilliant. And you've got your felt in there as well, your mat, and even uh, the little metal to make the glasses. Mm. As we progress on, they're all incredible. There's some, though, the realism is striking. The, the hedgehog was incredible. <laughs> if you like the hedgehog, wait till you see the fox. I would imagine this is when we talked about that skill level rising. Mm. Now we're getting on to, you've done a few of the kits, yep. you're comfortable, and this is one you'd lead towards the end to yes. really aspire to. Uh, the biggest part is because there's an armature in the middle. So, yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> that is 
incredible. Got to applaud Jo for her designs and the kits are incredible. Remember everything made proudly in Scotland and uh, the, look at that, the fox just, I'm turning into view, I'm watching the screen now. <laughs> incredible. So with the big bundle, and my question to you, when you think about this, you have got five of the most beautiful kits, full kits to make. So the hedgehog we're going to make, we're going to make our uh, mole, you've also got sleeping mice there, uh, you have your hedgehog and you have your owls, all of those included in the kits and the fox just looks incredible as well. It works out per kit with that £15 savings, so remember you're saving £15.97, it works out you know just over 15 pounds per kit so you're getting a great saving across the board there normally they're 16.95 but you've got to think that saving in there effectively you've got one kit very close to one kit uh, you're not paying for so 644913 item number or you can go for the kits individually we've got another fox for you he's another sleepy boy yeah there you go so we've got a, a sleeping fox what we'll do, we'll go through all the kits and then we're going to head to Stephanie for demonstration and she will show you how easy it is to suddenly start joining uh, the community of felters out there and all these beautiful, beautiful kits. I mean, that's lovely. $16.95 your price there. one uh, your item number. Now, uh, I just wanted to show you the wool because you really appreciate it. And it just seems to me, I'm, I'm not an expert, Stephanie, but... Jo has worked very hard to source extremely good quality felt. Absolutely. And also there is um, the particular type of wool is Corriadale wool. Oh, right. um, and the reason why it's really good is it's, it's, it's lovely to touch, but it's rough in comparison to some of, and which means it's really good for felting. Because it's like, it's, um, if you looked at it, it's actually quite crinkly. Oh. And if you look at it under microscope, yeah. um, all wool has actually got scales on it. What? And I don't know whether... Um, it's Never possible for anybody to see that. I shall pop that on the mat just in case okay. you can get in on that. So on the left hand side you've actually got coarse wool which is pretty much what you've got there, corridor wool, and the fine wool. You can see the scales and that's oh. why when you use the needle with the barbs it's the it opens those scales and it locks together and that's what felting is. The, you've explained, I mean I've done felting <laughs> shows before here at the craft store I've you never need to see that picture, seen, don't you? Do, I've <laughs> never seen it explained like that before. Yeah. That, that's incredible. So it's the actual scales that lock together, and yes. that's what creates the felting. Yeah. I never knew this. Wool has scales. Yes. It's like <laughs> mini dragons. Uh, okay, so there we go. This is the fox. That was brilliant, Stephanie. Thank you. Uh, now, on the box as well, I do like this. You've got a difficulty rating, so mm, difficult level. Yeah, so you can immediately see whether, yeah, beginner. So this is an easy peasy. Yeah. That, hey, I like that. <laughs> we like our easy peasy. Actually, let me see. The fox would be... Medium. Yeah, medium, there we go. Upgrade your skills. So it's yeah. kind of a, uh, it's a, it's a two-sheep rating. Mm. Uh, now, we're going to move on to our wreath. Sticking with the fox, I, I get the sense... Joe likes foxes. Yeah. Well, it was because it was the woodland themed yeah. set. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I like foxes too. So uh, you've got a lovely wreath here. All that beautiful uh, wool that we discussed. This is a, a lovely wool to work with, uh, felting wool. And then you've got, I like the, even the fact that you've got this wonderful sort of rustic wreath that you're going to be working with within. You can build up the mushrooms. That's nice. Mm. It's just a beautiful scene. Mm. I would never have thought to put build up a scene within a uh, sort of wooden wooden hoop. Wreath. Wreath. Yes. Thank you. I mean, the nice yeah. thing is they're a nice size to just have on the wall, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. They are a perfect size to have on the wall. Mm. 21.99 your price if you want to get hold of this. 182018 your item number. Now the hair. Hair has to be another sort of upgrade your skills for that mid rating in there. Yeah, so like the fox, it's kind of like that mid. So we've gone from easy peasy to allowing you to upgrade your skill. I mean, that is breathtakingly good. We're looking at the hair. You would be forgiven for thinking that was a real hair. Stunning. And it does lend itself to the quality of uh, the felting wall included in the kits. This is achievable. I know it looks incredible. You get the eyes in there as well. You get all the skills. And I would imagine we can follow you with the kits. We can follow your YouTube channel and see you actually demonstrating and, the kits. Well, the thing is, what we, we, we haven't managed to do videos of all of them, okay. but we've done different bits. And because of the group, people yeah. can come in and say, do you know, I'm struggling with this, and we will react and give Perfect. you some help. Yeah.
We love that. Uh, you are getting the wire and your pipe cleaners in there, and what that allows you to do is to build up uh, a frame. So that's important. Actually, we've got a frame. Can we just show the frame, um, Stephanie? You know, for the hair. Is it over there? Oh, yes. Can we show you that? So that is... So this is your little armature. This yeah. Is the best place so if you lay it down on the, on the ah, actual mat, there you Stephanie, go. there we go. Perfect. So that's what you're going to be building up your uh, hair around. I know it looks a bit odd there, but uh, <laughs> that effectively creates a structure. Yes. So uh, we've seen all the kits. If you do have any questions, please get in touch, studio at thecraftstore.com. With regard to the hair, already proven popular, $21.99 your price, 353-891 your item number. Uh, we do have a felting bag bundle for you too. We're just going to flash those on the screen. So, I mean, wait till you see the price on this. $19.95, look at the amount of felt that you're getting and you've got uh, the bag in there as well that is a really good price 536-193 your item number there I mean you have to kind of see when you see the amount of um, wool that That's you're getting there that bag's got project bags all over it hasn't yeah. it I mean we all need another project bag to carry on but yeah fabulous amount of wool um, all bundled up in their little nests. So we've got Andrew, and it is a durable bag. Yeah. You've got all your wool, and that's a good way that you can start exploring mm. your own characters there. Absolutely. Speaking of exploring, should we start having a place? Oh, yeah, okay. absolutely. Let's do it. Excellent. Brilliant. So, um, as you said, all of the kits um, come with everything that you need, and you've got your <coughs> mat, which is there really just to protect the needles and mm -hmm. also the desk that you're on, so hopefully we won't be stabbing into that too much. Yeah. Um, and we've got all our wool. And I was going to start off by demonstrating um, one of our lovely um, little owls, because it's a great beginner project. It shows you um, how quickly you can actually build up a piece. Um, and also, so in the kit, you can probably do um, more than five, definitely more than five, so you get good practice. Yeah. So, here we go. We start with our wall. So, the best thing to do when you open the kit is to divide the wall up. If you think, right, I'm going to um, definitely make five, then divide your wall up. I've divided it into three here because I haven't got the full um, selection just to show you. Okay. But when you're dividing up, what you need to do is to remember is don't hold the wall right there together you will never pull it apart because you're basically holding um two strands of wall together right okay so you need to hold it further apart okay and then just pull it and then ah. it just separates okay well, so that's, that's interesting yeah wall's very strong you see <laughs> so if you've actually tried scales. to <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah. <laughs> okay and as you said we give three needles in all of the kits um the reason we do that, number one, you know, especially if you're beginning, you might actually uh, bend one in the process, and I'll show you how to avoid that. Okay. But also the other way is, if you want to, you could actually tape two of them together so that you can felt a little bit faster once you get confident. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So we want to start off, all of um, needle felting starts with building up shapes. Um, and so obviously with the owl, we want to build up its... Um, so it's kind of an egg shape, but, you know, with a little flat bottom, let's right. say. So what we need to do is we need to take our wall yeah. and just easily roll it up. And it don't worry about whether you're doing it really, really tight. Uh -huh. um, the tighter you do it, the less um, stabbing you will have to do. Okay. Is finding but the right wool important with felting? Is Finding the right wool, the right um, um, felting wool? Only in terms of, for the core wall, which we're yeah. using um, here, core wall basically means, you know, the wall you're going to put at the centre of a project. Yeah. So it's the bit you're not going to see. Mm -hmm. So we don't, number one, want to spend masses of money on the bit we're not going to see. Mm. Um, so core wall is really basically wall which hasn't been processed that much, so there's okay. no colour on it. And also yeah. the coarser, the better, because it will it'll actually it'll, felt yeah. quicker. So now as you can see, I've rolled that up. I've done nothing to it, but it's not springing open. Okay. Some of those scales are still locked together and I've done nothing. Nice. Wow. <laughs> okay, now let me move these needles out of the way and just show you that just by... Um, oh, it helps if I've got actually a bump which isn't bent. Okay. I was, in fact, that's why I brought this in to show you that when they bend, um, they bend there because obviously the shaft is nice and thick down to that point uh, and so when you do it wrong it bends and so. So what would cause the, the shaft to bend? Okay, so when you're stabbing you must either stab in and out the same uh -huh. or uh, angle the same. Whatever you do, the angle you go in you must come out at. Okay. 
Right. Because once again, as I said, wool is quite strong. So if you go in at that angle, I'm not going to do it because I'm going to bend it, and then yeah. I moved it up and took it out. Uh, that would actually create that. Okay. Yeah. So it's just getting into good habits. Yes. Don't rush. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And also, it doesn't matter how fast you stab. Now, I do tend to you know, stab quite fast because I've been doing it for quite some time. But if you starting, you just want to stab nice and slow. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen. The only reason it's quicker is because I'm stabbing it faster. Yeah. It's not the action of um, you know, force which is actually making it um, felt any better. So what's actually going on with, what does the needle do? What's happening okay. that creates so, effect? And this is, once again, this is why I'm saying we don't want to stab into the mat. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to take the felt from the outside into the centre and basically locking it together. So essentially we're making it smaller and we're making it denser. Yeah. Okay. So if we keep stabbing this um, for the whole hour, it would be very, very small at the end of it. Which is why okay. we look at our pieces and... And as you can tell, I'm rolling it round so that it's being evenly felted yeah. all the way around. But then I would say, do you know, I need that to be a bit thicker. So I would just take another piece. Okay. And just roll it around. And then stab that in. Lovely. And that is taking that wall from the outside into the centre. Oh, okay. And so we don't want to take the needle all the way out through the other side mm. because then that's kind of making the other side thicker rather than taking it into the centre. Yeah. So it's all about um, the core. You know, uh -huh. I say we've got core wall, we're trying to create a core and yeah. we're trying to stab the wall into the core of the thing. So okay. it's all about getting the, um, the core yeah. done. So if I just quickly say, there we go. So it, number one, number one, number two even. Um, one of the questions that get asked a lot is how stiff should it be? How okay. squishy? Now yeah. if I show you this one, um, that's actually stiffer. That's really very squishy. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. You can do it as soft or as hard as you actually want to. Once you've been felting for a while you will tend to do them harder but you, it will use more wool, basically, because you're going to make it denser. So to get it the right size that you want, you're going to have to add more wool. Right. But don't get hung up about it, and especially with these lovely little owls, because some of these are really quite squishy. Mm. And they're still gorgeous. So don't worry about that. And they stand up perfectly fine. Yeah. So once you've done your nice little sausage shape, obviously, we want to give it a flat bottom. Okay. So we literally just turn it upside down. Nice. And we... I mean, they stand up nicely. Yeah. And it's amazing, actually, how quickly you can just get yourself and start standing up. Perfect. So that's why I say, especially when you're beginning, don't fret about things. Just do things so they look good. Yeah. And if it looks good to you, that's all that matters. Yeah. And a lot of the time when we craft something... We, we're hypercritical of our own work. Absolutely. And when someone else sees it, they never even register anything we're not happy with. No, absolutely. And it's, it's like anything, isn't it? When you're actually crafting it yourself, you're up so close to it, yeah. you can see every detail yeah, rather than just looking at it back. And, and just enjoying it as a yeah, whole. Yeah, absolutely. So once you've actually um, added as much as you want to mm -hmm. and you've got your little shape, you would then want to add colour. Yeah. Okay, so we wanted to make it like this. So the adding of colour is the same, but slightly different. Okay. <laughs> In the sense that now, we don't actually want to um, stab this wall all the way into the centre. We just want to lightly do it to the top, because we don't want the colour to disappear. Yeah. But I am still just going to wrap it round. Okay. And then just stab it lighter. Nice. So I'm just not going in as far. Because once again, those barbs are just... In that area. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm just stabbing. We don't have to go too deep. No. And very quickly, it's attaching. Locking in, yeah. So I mean, it's it's a very, it's one of these hobbies. There isn't a steep learning curve. It's very achievable. Yeah. It's the one that I love about it is that you can do pieces, stylized mm. pieces 
right from the very start. Yeah. And you can take it to hyper-realism if yeah. you want to. You can stay at the level that you like, yeah. which is perfect. Isn't that perfect I for like a craft? That. Yeah. It, it suits all different levels. Um, if you just want to dip in and dip out, you can still perfect. make beautiful pieces. Uh -huh. So very quickly, you would just have your completely covered piece. Oh, yeah, that's a gorgeous colour. Yeah, it's teal. It's lovely, Your's isn't it? It's really nice. Quite opulent. Yeah, mm. gorgeous. In fact, that is definitely one of Joe's favourites. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so to make something like the um, owl oh, here, yeah. all we are doing then is adding our little... Um, so I will just show you. They're very, very cute. They've already they've got so much personality. I know, it's Joe's just done a, a great little, job. That's small, and yet they've yeah. still got personality, haven't they? Which is great. So um, I'm just going to show you quickly how I would um, add the eye, yeah. which is I tend to use um, my little fingers and things to wrap around and get a little circle. Okay. And then just pop it on the top mm -hmm. and then stab it down. Starting down. Nice. And it's like it joins nice and quickly because it's, yeah. it's this lovely Corridor wall. Uh -huh. I kind of get the sense, watching you work, Stephanie, you just love this. As, oh, a, as yes. a hobby, <laughs> you take so much enjoyment from it. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I do this for a living. This is, I create my pieces and, and I sell them, which is what oh, you wow, can okay. get yourself to. So that's wow. it. You can keep it as a hobby yeah. or you can take it um, to the professional level. You can go as far well, as you want with it. You're, you're officially winning at life, they say. You know, if you yeah. do what you enjoy, you can always make a living Absolutely. from it. Absolutely. Absolutely just making sure I've got a, and when we put the um, the little eye in the middle mm. you literally are just putting your needle down and down the same place for a while and then you've got your little hole so you can just pop your eye in and in fact the eye that I've put here I haven't glued it in oh, yeah okay. so it's very easy just yeah. to pop a little piece of glue on there nice. and in it stays just gonna let everyone know a quarter of the mega bundle has gone. Uh, it has to be a favourite option. Uh, within the Mega Bundle, you are getting five of the most endearing characters. Uh, we're going to go through these later on, but I have to say, it, look, just for the hedgehog alone, look at that hedgehog. And this gives you an idea of the kind of characters that you're going to be getting. I say, we're going to look at it in more detail in a while, but love that. Okay. Okay, so let me just quickly show you the adding of colour mm -hmm. to create this because I want to um, move on and show you a couple of the other yeah, um, creations as well so you can see all the different varieties but you can see how and mm -hmm. this part is almost like painting with wool yeah yeah, that's a really good description Stephanie you mm. are painting with wool yeah. look out very very quickly you introducing that detail lovely tonal colors within the kits too and it's another mm. compliment to joe and the company it, it, within the kits you, i get a sense so much thoughts being put into them yeah absolutely i mean and that's the you know the creation process is that um they are designed yeah. and then um you know samples made and everybody falls in love with them they become a kit right. <laughs> if everybody doesn't fall in love with them they don't become a kit so Very you know it's it a seems good, like a good, a good rule of thumb yeah you must get excited when you get a new kit arriving oh yeah absolutely i mean <laughs> get, get those like needles Christmas. out yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go and i'm just showing you here where i'm just stabbing on the end because this is okay. going to be the wing right oh, and i'm literally okay. just stabbing the end in flapping it down uh, and then you've got your little so wing on the side so effective you're able you to do that incredibly quickly yeah and so you can see how you can have such yeah. fun with all the different colors and everything so okay so shall i move on to the sleeping mice. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. Would it be okay if we did a quick recap? Yeah, and then absolutely. Move on to perfect. Mice? No, we'll perfect. do that. I hope you're enjoying the uh, show. If you do have any questions for Stephanie, we would love to hear from you. Studio at thecraftstore.com. Uh, also, going to say hello to Joe. I'm hoping, I'm sure Joe's watching right now in uh, Scotland. Sorry, you can get to the studio, Joe, but the kits are amazing. So thank you so much for all of these. Right, we're going to talk about the Mega Bundle, but we're also going to bring up the individual kits as well, because there's two ways to shop. A lot of you, a lot of you, if not most of you, are going for the Mega Bundle. Two things to point out with the Mega Bundle. 
you've suddenly got access to flexi payment, which means in real terms, today, you're paying £37.90, and we are sending everything out to you. All of the kits will be sent out to you. And then, of course, in uh, four weeks' time, so in a month's time, you'll pay your remaining flexi payment. But it just makes it that more manageable. I love the fact... Did I say two things? I don't know. That was that was that's all I had. Uh, <laughs> but was I? I'm sure. I was thinking, oh, cool. It's, 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 was I going to talk about the savings? Maybe I, I, I don't know. But you are getting a saving with the mega bundle as well. Uh, Fifteen pounds and ninety-seven pence. So it means uh, with the mega bundle, effectively, I mean, a pound shy of getting one of the kits for nothing. So that's the kind of saving that you're getting within the kits. Let's talk about our owls. We were just seeing, and it's a whole fat look at them. So within the owl family, <laughs> okay, I love this. So you've got mummy and daddy owl, there's maybe grandpa, and there's, there's baby owl in there as well. The team, and I don't know if Joe was conscious of this, but it seems that she has channeled Chris, our director, because that is a striking <laughs> resemblance. It's the eyebrows, the hair, the nose, everything. But um, look, you're getting the whole characters, all of those. The needles, uh, you get three needles, beautiful wool, and that's something you're going to hear me going on and on about. But the quality of the wool that you get within the kits, I mean, look at the tone. So everything with this. I don't know if you guys... I tend to think, you know when you buy something, the, the packaging is a real statement of intent. It shows how much thought and care has been put into something. Look at the packaging that you're getting with these kits. They're very giftable as well. Do you know what you could do is go for the mega bundle and start giving some of these characters a friends and family in there as well. It's all that thought and attention. So proudly made in Scotland which you can see, and also you have a skill rating within there too. So if we just have a look here, that's your skill rating. Uh, this is an easy peasy. So, so I'm covered. My skill rating is covered there. That's your owl family. Uh, $16.95 if you do want to buy that individually. It is available, and we've just got the details of the Mega Bundle at the bottom of your screens. We'll leave that there, uh, but we can offer you the kits individually too. 805 uh, sorry, 978, your item number. <laughs> The hedgehog, it's funny because Stephanie, and she's so talented, I have to say, Steph, genuinely very, very talented, but Stephanie said to everyone in the meeting, the hedgehog is going to be popular. It's an absolute bestseller for the Crafty Kit Company. Now, look, it's not just any old hedgehog. This is a baby hedgehog. Are we, well, I wonder what name we would give, because the, the characters you do, you do find, they are so realistic, you want to name them. So I think Bertie. Could be Bertie the Hedgehog. He looks like a Bertie. But there you see it. Or Hetty. Hetty the Hedgehog there. I mean, just names I'm coming up with. Uh, but you see that there. You've got such a lovely character. I know what's going to happen here. All right. Going for the full kit. And this is, uh, if you're going for the mega bundle, I should say. But we have got details for the individual, individual kit. Imagine all of these characters on your mantelpiece, or around your living room, or around your home. So when people come to visit you, when that's safe and allowed, can you imagine in a room you can have your little baby hedgehog nestled maybe on the, um, in a room on a mantelpiece there. We've got our owl family. We're going to introduce you to the sleeping mice. All these lovely characters just creating that wonderful feel within your home. It's like a, an animated cartoon. You know, when all the animals come into the home. Uh, Sixteen ninety-five is your price there. Seven seven one six four nine your item number. Say so, things to point out with the hedgehog. Now that, I've never seen anything like this before. It's actually known in the industry as uh, hedgehog fabrics. There you go. But then you've got all that gorgeous uh, wool in there. You've got your needles, your mat, everything. Right, we shall move on. If you do want to go for the hedgehog, seven seven one six four nine. Hedgehog's got some friends. Now, the hedgehog was very bright and alert, the baby hedgehog, but the sleepy mice, they have been up to no good all night. They've been running around, nibbling on things, and, you know, they're, they're tired. So uh, the sleepy mice, and they're very cute. See that one? I'm going to lift that one up. We can put them both together. You can just see them there. Those are your sleeping mice. Sixteen ninety-five is your price. And it's lovely how it's the texture that you get from there. Look at that. Uh, Sixteen ninety-five. Your price two seven four five zero one. Your item number. 
There is another character in the mix as well. It's our Mr. Mole. So Mr. Mole is an absolute character. I do want to point out that the newspaper Mr. Mole's holding is genius. That's just done by the design team. So uh, that's something you'd have to put yourself. But yeah, Mr. Mole could be holding anything. Could be flowers, could be a little pipe. Uh, I, ice cream? You just got ice cream on your mind, Jimmy. It could be a mole's, mole, hey, moles might like some ice cream, all right? I'm not going to be prejudiced. So you've got your mole there, all this gorgeous uh, wool, your needles, uh, your felting needles, your mat, even the metal you'll use to make the glasses. Sixteen ninety-five your price, 932-238, your item number there. And finally, so we've had skill ratings. This is an intermediate. We've gone from easy peasy, which is the owls. Now we're up to intermediate. This fox is incredible, absolutely sensational. The effect that you're getting from there, I mean, I am ab I'm blown away. You see that whole body coming through, it just lends itself so well to felting as a design. I want to show you the bushy tail, because look, he even got his big bushy tail. I mean, that is an absolute... Thing. It can really nestle in. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And it's another one that you could have in your home. Well, hang on. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put some of the characters together because I just want to show you what they're all... Because we have got a mega bundle. So let's put our characters together. And I want you to imagine all the characters together. And there's a... I won't put the owls only because I don't want to totally mess up our pack shot. You've got the owls in there as well. So i am just put a few of them. But you see them all together. So the fox, the mole, the mice, the hedgehog, oh, I've got to put the owls in as well. <laughs> Can't leave them out. There we go. And you've got your owls in there too. There's Grandpa Owl, Mummy and Daddy, and there's Baby Owl. That's it. That's your mega bundle, your whole family, and that's your starting point. I kind of feel there should be a warning with the kids. This is going to be addictive because once, you once you've made the hedgehog, the fox, the mice, the owl, or the, or the uh, mole, you're going to want to make more. So in my view, this is how I would be seeing it, actually, because I tend to, I like to give craft gifts for my families. And because I want to get, especially my nephews and nieces, I want to get them off their sort of tablets and like doing stuff. Now, this is something I've got to point out, because obviously the needles are sharp if any youngsters in your family need to be supervised and you need to know that the right level or age to do it but imagine giving these as kits to friends and family so if you go for the mega bundle 75 79 you could give the owls to somebody you could give uh, the hedgehog or obviously you want to keep a kit for yourself as well maybe save the uh, fox for yourself but great gift very very giftable too 37.90 is your price if you're taking advantage of the flexi payments you are saving 15 pounds and 97 pence 644 913 your item number enough from me i think we're going to see more demonstrations i think it is going to be featuring the sleepy mice am i right yes it is <laughs> sleepy mice and sleepy fox brilliant <laughs> and i also wanted to uh, mention because we talked about um videos and everything earlier but there are fabulous instructions as well which are not just written instructions but there's also the photos instructions showing you oh, every step good. of the way and um, Joe think, always puts uh, the piece in our hand there so you can see yourself at home sorry, whether you're sorry, doing exactly yeah, yeah. so that I just thought but I mentioned pictures that. I'm glad you did Stephanie because pictures I find anyone will number yeah a lot easier to follow both pictures and the written instructions yeah, so absolutely such good pictures too. Yeah, visualize yeah. it completely brilliant yeah there you go. Okay, so fabulous. So we've got our sleepy mice and um, we've got our sleepy fox. So yeah. the only reason these are slightly different is because we are making different shapes. Okay. Now, we love to make shapes. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm going to show you that the two shapes that we make to are just big egg and little, little egg. <laughs> so, and they basically then go together. Okay. And that would make sleepy mouse. So... What we're going to do to start with is to just show you how you would actually build up that egg. Now, there are, you could roll it up exactly the way that I did before, but I'm going to show you a slightly different way because sometimes that can take a bit of time to felt. Right. So, tie a knot in it is what I say. Oh. So, take a piece of wool yeah. and tie a knot in it. Okay. That will then become the centre of your piece and you can just wrap the wall around and that can be the nice chunky end of your yeah. um, egg and then 
there you go. Stephanie, you've given us some really good tips this hour. Hope so. No, you really have. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the tying and knotting it is one of those things where um, people say, "Oh my goodness, that it just gives yeah. you something that you're stabbing into." Because I'm saying about Basis. stabbing into the centre. Now you know where your centre is because ah, okay. you can feel it yeah. as you're stabbing in. You've got something that you're now just doing as we did before. Uh -huh. We're just stabbing into the centre. And we're noticing you're not bending. So whichever angle you go into, that's the angle you're pulling out. Absolutely. So we're not bending our needles. No, we are. Hopefully not bend. I mean, let's face it, I do break needles just like everybody else <laughs> because well, I get sidetracked. <laughs> we've got three needles and if you go for the mega bundle, yeah. you've got three needles in each kit. Yes, so you're going to be absolutely. more than covered for needles. Absolutely. And, um, you know, I'm standing, I'm holding the needle um, without any holder, but you can buy needle holders for them as well, um, ones which hold two, three, well, up to seven and things. So if you're someone who struggles to actually hold onto something that yeah. small, you can actually get yourself a needle holder and that would actually help okay. doing that. Just so while we're doing yeah. this, Stephanie, you've got a lovely email in from Helen. Would it be okay if I read yeah, this out? Yeah, please do. You're going to like this one. So, uh, Helen, thank you so much for emailing in. So Helen's saying, hi guys, loving the needle felting show. I'm a convert. <laughs> um, you just have to, oh, now she's saying, you have to mention Stephanie's own Fiber Artist Facebook page. Stephanie, you didn't tell us about this. <laughs> so you've got your own page, Fibre Artist, and yes, uh, I do. Helen's saying that she uh, that you've made some incredible creations. Thank the you. sea turtle you Aww. produced is simply stunning. Thank so talented. You. Uh, and uh, you're saying you're so, you're so modest on the shows. Warm regards, Helen. Aww, well, bless you know what I'm you. doing after the show? I'm going to be having a look <laughs> at your Fibre Artist page, along with, and I am going to be joining as well, the Crafty Kit Co's uh, social media too, because obviously great yeah. stuff they post. Yeah. So the um, the sea turtle has a story, but I shall tell you about that in a second once okay. I've actually. So you can very quickly see how we create our shape. It's still nice and squidgy, so I would add more to actually make that um, thicker. But it is even when I finished it, it's still not because let's face it, mice are squidgy, aren't they? Yeah, of course. They are. Yeah. <laughs> and then we would go about creating uh -huh. a bigger one. And once again, just to in terms of your wool, you would just take more wool to start a bigger knot in the middle. Uh -huh. And then just get another piece, which is say just pulling apart nicely and wrapping around. And you would just then do the same thing and create your bigger egg. So yeah. Having shown you that, I'm quite sure you don't want to see me stabbing continually. I want to show you how easy it is to join the pieces up. Okay. Okay. So this I call, I create a little staple. So put a little piece in, pop my needle down, lost it like I often do, and just stab in to that top bit, hmm. leaving out lots of nice little fray bits and then pop that on top because that's oh, okay. creating that little curled up yeah. mounts and then take those pieces oh, and that's kind of like you're, you're welding yeah. the two pieces together with your wool bearing in mind we are going to be you will be adding more wool around that to keep it together so yeah. at this stage you're just doing that and also i do say to people bear in mind at this moment Think of it as you tacking it together. Okay. Because if you look at it and think, you know, I don't like that, pull it apart. It's very forgiving. Do it again. <laughs> you don't have to get it perfect first time, which is another reason why I love this craft. No. <laughs> so, what got you into needle felting? Well, do you know, I saw a picture of a fox okay. on Pinterest, and I thought, what on earth is that made from? Wow. And uh, they mentioned needle felting, and at the time, I couldn't find that, it wasn't easy to find that much out about it, but mm -hmm. I persevered and just thought, I need to be able to produce animals like that. Yeah. That would just be stunning. So then I was set on my way, basically. But you that was found it. your craft. I did. Yeah. And it's one of the things, I've been crafting for many, many years, mm -hmm. but when I found needle felting, I decided that was my one. Oh, wow. <laughs> you found, oh, you found your one. Yeah. That, this is my medium, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, there you go. Very quickly, you've got your little shape. And once again, as we did before, you will add your different um, fibres. Now, I will just show you here. In this kit, you've got your browns and you've got your greys. Mm -hmm. Now, 
to start with, as you will see on this one, I, I do my normal where I've done half and half. So this is the one where it had grey underneath and then brown on top. So you would put the grey underneath and the brown on top. Is that or, how you're able to get such a realistic finish? Yep. Or, you see, it? you don't even have to do it like that. You could mm. just mix it in your hand and do it that way and take your greys and take your two pieces and just pull it together. It's like um, shuffling a pack of cards, really, yeah. isn't it? And you I'm not playing poker with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and so you're just mixing the colours together and then you've uh -huh. got that nice mix. So either way, you can layer it up or you can actually mix it in oh, your... I don't know which way. I quite like the blend when you blend it in the end, but both ways work very well. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And also, you know, there's, there's lots of equipment you can get in terms of uh, for needle like can for any other. But I'm just going to nip across here and show you that I actually have um, a cat brush, which... <laughs> have you got cats? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use this on it. <laughs> and so if you think, oh, that's just a bit too fluffy or you want to be help mixing, just oh, use. Oh, that's clever. Because you can get carders and you can get very expensive pieces of kit. But get yourself a cat brush. There you go. And then you've got your nicely. You Stephanie, know. this hour you really have given us some great tips. Really good tips. Brilliant. Yeah, love that. Excellent. So the tail, I want to show you the tail yeah. because... We have got our very pretty little tail here, and I want to show you, it's nowhere near as difficult as you think it might be. How okay. do I felt something quite that thin? We grab a nice piece. Mm -hmm. And this is where that felting process that I des described to you earlier, yeah. you don't have to stab it. Oh, okay. Just roll it in your hands. Get it going. Get that heat going. Yeah. Agitate those bits together and it starts off the process oh and if you want to make sure it really is then just give it a little stab yeah. as you go along but to be honest mine i just roll them right and leave them as it is so the kind of the friction the heat from your hands yeah. everything working Which locking is, those scales and fibers into place i mean wet felting and dry felting it's exactly the same process it's just done in a different way mm. so this is partially doing a little bit of wet felting without the water it's doing oh, the heat okay. yeah. agitation and then Fighting it together. So you've very quickly got yourself a little tail there without Perfect. very much. Okay. We can do that, and yeah. then you would just stab that on as I shown before. We just add that, stab that. Mm -hmm. And then we would create that little face. Nice. Which is cute. And little ears. Now, here's another little tip if I've actually got a piece here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm good. If you're creating something flat on yeah. your mat, now the problem can happen that we get a little bit carried away when we want to make ourselves a little ear and we fold up our piece of wool and we start stabbing into the mat and especially if it's a larger ear like one for the fox or one for our little hair because you may be just a little bit too um, thorough shall we say and find that you've actually put the fibres into the mat a bit much. And when you lift it up, you've got an awful lot of fibres and yeah. you'll distort the shape. Uh -huh. So if you're doing a bigger piece, my tip to you is, lay, I don't always put a piece of felt, some, it can be anything, it can be a piece of nylon, a pair of stockings, whatever mm. you've got. And do the felting on top of that. Then when it comes to lift it up, you can pull that up first oh. and then it will just peel off so it just gives you that when you're doing flat pieces great put tip. that yeah. and it just gives you okay. that that's a lot easier yeah an extra pull so um i'm going to tell you a little bit about the fox if okay. that's okay well, it would be okay we just have a rec rec recap and then go back to yeah you? yeah sure okay. we will do that we're getting on to the fox now uh what we're going to show i'm going to bring up the details for the complete the mega bundle because that's where most of you if not all of you are going towards you have got access to flexi payments you are saving 15 pounds and 97 pence within the mega bundle we have got our fantastic fox there's the beautiful family of owls in there. The hedgehog is sensational. Uh, we've got our sleeping mice who are head... Oh, look, they're very, very sleepy. They're head to tail. I've, I've turned them around, so there we go. I'll lift those up. I'll put them head to tail 
I was kind of wondering, is that where the term comes from? Head to tail. I don't know. Okay. And then I will I'll put Mr. Fox next to him. Well, you're very sleepy, aren't you? There we go. Leave it up there. And then, um, and then you've got the mole in the mix too. I mean, how cool is that mole? Love it. So all of these characters, all individual kits, uh, but you're getting them as part of the Mega Bundle. So you can see here, you, when they arrive, the Mega Bundle, they're all individual. I'll just show you on your screen. So we have got a picture for the Mega Bundle, £37.90. Your price, if you're taking advantage of our flexi payments, 644-913, your item number there, saving £15.97. Um, being woodland themed on the show, we've got another fantastic fox, our sleeping fox here. So the fox is having a little bit of a doze. He'd get on well with the mice. Love the actual feel, the look, everything about that. 1695, I mean, come on, for a project, 1695, you can't go wrong. Beautiful, beautiful wool that you're going to be working with. We're having a look at our rating, and it is easy peasy rating, so that means anybody can give this a go. You're also getting your needles, so three felting needles, your mat, and you're getting your pipe cleaner to create that tail. Uh, 188998, your item number. Uh, we're going to go to the fox wreath now. So the fox wreath is beautiful. There is something wonderfully rustic about it, and this to me is something you would display proudly in your home. It's going to be a talking point. I think actually that is the same goes for any of the kits. You display any of the kits in your home, they will be conversational pieces. People are going to ask you, where did you get that from? And there is nothing, I'm sure everyone watching right now, odds are you are a crafter if you're watching the channel. There is nothing more satisfying than saying, I made it. Twenty-one ninety-nine your price for the Fox Wreath, 182018, your item number. Uh, then we got our Scottish hair. And uh, you know I talk about conversational pieces. Imagine having this in your home, and I challenge anybody who visits not to look at it and say, my goodness, where, where did you get that from? And he said, well, I didn't, I didn't, I made this. I didn't just buy it, I made it. Uh, so the hair, the realism is incredible. And I really do take my hat off to Joe as a designer and the Crafty Kit Company as well uh, for the kits they produce. Just to tell you, all the kits are produced in Scotland, so proudly made in Scotland. And we are so, so happy to be able to offer them here at the craft store. Now we do have a felting bag bundle for you good value for money here. With the fel felting bag bundle, you are getting some beautiful wool. Really, really, really nice wool. Loving the colorways as well. Uh, you're also getting the bag too, and that is, to me is just an added bonus. Uh, it's a really nice durable bag. I've got a question for Stephanie though. With regards to the bag, can mm. we felt the wool onto the bag? You could do actually. Well, that would yes. be quite interesting, yeah, doing yeah, the design of the bag. And if you think the, the 2D kits that you can get, absolutely, yeah. with the robin and the, the uh, sloth and things, absolutely, you could felt into linen, yeah. So imagine that, onto, and it's one of those things, when you see it in real life, as opposed to a picture, you appreciate just how much you're getting for 19.95. So a lot of quality wool and the bag, it's 20 grams in each of that as well. 536-193, your item number. If you do have any questions, please feel free to get in touch, studio at thecraftstore.com. We're heading back to Stephanie now, and we're taking a look at the fox. Hello. Right. So the fox is slightly different because we actually are using um, a pipe cleaner or two. Um, you get your pipe cleaners in the middle, and basically for added strength, you wind them together. Okay. So we have our double pipe cleaner and so um, as you can see you start off by making your egg shape for the head and then we'll make the body shape and then the tail and I can show you it looks quite ugly at this stage and I do need to tell you that most projects go through an alien stage okay. and please don't be worried about that that's perfectly normal. It's their teenage years. Yeah absolutely absolutely and there's always a point where we think really but yes, okay. keep the faith, keep the faith. <laughs> like the um, alien stage. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> the alien stage. So just to show you, it's just as easy to um, wind around the pipe cleaner and, and make that shape. Um, uh -huh. Now, I'm always told I do this, the, no, this is for the right-handed person. I was taught to needle felt by a left-handed person, so I now get myself very confused <laughs> as to which way around I'm doing it. <laughs> so basically, you're going to wind with your good hand. Yeah. Okay. So you hold with your left. So we'll wind then, our body. Yeah, and you're just winding round to make your nice body. Mm -hmm. So we're leaving a bit for okay. the tail. And wiggle that belly. Yeah, and then we will just 
stab that in place and once again I call this tacking just tacking it mm -hmm. down keeping it in place and then getting another piece and I'm bearing in mind also I'm thinking that's a neck so I'm just not going to go too yes. thick there and keep holding round and then stab. The great thing is at this stage you yeah. can shape it and stab it to however you want i.e. this is the look that I've given it but you know you might want your head to be like this yeah. you might want it to be more open okay. you do whatever you want with it you have that you know it's not it's not painting by numbers you have to do it this way no. <laughs> you can do it your way okay. um, and then we stab. One thing I was just going to say about my story about my, my sea turtle yeah, that I did. Yes, I still remind you. Um, it's, it's not done, the core of that is not wool, it's recycled plastic fibres, which okay. looks just like this, but it's actually recycled plastic bottles. Well, and for because the, of the sea turtles, yeah, yeah you got it. Very clever, <laughs> very clever, Stephanie. Very significant, just to um, bring that home about the sea yeah. turtle. I yeah. apologise for any noise. We're, it's yes. what you're hearing right now. That's the rain. Obviously, we're in a studio. It sounds like we're in a rainforest. Um, yeah, very heavy rain. I'm glad my car's getting washed. <laughs> yeah, there's that. <laughs> So you okay. keep stabbing, obviously adding until you've got the shape and everything you want. But I wanted to just show you how, once you've got your, let's say, alien blob, uh -huh. and um, as you can see with our finished piece, we've basically got um, the line which then shows our leg, which is folded up. So to actually create those lines, all you do is take your needle and just stab down in that. And, and then look at it. Uh -huh. and think is that right is that yeah. does that look good and I'm doing this before I'm adding the color because uh -huh. anything that I do wrong I can cover up <laughs> basically I like the style <laughs> yeah so I'm looking and making sure right that's you know that's how I want mm -hmm. to, yeah that's how I'm gonna have him curled around that's how his legs gonna go and then we go for the wool and once again we've got different shades now here I wouldn't say mix it all up straight away because what I've done on this one is I've actually added the um, red and then just put a real light layer mm. of the um, brown over the top but just like all the others and I'm going to just demonstrate we can hear that noise okay, can't we sorry, I mean sorry, sorry, <laughs> are we going to be running for the hills soon or <laughs> It's the, the, the heaviest raid, I think. I've, we've been in the, the, the purpose-built studios here at the craft store for come up to five years now. I think this is the heaviest rain I've ever heard. Ever had. Yeah. Amazing. So I just want to show you with regard to the ear, because this is a bigger ear. It's a, a nicer demonstration. Yeah. So this is where, and I'm not using my piece just for out of speed's sake, but okay. you would stab the shape right. and then just fold it. All right. over and then you've got that nice neat edge because you've folded it over rather than having all the um, yeah. <laughs> all the wool <laughs> out the sides sorry sir. I was making me feel thirsty <laughs> now <laughs> well, I wish I'd gone to the loop for the show <laughs> um, and another thing to say that if like this yeah. I've used far too much wool and I want to just um, take I can just pull it off and then stab down. Right. Now, another little tip I will say okay. is people obviously worried about stabbing their fingers. Yeah. So when it comes to the edges of a piece of work, mm -hmm. now I haven't um, got a business card with me, but what I would suggest you do is you cut up a business card. A loyalty card. Anything, yeah. yeah. And then you just hold it. Oh, that's, yeah. And then stab down and so that then you can get your nice neat Nicely edge without protected. actually um, stabbing your fingers. Yeah. Stephanie, you've been so genuinely, I've been so impressed with your, your tips, your little uh, felting hacks. I think I've, I've learnt them all from my mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how we all, that's how yeah. we all learn. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Now, I want to mention our fabulous um, hedgehog, mm -hmm. because um, I, as I say, I like to do my um, kind of, let me see. Do you name your characters when you made them? I, I do, the ones that I sell I do. Yeah. But yeah. What did you call your sea turtle? Thetis. Which name. is the god Thetis. of the ocean. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got one minute left, oh, Stephanie. I'm sorry, time right. has just yes. flown. So um, 
I just wanted to say then about our hedgehog and this fabulous um, fur that we actually have. I just want to show you that you very quickly make that together by doing your egg shape, adding your nose, and you can see how quickly yeah. that would actually come together. Um, okay. and, and how would you attach? Because would you felt that onto the body, the actual uh, the nose? No, not the nose. The oh, the, the no. so you will you get your piece of um, fur in a square because who knows what size or shape you want to create yours yeah. to so that you can cut yours to size okay you get the needle and thread actually in the kit All right. and you will probably just about see that i've actually sewn that around there now to be fair you could felt but it's a bit more delicate to okay. do and i think in this case because you've got a nice base there it's just a lot a easier running stitch. Yeah. time's beaten yeah. us i'm afraid oh. stephanie thank you so much Thank you for your company. Stephanie, you're awesome. Really enjoyed thank the show. You thank for you. Me. Um, big thank you as well to Joe and the Crafty Kit Co. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the hour. So, coming up next, we've got Be Crafty Doodle Art Happy Hour. After that, Studio Lights will be here with Janine's Mindful Art. And then it's Simply Vintage and the lovely Melissa. What a great day here at the craft store. Stamperia are an Italian company. Uh, they launched in 1995 with stamps, stencils, paints and an incredible product. Their world famous rice paper. They were actually the first company to print on rice paper and they're now absolutely renowned for it. The product range that Stamperia offer is really diverse. They bring us incredible stamps, obviously uh, the world famous rice paper, but they're always trying to bring new techniques as well. So they'll bring different mediums, um, beautiful moulds, so there's always something for every type of crafter. They will definitely have something for you to craft with, and everything you craft with will be top quality and beautiful. So make sure you don't miss the Stamperia shows. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Oland Create shows. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Good afternoon. Well, this is a very, very, very happy hour indeed because it's not just a happy hour, but it's a big crafty happy hour, which amazing deals. So good that, well, basically all of them but one are better than half price. And that one, and then there is no be uh, better than half price, is actually a half price as well. So it means that make sure that you jump ahead and check out those baskets. But however, remember, not only is going to be about amazing deals, but also amazing demonstrations by. Our Beverly. 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 And then the amazing demonstrations. Whew, that's pressure, isn't it? Pressure. Well, you always <laughs> deliver. 
under pressure or without pressure, you always deliver. And of course, we are saying uh, uh, Sam Bay, hello, who is sitting on the wings and, you know, saying hello and making sure that Beverly doesn't get into trouble. Uh, right, of course, uh, let's have a look at uh, what you have brought because better than half price. Better than half price. So what we've done is we've brought our doodle art, some of our favorite doodle arts we've brought back. And these are our windmill and lighthouses. Now, what we've done is we've put all of these. So if you want to, them in both sizes and with the matching dies for every single stamp, you can do that for better than half price today. It is amazing. Now, I will say something. Now, if you want to go for the full complete collection, you have got the details there. It is an amazing saving. I mean, it is incredible. If you're a Freedom member, look at that saving. £57.25. and pence. That's the saving. Uh, if you're not a Freedom member, £52.51 and pence is still an amazing price. Remember to check out your baskets. As a happy hour, you are against the clock. So basically, you have got less than an hour now to check out those baskets and grab them. Those bargains now you can get also bundles smaller bundles right absolutely so if you for example were saying well or maybe last time you've bought maybe one you can say right I can add the XL Lighthouse with the matching dies to my collection, and that's also a half price there. Right, if you wanted to say, for instance, the uh, windmill. The windmill. Oh, I love well, that. Well, the thing is, these, well, these two doodle arts, these were actually requested by Sam. Sam loves the doodle art ranges, um, but Sam draws in a much more pen and ink style. So what she wanted me to do was to add in some of her favorite sort of buildings into the doodle art. So that's why we've done the, the, the lighthouse and the windmill. And so all of these are hand drawn by me and you can see the, the design team have put together some absolutely beautiful samples. And as well, if you've got, if you have the complete collection where you've got all the different stamps in all the different sizes, what that means then is you can build different perspective levels and Excellent. you can go in and out because all, every single stamp has a die to match. It's not just the biggest ones or anything like that. It is every single stamp has the die to match. So you don't have to worry about fussy cutting. It's easy peasy. You can see that, however, all the dies have got those dies. Now, stamps have got their dies. Uh, now, if you wanted to go for the complete collection, 20% already gone. Remember that you can split the cost into pay interest free payments. That massive saving. If you're a Freedom member, £21.36 is all you are paying today for four sets of stamps, four sets of dies. That's a complete collection. If you wanted to go for the smaller bundles, the duos of the stamps and dies. You can find them on the website or details at the bottom, for instance, at uh, the bottom of the screen. Now, most uh, everybody is going for the full bundle, so make sure to check out your baskets. The Lighthouse, I kinda, this is my favorite. The Lighthouse is absolutely beautiful. And I have to say, I've done, I've colored it lots of different ways. I have obviously stuck to the red and white because that's immediately yes. what you think of. But I have tried them in other colours and you can see the blue here. It looks beautiful. The DT actually did quite a bit of blue. Um, but also Charmaine from Dolly Dimple, she had a go with them. And she's done them in purples and oranges in lots of beautiful colours. So all I will say is, as per usual, anything you get from Be Crafty, please send us pictures of what you make because we love to see it. Absolutely. <laughs> I have to say, absolutely beautiful. Look at that stamp. And then, of course, die cut because you are getting it. Every die, You're getting for every, every single die. Yeah. Love. Oh, I need to show you this sample. Sorry, because <laughs> this. I love the idea that the light is the stencil. This. This is one of these things, and this is what is fantastic about RDT. Um, they send you these. They're, they're samples and you're like, I never even thought of that. So they've used, I think it was Sally did this one and she's used her inkables to create that sort of pattern coming out of the lighthouse. And it's just an absolutely stunning effect. They are absolutely. Now, if you wanted to go for the lighthouse in the regular size, which is this size, I believe. Yep. Uh, now, of course, the details bottom of the screen, the stamps and dies for just nine pounds and 99 pence. Again, remember amazing savings courtesy of being a happy hour uh, from Big Crafty. 762318 though is the item number for the full collection or both sizes of the lighthouses both sizes of the windmill both in stamps and and dies Part, I mean, look at that saving. Fifty-seven pounds and twenty-five pence is a saving. And if you're a Freedom member and you flex it by twenty-one pounds thirty-six pence, that's all you're paying today. Of course, you pay it the next month. Uh, if you are getting forty-two single individual stamps and forty-two individual dies. 
incredible value for money. A quarter of the stock has gone. If you want this bundle, make sure to check out your baskets. Uh, and then, of course, just think about whether you want to flexi buy or not. That's the only thing to think about. Uh, then we have a beautiful doodle art again. But this one is, I love this. Can I show the stamp? Yeah, of course you can. Because it's... She it's is big. our real size. It's big. But the thing is, what I will say about the, the girl's face is what I absolutely love about her is that I've got a journal page there. You can just, if you want to, stamp the face and then draw in your own hair. So it's much more scrolly and flowy. You can do the hair as it is. And again, it's got that lovely two two journaly doodle art borders that you can use and a fantastic paint splat stamp which is just so useful i mean how beautiful is that i love that and that journal absolutely stunning and of course uh this is absolutely stunning as well yeah. now i need to tell you that you to check out your baskets for many reasons one of them is a third of the stock already gone for this bundle the other reason is that everything that we have got on the show once it's gone it's gone it won't come back so make sure to check out your baskets so there is no extended delivery stock this is it if you want it now is the time to get a bargain get absolutely beautiful uh, designs love the dragonfly as yeah. well the dragonfly is lovely and what's lovely about that one is as well obviously you can add in extra layers of wings you can add in more doodle detail as well one of the questions I get asked a lot about the doodle art is Oh, do you mind if I put more doodle detail in? Absolutely not. Go for it. Use it as a starting point and then add in more textures and doodles of your own. Absolutely. I love that. Uh, for half the stock now gone from this bundle, make sure to check out your baskets. Now, if you, there is another option for the girl, uh, is the girl with the sunflower. It's a different item number. Again, better than half price with a saving of £18, £15 and £98. 60% of the stock has gone incredibly busy. So make sure, please, to check out your baskets can i say how much i love that sunflower because it's gorgeous it's absolutely stunning sally on our design team it is her favorite bee crafty stamp ever she absolutely you know loves what? it she's done it on pillows on bags on fabric samples she's done it on shrink plastic she uses it all the time even my birthday she sent me a birthday card and it was made with a sunflower so you lit you know do you know what i mean it's it's just so usable it's so easy to color well if you want it it's limited stock so grab it uh, i would say this is one of my top five. Oh well it's a technical sellout if you want it uh, make sure to check out your baskets you will get, still get it if not you will miss out make sure to check out your baskets whether it's other items or this one in particular um if you want it there's only one way to check out your baskets now we are moving from stamps to mdf and what a set is this one you are getting the mdf collection the plaque trio and embellishments and total house and accessories a uh, saving of 12 pounds 12 pounds and 98 pence this is the only one that is not uh, you know like better than half price but it's still close enough it's fabulous they're really really cool so these were designed by my mum and they're based on sort of like the be crafty art boards art boards we do which are the standard mdf plaques but what she wanted to do is do something that went with the doodle art range and i think um the toadstools do that i think they're so pretty they're great they're easy and fun you can cover them with paper or or paint them directly all of our mdf is fsc approved so brilliant absolutely incredible so now we are getting the uh, tri oh, sorry like, let's have a look at this one because i love now then that's label thinking of you is that included that no that was in it that okay. was in a different set but the um but yeah there's lots of for example the windows are separately all the dots are separate and also in the plaque trio you've got birds and butterflies and things that you can layer up there Fun. so there's lots and lots to go with it Fabulous. Uh, now, if you want to go for this bundle, uh, it's very, very, very busy. Uh, a third of the stock has gone. If you want to create, believe that you can create art, uh, you can go for this bundle. You, you have got belief and create an art there. 201528 is your item number, £12.98 with a saving of £12. Remember, this is a happy hour, uh, so therefore the prices will stay low only for this hour, this hour only. Then we have got the MDF pop-outs, and here you have well but I would say is the perfect companion for the lighthouse yes so with these we've got so we've got the six different sheets in here of the MDF pop-outs now the fantastic thing about the pop-outs is you can layer them up you can add them one of the things Sam loves to do most with them is actually use them as a stencil to spray through she likes doing that as well but you know you, again they're made from the high quality MDF so you can spray them you can paint them you can cover them with with your papers and just be have fun with them because they're great 
They are. I love, I have to say, I love the net especially because it adds that texture in there. It's gorgeous. In this one here, this sample, you can see that's actually used the wastage from the alpha. Yes. So all the alpha has been popped out and then you're just using what's left, the, the, yeah. the negative board. And you may be using uh, the alphabet to spell uh, the beach or maybe let's have a look at this glorious uh, album as well. So you have got inspiration with the seaside. Oh, look at that. And this one and says ocean. Oh, well. ocean. That's so nice. That's gorgeous. Now, of course, you also are getting the beautiful, delicate, intricate butterflies and the solids. 20% uh, of the stock has gone. Again, better than half price because you are saving £18, £17, and £97 is your price. 254707 is your item number. Individuals of the windmill. Now, you have got uh, the Excel here that you can see the details in here. Uh, remember that £15 is your price. Uh, saving £14 and £99 is your price uh, for 706-949 is your item number. The windmill regular is a smaller size, just making it clear. You are saving £10, just paying 9.99 for them. Remember, you are getting clear photopolymer stamps and, and dies. Nine dies, nine stamps. I mean, that's a crazy price. It's absolutely, I mean, 9.99 for a stamp set is a good price. You are almost hushed entirely there, weren't you, I, I was like, that's that's incredible. A, a nine two uh, nine two three two two four is your item number for that bundle. Uh, grab yours by checking out your baskets now. If you wanted to do the Lighthouse XL. Remember, this is A5 size, the stamp plate and the matching dies. Uh, you are getting them for £14.99, and pence, saving £15. Again, another absolute bargain. 08006 uh, is your item number. Now, if you wanted to go for the smaller size of the lighthouse, is the lighthouse regular. Again, 9.99 with a 10 pound saving, it's crazy. It's crazy prices. I will be checking out those baskets right now. 335-709 is your item number. Now we have, of course, more, including some Christmas bargains, which I think now is exactly the right time to get those Christmas bargains. The, and, and this is the thing, I think, you know, if you, if you do make a lot and you want to get a head start, this would be a great way to do that because so we brought these in again for the happy hour, the doodle art happy hour. And I just, the, again, these are fun. These are, the, I think these were only the second doodle art I ever did. And they're just fun and it's got, they've got sentiments in there as well. So everything you need is there. I turn them around just to show you the sizes that it, they are quite realistic with yeah. the, 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 so I just wanted to make sure that people can see it. Photopolymer sounds, 15 pounds and 98 pence is your price. Again, it's better than half price because you're saving 18 pounds. 44 pence a stamp because you are getting 36 you are getting the poinsettia i'm going to put them like this so you can see all the poinsettia as well as the robin uh 685 uh, 888 is your item number massive saving of 18 pounds now very busy for that uh it what's the stock seven seven 20% of the stock has gone. Oof, I was kind of. Now, if you want yours, make sure to check out your baskets. Then we have got the uh, Christmas regulars in here, the bundle uh, that we have got. Excuse me. So we are getting all four of them. We are getting the snowflake, the Gulatide, or the Robin, and we have got the poinsettia and the bubble. Love that tree. It's a really good tree. And in fairness, lots of people have used that for Easter as well because you can make it look like little legs yes. as well. But again, there's just so much there. You've got the words, you've got little banners, you've got the, the, the poinsettias and holly and the snowflakes. There's just so much you've got there that can all work together to make all of your Christmas projects, really. I love as well, can I say, those borders that you can mix and match. And then you have got the stars in there as well. Yeah. So again, not just for Christmas. Uh, again, another fabulous saving, better than half price. Saving £20, £19 and 96 pence is your price. 743-343 is your item number. We also, uh, we have got an update on the girl and the dragonfly. There we have it. Uh, now, uh, so we have the details there that are coming up. Uh, saving £18 for both uh, stamp sets. Now, it's a technical seller. What that means here at the craft store is the fact that all the stock is allocated in people's baskets. If you don't check, if you have it in your baskets and you don't check your, your baskets, what happens is the basket will auto refresh and then somebody else will grab it and, and miss out, and you will miss out. So check out your baskets. 
Also very busy for the Plaque Trio embellishments in MDF. 60% of the stock has gone. Uh, you can create art and believe it. Uh, you are saving uh, 12 pounds and of course 12 pounds and 98 pence is your price. Right, oh, yeah. the, wind, the windmill and lighthouse, of course, the complete collection. It is the fabulous bundles, and fabulous saving of 52 pounds and 51 pence. If you're not a freedom member, if you're a freedom member, even better price. Now, 40% of the stock has gone. If you want yours, there is only one way. Check out your baskets and beat the clock and beat the stock. That's what I should say. Right, uh, go. To, well, shall we start the demonstration? No, I tell you, like queen of the jingle. Oh. Beat the clock. Stock. Beat the clock and beat Marvelous. the stock. Okay, so what I thought we would use first is we're going to use the XL Lighthouse. Um, so just to give you an idea so that you can see. So this is the XL Lighthouse here. So I'll get the regular just so you can see the difference in the sizes. So it really is, you know, a, a twice the size thing. So it's just a case of deciding which one's better for you. But like I say, if you do go for the complete bundle, it does mean you can do perspective and, and, and on much bigger scrapbook pages or journaling layouts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang this up first and we're going to stamp it onto, I've got some of my Ecoline paper. Okay. Um, and what do you like it about the Ecoline paper? The Ecoline paper? Yeah. The Ecolines are fabulous on it. Oh, I And see. it just makes it easy peasy. Oh. I love it. Well, to be fair, I I love Ecolines and I was using them for a long time. And then Louise Sims is like, have you got the paper yet? No, you should get the paper. Oh. The paper is really good. And in fairness, she just goes on. Gets to the point where it's just easier to listen to her. <laughs> Lou Sims, yeah. She's yeah. quite, yeah. Yeah, I yeah love, she does. I love. Oh, she, uh, by the way, talking of Lou Sims, she has email in. Hello, Lou. Uh, lots of love. I didn't know that, by the way. That was just coinky dinky. Oh, well, you are in tune. You <laughs> in can, tune. Uh, you I know. don't even have anyone talking in my ear. Uh, there you are. Oh, we are, we are, well, she has sent some pictures, and I think mm. they are for ready for, uh, well, they're getting, re getting ready for public consumption let's put it another way oh makes it sound like there could be something there doesn't it right okie dokie so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my eco lines not that one because that's orange i want a red one see this is where sam gets palpitations because it means i've mixed up my sets oh. and it messes with her mind i mean right. i wish you could see her she's kind of going <laughs> she's like, like oh my god not she's messed that. up the set yeah, yeah, it's fine it's absolutely fine don't worry so what i'm going to do is with my eco lines i'm just going to go around and what's fab about them, with, and with the doodle art as well, you yeah. don't have to worry, you don't have to panic that it's not, that it's perfect every time. Just get some colour on. I, you know what? Because I, it's loose. I, just looking at the lighthouse, and I just think it's such a symbolic image of bringing light in the darkness. It's exactly. such a kind of, you know, it's, it's just such a beautiful image that is just not even for nautical things, just for an art journal that is all about finding light and finding exactly. you know, the shore and finding, you know, when you are lost, you know, that sort Definitely. of Definitely. It can be more personal journey exactly. rather than just you know what it is it can mean so much more than it is a lighthouse and i think that's what's lovely about it but i went to uni in plymouth oh. and obviously they've got the really big big lighthouse and i just I've, i just always loved it and um so when sam said oh do a lighthouse and a windmill i was like yeah so you can see with your eco lines quick easy to color the shading is pretty much done for you you don't need to yeah to worry and that's why I love them a lot now for example someone like Julia or Charmaine they take a long time with their alcohol markers which you can absolutely do um, and I think that's what's so great about the doodle art you can put in more detail you can take your time or you can just do it quick like me and just get the color on and that's okay. fine either way so actually I'm just gonna put some more and it's true that you, because it's yeah. a lighthouse adding very little color that's all you need because yeah. of that stripy nature of the lighthouse Exactly. So we're just going to put that on there. And then for the rocks, I'm not going to go, I'm going to take, this is the sepia deep, which is sort of like a brownie colour, but it does have grey tones to it. I'm just going to go around the edge of the rocks. Yeah, Again, not having to worry too much that's just gorgeous. about where you got it. Just follow those lines. And I think that's what's so great about the doodle art as well. Whether you are just starting out or whether you're a more experienced colourist or which I would never describe myself as um, a colorist, but the, but you, like I say, because you can add in more detail and you can make it as difficult as you want, or it can be as easy as you want to. So they are for everybody. That is the point. Yeah. And then we'll go through. I, you know. And it just it comes together it, yeah. so easily, and that's what you want. So I'll put them to the side. Now, when 
you have got to the stage where you're finished. Now, one of the, my favorite, not one of, the favorite stamps in the um, Lighthouse and Wilmot collection are the clouds. Whenever I'm stamping the clouds, I stamp lots of them and then, and then die cut okay. lots as well. Yeah. The reason being is you're going to use them on all of your projects. They literally go with all your projects. They're great for your art journals. They go with, for example, other doodle art selections. They go with the windmill. They're really, really good. So when I do that, I always stamp lots of them and then I can die cut. So here we go. I've got a lighthouse here I've finished and I've added some some little white details and I've coloured the bunting, etc. as well. And then lots of clouds. Now what I do for these is I just use a light grey and then water it out on the top just to give it that bit of dimension. Okay, Perfect. so from there, yeah. I'm going to go into and my die cutter. And die machines, my what sort of machines can we use your dies in? I haven't found one, it doesn't work in yet. Well, that's a good... And that's all I can say. Yeah. So because everything would... really. I would imagine that it, maybe even the windmill one will go through a six inch. Yeah, one. I would have thought so. Yeah, absolutely. Now I will say as well, they the dies do cut um, shrink plastic, linen, a lightweight linen, yep. because I cut some out of one of my linen pages out of Medina Journal. Oh, so. yeah, of course, yeah, that's gorgeous. Here we go. We can by, just the, by the way, uh, now, it, it works out that 51p per element, so 51p per stamp or 51p per die in this bundle. It basically, if you are were buying these at regular prices, you would be paying £7.37 uh, more than just for one Excel of the dies, one regular pair. I mean, this is an amazing bundle. Uh, basically, you are, it's better than, like, you are just paying for one bundle. So say, like, for instance, the, 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 uh, the windmill, uh, large XL, and the windmill in the regular size. It's just incredible value for money. But it is. Stock has gone. And that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to bring you something that's really good value and say, do you know what? I, I like that, and I'm, and I'm going to have it just because I like it. Absolutely. Um, that's the thing. So we're going to take our lighthouse and we're going to put that to the side and now we're going to put together a background using our waves. So I'm just working on some, here we go, just some watercolour cardstock here. And I'm going to be using the Distress Oxide sprays. Okay. So I'm going to spritz a bit of water onto here and then onto my mat. And then Ooh, I'm going to spray, go on. So you spritz the water into the mat and the card. Yeah, just because. Now it does obviously start the oxidation process a little ah. bit, but... That's what I wanted. So, and then I'm going to go on with my paper and just cover as much as I can to get that sort of blue green back in. Obviously, if you do worry about messy hands, you know, you could wear gloves, that's totally fine. I'm just going to heat set this a little bit and then I am going to go back on with my speckled egg. I'm using the Rustic Wilderness mm -hmm. and the speckled egg. My, oh, two that. of my favourite colours at the minute. They're just you so know, lovely. I mean, I got yesterday... Um, Did you get your new salvage patina? Yes. It's but so I, I haven't got... So it's funny, I got my salvage patina and my package uh, flamingo, but I haven't... Yeah, <laughs> the other two? The other two. I, and the campfire oh. either. So I need to just, yeah. Crackling campfire is absolutely beautiful, but be sure, because it, the colour, it just goes everywhere. It's yeah. so rich. So yeah, I do want that to be a bit more bluey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight on with my speckled egg. Yep. And then a bit more water just so to activate water. it with underneath. And it just gives you, and in fairness, this is, if you're not confident in your blending, yeah. this just gives you a really easy way of creating that sort of blended yep. soft look. And because you've, you're using oxides, you've got that sort of chalky finish as well that's quite lovely you know what it looks a little bit you know when you go on the beach or like um the ones that are at is uh how is it pebble beach yes. and then there is kind of almost like chalk in the like the chalk oak cliffs the kind yeah. of the, the beach coming in the sea waves and crashing into it just that's so and it just oh, yeah. sort of works and i think this is the thing you know with your oxide sprays uh, you know people ask me a lot of questions about oxide and distress and it's which colours go with which and whatever. In all honesty, my recommendation is always get the colours you like and then work your way out from there. You know what Diane Ridley said, and it was, she made a lot of sense, and I really like, I mean, I kind of formulated it in a different way, but she was saying that if you, could, you think about cool colours and hot colours, if you stay 
with cool, yeah. so greens and blues, and you can add a little bit of yellow or purple, depending on Everything on. I do about colour theory is based on what Diane Reeves is. Uh, okay, so... Everything I do on colour theory, honestly, she is... Yeah. And basically, be careful with your purples, because they're naughty. Exactly. Um, yeah. Right, so from here, I'm going to go with the waves. So on your stamp set, I haven't got my backing card for the big one, so I'll just grab the little one. You've got lots of different waves. You've got these two really swirly ones that are facing different directions, okay? And then you've got these two smaller ones as well, so you can really build that up. So, for example, the canvas you were showing earlier that was down by the MDF, I've built up lots of waves, and we're going to do that in a similar way on this card. Okay, so I'm going to take my... This is the canvas that you were talking yes. about, the waves. So I have that. There's a full um, tutorial for that on YouTube. Oh, fabulous. And in two parts. Um, and basically, it's using the MDF and the lighthouse and just sort of building those layers up, adding them on, using your, t your collage mediums to decoupage it up. So it's a real mix of stamping and mixed media. Fabulous. Which, it was so much fun. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my Mermaid Lagoon and we're going to stamp it, the waves, in several different places all over the bottom of the card. You know what? Do you know what I see? I also see there. I see um, Nessie. Nessie. Uh, the Loch Ness monster. Absolutely. By the way, um, no, there are people that don't believe in Nessie. That's oh. terrible. Well, some people don't like to believe in anything. I oh, know. There you are. Yeah, no, it's yeah, I know. There are monsters, monsters the up there. So there um, we go. So, yeah, so what I do is I put that one on because that faces that way. And then I'll go to the smaller one, which faces the other way. So, again, if you've got the complete collection, that means you've then got four yeah. sizes of this wave of to play with. Yeah. Okay. By the way, Charmaine has called in, uh, not called in, uh, has emailed in. Uh, now, of course, she loves all the stamps. Uh, she did pay full price for all of them, and they are some of her favorites, I believe. And she's wishing you a very happy oh, show. bless her. She's not busy enough. She was on no, yesterday. Absolutely. Right, so as you can see, I'm just layering these up oh. until you've got a real mix of swirly, churny waves. Okay? And then from there, the next, the next sort of thing I sort, sort of add in is my Dilusions White Linen Ink Spray, which I store on its side because it's got a thing. I'm just going to give that a swirl. And my favourite thing to do with my White Linen Ink Spray is to unswizzle it. Oh yeah. And go all over. A to bit add of a splatter. Your white splashes. Okay. And then when that's dry, go over the waves with my white pen to outline, add in highlights. Okay? And when that is done, I tell you what, if Hayley West's watching this amount of prep, she'll be terrified. Oh. When I prep, she worries. Why? Okay, and when that's done. It's, what's the, yeah, because you I don't. Because I don't. Time. Okay. So when I've highlighted. I'll oh. have you have a background yes. that's something like this. So you can add in all those different waves. And in fairness, you could just so for example, now we'll start going towards our die cuts. So if you had, for example, even just some of the boats. Yeah. You have made it look so much like the grey wave, you know, the Hokus. And it one. is just adding it's in your white gorgeous. pen. Yeah. Okay? So you could even just layer up some of your boats and some of your clouds. You know, even if you were like, well, I'm not sure about the lighthouse, you could add in some of the, on every single project. You don't need to use it on every project because there is so much in there accessories wise, there's lots more things you can do, which is awesome. So, but what we, we are going to add in our lighthouse. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, move these to the side. Okay, and we're going to get some of our collage medium. But it is just, you know, adding in those white details, being confident with it. And because you can be confident with it, there's no reason you don't, you can't be. So there we go. So we're going to put our lighthouse on here. Okay, and then I'm going to go and I'm going to add in some of our clouds. So you can see why with the clouds, they are just awesome, and you yeah. want them with everything you make. You know because what I also pretty. see with the uh, clouds? I Go see um, a, like kind of a caterpillar. So if you paint it green or yellow. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah? Yeah. And then also I kind of see a, a kind of, can I say, um, an angel flying as well. The kind of one has indulged in a little bit. I love how she's doing the wings. The wings. And everything. 
So ace that. But again, like the like the waves, if you have the complete collection, you then have four sizes of the clouds. Yeah. Again, which is really good for building up for your art journals and your mixed media pieces and your cards as well. So, right, so I've put some clouds on and I've put the, put the lighthouse on. From there, we're going to add on Love some that. more waves over the top. Yeah. And that is really going to sort of just take the project over a bit. Yeah. And that's the beautiful thing because when it comes to fussy cutting, just no, basically. Yeah. I don't have the patience for it. Which is why there are dies for every single stamp. It's not just for... I wish I had some little ones now. It's not just for the big ones. Yeah. There's dies for the little 40, stamps too. 42 stamps, 42 dies. dies. I mean, exactly. I mean, and if you think that it's only 51p per uh, element, so 51 pe pence uh, per die or a stamp if you're a Freedom member, uh, that is just like such an amazing, uh, you know, imagine the, the windmill the die, the large one. That's just 51p if you buy the full bundle as a Freedom member. And remember that you can flexibly split the cost into interest uh, interest fee payments. 50% uh, of, uh, 60 now, uh, of 60 now, of 60% of the one, uh, of the bundle, the complete collection is gone. Yeah, it could be. I mean, it, it would be, be a very good one day it special would be. for that. It would. So, the, so, so there you go. So that just shows you how easily you can layer up and get and use all your stamp images together. But again, you could add in more waves. You could really lift that forward. You could just do the sea and all the different boats. Again, if you had the complete collection, you then have four different sizes of boat. So you can really sort of mix and match those up to create scenes you like. That is absolutely stunning. I love that. And it's just a little bit different. Yes. It's a little bit quirky, but still we can all relate of the symbology of that gorgeous uh, lighthouse. Now, if you want a complete collection, uh, well, make sure to check out your baskets. Remember, 60% of the complete collection has gone. Now, let's run uh, through what you are getting. You are getting the windmill in the uh, regular size you can see here. Now, this is a stamp set, and you can see photopolymer stamp, top quality, and then you are getting the matching dies. It's not like like Beverly has been saying. Uh, you, it's not that you are getting some stamps and then you are, or you are getting, you know, 42 stamps or 10 stamps and then you are getting just two or three dies. Now you are getting dies for every single uh, stamp. Now, if you wanted to go for the windmill on its own, in the regular size, details bottom of the screen, 9.99 is the price with a saving of 10 pounds. Now, if you want to go for the Lighthouse regular, again, you can go for that bundle on its own. Yes, you are getting photopolymer stamps in A6, kind of a size, and the matching dies for nine. 99 if you want to get this bundle on its own 335709 is your item number 10 pound saving then if you want to go for the lighthouse excel now this is a5 and then of course the matching dice now if you go for the excel and you're regular, you already paid for the whole bundle. Now that means that it makes a lot of sense to go. Imagine if you want to create, you know, lighthouse that, you know, certain ports have got one lighthouse one side and the other's lighthouse in the other. You want the perspective. That's why you want the larger one in the foreground and in the background the other one. Imagine to create something like that with even lights coming out. Now the wind, if you want to go for the Excel of the lighthouse, uh, 14 pounds and 99 pence is your price, better than half price, zero eight. 006 is your item number. If you wanted to go for the windmill Excel, you can go for the matching duo of the stamps and of course the dies. Remember, every single stamp has a matching die. So at least, you know, no fussy cutting uh, needed for at all. Again, a massive saving there. 14 pounds and 99 pence is your price. 706949. However, you need to go for the full collection. Why? Because the saving is phenomenal. If you are thinking, well, I would like to go, say, for instance, I would, I'm thinking the windmill in the regular, and I wanted to go for the large of the lighthouse uh, bundle, go for the full bundle because you will get far better than half price. So in actual fact, you are not paying for the other two and you're getting a little bit of a discount even. If you're a Freedom member, it works out at 51 pence per element. It also means that you can build those scenes, the countryside with the windmill, and of course the far in the, far, in the background, that gorgeous windmill as well. 
and of course the where the uh, uh, the lighthouse now if you want to go for this bundle approaching 70% of the stock love that card the simplicity the elegance and remember you know think you can and you can and you can of course uh, check out the baskets right now if you want it uh, remember to not take too long because uh, we'll uh, well it is a happy hour. The prices should stay low, uh, low for the whole hour. But once they are gone, they are gone. Therefore, make sure to check out your baskets because approaching 70% of this bundle has gone. Now, we are, let's move on to the um, MDF collection. Now, this is a fabulous collection which features the toadstool and those plaques as well of course of those elements that you can then stamp on top of it you have got butterflies you have got uh, chicks and you have got flowers and dragonflies and of course the toadstool with all those beautiful decorations in there two-thirds of the stock has gone if you want yours well you are paying it's just a little bit above a uh, half price but just 12.99 and 98 is your price for the full collection 201528 is your item number now we also have another item with MDF which is the MDF pop-outs which features the full alphabet and you can see it here it's upside down oh, well back to front so you can see the whole alphabet the whole numbers the ordinal as well that you can make them up but you have got the of course the pound sign the ampersand and you have got the interrogation and exclamation marks and then look at that I love that font it's a classic font as well love the mix and match of numbers as well because that creates a very mixed media look and then you're getting those fabulous butterflies the solid and the delicate intricate ones look at how fine that is now if you want this collection again better than half price because 18 pounds is your price 17 pounds and 97 pence is your price 254 707 is your item number now the christmas uh duo the excel duo now you have got them in there and uh, now that is much better than half price because you are saving 18 pounds and paying 15 pounds and 98 pence now if you want to go for this bundle the item number is 685 888 that's it that then we if you wanted to go for the four revelers of the christmas doodle art you're getting the snowflake the robin the poinsettia and the bubble 69 stamps in total again better than half price because you are saving 20 pounds just paying 19 pounds and 96 pence 743 343 is your item number i want to remind everybody to check out your baskets we are very busy we have had already two sellouts we know that we are very busy as well for the complete collection of the windmill and the lighthouse so make sure to check out your baskets right back to Beverly okay so what I thought was we keep talking about perspective yes okay so let's have a little go at doing a perspective we're gonna do windmill so we're gonna do a small one in the background large one in the foreground okay so this is the regular size okay. windmill and I actually cleaned this stamp a lot Wow my stamps never usually get cleaned that much oh. right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp this up with our versifying do you into need the corner to, do we need to clean the stamps or not really no not really on the back of all of your be crafty stamps because okay. all of your be crafty stamps come on come with a laminated backing card yes they okay do. so they're really good for storage so if you use your laminate or like me i regularly use the laminate as sort of like an embellishment in journals yeah because it's pretty okay it does mean you can keep your stamps on your acetate sheet on your laminated sheets so that's a really really good storage thing but also on the back there is use in care and maintenance of your new bee crafty stamp so on there it tells you how to look after it um, it does tell you to clean it which I don't really do unless it's in a with a horrible ink on it but generally the thing with your stamps is use them ink them stamp them ink them stamp them ink them stamp them the more you use them the better they are okay can I can I ask you you said horrible ink yeah, anything that's going to eat at it, basically. Like a solvent-based yeah, ink. Like a solvent-based yeah. ink, yeah. Make sure you give them a clean-off. Yeah. Um, but, um, for example, your Versafine is oil-based, so you don't need to yeah. really worry about that. Your Distress are water-based, yeah. so you're absolutely fine there as well. So, and in fairness, I struggle with solvent-based inks as well. I don't tend to get a very good image. So that's what, I think that's why I, d I sort of got out the habit of cleaning them very well. Yeah. Right. So from so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Eco Lines again. Now, this isn't on Eco Line paper paper so this is going to go one of two ways wow, but what we'll we're see. but we I will mean, see live we dangerously see. absolutely in, well, or la uh, rather craft dangerously craft live dangerously. on tv that's what we do absolutely here so i'm going to go on 
Now, obviously, the nice thing about your eco lines, though, is they don't, you don't have to water them out. You can just colour with them, and they give a really nice coverage. It's not like, uh, you know, and the thing yeah. is, they've got the fine points, so even with the fine details on here, you exactly. haven't got to worry too much. <clears throat> I'm just going to go around, and then I'm going to come back in with sort of brighter yellow. I'm just going to work over the line a little just to create. Now I have got some windmills. Again, like the lighthouse, the windmills, you know, whilst you might think of them initially as only being one colour you can use, they do look beautiful in lots of different sort of bright colour variations, which is excellent. So we're just going to go and do this quite quickly. I love I that. Let's do it quickly. Yeah, lighting right and time, darkness. So... I am just going to get a little bit of water. Where did I spray it? There. We have about 17 minutes. Ah, we're well, fine. Oh, excellent. So this is actually working quite well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> excellent. Do you, do you I win. do that? Uh, because I try to be quite careful. That when as soon as I get a pack of car stock or, you know, say watercolor or super smooth, whatever, I put them in drawers, I label them, you know, it all should be fine. Take one out, take uh, several ones to craft then I'd never put them in the right place. I don't know what you mean, Pat. Yes, I do know exactly oh, what you mean. I no, I'm exactly the same. I do, keep, I do keep my Ecoline printer paper and my Ecoline paper separate. Okay. Um, that being said, I did have a piece with me this morning. I went, Sam, is that Ecoline paper? Because I couldn't remember. Um, but generally I do. But, the, the, but in all honesty, no, I don't. I'm um, like you. It gets sort of all it's, mixed it's up. It's like I'm very organised sort of i mean if you go into my house you wouldn't think so today especially today but but you know it's just like when you lose track of time or sometimes you're in a rush you don't put tidy properly and then yeah. the next day you have forgotten and well know. for example the thing for me is when for example i do for example quite a lot of facebook lives yes and i'll do one one day and then i'll and then i'll just walk out of my craft room i say my craft room it's an overgrown it's an overgrown cupboard oh uh, really but it's a room, yeah. so, it's, so it's wicked, I'm very lucky. Um, but I will walk out of there and then I'll realise I've got another live at two o'clock the following afternoon, at one o'clock the following afternoon. I'm like, oh no. I need your time. It's such a mess. Yeah. But you know, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's, it's funny, isn't it? Because I kind of, at the minute, because I kind of downsized uh, sized, uh, my craft room. Yeah. So it's like, I still haven't quite gotten into the right places. Everything is just a little bit of to be decided i think that's so, my thing i think everything needs to be taken out yeah. and then go back in yeah but i haven't got the space for that either so i need to, to get work. yeah it's just <laughs> it's, do you ever kind of when you bring back something and then you're thinking oh, oh should, gonna, where's this gonna go yeah yeah all done and, and they're just saying you know i'm gonna tidy up and i'm gonna give away lots of stuff no i was gonna say it never stops like a me, piece though. of paper i give up <laughs> This is the thing, you're like, oh, I should, I should, you know, whittle down and thin down my stuff. Oh, but not that. I've got yeah. to keep that. Absolutely. Oh, and not that. I can't get rid of that. Yeah. Right. So you are pretty now in more colours. Gorgeous. Um, we are approaching 80%, by the way, of the complete collection. So if you want to go for the gorgeous windmill and lighthouse complete collections, remember 42 stamps, 42 dies um, is far better than half price saving, especially if you are a Freedom member. Uh, it works out that basically you are obviously paying less than you would be paying if you were going to go for the uh, XL and one uh, regular set. Uh, it works out at 51 pence each, uh, whether it's a stamp or a die, remember 42 dies, 42 stamps, do you have perfect matching? Approaching 80% of the stock, make sure to check out your baskets. Okay. Once it's gone, it's gone, so remember Once it's gone, you it's want gone. them. That's, we only have got 15 minutes or until the stock lasts, so if you don't want to miss, there's only one way to check out your baskets. Back to you, Beverly. Oh, okay, Beverly. I just love it, Paola, I can't lie. Right, so like I was saying, you can you can do these in so many different colours. It's not, it doesn't just have to be, you know, your normal standard colours oh, that you that. would use for a windmill. I'm not sure what the standard yeah. colours for a windmill are. I don't know, but you I don't know, think there is uh, any. Uh, you know what it reminds me, suddenly, kind of, it's a little bit circus-like. Yes. It's a circus, you know? Yeah, like, almost like a helter-skelter. Yeah. Or yeah. Molly, who likes a little bit of crazy golf, she kind of really likes the <laughs> idea of crazy golf. Well, you know, that means the people are like their golf, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh. Right, so I'm going to go in and just do this door. Um, I think the thing is, you, like I say, you can add in so much more detail. You can put in, 
Your white details, which I love. I absolutely love a white pen. If white pens were stopped being made, I would be a very sad human. Because you can go in and just add in little more stitching details. And that's the thing. The doodle art that's there is there just to give you a starting off point. So it's just a case of... Yeah. I'm going to get a slightly bigger tip. Beverly, I notice here. now that it has got a Paula-sized door. Yeah, inside the big door. Yes. Yeah, so that's like oh. normal entrance and then Paula entrance. Exactly. Yanis can go into the Dreula. Yeah, can Yanis go can go in the tall door. Oh. And then there's a little Paula door. I love that. There we go. I meant to do the Paula door. See, you're so, you know, you made me feel See, like Paula it's, door. Should have done it great. red. Oh, oh that's fine. I have I got one. Too. But, for oh. example, showing you the different colours. So, again, check out the yeah, fretboard. Right? See, this one's red, so that's a Paula door. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's definitely <laughs> so, a So, showing you the different colours that you can put these together on. Because it is just a case, and this is what I do. If, you're, if I'm suffering from a crafty mojo loss, yes. which we all have, you know, you want to sit down and make something and you're not sure what. You can stamp up. You can stamp up as many as you want, sit and colour them. You know, and you can do as many as you want because you know you've got the dies to cut them. It's mm -hmm. not like you've got to fussy cut them all out. So, you can do all that. You can stamp them up, you can sit them on your board and then go along and add in just your little white details, your white highlights with your favourite white pen and then they're all sat there ready. So not only will it kickstart your crafty mojo because you might think of something you want to make with it, but also if you are in the midst of journaling or you've started some backgrounds and you're not sure what to add on but you want to complete cards, all of your things are here ready. And that's what's brilliant about having all your dies and everything to match. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to do a perspective with this one here and the regular size we've just done. Okay. okay. So let me just lift that to the side a second and I'm going to get a blending brush and we're just going to add in some green at the bottom and some grass at the, and some blue at the top for the sky. Um, and then we can add in our other one. Oh, hello. Yeah. So we'll add in some of that there. Okay. And then we'll get some of our mermaid lagoon, which is out. Do you know what? I bring all of my oxides and everything with me every single time and always end up just using two. Okay. Well, <laughs> and mermaid lagoon and which one was it? Pink that pink? was forest moss oh, I forest used at the moss, bottom. Yeah. yeah. So just go down here. Oh, stop doing that woman. Right. And then you can start building up with the die cuts that we have already put together. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do first, so this will be going... I'm just a C6 card like this, so it will just sit on like a layer. All right. So, but before we do that, we're going to take. Now these have already got a sticky on them, so I haven't even got to sticky them. I'm going to do this one just coming off a little bit. Oh yeah, the perspective. To the side. Yeah. Okay, and that's then you got your perspective. That one looks further yeah. away, and that's the brilliance of the of having the, the entire collection in those two sizes. Okay, and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to add in. A couple of clouds from our lighthouse set but these are from the regular so these are much smaller so for example that's the small cloud from the XL set and that's the small cloud from okay. the regular set so you're really getting those sizes which will also help you when you're building up your perspectives okay and so. I love that, but, you know, see, this card exemplify why the complete collection is not only, uh, you know, a massive saving, but it's also a, a makes a perfect sense to go for it because you are going to get the possibilities exponentially, like, you know, all those clouds or those beautiful uh, grasses in different, you know, build the perspective of the grass as well, you know, yeah, in, or the flowers. And then you can just add in some of your tulips because obviously you have to have tulips absolutely. with a windmill because that's just, you know how things are so and then we'll take this one here and we'll just that. add that in behind there and the nice thing is you can play with them you can move them about you don't have to settle on it until because you've got all those die cuts you can really just have a play oh, and see how you card. want to go and then when it goes on the front of your card it's you can always add on some 3d of the yeah and you can propellers. Make them move that. yeah propellers that yeah absolutely. thank you yeah. Excellent. I don't know what that, that hand action know, was. I, I am is, sorry. Right. <laughs> we're flying. We're hand, we're, we're giving them wings. Yeah, exactly. But like I said, we were talking about perspective quite a lot. So I thought, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do this lovely little card here, which really demonstrates that yes. perspective that you can get from the complete collection because you've got both sizes. 
And I, you know, that car makes me really smile. Thank you, Beverly. You're very welcome. Uh, now, of course, 80% of the complete collection has gone. Now, let's break it down and uh, the individuals. Now, if you wanted to go for the windmill XL, uh, you know, you have them at the bottom uh, right uh, hand corner, no, left hand corner for you. For me, it's right, but it, for you, it's left. Uh, you can see that. Now, it's an A5 stamp set and it's matching die set. Remember, you are getting exactly the same dot, well, or the dies to match every single stamp nine dies nine stamps so you don't have to fussy cut any of the elements of the stamp now if you want to go for this bundle it's 15 pounds saving so better than half price because you are just paying 14 pounds and 99 pence now if you wanted to go for the same image in the windmill regular size you can again you have exactly the right size dies for every single of the stamps 10 pound saving, 9.99 is your price. Now, of course, this is a, a A6 stamp set. So imagine that A6 stamp, photopolymer stamps, 9.99. It would be absolutely a bargain. With the matching dies, it makes it even better. 923224 is your item number. Then we have got the Lighthouse Regular. Again, photopolymer stamp set in here with those beautiful clouds and the waves and the sea and the sailboats and it's matching uh, or they're matching dice. £10 saving. You're just paying $9.99. Make sure to grab yours by checking out those baskets. 335709 for the regular size. Now, if you want the large size of the lighthouse, we have got the XL. Again, better than half price with a £15 saving, just paying £14.99. But of course, the complete collection features everything, all uh, 42 dice, 42 stamps, a massive saving. Remember, you are paying less than for two sets, so the XL and the uh, normal size uh, one, uh, at the normal price. Now, you have a freedom discount as well, which means that it's even better. £57.25. That's not the price, that's the saving. £42.71 is what you are paying. Now, you can split it in two interest-free payments. And, of course, that means that you, if you're a Freedom member, you don't pay P, P, and P. Therefore, today, all you're paying is £21.36, and you're paying the same amount next month. 762318 is your item number for the complete collection. Check out your baskets. You have got about seven minutes to check out your baskets, but will the stock last? Because, remember, 80% of the stock of that complete collection has gone make sure to check out your baskets. Then we have the MDF collection, another very popular item. Remember, we have had two sellouts already. If you don't want to miss out, it's only one way to check out the baskets. Now, the MDF collection in here is the toast tool and the accessories with those words, create, belief, and art. You have got also butterflies. You have got the gorgeous uh, hearts in there, the flowers, the birds, the checks. You have got them, of course, that beautiful size plaques to create emulsions for your home. £12, that's why how much you are saving in this bundle. Just paying £12.98. 201528 is your item number. More MDF that coordinates perfectly with the lighthouse. And of course, you have as well the uh, kind of gorgeous alphabet. We have got the accessories. We have got the seaside. We have got the, the butterflies, the intricate and the solid. We have got the numbers as well. So you have got here a full collection. So you are getting six uh, pop out uh, sheets, of course, the MDF. They are better than half price because you are paying 17 pounds and 97 pence. Now, it's an 18 pounds saving. It's a phenomenal saving here. Now, if you want this bundle, of course, do check out your baskets. Yeah, the details will come up in a second as soon as they can, but you can find it on the website, thecraftstore.com. And of course, thecraftstore.com, uh, the that is the you know, address. You will see all the individuals, all the bundles, all those amazing savings grab them by checking out your baskets remember that the uh, face and the sunflower and the face and the uh, dragonfly have now sold out if you want anything make sure to check out your baskets once they are gone they are gone and remember this is a happy hour which is the savings are only for this hour on them right all saying that I was going super speedy trying to <laughs> uh, super speedy uh, super speedy Beverly are you ready I think so oh. well I'm, I'm thinking we're gonna work on a tag now Ooh. okay so t again when I'm suffering from lack of crafty mojo tags are the thing I love making tags oh. um, because they're just yes. fun 
Yes, I make a lot of tags. Yeah. We end up with an abundance of tags. Okay, so again, I'm going to take the XL Lighthouse here. This is one of the Dina Wakely white tags. Ooh. So it's a really good Quality. card stock that, you know, that takes quite a lot of abuse. And that's good for me because I don't always know what I'm going to do when, you know, I start. It's an evolving process, crafting. It you know, is. I always get the feeling that a lot, a lot of demonstrators as well, they have a plan. They know exactly what's going to happen. Some of them do. That's so good. Me? No, not so much. In fairness, when I'm demonstrating, this is that's the most planning I ever put in at all. Yeah. People say to, say to me, oh, do you, you know when you craft? No, there is no plan. Which is why I like to have so many bits cut out yeah. and ready to go. Mm -hmm. Because Absolutely. it could go in whichever direction. Mm -hmm. Who's, who knows? So what I was thinking is we'll do the lighthouse in a different colour. Okay. We're going to go in. We have got a minute and a half. Sorry. A minute and a half? Sorry, yes. I'm not going to get it done in a minute and a half. This show has gone so quick. It has and so gone has so quickly. All the stock. So right, make so sure we'll to just, check out your baskets. We'll just start doing a little bit of blue then. Just okay. because it's a colour the DT thing. used. Yeah. This is not going to get anywhere near done. Well, but we get an idea. But you can see. A very, very small yeah. idea. Yeah. Okay, and then with... Water. And you just pull that colour out. Yeah. And, and because a lighthouse is round, that's why I colour the sides and then yeah. pull the colour to give that to the kind of exactly. roundness. Effect. Not that I do give light a, a lot of thought when I'm colouring in. At the end of the day, it's doodle art. It's yeah. fun. It's not supposed to be real. We have got seconds to go. Okay. Come on. You put on more boats. Come on, I'm just like. Come and on. more waves Never and me. more clouds. Yeah. And that's lovely. Huzzah! That's fabulous. I mean, thank that's you. speed crafting and achieving. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Beverly. Uh, when when are you back? 25th. Oh, not long to go. Not uh, long to go. Not long to go. A uh, pleasure. Uh, you too, my darling. You know, thank you very much. Uh, now, I need to say to everybody to check out their baskets. Remember, this is a happy hour, which means that the deals are only going to stay uh, low until the end of this hour. Make sure that you grab them. You have got about, what, two minutes to check out those baskets so, and grab a bargain of beautiful stamps and dies. I'll see you in an hour's time. Stay tuned. Well, stay tuned because we have got a final look at the one day special, a studio live by Janine's Mindful Art. Then I'm super excited to join Melissa for Simply Vintage and then a one day special from Batik. Ultimate finish, cleans, polishes and protects in one. No water is required. If you own a car, caravan, motorhome or motorcycle, do not miss the world launch shows this weekend. You don't need water or any other products. All you need is ultimate finish. On the shows, you will hear from a motor trade expert who says this is the best product he's ever used. Exclusive on the craft store with big savings and a five piece pack. For a limited time, we will also be including two additional products at no extra charge, only while stocks last. See the amazing live demonstrations and big savings this Saturday at 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. and Sunday at midday, not to be missed. I am Matthew Palmer, a professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dies that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, 
We have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping molds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. and a warm welcome. We have got an hour for you. I am so glad I'm getting to do this hour because I have to say, studio lights, amazing. We've got the beautiful connection, uh, collection from Janine's Mindful uh, Art. And not only that, someone who's always mindful and gives us great demonstrations, it's the lovely Lou. Lou, hello. There she is. Hey, Lou, how are hello. you? How are I'm you? Good, I'm good. Lou, this is a beautiful collection i mean I've, I've been watching the shows actually you've been getting ready for breakfast this morning no having breakfast mm -hmm. sorry this morning i was watching you at eight and um <laughs> a bit odd i watch you when I'm, I'm getting ready for breakfast um so how do you look here the stencils are beautiful the stamps mm -hmm. are gorgeous there is no part of this collection i do not absolutely love and can we just give some love to the sort of uh, grungy mixed media elements here but then we've got very very pretty pretty elements it is such a good release, and my goodness, twenty-two pounds and two pence, your first flexi payment. Amazing, Lou. Amazing. Yeah, yeah it's a really nice little collection, and it's um, flowers are really, really nice for everybody. I've said this before. It's, it's, it's not going to upset anybody, and there's something for everybody on this. And it's a, it's a lovely little worker, worker selection with all little bits yeah. in background as well. And every time you look at the stencils, you see something different. Yeah. So, yeah, and it's also really good for, you know, boxes and three-dimensional stuff because of the writing. And you could do it on cupboards, all those sorts of things. Yeah. It's quite shabby chic. Well, I like that. Shabby chic. Um... Sure. It's a really good collection, and we are going to go through it in a moment because you can break down your collection as well. So you can either go for the complete collection or you can break it down into individual options. But here's the thing. All the savings from the individual options are already factored into your savings here. And it's a why not deal as well, which means that you're actually better off becoming a Freedom member. You will save money that way. Become a Freedom member, take advantage of the Freedom price and the Freedom Flexi. Let's go through the elements. Should we start here? Because the Sunflower and Script, the, the, two of my favorite things, mm -hmm. that stencil is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, that in itself, it, oh, I just love it. It is. It's really useful, especially mm -hmm. for three-dimensional stuff, you know, yeah. like posters, signs, yeah, yeah. anything that, you know, you want to create. Like, even old crates, it looks great on those sort of things. So, not cycling, but I'd also be creating, like, backgrounds, your, your yeah. own background papers. So you've got that. But then, and there's just something so endearing about a sunflower. So we've got a lovely yeah. sunflower um, stamps in here as well. Let me just show you that. Let me look at your sunflower stamps. That, mm. I mean, that's a, it's a good size. Just put my hand into shot. Uh, yeah. You can see. Now, we are approaching limited stock on this. But, Lou, I mean, yeah. stencil and stamp for eleven ninety eight. That's a good that's, that, is it? That's tasty price. You are saving £3, but that £3 saving and that tasty price has been factored into the complete collection where you're getting a further mm. saving on top of that. Just saying. Okay, so now we're going to move on. We have the Dahlia and the Grunge. I keep gravitating towards the stencils on the show. I mean, come on. Yeah. That is a heavyweight of a stencil. Love that. There, Lou, this is yeah. the cool kids. I hear the, the sort of kids here at uh, Ho-Chandel, I say kids, the, the younger members of the team, the hip and cool ones, they say something where they say, it's a little bit of you. I could imagine this stencil is a little bit of you. Yeah, it definitely is. It's a bit mm -hmm. tatty around edges, so it's definitely me. No, and did, it's not meant to mean like that, Lou. It just means it's a bit of your style. I wasn't implying that this was actually you. No, but I think it's true of me. It's all oh. tatty around edge. No, it's it's a bit... You can make it whatever you want yeah. to, so you can make it grungy or you can make it quite elegant. So, yeah, it's a bit like a bit of everything yeah. in there. And I like the fact that you've got elements. It's not just one stencil. There's parts for it all over there's yeah. you can have this bit that bit this bit and each part matches one of the other stamps so nice. if you get the whole selection 
You'll yeah. be getting the stamps as well. I'm just mm. going to show you the Dahlia stamp as well because, I mean, you're getting the beautiful flower, the mandala, the sentiment in there as well. Uh, oh, that's, that's a nice sentiment. Friendship is the purest love. Yeah. And then you've got the butterfly in there as well. A little splat going on. Beautiful. Oh, it really makes me laugh that some beautiful flowers and some elegant mandalas and then a big splat of paint. Because that's what happens, you know. And and I like it matches with the stencil, you know. So it just all it works. Doesn't... Yeah, it does all work. And the stitching, you yeah. can actually stitch it if you wish. So it's mm. a really nice piece that. Got to say, uh, there are a lot of fans of Studio Lights out there. She got a lovely message from Donna, who she, headmistress, and um, she got in touch. Thank you for the compliment on the shirt. She loves Studio Lights. Big fan of yours, oh. Lou, as well. And she's oh, saying she's you, looking Donna. forward to your demonstration. So that's Donna. Thank you so much, Donna. Uh, okay, thank you. we're uh, going to move on down now. So, just to give you the details here. So, eleven ninety-eight your price. You're saving three pounds. Again, now we're up to six pounds saving that's factored into the complete. That will rise. Your item number, if you do want to go for the individual, is 614903. We're going to have a look at our next option. This is the peony and your decorative. Uh, so you can have a look at all of, I mean, yes. Have to say, oh, we're just going to change the details. We were just, we're teasing you with what's coming up. I mean, that. Now we've got, there, there is such variety within this one set, Lou, because this, to me, this is decadent. It's opulent. You could run some gold texture paste through there and suddenly it's taking you back to the Renaissance. Yeah, I think this is the idea that each, each part of the stamp is a different style, but they all connect. So you could go, do Baroque, Rococo, yeah. all these, early, not so much Regency, but no. all these designs, and then you could go to a mandala as well so mm -hmm. i think having all those elements works yes. you get a lot more for your money okay. plus this is only only i think it's two pound more but look at the size of the stamp so I mean, you're, you're getting excellent value for money i well, think you do now i think we all come to realize yeah. at studio like you get really good value for money i like i like we saying all these periods as well baroque rococo i mean i love a cup of rococo you're getting it's in here. It's great. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you got... sugar. <laughs> <laughs> you're, we're on the same wavelength. Uh, so, I mean, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful flowers. I'm just, again, going to put my hands in the shot. I don't like to brag. And the reason why I do this is to give you a sense of scale. I do have quite big hands. So just showing you there. Uh, I apologize. They're hairy hands. But I do have big hands. And you can see the amount that you're getting. So uh, really nice stamp set. Thirteen ninety eight your price. Lou's quite right, though. Extra couple of quid. You're getting a lot more stamps. But... That saving factored into the complete. Your item number is 464977, your item number. We're just going to take a quick tally of the savings. We are now up to £9 for the complete collection. Finally, our last but certainly not least, Dynamic Duo. This is, oh, this has been the most popular individually. This is your violets and floral. Uh, I've got to give you a little bit of a warning, though. Have you ever seen a green violet? you have now because we are green on screen we're limited stock for our violets it's a tenuous link it's some would say a weak link good but we'll go with good. It. thank you Lou. I, press, I knew there was a reason why i loved working with you lou uh you are <laughs> saving three pounds 13.98 is your price again look joke aside beautiful beautiful stencil i mean we can all appreciate that and look at the stamps and the size of the stamp set that we are getting 13.98 your price 367.835 your item number so those are the individual options if, now I've got to tell you, we've had a technical sellout of the violets, so the violets and the florals have technically sold out, which means please check out your baskets if you want them. Now the only way to get them is part of the complete collection. The good news is you can still get a hold of the savings and the special price for the individual options. So all the savings in the individual options has been factored in. That's £12 worth of savings. And then on top of that, you're getting a further £3 saving. That's £15, which is a tasty saving. But you know what? If you're a Freedom member, and it is a why not deal, look at the savings. That suddenly jumps up to £19.89. So just look, a few pennies shy of £20 saving. As a Freedom member, you've still got flexi payments. This is such a, I really mean this, hand on heart. And any regular viewers uh, to the Craft Store will know, I'll never say anything. I know we're shopping TV. I just won't say it unless I really feel it and mean it. As a crafter, 
there are so many elements in here, elements in here I want to play with. The stencils, mm. I don't know why, but I instantly was caught by the stencils. All of them mm -hmm. are stunning, but then the stamps as well, Lou, are gorgeous. So yeah. as a collection for 44 pounds and three pence, Studio Lights have done it again. Price point, absolute yeah. tick. But the stencil, and Janine is incredibly talented as a designer. Yeah, she is. She's well-renowned and respected in Holland, yeah. and um, she's got a massive following. And she does a lot of work on mindfulness, and that's a big. it's a big part of her life. So... She uses elements oh. in her work that she actually uses, you know, oh. day to day. So I've got a lot of respect for the lady. She's very talented. Oh. But the last stencil that's just so um, sold oh. out, if you was to think of a period for that, I would say more like the Jane Austen. Oh, yeah. That, you know, oh, I see that, that. That sort of feel where there's little delicate patterns and stuff yeah, like that. So I, I think you're right about each one of these yeah. has got sort of feel or a period of style yeah. style period to it so now, we are over 80 percent of the one day special uh we say the one day special is here until six i was just glancing at the clock potentially we could be selling at the one day special this hour we are very 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 busy lou um go yeah. ask you a quick question because the team were were kind of questioning how i was pronouncing janine is it janine or janini janini well, Lou, Janini. I, uh, I'm, I, Janini, I am so sorry. That was my ignorance. It is uh, Janini. I'm sorry. But Lou, I've been calling all these times we've, we've featured Janini's collections. I've been saying Janine. Well, it, it depends, doesn't it? It's like tomato, tomato. Like the Dutch language is slightly different. So when I, I, I'm listening and I'm going, oh, and then when my accent gets hold of it, it's like you might as well forget it. You won't <laughs> understand anything. So I could be wrong. Well... <laughs> Sorry, Lou, you're just making me giggle. Um, listen, it is a great collection at a great price. And please become a Freedom member. We are busy on the phone lines. All I can tell you is this one day special really lives up to the billing. It is special. When you couple, and please stick around for this hour, Lou's talent in what she's going to show you with this one day special, that to me is an absolute win win. So please stick around for this hour. We could be, and I'm, I'm saying this now to you we could be selling out the one day special this hour. Mm. So um, mm. I want to put that out there, we're busy. Right, we're going to move on. Now, Lou, we had to sell out one of these earlier on. We still got the yeah. essentials. So tell us why this is so popular. Right, well, you get you get watercolors and everybody's, you know, what's under one banner, but there are different qualities in everything you buy. And I was I was thought, right, well, I'm going to put these to the test. So mm. I went there thinking, mm, for that price, I'm not going to get much. And I was really shocked, really shocked. One, because of the consistency. And two, the pigmentation is really good. But three, you get the expensive colours. Oh. It's incredibly hard to get pinks yeah. and purples. Opera pink and there's another, I can't remember the other one, but they're so expensive to buy. You wouldn't get them necessarily in a pack. You would get them extra. Individually, so yeah. they'd have to be, you, you buy one extra. So to get these all in a pack, all colour coordinated, like your stormy grey and, and your pear and all these different yeah. colours. These uh, are real That's... beautiful extra colours. And you've got brushes with these. You get two yeah. water brushes. Wait, Lou, and... you could spend, and we, we've talked about this previously on the show, yeah. you could buy a water brush. And I've seen water brushes for about five, six, sometimes seven pounds a water brush. So, yeah, you know, you just giving out like, different brands, not Studio Light, but just showing you, you're getting quality watercolor brushes, two of those. Uh, and actually, yeah. what I like about this, one is sort of a flat br uh, brush for your color washes, and the yeah. other one, you've got your more sort of Try traditional. Yeah. Yeah. So and the nice thing about these is you, they go to a nice point. Yeah. And I, I, a lot of some brushes, they get a bit furry around the edges, mm. <laughs> they sort of curl over, but that's oh. just use. Okay. Uh, but I've, I've, I put these through a bit of bit of pacing, and they're all out to now. Seriously okay. good. No furry brushes there. Love it. Uh, oh, yeah. Now we had to sell out the other collection. We're over eighty percent of the stock here. You're even getting a palette uh, there as well to mix your colours. Once it is gone, it's gone. And I'll tell you something. The Katie, I've got a lot of respect for Katie, our producer. If anyone could get hold of more stock, it would be her. She tries. She's agree. dynamic. She doesn't suffer fools. She walks in and says, I want more stock. And they say, we haven't got any. 
She said, OK. Uh, 1699 is your price there, saving £8, 713-597, your item number. Got to point out, uh, just for any new viewers to the craft store, so Studio Lights, based in Holland, and because it's abroad, there is uh, extended delivery on this. It's only the time it takes uh, to obviously get to us here at the craft store. Everything is going to be dispatched from the 24th of May. So 24th of May, we have it. We'll get it out to you. Right, we're going to move on to a pick and mix now. Uh, Ooh, another very popular delicious. item, Lou. These are these are these, a little bit tasty. These, as soon as I saw them, I was like, "What?" And I didn't until I got them and sort of flipped through them. I was like, "Hang on, they're, they're a different colour." These, and that instantly sold me because I thought it does away with all that worry about colour. Mm -hmm. And then I did a little trick with my colour charts oh. and my paints, and I matched them all up, and I found, oh. This is a win-win. Yeah. Seriously, I've been playing non-stop with this card, I like and that. I haven't found a duff colour. Seriously, well, that's, that's not good. a duff colour in them. Lou, I'm going to let you pick. You're going to pick which of the pads I'm going to do a little picky flicky. You get to decide which one. Which one would you like to see? I can show a few, but which one would you like to see first right. up? Right. Well, Christmas. That is the wrong name. Haley said it. If you get that Christmas one and have a look at those colours, mm -hmm. they are stunning. Mm -hmm. They are not. <laughs> what you think of green green fir trees and red balls they're no. not that's they're that, beautiful colors that is cool i mean that would be i think better suited vintage. to and this is yeah vintage i was going to say it. vintage suits it so much better now considering pick and mix so it would be about five pounds 25 24 per pad value for money mm -hmm. off the chart so that I'm, after seeing it, I would be considering putting that into my basket. Over 60% of the stock there. What should we look at next? Should we look at naturals? This so is another these, really useful. Stunning. These yeah. are stunning because they're, they're cool and warm. Oh, yeah. So you've got skin tones, you've got all sorts of things, shadows, shades. You've got oh, the beautiful, beautiful. Night. Lovely, lovely stuff. So love those colorways. Uh, you can see the details there for the naturals. That is approaching 70% of the stock as an individual option. Yeah. Uh, so this pick and mix, you're picking a favorite too. Do you know what, Lou? There's nothing more frustrating when you do a pick and mix and your favorite, your favorite uh, option is gone. So please don't yeah. miss out there. Lou, I'll tell you what we'll do. Should we let you turn your camera around? Because we're going to go to demonstration in just a moment. And I'll flick through the final Perfect. two. Perfect. Yeah? OK, we'll do that. Uh, have a look at your pastels now. Half the stock for the pastels, can I say where the pastels would be excellent, and it's something I'm saying a lot now, just die cutting your flowers. So if you like clean, elegant cards, you tend to do a lot of your flowers. Rather than coloring them, you use your cardstock. This is a nice way to do it. Really nice color palette, so bright and fresh. You've got your greens, your purples, your violets, lots of gorgeous colors in the mix. I like the pastels. And then we have our brights. I'm just going to pop that down. And now brights. Will they live up to the name? Studio lights. Of course they are. Uh, approaching half the stock for your brights. And that is ooh, hoo, 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 a rainbow in a booklet. So you're getting all of those. Lovely. Now, we do have new stamps in the essentials. We want to get to demonstrations, so we're going to look at those a bit later. But you can jump ahead of us on the website, or you can use the app. So do have a little look. Lou, that yep. looks beautiful. What have you got there? Well, this is what I did last night. So I want to give some, like, I won't stay long on them. And I did a little frame with the papers and I sandwiched it between two. And then I've got that one. Um, it's just that people have asked to see what I did. And then I did this one using the different colours. And I did the background using all the colours that match. And there's a little bit of organza on that. And then these colours, see how they match? They're just beautiful. That's out of the brights and the, what's the other one? Mm -hmm. Pastel, I think. No, it wasn't. Might have been Brights, that one. And then this one was the last one I did, where I did a three-dimensional version, where I built it all up. And this is stamped on the paper oh. from the journal, but then all all the watercolours from we, the essential. Lou, I'm just so, going to show everyone that, you know, you're talking about the journal. It's actually proving yeah. very, very popular. A lot of you are popping it into your baskets. 80% um, of the stock's gone in. This is a great journal. Really, yeah. really nice journal. When you see how Lou uses her journal, I mean, so many pages in there as well, and it's good quality. So work off your journal. You've obviously got the ring binder, so you can open that up, take pages out, and put them in. I mean, that for sixteen ninety nine. I kind of think that's a bit of a bargain. What do you reckon, Lou? 
yeah, I love it because I can take stuff out um, and I can scoot it around. Whereas when you do it in a, a normal journal, don't get me wrong, I've got them as well. Yeah. Um, but I, I can't scoot it around. In this, I can have a play like this frame. I could use it for all my other stuff. But I just think it's a great oh, way of really working pretty, around. If we, um, we want yeah, to watch you do that, Lou, what hour that. is it? What hour was that that you made Pardon? that piece? Uh, if we wanted to see how you made uh, that, that inspiration. That was the first hour, so that was... Six o'clock yesterday. Six o'clock last night. Okay. This was 12. That yeah. was eight. Uh -huh. But I've got all sorts of different ones, you know, finishing. And I just thought, I've, I've used so many different parts of it. But the flower, I've just done a one day special. So, you know, there's so many more elements to it. Some flowers are um, beautiful. But it is beautiful. It is beautiful. So... Would you like me to start with my demo? Yeah, go for it. Please do. Oh, right. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sat here like... I, right. I'd never so say no to a demo I've got all these. <laughs> I've got all these colours. Oh, that's another one that I've got. I did, but I've got oh. to finish that. I didn't get time. It's a little bit too deep, but I was going to do my pencil work on it, but I can't, I'll do something else. We, don't, you know, we like something new. So when I was looking at these colours, I just thought these are English Country Garden. Yeah. Uh, pastels bright uh -huh. so across all of them they all mix but on the back I've got the tone so you uh, were just saying about cutting them out of paper yeah, yeah. perfect you yeah. could do light and dark you could you know and even single petals you could do you know single of and sort of just transfer them over and make one dark one light mm. so what I thought I'd do is a little bit of a play on this, doing this English country garden. And one of the best things, I think, for that has got to be this p &A. It's a bit difficult to see, but it's a beautiful stamp. Yeah. Um, it's 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 a peony, but it's also like a rose. You know, the yeah. English rose. I just thought, right, I'm going to do this. So the first thing is, I've got the page out of my journal, and I'm just going to get some gesso. Just move these across. Okay. And I'm just going to put the gesso on. I'm going to create a background okay. because I keep doing sort of finished pieces, but I've not shown you how to create your own backgrounds first. So um, whenever you're using these watercolours, because we will be using the watercolours, yeah. make Lou, sure can that I just ask about separate... the watercolours, Lou? Is there, is there yeah. a green in there? Yes. There is. Well, that's good to know yes. because we are very close to going oh, green on the screen, screen. Oh, uh, with regards to the watercolours. You do that to me all the time, you. You should know by now, Lou. Uh, look, I joking aside, the palette, one's already sold out. We've only got the essentials in stock now. Something that Lou said, do you know why I love working with you, Lou? You really do know your stuff. And Lou is pointing out, and this from an artist standpoint, genuinely in, uh, with a watercolour palette like this, you wouldn't get certain colors because they're more expensive to produce so having that pink in there and a few of the other colors are opulent colors that you'd normally have as an add-on so really really nice set you're getting both watercolor brushes in there you're also getting your mixing palette all of that for 16.99 is an absolute bargain sorry lou no no it's it's good because people don't realize that it, it's a bit like diamonds and uh, quartz or something you know they might all be sort of minerals but are and gems and stuff but they're actually different prices within that and it's the same for the pigments you know it's the pigments within these are more expensive and pinks are one at worst so what i've done is this is just gesso and this you can be as messy as you want with this well within reason not my messy and i'm going to create um, a background and hopefully if this goes to plan you can create a great resist and because it's white it's not interfering now i know you can't see it but honestly and truthfully if you just you're just looking at white white and a bit more white yeah. but if you just bear with me a second uh -huh. and you'll be able to see I'm trying to i was going to wipe right, that on the top then and i realized i've got a nice top on so i thought better of it uh -huh. so just stamp all yeah. over okay and then what it does is it creates um, a, a difference in the surface now some of it's a little bit heavy but you can just if I can wiggle it you can just make out there's little bits of areas anyway leave that to dry uh -huh. and the next thing what we're going to do is mix up a colour clean your stamp the reason I say that is because it is just so it will have an effect on it you don't want to you know ruin your stamp um, it's great to use but 
you must you must clean it you must clean oh, it yeah. otherwise it does it it fills, fills the holes all the gaps, gaps. In. yeah yeah so just clean that off now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to show you i've got some gesso here i've got it it's quite warm in here so i'm just going to put a tiny bit okay. of water with it i just want to show you how nice these paints are for adding and making these into chalk paints mm -hmm. so got the white always keep if you've got a gesso and you're using gesso always keep it separate from your watercolors because they're very different paints mm -hmm. very different okay so um You'll always notice with a watercolour, you shouldn't get a, a residue at the bottom of your water pot. With gesso, you do. You always get a residue, and that's the chalk. It doesn't dissolve. It floats. It's suspended. So because I always try, if I can, to sort of not, you know, not put it down the sink. And it's the same when you're cleaning gesso off your board. Yeah. Scrape it and throw it away rather than washing it. Lou, how much so, do you normally pay for like a pan of water, good, quali good quality watercolours, same as we have on screen? How much do you pay for an individual pan? A little half pan in the pot? Yeah. I've paid seven quid for one. What? One half pan, yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so you think we're getting 18, we're getting 18 there. Exactly, exactly. Now this pink I'm using now to prove a point I've, I haven't got it here because it's a win, another one, whatever the name. It's that big. It's five mil, yeah. seven pound Oof. in a tube. Right. Now, this is the same as in the tube, but it's dried and dried and dried. And then it's so the water evaporates. Oh. But that just shows you. But I offer a pink. You can go and look it up. A good quality pigment you, it costs you a lot, a lot. Yeah. So what I've done is, while that's drying, I've just created a puddle of pink and I've got a little sponge and I'm just going to show you now we can create our own palette. So we've got a really nice soft oh. pink. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and, and just keep, you don't want it really wet, but you don't want it really dry. And then what you do is just leave that and oh. I'll just show you now if it's ready. Yeah. I'll show you the colour on another okay. piece of paper. Luke, because just before you show you us do, the colour, can I give a big update? Yes. Yeah. It's happened, everybody. The oh, do you know what? We have gone limited stock. I know. Everyone's dropping everything. Limited stock. Oh, is this for the watercolours? I thought it was for the complete collection. Let me just change that. Uh, limited stock for the watercolours. I'll just dial it down a minute. I thought we were calling limited stock for the one day special. But the one day special is very close to being limited stock. So with the watercolours, they are limited stock there. I feel a bit sheepish, Lou. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Go for You've it, go for it, Lou. There's the pink. And it's really, it, it, it's a lot brighter than you think, and it will die down, what they call it, damp down. Yeah. But if you think that, it, you'll see the difference now uh -huh. when I put it on this. So yeah. okay. this is the pink. And what I'm going to do is just try the colour. I've added more white now. It's hard for you to see on the screen. Yeah. But this way, if I keep it all within the colour palette here and what I've uh -huh. got, then I'm not having to try and mix colours up. So just okay. leave that to dry, and then on here, I'm just going to get a little bit more pink. And my advice is always wake up your paints by giving them a drink first, and then oh, nice. by the time you come back to using them, you can get a good, a good sort of. I mean, that's just words to live by, anyway. Giving them yeah. the, their morning brew. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm just going to dry anything that's on here, because there'll be some bits that are still. And I'm not too worried about them, you know, smudging because it's gesso. I'm creating um, a resist. Nice. So you won't see it there. You might be able to see it a little bit, but this is the peony stamp. So yeah. I've just got it. looks really bright on there, doesn't it? Uh-huh. That looks like, whoa, what are you doing there? But I like it. I hope you can now, see them just Lou, up. I know, I know we're yeah. going for a certain colour. It's just, it's hard to see on screen. Can we just gonna... maybe go a bit for the more vibrant, just so just we see it? Is that okay? I'm so sorry to ask you yeah, to do that. Yes, it is. I'm just, I just looking want to see at that now. Design. What I'll do then yeah. is, I'll put the red in. There we go. You see, I can see it, yeah. but that's not much point in me just seeing it, is there? <laughs> I want to show off your beautiful work, Lou. But I love the fact, and Gesso is our friend when we're toning colours. There you go, Lou. Oh, yeah. That's it. Can you see it popping up Yeah, that's up now? coming through. And if you want, you can get um, 
any colours you want in your watercolours. Just remember that they're not just for watercolours. You can use these for your mixing with your glazes, your paints yeah. and everything. And you've got a whole different thing if you mix it with your gesso then. There we go. Oh, yes. Now, I've got to tell you, with regard to the watercolour set, so this is the only set we've got remaining. It is limited stock. It should really be reading super limited. We've got less than five. Oh, Lou, that is beautiful. That looks nice ethereal. That's stunning. It's it's not what people think. No, I love because that. it's still colourful, but it's quite subtle. I mean, it is quite dark, this, but it, it, you get a water... It shows up better on camera. I know normally, yeah, um, to the naked eye, you'd go lighter, but thank you for doing that. Lou, I love the well, effect. You can see where that's whiter. Yeah. And then you can see where I put more colour on and how dark the resist goes. Oh, I like that. So... You can do now, what I can do is do an ombre. So, uh -huh. I've, again, I've got the colours separate, so I'm adding a little bit of pink, a little bit of red. So I can afford to do that because, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm able to sort of create a, an ombre using the same colours. I'm not adding another pink from another palette. It's the same palette, so nice. I know it'll work. If you start crossing, but I must admit, if you bought two of these palettes, which I'm, I'm afraid if you didn't, I don't know when we can get them back. They, oh, okay. These two colours work. Lou, the don't tell everyone you don't know really when we're going to get them back when we're about to sell out. Everyone will be like, I want to get hold of it. Well, every time they come on, every time people say, when are they back? Well, yeah. and I feel like, I know I can't say it, but I feel like, why didn't you get them? Yeah. You're asking me when they're back. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit more colour on and that's it. So this is a good little trick for people to know because this extends everything they've got on what they can do. Mm -hmm. So... That's more or less dry. Lovely. So what I can do now is create, with the paint, I can create a stencil Lou, colour with I'm that. just going to tell everybody, with regards to the watercolours, that is it, technical sellout. So both options of the watercolours are gone. We have the essential. It is technically sold out. If it is in your basket, please make sure to check out. If any bounce back, I think it's only fair, right and proper, that I let everyone know, and then it's going to be a question of fastest fingers first. So you have been warned. Oh, yeah. If you have got it in your basket, well done. Just check out to confirm that. Okay, sorry, Lou. <laughs> if you haven't got it in your basket... Uh, I, <laughs> You're unlucky. Tough. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm doing now is... I yeah. shouldn't say that. Right, I've, you can use this or you okay. can do anything. But now I've got the pink on it. I've sort of set, set the, um, the edge of the paper. It's not white anymore. I can yeah. now create, like, colours on top. So I'm using oh, nice. a little bit of the white, but I think will come through. It all depends on how strong the background is, but you'll start to see the white come through more. Oh, yeah, I can see that. So you're just um, using your gesso. Now, we're using one of the stencils from the One Day Special. We've got details absolutely. on your screen. What I would advise, and we are busy for the One Day Special, actually, to the point that we are approaching limited stock on this, um, what I would say to you is please consider becoming a Freedom member. It's what we class as a why not deal, which means you're saving money by becoming a Freedom member, uh, and you also get added savings in there. Too. Right. So all I'm doing now is I'm putting the, I know it seems a bit daft, but you're putting the white back on it. Okay. So you, you choose the colour you want, um, and you can use a green this way as well, which is beautiful. Yeah. And now I'm putting the white. Now it looks a bit spare up here, so I'm just going to choose one little bit and just put that in. That's better. I feel better now. It's, you can just sort of pull out the colours. Mm -hmm. Now what I'm going to do is just very carefully i just want to add a tiny bit more of that color i know i've only we've only got the whites left and i just want to put in a tiny bit of this wonderful sort of regency feel um i don't want to obliterate what i've already done but i just want to sort of put it over so it it's masking it um and if you do this with different depths of color so like medium and dark you uh. get this wonderful array now, that I'm just looks like the that. most beautiful patterned paper that you've created. It is. And the more that dries, when that dries and the gesso dries, every time I put something on now, it's like a resist. It will build up layer of colour. So what I'm going to do is get the peony stamp. Mm -hmm. um, you should really, really wait till everything's dry. But you've got two options now. You can either stamp straight on this yep. or you can stamp on a another piece of paper and just... Um, piece it on if you wish now I'm just cleaning that so if you've got what color that you like a color that you really like and i've got a green here or a victorian 
velvet. That might not work on here because it might be a bit too bright. But if you've got, we'll try the green actually. So I've just got the green and it's called, let me get it right, Forest Moss. Now this is quite a dull green and there's a reason that because it will knock back the pink but it won't be as harsh as the black. Now these distress inks are getting a bit old now okay. so I'm afraid they might not stamp as good as they should but you just get a soft. Oh that's nice Lou. I'm know, not going the to peony all over. is a yeah. beautiful flower well, I think Lou. They, they look like an English rose as well you yeah. know um, not an English rose uh, English cottage rose or uh, whatever they're called. Wait, Lou, that's a ones. good good size how big would you reckon that flower is that must be I'm gonna pick it up I'll gauge it I would say that's at least what are you going to say now? Well, Green on the I'm screen say, or something? I'm looking here. I, 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 apparently, Patrice Katie's got the size. Let me, I'll gauge it and tell me if I'm right. I would say that's six inches. Oh, okay. Give me centimeters. Six inches. Yeah. Six inches. Yeah. Is it six inches? Yeah. Wait, well, it's six inches. So there we go. I know. I don't know. Why does everyone sound so surprised that I'm good at my measurements? Yeah, I'll put the that back. now, the it's, a, it's a good <laughs> size. Right. So I've done this. Well, it's showing up nice and dark there, but it is quite a soft colour, believe it or not. And all I want to do is, just for now, I've not decided what I want to do with it, yeah. in the sense of if you're at home, you know, at home doing this yourself. I've not decided what I want to do, so I'm just having a play with it, and that's the beauty of being able to work with these. Yeah. So I'm just going to use what's here. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit of water with that. Now, the green and the pink will always work together, always. And the distressing on top of the colours will make oh, yeah. it look like a velvet wallpaper because the resist is underneath. Now, I'll just show you what I mean. It's just such a beautiful way to work and it's bringing your eye into the middle. Oh, so just by wetting the um, Distress inks, uh -huh. you can just see the Rococo sort of Regency style yes. there. You can yeah. see the writing, but you can't see it with your naked eye. It's just picking it up when I do this. Uh -huh. So you just put a tiny bit of water on it and then so I'm going to pick out this side here. Um, yeah. I love doing this. And then you see, I'm, I'm not fixed. It doesn't say, right, you've got to produce this with it. Uh -huh. You've got to do that. But what I will do is that's just on the opposite Lou. side. You know, Lou, that's, that's beautiful. Why I love working with you is you show techniques and they are so achievable. And it's every time I work with you, it's the kind of thing I want to get home and give it a go. Because this is looks stunning, but I think anyone watching right now, if you go for the one day special, this would be one of your starting points of uh, inspirations that you could go on and make. But they're really, really easy. I think that's the, one of the main, main things about art. We've, if you make it look like you can't do it, then you're going to put people off. But if yeah. you show people little ways that you've learned how to do it, uh -huh. all you're going to do is inspire them to do it themselves. I like that. So that's what you've got to do. Now, all I'm going to do is do the opposite. Now, on this side, I've done, in, um, I pulled the colour in. On this side, I've put, I'm pulling the colour out. So we're doing what we call negative painting. Right. And I just want to show you that you can do exactly the same. I like this one, the negative painting, because it keeps the flower or whatever you've chosen to do, mm. the colour, and it darkens the background. And this is just pulling it out now. And the green now shows all the white tones in the background. Oh, yes. So you don't... I'm using a brush here that's got about four airs on it, so I think I'll change my brush just for a minute. Okay. Otherwise, we'll be here forever. And I'll just show you with a bigger brush what I mean. So okay. I can really go to town with it now and put that. It's almost like a tea wash, but it's yeah. actually green. But because it's with pink, it doesn't look um, yeah. like it doesn't look green. It looks more like a vintage colour. So I'm just pulling this out here, but it's the pink of a flower staying there. Oh. And all I'm doing is pulling. And this sort of gives me the focal point if I, I wanted to put it. a sentiment here. It makes it look here. 3D, Lou. This is incredible. Yeah. It, and suddenly yeah. now, and also and with that colourway, it's given it a bit of a vintage vibe. Exactly. And mm. that's exactly what I wanted to say about, um, I was saying 
to Katie about creating a really nice journal page. You might not want you might not want to do a finished journal page, but you might not know what you want to do. But if you've got something like this, it's yeah. inviting you, and it is interesting. You say, oh, I could do that, and I could do that, and I could do that. Whereas if it's just a white page. So playing like this really enhances and inspires you. Now, I'm going to do a vignette. A vignette is really simple. And a vignette is where you pull it out to nothing. Normally, it would be around the outside to nothing. So you'd normally get a vignette on a photograph. Yeah. But a vignette is just basically doing it so that you can't see the water transfer, transferring or the, the colours bleeding. That's how I see it. There's probably a better way of saying it, but I'm just going to do around the edge and just show you then. And then hopefully you'll be able okay. to see all the, the white. Now here is where I did mainly okay. white and a change. So you'll be able to see down here how using a darker colour, pink, right. is really... Um, but you'll see it now come out. Oh, yeah. Katie, um, Katie, my producer, was telling a nice story now. She was saying, you know, with vignette, for years yeah. she thought vignette was something you put on a salad. Well, I, I still, yeah, vinaigrette, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. I asked, when I said they were taking a picture of me, I don't know if it was Crime Watch, I don't know what it was for, but <laughs> right. anyway. Other shows um, are, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and they said, what, what would you like us to do with it? And I said, I want a soft focus. Mm. And they said, well, what sort, what do you mean? I said, well, I, I believe you put tights round your frame. Can I have 60 denya? So they were like laughing. Because <laughs> um, they said, no, it's not that sort of stocking. I yeah. said, that. And, and it was just the idea. And I had the idea of them putting a pair of tights on the lens. But apparently there's not. There's other ways. Oh, I, I think that's how yeah, they used to do it, It's a though. soft sort of focus, yeah, yeah. but if you can see now, I've got a beautiful sort of vintage page. And just to show you, uh -huh. uh, there, that's how it started. So, you know, a bit of paint, oh, the stamp, pretty. and the stencil. And I've not used much, really. I know the watercolours, but a little bit of gesso. Yeah. But, you know, in a few minutes, you've got that. And then what you can do is some beautiful watercolours on the top. So it's a really nice way of working. Lou, um, that's yep. so good. So really, doing, genuinely great demonstration there. I love that. You're doing a recap now? Or? Yeah, you know me well, Lou. Uh, we're going to do a quick recap, and then we're going to get straight back to Lou. But what a great demonstration. Now, I've got to tell you, the journal... Lou is working on the journal page. We are approaching limited stock. Check this out for a journal. I love the actual cover of the journal, and I would be decorating that. And I know a lot of you at home, when you get it home, you will make it your own. But when we start opening it up, it's ring bound, so you've got all your pages. You're getting 25 sheets in total, 300 GSM, so they will take a lot that you throw at them. And how Lou was saying, how she likes to work is open it up. Lift out your sheet, you can work on it, and then put it back in. So this is your art journal just screaming to be used. So what about keeping this to one side? And every time you see Lou, Leone, Catherine, all the great crafters, Haley, all the great crafters that come to Ho Chanda and demonstrate, then you can demonstrate the technique within the book. Okay, so I will just close it up. But the art journal, very, very busy. $16.99 is your price. We are approaching limited stock there. One day special. We are getting close to limited stock here as well. Forty-eight ninety-two your price, but there is a freedom price on here as well. It's beautiful, genuinely, genuinely beautiful collection. I, I tend to find um, as a crafter, you know when you see something. So you know when you see a collection. Like when I walked into the studio, you see it and it gets you. There's something you just connect with the work. You're like, I want to work with this release. So let's go in depth and see. Now you can get individual options. Uh, I think actually we've lost one of the individual options. So we will focus on it as a whole and then anything I'm showing you I will tell you individual options here. So this comes to an individual option where you're getting this beautiful script and you're also getting the sunflowers in there as well. Sunflower, now we are limited stock here. The sunflower is such a beautiful flower. It's just so vibrant. You can get all those lovely yellows and oranges in there and sort of organic colors. Great with it if, you've got, if you're lucky enough to get hold of the watercolor palette. But look at all the other elements that we have in there. So there's a little scribble down there. Actually, I'm going to turn this around and show you because we need to see this. So it's actually a signature. So you've got a signature in there. 
There's your signature. You've got a little flourish, a corner flourish, uh, another lovely flourish, a uh, texture, a sentiment, that beautiful sunflower. So all of those on one stamp is beautiful. That is a lovely set. So the stamp set got me, love the stencil as well. Uh, you've got an individual option, 11.98, your price saving three pounds, but we are limited stock. It is included in the complete collection. You're getting a further saving on top of that three pounds. Then we move on to another stunning flower. Uh, this is the Dahlia with the grunge. So I like the fact with regard to the stencils, they're all a little bit different. So we've gone from the script to the grunge. This, this is cool. I'd be, I'd be getting this on my jelly plates. So I like that as a stencil. But then we have these beautiful stamps as well. I mean, that's another exquisite flower. There's a butterfly in there. There's a stamp. Dahlia, lovely sort of mandala. Okay, so that is another individual option, 11.98 your price, saving another three pounds. So our savings up to six pounds now as we progress on. Ooh. Then we've got a peony. I'm just gonna show you. Now this is what um, Lou was working with. And I know we're joking around, but genuinely look at the size of the actual flower. It's a bit, and the reason why I say that, it's great for an impact on a card, but if you're taking on a bigger project, so scrapbooking, journaling, your pages in your journal, it's not gonna get lost. It's a really impactful, beautifully uh, detailed uh, stamp. You're also getting the flourish in there as well, the sentiment, all of these sort of accompanying stamps, your work stamps, your leaves, you're gonna build a beautiful scene. And how stunning is that as a stencil? So those two together for $13.98, absolute deal, really is. Uh, and the last option we're going to show you, it did sell out individually, so you can only get this part of the complete. We will brief, uh, bring details up on the complete for you. So $48.92, you're able to get hold of the violet. Uh, it's the violet and there is another part to it. Uh, violet and floral that we're getting there. Lou mentioned something, she's absolutely right. Have you noticed, like with those stencils, each one sort of takes you through a different era. That is wonderful, a bit Jane Eyre about it. Then you've got the wonderful stamps in there too. So this set you can only get as part of the complete collection. How much, I mean, the thing with Studio Lights, they always give us a great price. Typically here at the craft store, if we were to offer you a stamp set of that size, I mean, you'd be looking at, what, $14.99 just for that alone. So individually, when we did have it in stock, I think it was like $13.99 for that and the stencil. So Studio Light always give us great value. Keeping that in mind, and I'm not going to tell you the full price on this, because I want everybody to take advantage of freedom. I'm, I'm saving you money here. As a freedom member, you are saving money. I know you have to pay for freedom membership. I know the price, and it wasn't down to us. Uh, the price of freedom membership went up recently, I think last month. But even with all those factors in place, you'll be saving money becoming a freedom member if you're not already, uh, already a freedom member. Your total savings as a freedom member, 19 pounds and 89 pence. 19 pounds and 89 pence. And when you think about it, that's more than one of the sets by themselves. Uh, we are limited stock for the one day special. I'm looking at the time. Ooh, okay, look, we'll probably hold on to the one day special for this hour, but genuinely, as a deal, I, lo I love the designs. The stencils, the stamps, I love all of it, I really do. Uh, and the price with Studio Lights is always so, so good. So please become a Freedom member. Take a look at your Flexi payment. As a Freedom member today, your first Flexi payment is 22 pounds and two pence. 22 pounds and two pence, we send everything out to you, getting all four stamp sets, all four stencils, absolute bargain. Lou, we're gonna head back to you. We've got around about seven, eight minutes. Oh, brilliant. All I've done is I've got forest moss distress. Okay. And I've just stamped it onto the pink paper. So. And this is I've working with the peony again? Yeah, the peony. Yeah. I've just thought because it's here and, you yeah, know, we've okay. not got much no, time. Good. You yeah. could use this with any stamp. And that's then I'm stunning. just going to pull out. And I thought the green, if you wanted just a really beautiful, quick, um, to do card but really elegant then this is the easiest mm -hmm. way so keep into the greens and the pinks again if you've got some pencil cranes pull out the pinks and just have a little play with the colors now it's always important that i always have a swatch and i always pull out the swatch oh, that's good and idea. just have a look at the colors i want now i know that's going to go with the 
Okay. Um, that one might. Some pinks don't. Some pinks don't blend well, speaking, itself too Luz, well. Speaking of pinks, I just want to let everyone know, and we said we would do this, a couple, and I do yep. mean a couple of the watercolour palettes have jumped back out of baskets, so it will be a fast wow. fingers first. They sold out, and it's something, Lou, whenever they sell out, Lou always gets emails saying, when will they gonna bring, bring that back in stock? So as it stands, literally two have jumped back out. Details at the bottom of your screen, $16.99, Fastest fingers first for the watercolours. Sorry, Lou. No, I was absolutely gobsmacked at how nice this paper is to, to draw on, to colour on. It's just so nice. And all I'm doing is I'm using my dark one first. I will take it a little bit darker. And because it, the paper's pink, I really, really don't have to do much. So if I just take it quite dark in smooth movements, not anything too heavy. If you've got a tarty on grey, if you haven't, don't worry. You could use a cotton bud, but you can blend it out. And then that way, that is all you need to do. You basically, you're just following the lines on the stamp. You don't need to do anything else. Where mm. it sort of passes underneath or next to something that creates a shadow, leave it leave it a little bit darker and then a little bit lighter up here and then blend and so is this the that, um, paper that from the paper pads you're working on yeah absolutely Lovely. this is the pastel color yeah. and i'm just going a little bit deeper i just wanted to say you know if you didn't manage to get the watercolors then this pink any color you want it's absolutely beautiful for using with your pencils now what i can do is put a lighter pink with it as well mm. so I've got the pink of the paper, the pink of the light and the dark. And this, honestly, it's like silk. And and most people have got coloured pencils or, and if you haven't, you know, I, I bring you some really nice ones. But mm -hmm. I just wanted to show you how lovely it really is. This paper is so nice to use. Yeah, on, like use. And when you think that you've got all the choices, um, like I said, there's not a duff one, seriously not a duff one. And you, it's not made hard for you because the lightness of the paper is, instead of it being white, it's pink. So you've got the white light colour already. I could sit here for hours, but you can basically, to really, you won't be able to see this much, but I'm just going over all of it. Now, normally you'd be able to see that, but I'm using the light pencil and then I'm putting a bed down. It's a bit like a foundation. So it's a foundation layer that sort of sets it up. Then I'm going to my, my next one. You can go to the middle one if you want. Yeah. That might be too bright. But then because I've already got that pencil, if I put the darker one on now, uh -huh. it's even easier. Oh yeah. So even if I press quite hard, but because I've already put the other one on, it's now a lot softer. So. If you leave it light where it's at the top and dark next to it, I'll go even darker just to show you. You've now got instant shading. Nice. And that's two colours. And that's not difficult. And then go back over where there's all the lines. So really, the paper pad, if you're just thinking of it yeah. as a matte and layering, I mean, please don't. It works with just different mediums. I mean, I'm thinking watercolors, pencils, whatever you have in Absolutely. your stash works well with the stamps. Uh, I'm conscious of the fact, time everybody, we are limited there stock go. uh, with well, regard to our fantastic one day special. Got about four I minutes, hope that, that Oh, brilliant. And I can show you now, even the green goes well on there. But that looks really classic. I mean, if I wanted to now, I could do like a vignette round it and I could use something um, like Victorian velvet or something, just a very fine one. Now, I am very aware that you may not see this, but this is just something I cut out. And I'm just going to place that round and I'm just going to bring... So what I'm doing, instead of creating an inward... I'm creating a halo. I've, I've, I've always used halos on the work and stuff. Kind of so spotlighting. Yeah, it is. Oh, wow, yeah. It is. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know your stuff. I you. don't know. When just, you look at it like this, Because I've done shows really with you done. and you talked about it. All right. <laughs> so here I've got some bits that are a bit dodgy, but this will go with the overall feel of it. And again, 
what I would suggest you do is get your brushes. We've all got these now. Let me get an, I've got what these are brilliant and you can use these. So I've got a little bit of blue on this and I'm just going to soften it out just a little bit, not too much. I don't want to go mad with it, but it's now created that lovely. Oh, that's nice. Halo. The flowers and are really nice, Lauren. Do you know what I like? Because you've got effectively four distinct flowers in the one day special stamp form, they will all complement each other nicely. So if you put them all together, you could create something very special. You can. And, okay. and just to show you that you, the, the distress inks and then the pencil, you get this wonderful, again, yeah. wonderful sort of shading happening. And all I've done is basically used what's, what's left on my palette these and a couple of pencils you like and those anyone pencils, children anyone can do this yeah. anyone just it's save the video and have a look at me doing what i've done with the darker one and honestly yeah. it's it's just so mindful and rewarding well, and it looks elegant as well and it's going to go in my sketchbook now i'm going to put that in yeah. there i could even put it on top of that oh you could oh that's pretty Lovely. Yeah, put it in the journal. Lou, I'll let you turn your camera around because time has beaten us and we want to say goodbye properly. I really hope you've enjoyed the show. It's such a good release with regard to the one day special. Now we're just going to flash details for the paper pads. Pick a mix. You're choosing any two and wait till you see the price. 10.98, uh, 10.48, sorry, for two. Uh, really nice choices here. So going through, you've got your brights, your pastels, your naturals. I don't know why that's called Christmas, because don't see it as Christmas. And the only reason I'm saying that, of course you could use it for your Christmas makes, but it's more like a vintage set. So it's, you're not just restricted to Christmas uh, in there. Just really nice color tones going through. So they've been busy. The One Day Special's been so busy as well. Janini is so good as a designer. And what she's done is she's given us the center theme of the uh, collection, those floral, uh, beautiful florals. So the violets, the peony, you've got the beautiful dahlia, and then the sunflower. Those are all stunning, iconic flowers. But not only that, you have the wonderful elements around it, and then you have all these beautiful st uh, stencils. I just love this as a, as a one-day special. Genuinely love it. Lou, thank you so much. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure. When yep, are you I've back? I've got a date back in now. I'm in on the 17th, so I'm looking forward to seeing everybody then. Brilliant. What are we going to be doing on the 17th? Um, I've got talons. Ooh. Oh, it's going to be good. And Lou, it's going, to be lovely. it's going to be lovely having you back in the studio as well. I know. Can't oh. wait. I can't wait. But it's called gouache. 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 Yeah. Gouache. Uh, gouache. Oh, I remember I just... the, the gouache. We did a show together, yeah. the gouache, you were killing me. Oh, you, the I call it gouache, but yeah. I love gouache, Go. and then, oh, whatever, tomato, mm. tomato. Lou, thank whatever. you so much. Hey. You take hey. care, Lou. We've got to let you go, but thank you so much, Lou. Bye. Uh, Thanks, so Lou, everyone. Back in the studio on the 17th. We're going to be looking forward to that. Thank you so much for your company. Uh, don't forget to check out your baskets. It genuinely is a very good one-day special. I promise you won't be disappointed. So, uh, coming up next, we've got Simply Vintage and the lovely Melissa and Paula. After that, I'm going to be hanging out. Uh, oh, no, sorry, we've got the uh, One Day Special Fabric Freedom, and then I'm going to be hanging out with Hayley. So don't Hello, my name's Stuart, and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business, and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high-quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. 
we aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. On our shows, I hope to bring you many hints and tips and techniques to inspire you, the crafter, at home. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows. Good afternoon. We, well, I have been very, 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 very excited. So if I speak a little bit too speedy, uh, that will be because of my excitement. Because, of course, is uh, well, we have got Simply Vintage here in the house with Melissa. Hello, Hello Melissa. Hello, my lovely. Uh, I was really excited because I was saying, like, I don't think we have worked together, but I no. feel we have because I have been a massive fan watching your shows for oh, many thank years. You. Thank you. Now, we've always been in the studio together, so we've, like, waved at each other, yeah. but we've never actually... Yeah. Have a show together. Yeah, absolutely not. And it's, it's so great to finally uh, get to, uh, to do a show with you because one of the things that always, and I think many people uh, at home will relate to this, have uh, you know, been attracted to, to you at Simple Vintage is the fact that you bring something unique in every kit. Mm. Every single kit is pretty much different. Yeah, uh, because I always add the vintage element to it. I add vintage bits and pieces or it's all vintage every single one will be different because obviously with book pages and, and fabric pieces they're not always the same so i i have a i bring collections of things and and then they're all collated together to make a nice little pack so they're all similar but different exactly yeah. and, and as it should be as yeah. life should be and this is what makes it even more and more beautiful including of course the first <coughs> bundle that we are looking at which is simply vintage uh, summer stash uh, summertime stash box uh, now of course this is the one of the place for instance that uh, book place that will be different yes. every time yeah exactly there are usually bring um, botanicals or nature um, plates uh, from from the books which could date back to late 1800s upwards so I, I just think the colors in them are beautiful the designs are stunning and you can use them in so many different elements even if you don't use it as a book page or in your paper crafting you can use it as in inspiration for stitching anything it's absolutely sunny. I love. So, for instance, we are getting doilies. Uh, we have got lace. Incredibly busy the last hour. Of course, you were here. Is it nine o'clock? I was here at nine o'clock this morning. Yes, oh. and then a, a sneaky surprise one at five. So I'm very excited. <laughs> yeah. And of course, you can watch it and rewind uh, on the website thecraftstore.com at that show. Now, some I mean, we are getting so much in here. We are getting fabric, paper. We are getting what is exactly is silk? That it's silk. Yeah, it's a sari. Um, kind of a recycled sari yarn so it's um it's from the most wonderful um company over in india and they recycle all the saris and they, it's a very good community product and they they put it into yarns you have sari silks that I should, which will be in one of most of the packs as well and they're beautiful to use and you know that they've you know they've been they're saving beautiful fabrics from from landfill yeah, and absolutely yeah, providing work i, I love saris by the way this oh, is such a beautiful they have got such a history I have a small collection of them actually and then look at where yeah, you could create a journal and now very busy half the stock has gone for this bundle uh, you can see oh, i love how you incorporate look at that now yeah. also one of the things that i always thought when watching your shows is the fact that you can uh, you know, like, for instance, I don't have much from my grandparents, mm -hmm. but I have got a couple of pictures and yeah. a couple of things. So this could be very much in keeping to keep those memories. Yeah, a huge part of what I do, I love the fact that people can take things out of the cupboard or things that they've kept in memory boxes um, and bring them out and put them into your work, into your crafting, into your in, 
um, items that you'll make and then you've got them on display and you're using them because it's a great shame just to have them sat around in, in cupboards and things. I mean, know. I adore as well these beautiful nature box oh. as well, different things. So have you done this with different elements that there were in a box? Yeah, basically. All of the different samples that are there have been used, I've used the different um, packs that we have, but mainly from the stash pack there. I mean, look and at that. I love how bits of quilts as well. Yeah. It's, it is a big passion of mine. I adore kind of the vintage Durham quilts. They were mainly handmade, so you've got beautiful craftsmanship. And then we come along and we add to it. So rather than it going to waste or sitting around, we add our kind of crafting, our slow stitching, Absolutely uh, gorgeous, unique, complete creations because, yeah. of course, uh, there are going to be variations in terms of what plate you are going to get or what design. I kind of go with the old fashioned way of describing the book plates in there. Yeah. And yeah. of course, you have uh, also fabrics in here, absolutely beautiful felt as well. Well, that's actually a, um, an old blanket. Oh, so, uh, of course. kind of 1920s to, to 50s, they had the most beautiful blankets. Uh, and we still do have them today, yeah. but uh, they, they've, they appear and, and you can find the most beautiful colours. And that's what draw, draws me to them and to work with them, which we'll do in a little while. Oh, fabulous. It's fabulous because it is, it's pure wool. It, we're reusing it again, so it's not going to waste. And to work with it because it's been... Over the years, it's been washed and worn. Mm -hmm. It's got them. It is felt basically. Exactly. It is an amazing bundle. And of course, what do we get in here? In the room? That is, there's some gorgeous wallpaper. Can we open it? Yeah, take them out because it's a beautiful linen print. And uh, these are <laughs> people do laugh at me because I do stash things away for a very long time because I think, oh, I really like these. I'm going to do something with them. And I had hundreds of these. That is going to make into something. I Can I say, what. I love the way that it is. Yep. I would kind of use the writing for yes. something, some background. And it feels like kind of a uh, herringbone con sort of yes. pattern in here. Very small, beautiful. very subtle, but incredibly beautiful. Everything has been curated. It feels yes. like it's a little, kind of a little box of treasure. And now, if you want to go for the summertime a stash box, uh, and here you have your details, 244-875 is your item number. 25 four pounds and 99 pence is your price right then we have a delightful um, beautiful the decorative element that once you kind of have it it's the kind of thing that it's functional but also yeah. I would have it in the living room or something they like that great don't they and the colors again these this is these are come from the blanket um, and I adore these colors they're very 1940s um, they've got that beautiful you've got dusky pink beautiful dusky blue and a lovely kind of sagey green almost and they just work together and so to embroider into them to make them into something and like you say they'll just sit there you'll have pride of place next to your um yeah, I, lo I love the idea. I love that presentation of the book and then something yeah. on top of it. I just <laughs> love that. Uh, now, of course, there is three different options. The pink, the blue, and the green. The blue and the green did sell out in the previous hour, and they are back on extended delivery dispatch from the 18th of May. But very busy for them as well. So if you want, please make sure to check out your baskets. I love what you have done in here as well. So do we get any kind of a pattern or? Yes, you get a full guide there. There's, um, you get a stitch guide with all of the kits, uh, which shows you the different stitches. And they're actually, because all of those have come from a 1940s pattern book. Uh, and so I've kind of taken some of those patterns and changed them around a little bit. And I've put in your stitch guide, you actually are, you have all the original um, patterns as well. But on top of that, you get the full guide as to how to make each product. And, and I believe you also demonstrated that at 9 a.m. I did, yes. So, so do catch it on Absolutely, up to for uh, 60 days on the uh, craftstore.com website. And of course, you are getting the embroidery thread and of course, that gorgeous. Sorry, I forgot. No, that's absolutely fine. So in, in the UK, we call them Suffolk Puffs. Suffolk? Suffolk, so from the puffs. area Suffolk Puffs. Yes, yes, Suffolk Puffs. Um, but in America, where these ones came from, they're actually called yo-yos. Yo-yos? Yo-yos. Oh. Yeah, fabulous. It's yeah, such a great yeah, yeah. name. They're like the yo-yos? Yeah. yeah. Um, oh. And they, uh, this, this set actually came from uh, an amazing um, yo-yo blanket. So somebody sat from old feed sacks in 19, it was between 19, 
um, late 1920s to the 1940s, they sat and stitched all of those out of the old feed sacks. Um, uh, no, a beautiful. It's a huge, it's a great story. Oh, and, you know, don't get me on it. But yeah, <laughs> they're, love, love they're fantastic. So there's huge age to them. Did and then they make a big quilt out of them. I love that. Uh, right, of course, if you want, uh, and also, of course, you are getting the fabulous yeah. vintage. Now, that will vary. Your cups will vary. Yeah, they're all um, sourced by me because I, I, you, okay. I adore vintage china. So, yes, um, you get uh, one of the cups. It will be nice and perfect and nicely boxed as well for you. Uh, they're all going to be floral, but they will have different designs. And I match them to the colours um, in, the, in the packs there as well. So everything will tone in. I love them. <laughs> and of course, they can have a different variation. I love that. that you, it's just going to be absolutely stunning. Uh, now, 3894-429 uh, is your item number. Uh, the pink, 50% of the stock has gone. This is immediate dispatch. The, of course, the green and the blue uh, have extended delivery because they have sold out once. If you do not want to miss, there's only one way to check out your baskets. And if you are a fan of blue, then you should be checking those baskets even quicker because, of course, it's on the lead. Uh, in the lead, not on the lead, in the lead. Uh, three nine four uh, four two nine. In the lead, right? No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> okay no, I have got this confusion <laughs> with in or on. Anyway, moving on to the next bundle. Uh, now, of course, we have got the embroidery uh, pouch kit here. Again, three different options, I believe. Um, now, of course, we have got the pink, the blue, and the green option in here. Now, uh, so we get a pouch itself, right? You do, yeah. It's a, it's a lovely little pouch which everything comes in. So you've got all the bits inside to make whatever you want to do with. And we'll have a little play um, with this kit shortly. And then the pouch itself, it's great because then you can just start playing with yourself and Absolutely. so we'll, we'll decorate one of those up as well love that and of course you have got the pouch in here uh, now the blue option 30 percent of the stock approaching 30 percent of the stock has gone if you want that one well you know what to do also it could you would you recommend this as a kind of a beginner's kit because for 12.99 it's uh, it's huge beginners all of the kits um, really are perfect for beginners if you if you stitch a lot, they'll be great because you can go to town with it. If you've never stitched before, then everything is step by step. So you will have all the information and it's really simple. You can even glue, you know, there's, there's, all, there's ways and means of doing it. You don't have to be a, a really high end seamstress or anything. Absolutely. Very simple. Very simple. All right, remember the three options. 237652 is your item number. £12.99 pence, which for whatever option you want. Uh, then we are moving on to oh, the, every kid is like, no, this is my favorite. <laughs> oh no, I love this one even more. Uh, like chocolate. It's like chocolate. You know, you can never have, you know, it's always favorites. Uh, now in here we get in the stitch work inspiration pack approximately 30 elements now this feels incredibly varied but can you talk us through the inspiration behind it yeah so this this kit has been with me since almost the beginning of me being on the channel um, and it it's for the kind of slow stitching it's all about the pastels the pale colors the beautiful textures of vintage fabrics so there will be silks pure cottons um, laces you've oh, got there there's embroidery pieces in it, lots of buttons, um, but they're all in those beautiful muted pastel, um, very pale colours. Absolutely. And it is for your slow stitch. You can do all sorts of, of different projects. Um, wow. Add to your own, pro you can use it for mixed media, you know, so yes. you're adding to your own um, projects with these kits. Look, I love the little elements like this, which is a card of a bigger piece, yeah. right? Yeah, so we take, I, I, I spend a lot of time taking the smaller bits out of, again, destroyed linens and things that would just go, um, oh, be thrown away, but you take out that work. A lot of the, the embroidery is hand-worked, so we're kind of saving it, and we're using it on our project. I mean, it, like I was looking at this beautiful, delicate, intricate, I mean, lace, it's just incredible. And I'm just thinking, just even folding like this, and maybe on a bookmark or yeah. something like this would be absolutely stunning and delicate. Or it's just so many different ways of using. And I love the different texture. This reminds me of a Spain. Yes. That's so, edge, yeah. That's so, is, uh, 
embroidery on glaze. Yeah, no, well, it has got another name in Spanish, but I forgot <laughs> which one it is. It's like a crochet edge uh, glaze. I think yeah. it's caja de bolillos, creo que that's it. Uh, now, uh, three quarters of the stock of this glorious bundle uh, has gone. If you want yours, twelve ninety nine is all you're paying, especially if you're a Freedom member, because you're not paying P and pay. Uh, 400173 is your item number for that. Now we have got more, more beautiful, delightful uh, kits. Now we have got a uh, texture vintage inspirations, and of course uh, these ones are incredible. And now this one we have got a little bit color. It's, yeah, this is all about the texture, the feel of all the um, bits and pieces in it. Um, I debuted it in my last show last, I think it was April, um, and it was really popular. So I've brought it back this afternoon because. Every kit will be slightly different again, but what I'm focusing on this is the beautiful textures. So you've got the wool blanket, you've got the quilt pieces, you've got beautiful shiny um, curtain fabric, which can be used for, uh, it's great for book covers, all sorts of bits, stunning lace. Uh, I mean, that that's actually from um, a bridal veil. Wow, um, maybe you should do something like that. It's fantastic just to, you know, have I mean, yeah. just, just to sit and, and absolutely, play, I think it's absolutely stunning, and I, lo I love the kind of like you were saying, the curtain fabric that it has got all the different elements, the different thicknesses, the different weights, the mm. different feels to it, and of course you have got the yo-yo. I kind of thought that this is like <laughs> I gotta go. Uh, now uh, this is really, really beautiful variety of textures, colors, but it has that palette that blends yeah. beautifully together. Uh, gorgeous, and I brought it back because it does tone in again with the kits that we've just had um, previously you've got those beautiful muted blues and greens and pinks in there is that um, silk as well that's the uh, sari it's sari silk but some of it is um real silk some of it's poly silk yeah. you know th there's lots Absolutely, of different yeah. um, bits and pieces in there um, but again it's a plain color it takes dye beautifully um, play around with it you know make it use it for all sorts of different projects there's that's some dupion awesome. silk Pure oh. Dupion silk there as well. It's tied up in a little um, bow, little mm. strands, and that's at, that's absolutely stunning to add into slow stitching projects. Yeah, this is this is just like I, I mean, I kind of if you're thinking if you're doing a mixed media, this yeah. is what you want to have added, and you could dye it if you wanted yeah. because it's natural. Because fibers, it's but you could leave it as it is as well. It's absolutely stunning. Reminds me of Marrakesh that has got beautiful silk uh, markets with like threads and oh, beautiful. Zero nine eight three three five is your item number. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence is your price for this fabulous bundle. I just want to start crafting yeah. with it. It, it that's the, that's the beauty of these kits is you you do you kind of like play with them you and you think what can I make with them what can I what can I do you know this this will lend itself to this this will be fantastic for that so that's the kind of idea be, behind certainly the, the textile um, texture textile exactly. kits. <laughs> I didn't help myself when I named it did I really <laughs> so it's, it's all about what it feels like you know if you're making um, gifts to give you know gift wrapping even it's just beautiful to feel and it to is add to any now i'm also a big fan of this one mm -hmm. uh this is the original uh, vintage uh, images uh now this one i mean I ha i'm drawn immediately to this swatch yeah because it's liberty silk isn't it, it? is yes oh, I, um, have a I always like to bring a bit of liberty in uh yeah. and so with this pack uh, and <laughs> this is more uh, a modern uh, Liberty silk, but you get three swatches in there, and it feels stunning. I'm gonna um, and even on the back, it's, it's got Liberty print, so you can use it for your card <sighs> making as well. Look at that! I mean, I just kind of think that even if you fussy cut elements <gasps> into it, and a beautiful ah, <gasps> it oh, die cuts as well. Actually, the the silk die cuts of really course. well. Yeah. Also, I could do like an art journal with yeah. them as well. Be Absolutely beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. And of course, you have those patterns. Now, the patterns itself and the images will be different, right? Everything will be different. Um, you get three of these pages. And they came out of, um, there's two books that I'm, I'm using. One is 1954, 
and I think one is 1961. So it'll be um, a mixture of those. And they were the original pattern books that you would go to the department store, the haberdashers, and choose your patterns from. So you're not actually getting the dress patterns. You are getting the beautiful illustrations because they knew how to draw women back then. You know, I mean, it was the, the tiny waist um, on the dresses. Oh, yes. <laughs> not achievable now, but um, they look stunning. Absolutely stunning. And, of course, it will be all different. All different, different yeah. And you have a mixture of, of the larger figures, the smaller figures, so you can make cards like you have there, um, or you can do larger pieces as well. Absolutely gorgeous. A smile is the most attractive thing to wear, indeed. But if you can wear dresses like this, that's even better. I know, wouldn't it be fantastic? <laughs> Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Uh, beautiful, and of course you are getting the beautiful elements in here, the pattern paper as well. Pattern paper. Put some of the original vintage pattern papers from different patterns in there because they're great to use as backgrounds um, and to do different projects with as well. And they've got the, the markings on them lend themselves to crafting beautifully. Nice. Absolutely gorgeous. If you want to go for the 1950s pattern vintage images, there you have it. £14.99. and pence. Remember that it will be completely unique to uh, different ones from uh, each other. So you not, will not get these necessarily these ones, but it will be 1950s. Absolutely stunning, uh, beautiful plates. And as well, of course, the uh, gorgeous paper. Uh, 723545 is your item number. And of course, you will find this and everything else on the website, thecraftstore.com. And there you you will find everything by sim Simply Vintage, including the digital downloads. Absolutely in love with the Shakespeare flower images, uh, digital downloads. So you kind of, uh, you put it in your basket and then of course you can check out and you will have your link uh, to access them. And you can print them as many times as you want and make to sell as well. Then we have got, of course, the eph ephemera. I will go, always go Spanish with ephemera. ephemera. Uh, images uh, digital download and of course uh, animal images digital download as well and of course we have got the floral images a uh, digital uh, over there as well different item numbers for each one of those ones so make sure that you have a look and look at those five star reviews so you know they are going to be fabulous to print, get and print out and remember depending on your printer you might be able to print in different materials including fabric because I think you have uh, done that. yeah there's a couple of samples though and the, the little cushion in the background um, you can get some amazing um, uh, a paper pack but basically you put in your inkjet printer yeah. uh, and it, uh, it's I, I don't know how it works it's, it's magic but you put it in and you print it off and you can sew with it yeah, it's amazing it's right now of course we are eager to see uh, what okay. you are going to show us so what right. are you gonna do? well we'll start off with some of the beautiful wool blankets and I, I just wanted to do a, a slightly different demo to earlier because it is so lovely to use. And because it's a really nice thick wool felt, uh, wool, and it's over the years, as we say, it's felted down. Um, so it's beautifully warm if you, as a blanket, but it is great to stitch with because you don't need to hem it. You don't need to do anything to the edges. They do stay very, very is nice. Is this from the Inspiration Pack? This is actually from two different packs oh. the one that you're standing in front of the summer pack oh, the summer some pack. of it in there and there's also um in the texture textile pack that we so have at the other end the summer one is this one that you can see that we started to show and of course the uh the inspiration pack the is, textile texture is a textile. one was the one with all the with all the different silks and the laces and oh, the things course. that are in colors so that it's so it's actually in both packs so if you had either pack, you can make anything okay, uh, like this. Um, so I'm going to make a little envelope. Um, okay. And they, it's really super easy to make. Um, and I will aim to get this printed up and put into the um, Facebook group if anybody does want to make okay. it, because it is really simple. We've got a lovely little pouch here. Um, and I've done it as a little, um, uh, a little envelope, as if we're sending it to somebody turn it around the right way then you can kind of see oh, uh, and then we've got the envelope and you can use it as a little pouch because it'll open up look yes, at that. there we go That's you can so use lovely. it as a little storage pouch really really super easy to do so I've taken literally a square of of the fabric we don't need to do any we can do decorative stitching we don't need to actually seal okay. the edges and um, ignore my little string there because that was just to show me where I do my first Folds. lift up so we're going to 
fold the bottom corner up and you can either fold the outsides in like this okay. or you do it the other way fold those in and bring that up Perfect. which I'm going to do and that then way. this is just the bit where you need to pin it before you stitch it in so we'll hold it in and just pin those along so we know that it's going to stay there now this is where I mentioned if you don't do sewing if you're not a stitcher you don't want to stitch you can glue it you can use an acrylic glue a fabric glue um, a clear glue and it will stick but we're going to stitch it I've got the largest needle and thread here um, and we're just going to go do an over stitch all the way along now earlier shows yes. I do I in, in in my other in my other life I do have to do ah. neat stitching Okay. Um, what is your other life? Well, or, one uh, of them. I've got many, oh. but one of them I do make costumes yeah. um, for the theatre. Oh, um, and so I have to be neat and precise and yes. do all of those kind of clever things and read patterns and sometimes. And, um, and so this is my pleasure of, of stitching for fun. So I don't want it to be neat. I, I do want there to be wonky stitches. And I think it just lends, this kind of stitching lends itself to um to a bit of crazy had so stitching. much character being a kind yeah. of irregular and again if you if you're not a confident stitcher i mean i'm whipping through this quite quickly um just so we can get on to the next stage um if you're not a confident stitcher it doesn't matter this can take you days to make or it could take you an hour 20 minutes however however competent you are but it's about enjoying it it's not about getting stressed about whether Absolutely. the two stitches are equal or not. And I think that's, that's all the beauty about doing, using vintage elements, that even if, you, you, even if they are perfect with your style, when you receive them, but you can make them a little bit more vintage even by yeah. adding new stuff. Totally. That, that, I mean, this is what we'll do on this. It is about adding all those elements. It brings it even, you know, this is a, a piece of blanket that's probably from the 1950s, but we'll add some buttons that are from maybe the 1890s, you know, so you will add, mix and match all of those different eras in. Oh, so. What era is your favorite then? I think 1950, 60. Ooh. I adore the patterns that you've got in front yeah. of you. They are my favorite. It's I like would. the new way from the Christian Dior's kind of. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah, the kind of the poodle yeah. skirts, all of that kind of era. I think if I, if I was to, you know, if I was to dress, I would be dressing in 1950s gear if I was to go the whole thing. Oh, yeah. I do often wear vintage style dresses, but yeah, I'm not built for vintage, actual vintage dresses, <laughs> I mean, sadly. Really of you are. <laughs> so yeah. I'll just take it, snip a couple of these bits off. So we have our basic pouch. Right. And it is as simple as that. We've done two sets of stitches and a couple of folds. Anybody can do it. It's great, isn't it? You know, you do what you would do with paper, but do it with fabric. And this is a perfect fabric to do it with because it's very forgiving. Um, you can do anything you like with it. So we'll add a bit of closures on here. And again, we've got the vintage buttons and they appear in the all three pretty much all of those kits that you have out apart from the the pattern pack we have the little vintage buttons and I always try to put the little pearl buttons because I yeah. love could, could them. you use maybe uh, like the beads uh, that we have got because yes that would be absolutely beautiful as well a few beads or maybe or or just one um, I would well on this one um, I've put a couple of the beads from um, one of the texture packs in so uh, uh, yeah you can use one two all of them you know uh, we have got stash them away. <laughs> <laughs> we have got an, a, a stock update on the inspiration, uh, the beautiful textile uh, inspiration uh, pack. Uh, now, if you wanted to go for this one, uh, now of course is the beautiful stitching de uh, with all the lay lays, of course, all white. Uh, is the is, sorry, is the stitch work inspiration pack with approximately 30 elements for 12.99. We are approaching 80% of the stock, so if you want to. Uh, get it to make sure that you get a do check out your baskets and with that back to you melissa thank you 
I do love bringing the stitch. I love making the stitch work kits, actually. They're a labour of love because oh. it is, um, there's a lot of ironing. Do you <laughs> use them for maybe gift cards or yeah. something like this? Um, on the back there, there's one of um, a lovely lady called Barbara who um, sends me, she makes little gift tags and things. And she make. I think they're just there. Are they just on the, next to that clipboard on the side? Oh, OK. Uh, yes, they yeah. yeah. She makes loads of different gift, gift tags for me out of all the different kits, and she uses a lot of, um, uh, I've forgotten the word, die cutting on ah. them as well. So she uses the bits that normally you wouldn't use, and she cuts into the laces. It's really clever. Ah. That's so pretty. Imagine doing things like this. And, of course, if you go for the textile... Uh, t um, which one was the inspiration? The white one. Uh, of course, you have all those lace elements as well. Uh, the stitch work inspiration, the one that is 80% of the st uh, stock at the just bottom of the screen. Back to you, Melissa. Thank you. Um, so we've just taken some of the sari yarn, and that is in our, um, our uh, the first kit that we have here, which is our summer stash box. Okay. And I've just literally taken a tiny loop of it, and I'm going to stitch it onto our inside. That's, that's it, such a clever use of that cord, that cell cord. It's just beautiful. It's just, it just gives, you know, you're using bits and pieces in, such, in, in different yeah. ways. So you've got a little fastener. Then you can use another button yeah. or, like you say, beads. Or what else have I got? My little treasure box. I'll bring out the little treasure box. I always hoard little tiny bits and pieces um oh, which i encourage everybody that. to do because it, you do and i suppose if people keep uh, you know they buy your kits more than once yeah. they start building on those yeah. kind of uh, you know tins of beautiful keep products. them in keep them in a little um yeah. places don't you know have a little bag of of things that you could you could use so glass buttons i mean i adore buttons anyway but Beautiful vintage glass buttons that have been used and worn. I love that. They look fabulous. So we'll add a little bit of. And this part is also. I was thinking, if you are doing memory books and things, and for you know, from a vintage photo for vintage photos as well, and you have got memorabilia, there could be. If it's something is fragile, you can keep them inside. Mm. Yeah, it, it's they, 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 these pouches have been. They've, they've come from one of the old kits that I used to do, which was to do paper pouches. So it's exactly that, Paola, exactly that. You want to um, yeah, use all your fabrics. Yeah. I, you know, the other thing I kind of think is it's a really good idea as well, or I think it's a good idea, probably nobody else who thinks that, uh, but it kind of uh, do a keychain. Yeah. So, the, so then you can have in there maybe... Maybe they're hand sanitizer. Maybe yeah. you have got. You Actually, know, yeah, that'd be a great one of those little mini pouches for it. Yeah, hmm. make it a bit more elegant to have. Um, so on the front of my little envelope, I'm going to pretend that we've we've sent it was sent to us in the Victorian era. So all I've got is just a a normal pen because I don't mind it bleeding because I'm not actually going to write. So I'm just going to pretend we've got a. Oh, nope. hey, that that looks like a fabulous handwriting to me. <laughs> mm, yeah, my actual handwriting is not great. My, yeah, mine is dreadful. So, all we're going to do, and this is where, so we've, we have that one. So this yeah, okay. one will pop in there. Now, to show that I don't always stitch very neatly, I'm going to use some solid glue. <gasps> And will that attach it to? <laughs> yeah, it's great. Um, so I'm going to attach it. Then I will go over with some decorative stitches, but it attaches it. You can use um, a fabric glue like um, that you would use for quilting. So, you know, temporary glue and yeah. then stitch it on. But I think, well, why? It just keeps it on really nicely. And then we can go in and do a couple of decorative stitches around so that it just anchors it in there. Look so I think that. on this one, let's cut my little end off. I'm going to be neat. Chop the little end. And these threads we do get in um, the uh, any of the um, kits with the blanket. So the the uh, pouch kit and the oh my brain's going teacup pincushion kit. Oh. You get your threads in there as well. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll just do a couple of little. 
And then, of course, if, if you want to substitute for other alternatives that you have got in other kits, I mean, this is kind of an inspiration of what you could be doing. Yeah. But there is, I, love, I, I love your trick of the uh, fake handwriting. <laughs> this thing is just so... Uh, we just, uh, a lot of the um, old postcards and things, which I don't think I've got with me, you know, you can barely read the writing on there anyway. Um, it's got writing on the back. Yeah, so this is a gorgeous... Lovely little picture. Yeah. And then on the back, we've got uh, writing that we just can't make out, yeah. really. So, which is probably good. What does it say? Uncle Frank. Yeah. Uncle Ferdinand Uncle. or something like Frank. that. So yeah. <laughs> Uncle Frank's but, but, boy lives in New England. Oh, Uncle Franklin. Oh, says that. All right. And these, are these actually were some beautiful um, original photos that were sent to me by Marie. Um, to use in projects, and I haven't managed to use them yet because they're so stunning. The they images. are absolutely gorgeous. Oh, right, is that okay if, if we do, uh, of course, a recap of course, now? That's yep. perfect. Thank you, Melissa. I will be back uh, with you in a second. Now, of course, we have got the textual uh, vintage texture. Oh, actually, this is difficult to pronounce. I need to read it. Textile texture. Ooh. Shall I say it properly? Simply Vintage Textile Textures, a Vintage Inspiration Pack. Do you try to read that when you, yeah, it's really, um, yeah, um, it's not that easy, or at least for me. Anyway, so you have, but you, what it would be easy is to craft with this bundle. Why? Because you have got like a treasure of different textures. And really, when it talks about ta texture, it really is textured. So you have even this piece of a fabric, you have got the most beautiful different types of weave even in within one single piece of fabric. And then we have got that kind of embroidery there as well. We have ribbons, velvet ribbon in here, rick rag. We have got those Giorgios as well in here, different ones as well. And of course you have the, the look at that doily in there, absolutely gorgeous vintage doily. We have that sorry string as well. And I love the fact that you have got kind of that how you call it uh, when it's a uh, feathered, uh, not feathered, oh, I know the name, uh, st not straight, um, oh, when the bits kind of fall off, frayed, frayed, frayed a ribbon as well. And of course you have got the shininess in here, we have got the beads, we have got pieces of a quilt as well that you can see the different types, the, the cotton has it been washed and then you have got little marks in there. Beautiful pieces that then you can transform and then you'll be completely unique into creating maybe something like this. Oh, sorry. I like oh, my voice has gone for just a second. I don't know what happened. Uh, now, I do have a drink, so I will need to have a drink in a second. But if you want to go for uh, this amazing 098335 is your item number. 19 pounds and 99 pence is your price. And of course, you can see everything that you are getting in there. Now, it's absolutely gorgeous in there. You can see all the different elements. Right, of course, if you want to go for the 1950s pattern pack original uh, vintage images, you can. Uh, we are going to see it next. Uh, there you have it. <laughs> 14 pounds and 99 pence is your price. And of course, what you are getting is unique, beautiful, different patterns from the 1950s. You know that they are the fav Melissa's favorite era, favorite era. And of course, you will have that kind of element in there of those beautiful ladies. And what you can do with them? Well, actually, you can fussy cut them around and create maybe embroidery hoops, these plays. I think this feels like, a, oh, that's, that's it. I love the fabrics as well that Melissa uses. And then you are getting, can I open the pattern piece? Because, of course, it will be different. Look at that. Look. Oh, I love this. I love this because it feels kind of amazing. This absolutely kind of almost transparent paper. Look at that. And it keeps going. Oh, look at that. It's almost like a blueprint from an architect. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? Love this. And I love, of course, the fact that you can just use them for different elements and then kind of layer them and make a collage as well. Mixed media, uh, mixed media artists you could actually use uh, as well for different elements or of course you can make it into maybe for boxes if you wanted to right and of course you're getting the liberty a sample of three silks uh, 14 pounds and 99 pence is your price seven two three five four five is your item number right and back, let's head back to melissa ah thank you all so we'll use we're going to use the pouch this time that 
houses a kit, but let's use it for the actual kit. Um, now, what I'm going to do, I'm kind of making it up as I go along, I'm not going to lie, um, because I have an idea in my head um, for ages about doing this, and today it's going to happen. Um, so what I want to do is use some of the offcuts, because when you're making the packs and the kits, there will be little bits that kind of you think, oh, shall I throw them, shall I not? So you don't have to throw them. So we're going to use them to decorate our front of our pouch. And the pouch can be used to, you know, keep all your little stitchy bits in. But what I, I've mentioned it earlier, what I love is to keep all of my little bits safe. So we've got, you know, little trinkets and, and treasures. But I go through bags and bags of different things because I do find a lot of treasure so i've got about six or seven different bags that they all stay in so there's one for stitching oh, paper crafts that, that kind of thing so you've always idea. got a project or something that you can have with them yeah. and it so. could be a, uh, would a five or four inch um embroidery hoop fit, fit in one of these yes <laughs> one of these let's have a look yep there you go so that could be your embroidery kind of so it could be an embroidery bag straight away yeah oh. so you could You've got your fabric. There we go. Keep it in there. Perfect. And then you're going to have the thread in there, needles Everything ready to go. In. Yeah. Um, with a lot of my slow stitching things, I do keep them in little pouches so that if you're, you know, going off to do something or going away, just grab a pouch and you've got something to do if, you know, you want to just keep stitching along. So, with this one, so yeah, they're little zip pouches and they're lovely calico, so you can stitch straight into them, you can glue onto them, you can do all sorts of bits. Could, could you them. stamp on them as well? Yeah. Oh. Let's have a stamp. Yeah. Let's, let's play with Ooh. a stamp. I know. Where we go? We've got a Versacraft, so if you're using, you know, use a Versacraft um, Because then stamp. you can press and then becomes permanent, right? Yeah. Iron, on t iron, iron it, and there we go. So I'm going to move it off there and just place it on so Wait. this is going to be a gift so i'm uh, just going to use one of my the lovely blue is the most popular option so if you want the blue uh, over 80 percent of the stock has gone if you want to go for the blue one uh, do check out your baskets do not miss out uh, the green and the pink are neck and neck so uh well if you, are you going to make them one of the favorites do check out your baskets <laughs> It's always interesting because I would have thought the pink would have been the most popular and the blue not, but it's been the blue. All I along. think I think blue is a very popular colour actually. It's yeah, a, more so um, because that's quite a it's quite a different blue, isn't it? It's it not, is. It's not. It's normal. like a cornflower blue. What yeah. Would you say? Um, yeah, definitely. Cornflower, yeah, cornflower blue. So. So, bluebell blue. Bluebell blue, yeah. Bluebell blue. They're looking gorgeous at the moment, aren't they? You said it once. I cannot say it twice. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but it's blue. It, it's, just, it's actually if you try to say it twice, it's just not as easy as, <laughs> as the no. first time. I've not helped you out with textile treasure uh, yeah. pack, have I? Sorry. It's oh, don't worry. You worry. <laughs> I don't. I think I'm beyond help. <laughs> no. Yeah. But no. Definitely not. I don't think I'd be able to speak Spanish anywhere oh, well. near as the well. The voices in my ear disagree with you. So, yeah, it's just beyond help. <laughs> so because our lovely blanket is so wonderful to work with, we can actually just cut out our letters. Oh. I think it's going to be clear what I'm going with here. And what I'm trying to do... Okay. Really straight, I'm, I'm trying to be too neat and oh, precise okay. here. Mm -hmm. um, will start some uh, some kind of slow stitch applique oh look so yeah so straight away you know we've got some of that what should we do for our e. w let's use some of and all of this the laces and things they come with your kit so everything i'm doing now apart from the stamp i've just put on is in uh, in the pouch kit so you know you can make the pouch you can make notebook covers all sorts of things but also you can decorate your pouch. Okay. That is gorgeous. And of course, if you want to go for the floral pouch embroidery uh, kit, uh, you have got the details on the screen. Remember, blue uh, approaching 80% of the stock, and the pink and the green are neck and neck. Uh, those ones are your three options at uh, £12.99. Uh, 237652 is your item number. 
Uh, now, of course, we have also the uh, the teacups, absolutely beautiful. Now, here again, you have got three different options. Now, uh, the deeds, the blue and the green, did uh, sell uh, sold out earlier, but they are back on extended dispatch date from the 18th of May. So, if you wanted to go for uh, this op whatever option, make sure to check out your baskets. Every time you are going to get a different uh, vintage, uh, gorgeous uh, teacup, and I, this is you know what I would do I would go for one of each because the teacups and you know of course that would be different every single time and look at that I mean this one for instance is born China and it's uh, well Duchess oh that would, if you want to be a Duchess uh, that would be quite fun wouldn't it uh, and then we have got a royal standard here and we have got different brands of course and then I'm gonna go say another one so I'd say three uh, Tuscan born China again look at that absolutely gorgeous gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so we have of course different ones you will get one of them but of course what you will get also is that stuffing you are gonna get the stuffing you call it stuffing yeah and then you have, of course, the embroidery, a beautiful embroidery uh, ribbon in here or thread. And then, of course, you have got the lace. You are getting the yo-yo. You are getting the buttons. You are getting the uh, needle as well to use the beautiful silk. That is all beautiful and fine. And you can stamp in here. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? And then we have got, of course, the lavender, which is such a gorgeous element. To, maybe for at night if you want to sleep. And I have got that relaxing element they do say that lavender helps and of course uh, you have the all everything that you get you need to create that gorgeous beautiful uh, uh you know project in here now the pink three quarters of the stock has gone so if you want to go for the pink that is the immediate dispatch three quarters of the stock are gone then we have got the blue and the green which are uh signed it at the uh, in delivery which means they will be dispatched from the 18th of may now, whichever option you are going, uh, fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence, three nine four four two nine. And if you are wondering when eighteenth of May is, I do. Uh, it's actually in, in in a week's time, I believe. Right, a week today. Uh, that's exactly what it is. Seven days, apparently. I don't know. I don't know how to count days of the week. So, but it's in a week's time. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back to Melissa. <laughs> Well, I thought we, we've we've done that kit. We've done that kit. So let's move on to the teacup, which is oh, my favourite. And I did do the demo earlier, so I'm going to speed through it, but do it from the beginning because it is so simple. Again, if you're a great stitcher, you can go to town. If you're not, then the directions are really, really simple. So you get a nice big square of the wool blanket. Um, to get the circle, you can use a tea plate. What you need to make sure is that you've got a good oops, good um, section uh, of fabric around your teacup. You can never have too much, um, so don't, don't go easy on it. Don't try and, and scrimp on it. So the easiest way I find, probably because I'm a quick crafter, I'm a lazy crafter, I'm just going in by eye and cutting a quarter there. Now, it won't be perfect, it'll be a bit more oblong, so you can go in and just cut off those edges. Like I say, use maybe a tea plate, a side plate, um, anything that is round, or if you've got templates, fab. But you really don't need to, because it doesn't have to be perfectly spherical. So it, as long as it's roughly a circle, you're fab. In the kit, you get some of this wonderful crochet thread. Again, it is vintage, but it's beautifully strong. Um, lace and crochet threads are fab and buttonhole threads linen threads are fantastic for things that need a bit more um tough tough love so we we want to put a nice knot in the beginning and then we're going to go round in the instructions we're going to make a pouch oh, oh, I was, uh, and so i'm going to just do it a little bit round so what you're wanting is for it all to be this kind of shape like a shower cap yeah that's exactly what <laughs> i was thinking i mean not that they own a shower cap but that's <laughs> we, just like uh, like yeah basically a shower cap and as i said with leone earlier it reminds me of kind of 1970s and 80s bridesmaids yeah. little cl little bags that used swimming to have. cap as well. and the swimming oh, caps yeah. yeah absolutely oh by the way we do have an update for the glorious uh 
stage work inspiration pack. Let's say if I, yeah, that said it correctly. And we are now limited stock. That means that 90% of the stock has gone. If you want yours, please make sure to check out your baskets. 400173 is your item number. That's one of my favorites because I think that one you can do so much yeah. and like the stitching, the embroidery as do well. Anything with it. Yeah, it, is, it adds to anything. Slow stitching embroidery your work uh, yeah. anything put onto clothing it would work really well as like the, with the doily yeah. uh, with the teacups yeah it's make a little doily for underneath it absolutely glorious by the way we have got about a nine minutes or eight okay, minutes until so I, will the I will carry on then so you get a little sachet of your lavender in there oh. now you can just throw it in it won't matter because the, the padding is going to go around or you can empty it out either way um it really it's up to you um, and that is great so every time you put a pin in it gives you a nice smell and then you're going to start stuffing and as you've got your stuffing in you're covering up that lavender you're going to pull it round so that the pouch comes round uh, around some of the stuffing once you've got about half of it filled you tie it off so that in, in our okay. little blue peter world we've got it this kind of um, to this stage Okay. and so you've tied it off but there's still a hole in the bottom and what I'm going to do so I've chosen my cup I'm just going to check how we're doing and actually that's not too bad um, but I, I'd quite like it quite firm because it you do like a pin cushion to be able to poke in it and this is where this kit is a little bit different because usually you would do some embroidery first and then you would make it into something with this we're going to put it all together and then embroider onto the teacup because actually the teacup's got a handle you can hold it it's really good for doing so that's what we're aiming for to have our teacup we want it nice and proud and that needs to be nice and firm so you can get the pins in and okay. out so swapping again oh this is one we started earlier so we've added some of our embroidery on and again, with these kits, you get all of the, um, the little stitch guides, so you can do all of the different stitches. On here, I've just put some of the buttons, um, and I've added um, this afternoon, put some little uh, stems on my buttons, so it looks like they're little flowers. Um, we're doing a big foxglove here, I would quite like, so I'm just going to keep adding some lovely Indeed. French knots. Oh, fabulous. Uh, we are approaching a 50% of the stock of the blue extended the delivery. Oh, wow. And remember, it's sold out once. If you want yours, I'll grab it by checking out those baskets. Detail of the left hand side of the screen. So, by mixing the colours, so earlier I did like a, the lavender colour, and now I'm going to add the pink in. It just gives it more of a country garden look because I think that's where we're, we're aiming. And okay. these kind of ideas, they, they stem from some wonderful books. Oh. Which I'll just show you actually these gorgeous little books because if you ever come across them um, when you're traveling around, they yes. are fantastic. Can you hold them there for a second? Sorry, can I Embroidery hold them? Embroidery stitch. They look like, oh, it's oh, funny. Oh, the marriage certificate in Spain looks exactly really? like that. Yes, I mean, without oh. the anchor, but it looks the same size, the same color. Bless. They're lovely little, uh, little books, and they're, again, I tell you what, they'll fit straight into your pouches as well. So if you do come across them, you'll find them sometimes in charity shops and, and, and maybe car boot sales and things like that. Grab them because they're lovely little resources. Um, and they're, you know, they don't ever go out of fashion because the embroidery stitches don't. You know, they've lasted. So it was, and it shows you really simple pictures of how to do those stitches. So I've done a couple of French knots there. But if you carry on doing those, it's very therapeutic. Sit and do them for, for an hour or so. You'll get a lovely kind of foxglove effect okay. again there'll be photos on our um, Facebook group Simply Vintage Crafters if you join there I'll be putting all the photos and bits and pieces on to inspire hopefully um, little star flowers and all the way around I was starting to do borders of um, grass. grass really yeah and you can use lots of different colors on those and, and then there's a bit of bling I love, yeah, a little bit of bling <laughs> a yeah. fabulous vintage earring yeah. um, which is really heavy, so it would have been very uncomfortable. It's all metal. But just add things. And this, again, is where your treasure box comes in. Just start adding to it. Pop your pins in. You know, you've got your needles in there. But add, add whatever you like. Add lots of different pretty little bits. 
It's absolutely stunning. Uh, thank you so much, Melissa, for showing the teacup because it's so quickly it comes together, yeah. uh, but incredibly uh, beautiful to display. Remember, there is three uh, different options. You have got the pink, the blue that you can see now, uh, and, and of course, the green option. Now, the pink, its immediate dispatch is now, uh, well, it's, it's very busy as well. Uh, now, of course, we do have, of course, the blue and the green, uh, which are on extended delivery dispatch date from the 18th of May. 394-429 is your item number. 14 pounds and 99 pence is your price for the teacup. Absolutely glorious. Remember to check out your baskets for them. Now, of course, one of the favorites is the summer box of treasures because this is how it feels like here. And of course, having all those elements. I mean, what I love about this kit is that you are getting almost like a little bit of everything, a little bit of a vintage quilt, a bit, you know, the blanket. You are getting this, the beautiful silk in here as well, the silk cord from Sari. So, uh, you have getting cottons, you are getting lace, you are getting that book print in here as well, which will, of course will be different because it's original from a book. You are getting those glorious patterns in here of, of, you know, kind of patterns printed into fabric or that you can use for embroidery. Look at that. Shall we show? I mean, it's gorgeous. Isn't it just beautiful? And of course, we have the yo-yos as well in here. I love that. Was it Suffolk? Suffolk Puff. 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 Yeah. Suffolk Suffolk. Oh, that, Suffolk. Suffolk. That is a difficult one to say. Suffolk Puffs. Suffolk Puffs. <laughs> uh, is, uh, yeah, you know, it takes a little bit of what you're saying. And of course, the wallpaper as well. And of course, this is some of the beautiful inspiration that you, what you could be doing with them. £24.99 uh, is your price. But I would be quick to check out those baskets because over 60% of the stock has gone. 244-875 is your item number. Now, um, of course, with this one, you can do so many different elements. I love, Melissa, what mm -hmm. you have done in here. I do I do have a thing for making little patches. I love them. I've got boxes full here. Um, it just, it's one of the, these are one of the things that I have in, in like a pouch that you can just take anywhere. You can do whatever you like with. Um, lots of different little bits and pieces and you can just add to them and they take seconds to make, you know, they're not, they're not difficult really. Or you could take hours if you wish. You know, there's lots of different inspirations there. Absolutely glorious. Look at all those <laughs> goodies that uh, Melissa has brought. That is just such a delight to see them all panning around. Uh, now, I do also make, want to make sure that you check out your baskets. The Stitch Work Inspiration Kit, very busy for this one. Of course, that's the beautiful textures into white. We are very busy uh, and, of course, limited the stock. That means that uh, over 90% of the stock has gone a single figures left. Grab yours by checking out the baskets. 400173 is your item number. If that's the one that you want, uh, make sure to check out your baskets. Uh, 12 99 is all you are paying for, all those beautiful uh, white uh, fabrics that you can mix and, and mix and match. Now, Melissa, when are you back? I am back uh, June the, um, I think it's the 22nd. I think it's the 22nd, 22nd. but I'll Ooh. pop it out on. Yeah, well, yeah. that that is... I think, uh, to, ooh, 20, 20, I know a couple of people that this is their birthday on the 22nd, oh, so uh, we'll ooh. make it a special. Oh, special. should we? Uh, oh, <laughs> apparently somebody is 26, and um, yeah, uh, of course, uh, Charlotte is in my year, so oh. she is the one who has got, uh, you know, the birthday on the uh, June 22nd. Anyway, we look forward to seeing Thank you. you. Uh, it's always a pleasure to see you. Obviously, my oh. first time, you know, doing presenting, yeah. but always admiring you. Uh, you now, Charlotte. at home, please check out your baskets. It's absolutely a delight. And the fact that you are going to get uniqueness in here makes it even more special. As I said, check out your baskets. Don't miss out. But stay tuned for a brand new one day special. And it is soft crafts one. So stay tuned for even more. Well, it is Fabric Freedom Batik One Day Special with Sasha Fancy and Yanis. Then Hayley West is back with the Silhouette Mint. And then I'm back with the One Day Special at 8. Hi, I'm Ali from Anna Stitch Fingers. I've been sewing for most of my life. It's a passion of mine. I really enjoy all aspects of sewing. I'm creative in lots of different ways as well, but sewing is the one I'm most passionate about. 
designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish. And then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out. Come and sew with me. Ultimate finish cleans, polishes and protects in one. No water is required. If you own a car, caravan, motorhome or motorcycle, do not miss the world launch shows this weekend. You don't need water or any other products. All you need is ultimate finish. On the shows, you will hear from a motor trade expert who says this is the best product he's ever used. Exclusive on the craft store with big savings and a five-piece pack. For a limited time, we will also be including two additional products at no extra charge, only while stocks last. See the amazing live demonstrations and big savings this Saturday at 6pm and 8pm and Sunday at midday, not to be missed. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Good evening, everybody, and we are about to launch our brand new uh, one day special from Fabric Freedom. We are talking the most sumptuous original batiks. They are authentic, they are 100% cotton, and they are an absolute feast for the eyes and soul. Value for money, it's incredible. And what we try and do with the one day special, we really do bring you something that lives up to the billing. I mean, you can see behind me here, one day special, we got uh, several options, nine options actually, in total for you. But there is no bad option here. And uh, I've got to introduce you to someone who I've got a huge amount of respect for. It is the lovely Sasha Fancy, possibly the best name on TV, <laughs> it has to be said. Sure hey, is, Sasha. isn't it? Hi, how are you? Very well. Yeah? I said I, I saw you the other week. I was watching from home. And I had to, I was like, who's this new guest? It was you with straight hair. <laughs> I didn't don't recognize my hair straightened. you. Yeah. I don't straighten it very often, but only when I go to the hairdressers. Well, wow, look very, very nice. Oh, now, thank you. Speaking of looking nice, Sasha, the batiks are stunning. And I'm I, I love the so story behind these batiks the as well. Well, it's, it's a great show. The, it's the authenticity as well. We also, these are genuine barley batiks. I can see why people have a batik addiction. Yeah, it is now out I've there. I've worked it's a thing. with them. It is a thing. Batik fabrics, they are beautiful to work with. Yeah. And it's obviously we work with our craft cottons and our cottons for quilting and patchwork. But I have really enjoyed working with these. These are crisp, they are fresh, mm. they feel really nice. You know that very, when you go to a very posh hotel and you get into that bedding and it oh, feels yeah. very, it feels like that. It, yeah. They are amazing fabrics and yeah, I'm, the colours are fantastic. We need to talk about price as well and I'm going to start breaking down the options. but. When you think about what you're getting in here, five meters worth for 48.70. So you're paying less than 10 pounds a meter for authentic 100% cotton barley batiks. Uh, I'm going to go through the options here. We're going to start with the greens. How beautiful. These are your earthy greens. So how, I mean, that is a great starting point. Beautiful, They're amazing. Beautiful. I don't know how you actually choose and when you actually look at the depth of the difference in colours, I mean, like that one you're just looking at, 
it's got the turquoise it's also got purple it's got yellow you yeah. know these will pop with any of those fabrics you've also got at home that's that is stunning so look you are and this next one come on that is batik it is absolutely best we are getting busy and we knew uh, look batik's always going to be busy here at the craft store this is going to be a one day special i think a lot of people are going to get involved in so that is your first option i mean look at that. Uh, i think of that as a sunset yeah, that is it's the just way beautiful. It is. You, you can Absolutely see that actually. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, so that's your earthy greens. Then we have our tropical lagoons. So we'll go through and show you the tropical lagoons. There is no bad option here. Now, I'm going to apologize because it's going to take us a few minutes just to go through the options, but you absolutely need to see it. When you've got fabric of this quality uh, and produced in Bali, so I would imagine a lot of these batiks dried on the beach. I mean, oh, yeah. I'm just, I'm saying here, I can't guarantee it, but that's, I know, traditional process in Bali, they tend to dry a lot of their fabrics there on the beach. So you're getting 10 half metres, 5 metres of fabric. Oh, this, look at this one. That's really nice. So but, that is your tropical lagoon. And also it's your dressmaking as well, you know, your, your landscape art, yeah. your mixed media projects, you it's know, your backgrounds, all. things like that. But also, if you buy more than one, you will get it in a continuous cut as well. Oh, so things important. like shirts, yeah. shift dresses for the summer, your bags, you know, some, oh, just beautiful, beautiful oh, shirts I love your and passion. clothes. We're going to move on to our earthy browns, could be one of my faves. I mean, look at that for a piece of fabric, that beautiful, natural, earthy tones that you have. Uh, or how about that? Now, this is a premium fabric. Think about... The, the hours of time gone into creating these, the fact that there are authentic barley batiks, the cost of actually getting it into the UK, uh, and the price we have on the show, less than £10 a metre, is sensational. Genuine fa fabric of this quality, genuinely sensational. I mean, come on, look at that. And doesn't it feel nice? Don't they feel they really do, in the hand. fresh yeah. and clean and... You can imagine a dress out of these yeah, shirts. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, look at that. So that was your earthy browns. Now we're going to move on to our purples. Another one, oh, some of these, oh, these purples. Each time I go through an option, I say I'm kind of leaning That's towards the problem. it. Yeah. That's the problem because there are, because we've done them in colour um, sections as well, I, I can't, I don't know how people will decide because as I've gone through, I want all of them now. Um, yeah. And it's the purples. I'm a bit of a sucker for purples. I the do pur love. I mean, and there you've got that ombre you were discussing earlier on. It kind of graduates from the purple into the blue that you can see there. Stunning. Or what about this next one? I mean, look at the pattern. So a batik. How, how, batik, how is that made, Sasha? So it's all to do with the wax. It's a wax process. So it's to do with like a positive and a negative with dyes and it's all to do with a hot wax and then the wax get poured, it's the, the way it all gets poured on and then the designs get pulled back. So if you've got your flower stamps and things like that, for example, yeah. or, so it gets imprinted into the fabric and the wax is laid then on the fabric. So it's quite a process. Really it takes is, quite yeah. a process before that wax is washed off. So effective though. So that was your purples. We're going to move on to our orange and yellows. We're going to go through this. And it's, it's funny because the team all have, well not funny, it's natural. I love The team all have two. their favourites. Yeah. And that is one of my fav favourites you'll see. I've actually worked with that on the quilt that's by the side of me. Yeah. And I've actually put navy with a lot of these batiks. Oh, that's interesting. Because navy fabrics, I tend to go more towards navy fabric now because black can be quite harsh yeah. and white can be quite bright. So navy work beautifully um, with these. And I'd like navy and orange anyway. The or Look there is no that. bad option here, Sasha. Oh, Genuinely no bad option. We go through your oranges. So that is your orange. And yellows. Now we're going to move on to the pinks. Why, why do you see these? I can't believe the quality of these fabrics. Look at that. For that, it, to me, it is iconic batik. Barley batik at its absolute best. Or how about here? So we're going to be doing a few techniques with these fabrics. And one of the things that I love doing is Hawaiian applique, 
which we're going to be Hawaiian looking at applique. tomorrow. Now, Hawaiian applique um, traditionally is a type of needle turning. You put the fabrics underneath your top fabric, and then you cut that top fabric away, which can be a plain fabric, and then you get this beautiful burst of colour coming through. Now, with the batiks, you were getting so many different colours within that one fabric that all these beautiful colours come through your actual top fabric. So we're going to look at Hawaiian applique tomorrow, but we're going to look at an easy way of doing it. So obviously I like to try and find an easy way for you guys. Nice. Um, so we've played around with um, different techniques and applique for your flowers, for your landscapes. Oh. Just amazing. Stunning. So that was your pinks. Now we've got a crazy cocktail. Wait till you see these. This is my number one. This is my number it one. It looks one like an impression art. You know, when you it's go amazing, in there, like a isn't Monet. It? Love that. Or how about here? And we've had a really good question from Karen. When will these be dispatched? Karen, no waiting for you. These are going to be dispatched right away. So you're not having these on extended delivery. They're going to be dispatched right away. So we will just go through all of these in the cocktail. Yeah, the cocktail's a good option, isn't it? It is such a good option. Look at that. Look at that. It's that such in colours at the moment. Or and here. also think of things, you know, we're all going back out in the garden now. Things are starting to open up. We can have people around. You can imagine. And, oh, this look at that yours. one. Just amazing. And, you know, just brightening your garden up. It'll be just like a tropical haven. Beautiful. I think there's one more. The next, we've got our tantalizing teal now, I'm going to share with you. So here is your tantalizing teal. Very elegant color choices. Going through, I mean, that is beautiful. See that there. Well, how about here? And it's one of those, when you, you take a step back from the fabrics, you start to appreciate more of the design as well. Oh, now that's nice. That's nice. Just beautiful. That's beautiful too. So that is your tantalizing teal. And then we have, I'll just pause there for a moment. I need to step aside because I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm literally, I'm up against the wall. Um, let me just switch. And this is your final option. This is your lilac meadows. So let's just start here. Uh, now lilac, lilac meadows, it's, I'm not calling limited stock. Uh, for a second, I heard limited as one, but we've got lower stock of this, so you've got less available than the others. Yeah, if this, is, if this is one that you, um, is your color range, I would snap mm -hmm. this up straight away. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, I think this is gonna be very popular, this colorway. Well, we're just showing you here all the different. So pretty. Yeah, we like this. I think of butterflies and butterfly wings and, oh, just Beautiful. Turn that through. So this one is, and just to remind you of the name of this one, it's the Lilac Meadows. And there. Now, just to remind everybody, you're getting uh, 10 half meters, obviously the equivalent of five uh, meters in total. They are 44 inches wide each, and you are saving 25 pounds. Not only that, because this is the craft store, you've got access to flexi payments. So 24.35 today, your option will be winging its way to five meters of the most beautiful, authentic, and this is the real key to authentic barley batik. So the process, they are produced in barley, that natural authentic process, the waxing uh, manufacturing process that Sasha was describing. And I've done previous shows, and. I, I don't know if these were dried on the beach, but a lot of barley batiks, they are, they're made, they're dried on the beach. It looks stunning. You can, there is no bad option here, and we are busy. Uh, I'm sorry if you're stuck in the queues on the phone lines. You will be able to jump the queue by going to our website, and I would say this is uh, a good chance to uh, jump the queues. And now we have got five-star views across the board as well. You're already shopping ahead for the silk. And I'm not I'll, surprised. Oh, you are getting six meters. 
Your, I, have, I wish you saw Sasha's face when the price came up. Her eyes practically jumped out of her head. I mean, six metres of silk. I hope it's the right price. For nineteen ninety nine, it is the right price. Uh, we have, we actually had to. I will be honest with you. When we did see the price, and this is not a sales technique, genuinely, I'm just saying what happened in our meeting. We went back and forth. Uh, I think we checked it about three or four times because we weren't sure. Because that, but, but when you talk about silks, these are pure batik fabrics, wonderful silk fabrics. Uh, you're picking any two. Each is three meters, so you're getting six meters of silk for 19.99. And the options are beautiful as well, Sasha. Oh, they are so light. They are so luxurious in the yeah. feeling. It's that silk feel. They've got a beading all the way round. Um, well, that's nice. So the edges are actually already done. So if you wanted to give the this as a scarf or yeah. um, some sort of covering, it's already done. It's, so it works it's out. There. £3.39. Uh, sorry, sorry £3.33. Per meter. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. It absolutely is mad. And if you think, if you are dressing your tables and things like this, or home furnishings, mm. you could just receive this in the post and put this straight out on your table. Um, beautiful, beautiful. Marcus, our, our director, he likes to travel a lot, and mm. obviously we haven't been travelling, uh, but he likes to go to far-flung destinations. He said he would happily rock this as a sarong. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I can see that. Definitely. So you can use these. Nineteen ninety-nine is your price. Are you going to model for us? I'll model out. Can I model strong? Hey, I'll model strong. Uh, <laughs> now, purple. That's your first option. So you can see that there. I'll go through the options for you to pick and mix. So we've got our purple, which we're seeing there. And it's There's... got a slight leaf imprint on there. Oh, I don't yeah. know if you can see that. Yes. But it's got like an embossed sort of leaf design. I can design. definitely can see, see that? that. You can yeah. see. To the naked eye, I know it's hard. I'm watching on the screens as well. It's, it's very hard to delicate. See. Very I mean, delicate. It's actually, yeah, it's more prominent when you're looking. At it. Actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. If I turn it that way, can you see it now? Mm, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, look at that. See? We've got good Hidden. guys there. Hidden. We? It's all in the touch. Now, then you've got the red, which you can see here, with the wonderful gold inflection. I mean, look at that coming through. That is a statement of quality and luxury. And can you just show that edging as well? That's yeah, just the gold. Do that. I'll show it the next yeah. option. Next option coming through. This is your blue, and you can see the edging coming in look at that it's a lovely oh no there's my lips so there you go there's the edging <laughs> beautiful aren't they and then we have our green option as you can see there that's your green and it's almost that um i think they call it like a chameleon green where it changes yeah. from the green to the burgundy yeah that sort of um color and then finally we've got our multi which you can see there. So those are the options. What I would suggest, go onto the website and have a look. It, with these, I am getting a... Cause I've, we've got a monitor in the studio, so I'm seeing right now what you're, you're seeing at home. But to the naked eye, and what you're saying, like the chameleon here, so many different colours. Have a look at the photographs online. You'll be able to yeah, appreciate them definitely. better. 10% of each option has gone. We are 15 minutes into the show. We've only started looking at this, and it's meant to last the full 24 hours. There is absolutely no way this is going to last for 24 hours. So my advice, if you have tuned in now for the launch show, well done. Take advantage because you could be tuning in later on, say, 8 o'clock or tomorrow, and these won't be here. Okay, so we've got more for you. <laughs> There's a lot on the show. <laughs> there is. <laughs> it's it's, it's show. an amazing show, and it's all about those hand-dyed yeah. almost processes it's great well, that's the key to it and it's that authenticity here now these are brand brand new fat quarter bundles we've got four different options i'll go through them we're labeling them a b c and d so we will start here with our first option this is a look at the color it almost tone. looks like a piece of artwork there it does. doesn't it you know you get like those canvases and you've got the artwork yeah. all the different squares of colors on there just beautiful ten different fat quarters these are 18 by 22, so American fat quarters. No. Uh, look at that. So as we go down, you see all of these wonderful batinks. This is your first option. This is the A option. I mean, that's lovely. So 10 fat quarters for 29.99. Yeah. So effectively like three pounds fat quarter for a beautiful, authentic, Bali batik, 100% cotton, and they are authentic from Bali. That's your A option. Then we have our B option, 
go through. I'll just let your eyes uh, sort of gaze and wander down and you can see all the beautiful color tones and the shapes that you get. And the thing with the batik is no piece of fabric is ever alike because it's just the nature of the process. It's very organic and you just get these wonderful shapes, so original shapes coming through. But the colors just sing. And there is something so wonderful about using a batik. Batik's great as well for replique. Yes. You want to use batik uh, to create plique, uh, batik really works. So that is your B option that we're looking at. Then we have our C option. You're coming through here. So uh, apologies for the names. It's literally just A, B, and C. The tones here, nice, because you actually, if we talk about applique, you can imagine, say, that green to create the illusion of, uh, where are we there? So you can see any of the greens, but to create the illusion of, say, a field, a meadow, a tree line. And leaves, leaves and anything yeah. like that. They just, they give that depth of different okay. colors in there. If anyone uses, like, the intense pencils and that sort of thing, where you're trying to get that shaded effect on your fabrics and on your applique, this does it for you. Yeah. You know, I mean, that for butterfly wings. Mm -hmm. Just, you could just imagine those butterfly wings. Look at that. Stunning. So that is your C. And then finally, we have our D. Now, D, uh, it's quite vibrant, bright, a lot more purples, violets, sort of pinks coming through here. So, uh, how can you pick? They're also, there is no bad option here. Uh, this is your final, so C, the final option. 29.99 your price you are saving five pounds eight four six two seven seven your item number there i think i might be leaning towards c now you've actually already found limited edition on our website we're <laughs> going to show this to you. you actually might for those of you who are particularly observant would have uh, spotted it uh behind uh, sasha there so you can see tell us a little bit about these sasha so these are i don't know do you want me to stand or can you see them? Knows, in... we, we can see them we can see them um, so these are the limited edition batiks, and I, there's, again, there is none of these that I don't like. These have got the most beautiful rainbow of colours going through them, whether it's your really bright, or you've got your pinks, you've got your greens, you've got your rainbow of pastels as well. Just absolutely beautiful. And I automatically thought Roman blinds in this for that bit of colour. Um, you know, your cushions, your because you don't need to do anything else with it. You know, your bags, having a bag in this. You know, you don't have to have those lines going straight down. They can be going horizontal. They can be going landscape. They can be, you know, you, know, you can just play with these because mm -hmm. they have got so many different colours. And this one that we're just coming to, the pastel, I don't know what we're calling this. Um, but this is almost like those beautiful summer night skies you get. Yeah. It's when it's, you know, a beautiful sunny day and it's going into that beautiful pink, blue, I, purple. Where I'm looking at now, it reminds me of the inside of like a mussel shell, the iridescence, and you've got those beautiful colours, or an oyster. I was um, going to say oysters. Yeah, oysters. I don't like mussels. Oh, okay. I don't know. Mules on frites. Uh, now, you're picking any two. The size of these, it's 50 by 112 centimetres. They are beautifully uh, made, so artisan, 100% cotton barley batiks. Uh, they are limited edition as well, so don't mix, uh, so miss out. So I need to stock up on these. You do. Because they are limited edition. Well, I can show you how you can stock up on them, uh, because if you go onto our website, you will see five-star reviews, and this is the way you can put any two into your basket. Oh, look at the oh, colours. I tell you, the Multi 6 is stunning. It's, doesn't or, it look like that beautiful, bright sky? Well, the Multi 8 looks My, like a Multi universe. 8, I was going to say, the whole universe. -y. Yeah. But, you know, and look at Multi 9. I'm multi-10. <laughs> there is no bad option. Uh, very, very busy for these as well. We, we're having a very busy start to the show, and uh, we, we anticipated it. I think the last time Fabric Freedom brought us batiks, it was an incredibly popular hour. Had to wait a year. I think it's been a year since we last seen batiks. And it was from, getting uh, the right Freedom. stuff back yeah. for us as well, because yeah. they don't compromise on the value. Yeah. And it's bringing you the correct price as well, the right price. It's good prices. Yeah, it's amazing prices. And also, you know, there are, you know, fabrics on the market that are no way anywhere near this quality mm. of, of your batik. And it's this sound. Can you hear this? Oh, the team can hear it, yeah. That is your batik sound. It is crisp. It is, and it's the whole... The weft and the warp, yeah. yeah, and you can just hear the quality, quality. in that. And um, 
Yeah, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fabrics. Lovely. We're going to get to demonstration because I see a wonderful uh, fabric bowl in front of you. Now, you're going to be using the one-day special for this, Sasha. I am. I am. So this was um, me having a little play with the batiks. And so I've made these great bowls just with wadding. Mm -hmm. um, this one's got in our form in there because obviously we know I'm an ambassador so I'm using my in our form there uh -huh. and these ones have just got your wadding in so they're really really soft you can fold them up you can put them um, in the post as gifts but again because the fabrics hold themselves so well because they're not flimsy batiks the cotton that are used for batiks is a closer weave so it holds that wax in and it gives you these beautiful designs with all the different dyes so by having a closer weave on the fabric that's what gives you that crispness yeah. a bit like the whole egyptian cotton process mm -hmm. you know you can go for really really expensive beautiful egyptian cotton or you can have the cheaper range um where the the um weave is not so close together but the weave on these is very close which also stops the fraying you get very, very minimal fraying with this fabric. Okay. And that's the first thing that I noticed because I'll be honest with you, I never got on the batik bandwagon. Mm. So many of my friends absolutely are batik fabric addicts and I never got on the batik bandwagon because I was almost a little bit scared of it. Okay. And you know that I'm completely honest with you guys. And so I'd spoken to Fabric Freedom and said, you know, I hadn't worked in uh, worked with batiks um, only a couple of times. I have had the best time working with it. Really? It really, it cuts beautifully. You get very, very limited fraying, as you can see here. And I think that's really, really important. Yeah. Um, because again, that shows your quality. So, you know, very, very limited fraying. Just the crispness, I've washed it, I've put it in the tumble dryer. I've done all of that stuff that yeah. I always do to make uh -huh. sure that we are bringing you really, really good, good stuff. quality stuff. Yeah. It's got the anyway, uh, sash endorsement. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So we are going to have a look at the fabric bowls. Now, these are really nice and simple. So we have got um, two of our petite circle and then I have got some interfacing and the interfacing I am just going to I'm going to iron that on so we're just going to press this on and then we once this is um, it, it just gives it a little bit of stability mm. because even though you can you can put wadding in but like I say, these haven't got wadding in. This is just the interfacing. So it just shows how um, beautifully these fabrics actually sit. Let's put that there. So we have got our two circles. And what we're going to do is we are going to place them right sides together. Now, this is another thing that I have found that I love batiks for. It really doesn't matter. Because whatever pattern is on the front, it's going to be on the back. Of course. You might get, for example, if we go back to this one. So if this was the front of the fabric, it's actually quite vibrant in this area. But obviously, on the back, you're still getting that design, but it's a little bit more subtle. Mm. So again, you know, it's... And I don't know if you can see that by me doing this. Can you see the difference there? Okay. So you can just see this green is really popping yeah. and this green is slightly, slightly and more muted. It's so subtle. It is so subtle. So it doesn't matter which way up these batiks go, yeah. but it just goes to show that if something is a little bit too bright for a applique flower or you wanted to do different shadings of that flower, mm -hmm. turn the fabric over. Nice. Good use, good tip. So, what we are going to do is we are going to sew all the way around and we're going to leave an opening. Okay. We're going to leave that opening to be able to um, turn through. And so what should happen is your um, 
interfacing will be on the back because we're going to turn this through and then that will be in the middle. I'm just going to go back and forward just a little bit just to... Because if I don't do the whole part straight away, I forget. Ah. And I digress. Uh, before you know it, you've gone all the way around. And I've gone all the way around and then I'm having to get the unpicker out. And also, the good thing about this playing with this design is the fact that you can also change the sizes really, really easily. Yeah. Now, as we're doing this, if you do have any questions for Sasha, we would love to hear from you. Studio yes. at thecraftstore.com. Uh, do get those questions coming. Please, please, please. And if you've got any um, pictures from the last shows we've done, mm -hmm. um, send in those pictures. So, we have sewn all the way around, I've got an opening, and the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to snip. And the reason you do this is just so, because you are um, turning it through, and it's circular, yeah. it just lays better. Now, if I'd popped wadding or um, foam inside, yeah. I would actually cut this back to quite near to the stitching, just to take away that bulk. Oh, okay. Good. As we're doing that, uh, the Artisan uh, limited edition Artisan fabrics are flying. We're seeing there, and they look stunning. We've got uh, multi-six in the lead. I don't know if we can look on the website, because on the website you can see all the uh, different options uh, there. We're obviously seeing them live in the studio. But for twelve ninety nine, picking any two, incredible value for money. We will jump on the website, I'll show you. See, that's what, when you look at the website and you start to see all these options, which one's in the lead at the moment? Multi-six. Oh, yeah. I knew it. I mean, but that multi-six is your instant sunset or sunrise. Exactly. Can 16%. you imagine just putting some applique of hot air balloons on there? Just stunning. Absolutely stunning. This is, and I've got to stress, a limited edition. So uh, with these, you are getting something very, very special. I'm not calling limited stock. I'm saying it's limited edition. I know. Every time you say that, I keep thinking... <gasps> no, but trust me, it won't be long for I am starting to call limited stock on some of these because they're proving extremely popular. Our silks are absolutely flying as well. You are getting six metres of beautiful, beautiful silk for 19 99 because you're getting two. It's a pick and mix. You're picking any two. They've got a wonderful beading around the edges as well. So beautiful quality silks. You've got your purple in there, your blues, your reds, greens, and your multi. So those are your choices. But when you consider you're picking any two, each of those uh, options, three meters, so six meters in total for 19 99 of the wo most wonderful, pure silk batik fabric, it's an absolute win. 698-182, your item number. Sorry, Sasha. No, you're fine. So what I was going to actually say is um, tomorrow we're going to be looking at Hawaiian applique and we're going to be doing um, some normal applique. Mm. So let's have a little, um, let's put it out there. Do we want to do um, butterflies or do you want to see a hot air balloon? Ooh. So maybe you can email in yeah. and whatever gets the most... Um, I think I'd like to see hot air balloons. Only I'd quite like to see a hot air but I've, I've got to be impartial. Well, yeah, yeah. We'll leave it up to the public. So I've, I've turned all the way through, uh -huh. as you can see. And also, I mean, everyone always says, how do you sew with those nails? I've always had long nails on. But they do help with this because you actually just run your finger yeah. around the edge and it just makes sure that uh -huh. the whole seams are pushed right the way out and you're getting that beautiful circle shape. I've also just tucked in the edge there mm -hmm. um, from the hole that we've turned through because we're going to top stitch that shut and we're going to go all the way around. Okay. And then we're going to get to the measurements. Yeah. The really important bit which I did have my three uh -huh -huh. I thought, oh no, I've left my ruler and my pencil in the hotel room. Mm -hmm. So we are going to... So 
just to sew all the way around just top stitch um, I've got navy in but we are just going to go a very very scant quarter of an inch all the way around now I have got the walking foot on here okay and that's only because where I'm changing all the time between things with wadding things without wadding I it's tend easy. to just keep my walking foot on there because um, I know I had a couple of questions last time. Was there a need for me to have my walking foot on? Oh, okay. And it's just easier than me swapping it over all the time. Live on there, yeah. That's fair enough. So I'm just going all the way around. Okay. And as you can see, they just sew beautifully. They really, really do sew so beautifully. And Sasha really wouldn't be saying it unless she 100% felt it. So, uh, and it's one thing she was saying to the whole team, the quality of, say, the one-day special, the patiks that we have here, they are 100% cotton. You will feel the quality when you get them home. They look absolutely exquisite. They look good, they feel good, but most importantly, and this is the true test, uh, I think, for a lot of sewers and quilters out there, it's how they work. And once you start using them, you'll appreciate that they're just such fantastic fabrics and very workable. So the yeah. first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start folding. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to fold in half and we're going to put a pin there and we're going to put a pin here and then you're going to do the other half and you're just going to keep going all the way round sectioning it so you've got all those points marked mm -hmm. with a pin I tend to do the pin so the actual sharp because you're not actually pinning anything together we are just marking so I tend to do it that the um, sharp is towards the fabric and the head is on the outside okay because obviously we don't want to be um, catching yeah. ourselves so then I'm just going to match those and we are just going to And once we've done all of these, yeah. we're going to start marking. And I'm going to show you how to mark them. Okay. Um, and then obviously you can go to a recap, but this is quite an important yeah. part of this. So we show that one. So what actually happens is you've got All of, all of your um, folds are measured, okay? Mm. So we're going to go back to the outside and then I am going to mark a two inch mark and a two inch mark. Okay. And then I am also marking a quarter of an inch from the pin mark and then I'm placing the ruler where the start of um, the two inch line is so it's a little bit like a small triangle can you yeah. see yeah, okay. so then we're going to go we've got that two inch mark so again we're going to pop that there and we're going to pop that there And then we are going to sew from here to here and then from here to here and then you were going to move on to the next one can you just show us again i don't think we got a shot of that so you just show where we're sewing from please so we're going to sew from this point yeah down to here okay and from this point down to here yeah okay and then we're going to move on to the next two and i'm going to show you quickly how we're going to move on to that Perfect. before you disappear for a recap okay because it's quite important because it does sound a little bit complicated but it really isn't mm. so we're just going to do that point there and then we are going to start on that point and take that pin out scissors 
So as you can see, you have started that process. Yeah. Okay. So then you are going to fold up again to your next pin line mm -hmm. and you are going to do exactly the same thing. So we're going to mark that two inch line. Okay. And then we're going to mark the two inch line here which always ends up on a lighter bit, look, so you can never see it. Now, this area is how big this area of the bowl is going to be. So I could have it bigger than two inches if I wanted to. Um, it really just depends. This is about you playing around and using your own measurements. Um, obviously, you can find me on Instagram if anybody um, wants a head up, heads up. And um, Sasha sews 123. And then what we are going to do is we are going to find that quarter of an inch again and find that line and then exactly the same on this one, find that quarter of an inch and find that line. And this is actually what is making these tucks oh, that are okay. all the way around. Okay? Yeah. Now, if you wanted to, you can turn them the other way. And then they look a little bit like a flower. Oh, you've got the sort of pleats inside. So the pleats, yeah, exactly. So, you know, it's really up to you how you um, Lovely fabric want them bowls to be done. Though, really nice. Oh, I know. I, I've got a bit addicted to them this week. I've had great fun doing them. Great fun. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to carry on now sewing these bits. Yeah. Um, and you can either stay with me or you can do a review. Perfect. And I hope you are enjoying this. Uh, if you do have any questions, please feel free to get in touch. You can always go onto our website as well. It's such a good way to get ahead. The website is definitely your friend. So do have a look at the website. If you want to see all the options, we've got the limited edition artisan fabrics. We've got the silks in there. Of course, we've got the one-day special, everything. Speaking of the one-day special, you can have a look here. Now, the one-day special, things to point out. There are nine options to choose from. Whichever option you go for, you're going to get 10 half meters of the most beautiful, authentic barley batiks. They are 100% cotton, they are from barley, and they are absolutely stunning. The quality is exceptional. They are 44 inches wide, and you're going to get five, effectively five meters of fabric in total. So it's less than 10 pounds per meter. We're going to start with our earth green. This is the first option. 20% of the earth green has gone. Look at that for a beautiful chef. I missed one. Sorry, there's a start. This is your earth green. Stunning, stunning batiks. Oh, now that's a nice one. Love that. And then you've got this one here. And you kind of, when, when you take a step back, you see even more of the design. You sort of start gauging um, how you're going to be using these. But beautiful, punchy colors going in. And so you're getting all 10 of those. Have you got to the end there? So one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay. Then we're going to move on to our Tropical Lagoon. 20% of the Tropical Lagoon has gone. So I can see a lot of you, I think, are stocking up. And why not? When you've got batik of this quality, this caliber, colors of this nature. That this that the um, geometric print there at the beginning. Oh, okay, yeah, see that there. Yeah, these are beautiful, and they feel they feel good. I mean, you these would look fantastic in a quilt if you've got a quilt pattern, and you're thinking, well, I've got this pattern now. I'm looking for some more fabrics. Five meters worth of fabric, you're going to make a sizable quilt, but it's going to look totally different to any other quilt you've made having those batiks. I mean, how stunning is that? Well, I mean, if you stocked up on the last show on, on the planes that we were doing, we did a whole um, show on planes. So, yeah. you know, think how well you don't have to use all of these fabrics in one go. No. Um, you know, you, you could be quite, um, I can't think of the word, but you could be quite sparse with these fabrics and just put those 
punches of planes in yeah. and that will bring Spraking all of these up. together to break them up. It's such a beautiful fabric. We're going to move on to our earthy brown now for you. I really like this earthy natural color scapes coming through. So this is your earthy brown. There it is. Oh yeah. I mean the hardest part I think with this one day special <laughs> is picking an option to go for because they are so they're all so engaging and appealing. There's so which earthy. one are you edging towards at the moment? Oh. Let me go through the more options and then so I'll tell hard, you. It's so hard, isn't it? It is, because every time I go through an option, I kind of lean towards that option. So there is your earthy browns. Then we're going to go on to our purples. I'm going to show you the purple. And you can hear the crispness of the fabric, the quality of that fabric there. And think about the actual manufacturing process, using those waxes as a resist to create these beautiful effects. It takes time. See, the amount of labor hours to go into each piece of fabric and the price we're bringing it to you, considering these have come all the way from Bali, less than 10 pounds per meter is absolutely exceptional. And look at that one is stunning. Just a beautiful explosion of color. So that is your purples. Now we're going to go orange and yellows. 20% of the stock's going here. Home furnishings and things. And if you've got a, quite a plain hallway or a plain lounge and you just want to add a pop of color, pop some of this into a picture frame. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know, some of them or have got a cushion the in a lounge. Yeah, definitely. They've yeah. got the most amazing shapes to them and pick colors and. So this is your orange and your yellows. I mean, look at that. Look at that. When it comes to batik, you cannot go wrong with a barley batik. Okay, and then we have our pinks. 20% of the pinks now have gone. And I want to put this into context. This is 20% of stock that's meant to last 24 hours. We've lost 20% in one hour. So uh, proving extremely popular, beautiful colorways with the pinks, lovely patterns. Now, Sasha asked me uh, a question, which was my favorite? I, I love, I do love the pinks, but we're getting on to, I think, my favorite, which is the crazy cocktail. 30% of the stock for the crazy cocktail, so I'm not alone in my love for this option. Here is your crazy cocktail. I mean, look at... Look at that. That is, when we talk about picture, stunning, absolutely exquisite. It's beautiful. And a lot of people at the moment are doing um, quilts and wall hangings called Through the Garden Gate. Yeah. Where um, they just have a outline, a black outline of like a black cast iron gate. Oh, right. And you're actually looking through the gate. So you, you do an applique of the gate on top of a fabric. And this would just look a wash of coloured flowers. It's hidden. I mean, behind. that looks like a secret garden you've just discovered. Or how about that? And now that is a secret garden you've just discovered. Or here. Now, going through. I think we've done this last one here. I think we've got two more options remaining. That was your crazy cocktail. And then we have a lilac meadows over half the stock of lilac. I'm just going to switch around so we can see these. Uh, this is your lilac meadows. Uh, yeah. Lilac meadows? No, the lilac meadows is the end one. I think this is, this is the teals. There we go. So there's your teals. And I will just show you these. There you can see. You, I mean, that's lovely. Beautiful options with the teals. And then finally, in just a moment, we will get onto your lilac meadows. Uh, lilac meadows, um, over half the stock has gone. So that was your teals, and this is your lilac meadows. I'll let the camera just drift over and show you all of those. So lilac meadows, over half the stock, it, we do not have Lilac Meadows, we have the least amount of stock. Let's put it that way. And over half that stock has gone. So those are your options. With regard to the one-day special, you are getting 10 half meters. So five meters in total, 
for your first flexi payment of 24.35. It works out at 48.70, less than 10 pounds per meter. For 100% cotton, authentic barley batiks, the most beautiful barley batiks, and the quality is exceptional, I really mean that. Uh, now you have found the mix of fat quarter bundles on the website. So uh, if you want to pop those into your basket, five star reviews, uh, you are getting five 18 by 22 fat quarters. Lovely designs here as well. So which ones are you going to go? We've got pinks in there, there's greens, more pinks, purples, blues. So lots, lots to choose from. Uh, we've got silks for you. We're going to talk about silks. Um, with regards to silks being extremely busy this hour, you're picking any two. Uh, and with the nature of these, it, each one is three meters. So you're actually getting six meters of silk in total. And when you see the silks, I'm going to just show you here, because you, you need to kind of give them a little bit of a movement. And all of a sudden, because the colors I'm seeing, now that's what I wanted to show you. That's what you're going to be getting oh, it's beautiful, with these isn't silks. It? This is the green option, 20% of the stock, but it is like a duotone. That is stunning. So that's 20% of the green. We also have here, this is the multi. Look at the iridescence of that silk. 20% uh, of the stock for your multi. Then we have our blue, and I will just try and get hold of that for you. So this is the blue. There, you can see a third of the stock for the blue. Uh, and then finally, we've got our reds and our purples. So there's a red. And you will notice as well, you can see that they have got a beading around this, the edging too. So we've got our reds and then we have our purples. Red, a quarter of the stock's gone and 20% of the stock of the purple. We also have the limited edition artisan fabrics. Now these are 15 by, uh, 50, sorry, by 112 centimeters. And you are get, I mean, they look so good in the studio. We will show you on the website as well because it gives you a different dynamic with these, but special. Fabric Freedom are bringing a limited edition. I am not calling limited stock. They are a limited edition, which means a certain amount have made, uh, are made and that's it. You're getting 100% cotton, barley batiks, pick and mix, choosing any two. My goodness, they look good though. I mean, they it's look so seriously lovely. good. Uh, if we do jump onto the website, you'll be able to see the pictures because they give you a good representation of what you're going to be getting. So let's have a little look at those. This is your multi one, then you've got your multi two, three, four, five, you see where we're going here, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Those are your choices. Okay, so uh, those are the choices there. Are we going to be continuing with, I think, oh no, we're not. We're going to have to go. We're going to have to go back because I'm looking at the time. I so know. we're just going to finish up, Sasha. So now I, there is a lot more to discover on the website. We haven't had a chance to show you this hour, but do go onto our website. So just quickly, I just wanted to show you um, one of the questions that we do get asked is yeah. how they iron. So I'm just showing you now quickly how beautifully these iron. I just want to show you that you know the the colours don't run. They don't move with the ironing, you know, that any creases that are in there come out beautifully. So I just wanted to show that because I think Thank that's you. really, really important. And this kind of thing, Sasha, you look for in your fabrics. Oh, you know, definitely. Fabric. Because I, I am a patchworker, I am a quilter. Yeah. And so these fabrics, I'm almost doing a review and testing for you. Mm -hmm. um, and these are the things that would really aggravate me if I was at home and they wouldn't iron properly or yeah. things like that. So it's really, really important. So we have finished sewing all our little pleats in our bowl all the way around. Mm -hmm. And then you're just going to um, just play around a little bit, just getting the centre um, as flat as you can. Now, I tend to turn that upside down and just give that a little press on there. OK. Because obviously you can put something like a bit of... Um, template plastic or something in the base if you wanted to. Mm. And I'm just going to ease that iron just a little bit around um, the base of my stitches there. And yeah, so 
it's a really, really quick and easy bowl that we have done. And again, you know, it can be this way if you wanted it that way. And I still think it gives it quite a, like a little daisy look, doesn't yeah. it? Like a little flower look. Um, but yeah, what I love about them is the fact that they can all stack. They can all stack up. You can... There's some potpourri in there. Oh, or whatever you like. yeah. Use them as just a, for just storage. a really beautiful, quick and easy gift for somebody as well. Mm. Um, and it, on the table, because we've all got those bits on our table, haven't we? Where, I don't know whether you've got one in the dining room or on the worktop, yeah. where everything gets put. Oh, yeah. Everyone's got that. You know, it's just a corner where, oh, I don't know where to pull it, so I'm going to chuck it in the corner. Yeah. And before you know it, it's three foot high, 